Well, good morning, chat. It is once again an Arctic hellscape in my lovely little region of the U.S., the Midwest, where you're buried under at least 12 feet of snow, and nobody knows how to drive. There's nothing better than being on the roads behind retarded people that either want to go 5 miles an hour or 200 miles an hour. The best driving conditions to test the speed limits of man are when the roads are unsalted and unplowed and traffic is backed up for at least fucking 50 miles. I don't know what it is about old people and Asians, but it's like the snow attracts them. Like how moths are dri you know, drawn to a flame. That's old people and Asian people. They all just decide, you know what? 18 feet of snow seems like the right time to hit the road. Oh, are you trying to get to work? Do you have to commute somewhere? Oh, is there an errand you need to run? Well, let me hop in my fucking 1980s Cadillac that's you know, weighs 800 metric fucking tons, doesn't have working brakes. Let me uh, just drive 30 miles an hour in the fast lane while another person in another Cadillac, or no, let's say a Cougar this time, is driving uh, 120 miles an hour in the slow lane. Just lovely. Love it. Nothing better in the world than watching people screaming in agony on the side of the road as flames light up that beautiful winter snowscape. And death surely awaits them, because they couldn't drive like a normal fucking person could. So, God bless you old people. God bless you Asian drivers. Oh, and let me not forget women either. They are the best drivers on the road. Surely, it makes commuting that much more fun when there's a woman behind the wheel of a car. <laughs> is, is Jade too young to drive? Um, I, I, God, I don't know if I would trust, I don't know if I would trust her behind the wheel of a motor vehicle. I'm going to be honest with you. I've seen her drive, and I don't think there are enough prayers in Christianity to protect you when she's behind the wheel of a car. Usually, I've got two seatbelts on. I put my own on, and then I grab the driver's seatbelt, and I yank it across and cover myself with it. That's the only way I feel really secure letting her behind the wheel of a car. You have to remember, she's like four feet tall, so she can barely see over the steering wheel. It's like destiny height. She's destiny height. We need to buy her a booster seat so she can see the fucking traffic ahead of her. That's always good. Always a lovely experience when the... <laughs> when there's an Asian woman behind the wheel of a car. Oh, I can't... I, I'm looking forward to when she gets old. Female, elderly, and the woman. The trifecta of perfect driving in winter conditions. It's going to be great. I have a good feeling about it. I think uh, other people on the road are really going to enjoy that. So how is the morning treating you, chat? How's your... How, have you risen and shown yet? How's, how's that day starting out for you? Having your morning cup of coffee, getting ready for school and work, are you? Or are you just slacking off because, like me, you're stuck in an Arctic hellscape and just don't want to go out there because you know what's waiting for you if you do. I'm seeing a lot of it's miserable and shit. Well, that's how the morning usually is. Nobody likes to be woken from sleep, look out the window and see four feet of snow, and know that it's going to be just an unfucking believably awful day to deal with other people. Now, I don't know about school. I mean, I, I know they've they, there's like school closures all over the state that I'm in, at least. And I think even universities have shut down. So <laughs> I don't know what that's like in other states. Uh, because, again, the Midwest is its own little unique hell. But um, maybe you lucked out if that's, your, if that's your bag. If that's what you're doing, maybe you lucked out and you don't got to deal with it. On the other hand, if you work, fuck you. Your boss doesn't care. Oh, what's that? What's that, Johnson? The roads, you can't even see them. You need to take a snowmobile to work today? It'll take you four hours? I don't care. Get in. We need we need you to help make widgets, asshole. I don't pay you the big bucks to avoid death on the highway. So you get your ass into work. Nobody cares, Johnson. I don't fucking care if there are dead people on the roads right now. Get into work. That's the difference between being an adult and being a child. 
You can you can get out of school. You can't get out of work. Your boss doesn't give a flying fuck about what the roadways look like. <laughs> You're so fucked. Okay, well, maybe we can make that morning commute just a little bit more bearable by watching retards do retarded shit. Because usually, that's how you cope with fucking horrendous traffic and bosses that are assholes that demand you drive in in this kind of weather. But what kind of retarded shit are we going to watch today? I've had a lot of people send me clips of various things. I mean, we watched a lot of a lot of dating shows, and that was good. We've got Photon, we've watched that, and we'll watch more later on. We've got Nigerian Scammers, we could, we'll touch on that eventually. But what what would fit with our theme today? I, I don't know what kind of retarded shit chat wants to watch this morning. So let me start doing some searches, let's see what we find. <laughs> Somebody told me that a furry was trying to start... Well, it's listed as... Okay, here's the problem. Somebody told me they wanted to start a furry religion. But it's listed under live comedy. Now, I would have loved to have shown that video of somebody trying to push uh, a religion for furries. But if it's comedy, it's comedy. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really work, does it? If they're taking the piss out of themselves. Not not a bad idea. But again, you know, just, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> what are what are we gonna do with that? We can't we can't really do anything with it. I wonder. Do you think is is YouTube so locked down at this point that if I were to enter the search term "tard fights," would anything come up? <laughs> They're actually okay. All right. You know what? YouTube still lets you look up the actual search term "tard fight," and um, <laughs> are these actual tards fighting one another? Because maybe we'll start with that. Tard fights. Tard fights. Take two. Uh, it's actual tard fighting, but not not the entertaining kind. Chat. I've told people before because they people like to send links through in super chats. Uh, I do appreciate the money because of course I want your money, but uh, you don't have to do that through a super chat because one I might not even fucking click on it, and two you can just put it in the side chat. So chat, you tell me today what should we watch. We could watch Russians driving, road rage compilations. There's nothing better than watching Russians get angry and kill each other on the road. They all have to have dash cams anyway because of the point system on how their licenses work over there. I'm not really sure. I'm not very prepared today, to be honest with you. I woke up and I kind of didn't even want to do it. It's like the weather's shit. I just want to play Metro. I just want to sit down and play Metro. I need to, uh, Adium, I need to protect you. Okay, you gotta stop getting off the train to do shit. These people are trying to fuck your wife, bro. Alright, don't trust them. Oh, oh, can you go rescue this little girl's teddy bear? Hey, can you go get us water? Hey, can you go do this? We'll all sit here on the train with your wife. Don't trust them. They are not your comrades. They are deep-dicking the shit out of her while you're not there. You hear that cough? That's cum stuck in her lungs. She's sucking everybody's cock on special forces. Do not leave the train. It's a trap. Cartel hit videos? I don't know if we can even watch that. I, okay, we've got something. Somebody's linking something. Let's see what we got here. What retarded shit do we have coming up? Oh, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, this is a good choice. Who put this into the chat? Let me let me thank you. That's Kaiser Split Deck. I know what this is. I've listened to it before. I don't even need to really put it up on screen because it's the audio itself. But you know what? I, maybe maybe we should share the joys and wonders of Francis E. Declan Esquire. Now, Francis is a prolific writer. This is a man that uh, he was woke before most people were woke. All right, before X existed as a board for conspiracy theorists, before Godlike Productions, before all the forums that people would congregate on to talk about lizard people and the flat earth, and uh, how they're seeding the sky to change the weather. Francis was on top of that shit. All right, and he liked to let people know, especially people in the federal government. He loved to write letters to lawmakers, to judges, and to law enforcement to let them know that they were Frankenstein-controlled, brain-dead nigger apes, as he liked to put it. That's him. That's not my words. Those are, those are his words. 
So why don't we listen to a little Frank? You know, that's a good way to start the day. Because uh, it's so fucking insane, why wouldn't you want to? There are two really good clips of him. Uh, this is to all judges. And then we'll play the other one. Which is probably my favorite one that exists in the whole collection. Now, these aren't his voices. These are voice actors reading what he wrote. Uh, but <laughs> why not? Here we go. Francis E. Declan Esquire. Letter to all judges. Oh, this is going to be a long one. To all judges. First and second appellate division, Superior Court, New York City. Court of Appeals, Albany, New York, U.S. Actually, you know what? I, 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 yeah, fuck it. I am going to put this up on screen. Because uh, you can read along with the text, and half the fun is chat being able to talk about it. Uh, give me one moment. Give me one second here, chat. Get that set up. Get this set up. We'll do everything here. I'm just got to pop that out, move that. All right, I think we're, I think we're good. Listen to a little Francis this morning. I'm surprised a lot of people aren't fucking familiar with him, to be honest. Okay. Move that there. <laughs> well, listen to the other one, which is fucking amazing. Okay. I think we should be good. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's weird. Why is it doing that? Oh. Oh. That's because it's doing browser. There we go. That's what I wanted. Is that right? Yep. Okay, here we go. Supreme Court, Washington, D.C. I write demanding a rehearing of my worse than lowest deadly gangster police state criminal conviction, which appeal case was in your farce, deadly gangster, ghetto communist, gangster computer, God manipulated gangster court. Below, I state some of the many reasons for said rehearing, plus all of my evidence the Attorney General chicanerously forwarded to the Bar Association Grievance Committee for prosecution of felon, gangster, mafiotic, negroidic, the black Frank Gelata, a gangster judge, therefore unprosecutable, the blackish menial negroidic in appearance and demeanor, felon, vicious, parroting puppet, ex-district attorney Nassau County, with no private law experience, detested by all factions, in spite of this, solely because of his many year secret gangsterization and crucifixion of me, this negroidic, low, mafionic, deadly, black Frank Gelata was then immediately and unprecedentedly and repeatedly, rapidly promoted in spite of tremendous opposition to the present position of second highest state judgeship solely through gangster computer god manipulation. Can I just say, too, that whoever the voice actor is that had to read these lines, not only does he have the voice down to a fucking T, but this is so crazy. The fact that he can say it so easily, so easily, is a real skill. It reminds me a lot of Ted Jesus Christ God. That's the level we're at when he's talking about the mafiotic, negroidic, computer mafia God. As additional evidence, during the last week of my within-mentioned month-long, worse-than-a-farce Nazi court criminal trial in Nassau County Court, 1958, where dwarfed felon gangster parroting puppet rectum lapper sodomist Judge William Sullivan's ball of fat felon slot wife, she, as planned, sat in the front row, repeatedly stripping her overclothes and completely pulling up her dress and slip and pulling aside her old-fashioned pink bloomers in order to display her anus, her conch. She repeatedly gesticulated and whispered, I'll give it to you to suck. Finish him. <laughs> I, he's, writing this to, he's writing this to the judge. This dude is writing the judge to tell him his wife is a whore that was displaying her asshole to him saying, I'll give it to you to suck. <laughs> That's so good! ...calculated and whispered, I'll give it to you to suck. Finish him. Her husband, dwarfed, felon, gangster, parroting, puppet, rectum, lapper, sodomist, Judge William Sullivan, flushed-faced in repeated open sodomistic displays, stuck out his tongue, wiggling it, chuckling to her. You hangman rope, gangster, felon, parroting, puppet, scum on top playboys can watch my Frankenstein eyesight television playback of this felonious, lowly sodomistic display by the felon, sodomist, Judge William Sullivan, and his lowly felon slut wife during my trial in Nassau County Court. Your fucking slut wife. I also like, this is the age before the internet, so all his mind control, it's not done through computers, it's done through the radio. Every, every, they're controlling him with radio waves. It's, it's like a history, it's a historical version of crazy. That's, I love this shit. This dude wrote so much stuff.
court. After my worst than Nazi court criminal conviction crucifixion, for years in poverty I suffered hopeless, jobless, character assassination and isolation in this low, deadly nigger town. I was the repeat target victim of this gangster government's gangsterization and undetectable extermination attempts to shut me up forever with my secrets. Then, in December 14th, the 17th, 1965, I attempted to escape this worst mongrel gangster communist country to return to the Slovenic Polish land of my forefathers. Instead, in a gangster staged parroting puppet deadly conspiracy, I was flown from Kennedy New York Airport at night to a small distance St. Lawrence River estuary snowbound small airport under the guise that I was in Warsaw, Poland. Immediately many, many things proved this to me, including the two big white asbestos shingled hangars with the large Braniff Airways signs on their sidewalls, in addition to the many blurted statements I solicited from the many CIA deadly gangsters, the assassins of me, the many, many parroting puppets all around me. I, could you just, could you imagine yourself as a judge, right? And you're sitting there and you're reading the morning mail and this dude writes you a letter to say, hey, first off, your wife's a fucking whore, all right? Keep showing me your asshole and court wants me to suck it. Secondly, you're a communist nigger. <laughs> you, you work for the Frankenstein parodying puppet CIA gangster deadly controlled mafia gods. I know what's up. Thirdly, you can't trick me. When you put me on that plane flight, I know I wasn't in Poland. You, you put up a sign. You put up a sign that said, Welcome to Poland, but it was in English. That's how I know you're fucking with me. I demanded an immediate flight back to Kennedy New York Airport. Instead, I was held captive all night later in chains. I refused both, all food and requests I go to sleep. Then CIA police gangsters pretending to be Polish police with no identification beat me bloodily. Later, while my return trip 707 Boeing jet airliner was being serviced for my return trip, I quickly walked into the airplane and saw a CIA gangster with a small electric hairdryer type blower pumping deadly poison nerve gas smoke into secret compartments apartments under the ashtrays in the arms of the chairs where later I was ordered to sit in the airplane full of CIA underlings, passengers, my assassins, who giggled as they watched me dragged in chains by the airplane by the gangster CIA police gangsters. These deadly gangster CIA passengers, they pressed the frontal panel of the ashtrays in the seat arms to release the deadly poison nerve gas. <laughs> I fucking love this. God, he is insane. <laughs> you know, Terry referred to him as glow-in-the-dark CIA niggers. This dude's taking it to another level. All right? These are zombie underlings of the CIA that are pumping nerve gas into his fake flight to fake Poland. All because he saw a judge's wife shake her asshole at him. Smoke. Indubitably, all of the others deadly CIA underling gangsters aboard this staged return flight, they all had taken the top secret poison nerve gas antidote pill, immuning them from the deadly poison nerve gas smoke. Deadly poison nerve gas smoke was sprayed at me from cigars, cigarettes, and even from ballpoint pens, also from the wig of a woman sitting next to me, even the Swiss cheese type ice cubes. You know what really bums me out about this? People have narrated his stuff, but nobody's ever made a fucking animation out of it. Like, I, I, I want to see his stories turned into a fucking anime. I want to watch an animation of Francis E. Declan Esquire sitting on a passenger flight as zombie CIA mafia underlings pump nerve gas in his face from their cigars and cigarettes. We're evaporating into poison nerve gas smoke in all the free drinks. I got up and went to the rear of the airplane by the rear exit door with a large push-up handle. My Frankenstein brain thoughts broadcasting radio disclosed my intentions. Immediately, the loudspeakers screamed that the flight was over and that our airplane was already preparing to land at Kennedy New York Airport. You hangman rope sneak gangster playboy scum on top know these facts are true, not only from taking part in such undetectable exterminations, but also you chicanerous, demented, felon, parroting puppet gangsters can watch my Frankenstein eyesight television playback of all these horrible, terrifying, deadly events. When I returned home, Joseph I. Deck, my only brother and deadly felon, murderer, and assassin spy agent against me for this gangster government, he beat me repeatedly, cursing me that I... <laughs> when I got home, my brother beat the shit out of me. I got home from my fake flight to Poland to tell him about judges and their wife's winking assholes. And when I walked in my front door, my brother beat the shit out of me.
I was not exterminated by all of the poison nerve gas smoke and that I did the impossible in that I kept awake for three days and refused all food in order to prevent my sneak extermination. In accordance with the completely gangster computer god concocted and manipulated statutory laws, one of your gangster court's requisite duties is to automatically rehear my said appeal case because it has been brought to your attention, you hangman rope gangsters, that my entire life was destroyed by you co-conspirators through the gangster government perjured and fabricated criminal conviction of me in order to fulfill the demands of your communist god, the worldwide mad deadly gangster computer god. You deadly parroting puppet felon gangsters already know that I have been and am an innocent primary victim and target for destruction and extermination because I am a menace to your gangster computer god and that I am worse than defenseless without the gangster protection and control of the gangster Frankenstein ear. He says, he says gangster so much. Gangster Computer God Communist Conspiracy. I know what's up. I've seen your commie computer god. You atheist dog. You, you think sending my brother to beat me is going to keep me silent? Never. Phone radio. I stand alone against you demented, deadly gangster parroting puppets, namely this worst gangster communist computer god controlled gangster government. Before I'm exterminated by you hangman rope underlings, I demand a reply. October 21st, 1976. Francis E. Deck, Esquire. Addendum. I personally filed my maximum conviction appeal brief in 1961 with the chief clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court, Washington, D.C. The chief clerk, he knew me. He sneeringly grabbed my thick, strong, homemade appeal brief, and then he attempted to rip it up in desperation. The chief clerk of the U.S. Supreme Court ripped off the cover of my appeal brief. Miraculously, I stopped him without a deadly scene to me. Then, filing my ripped appeal brief, the felon, another co-conspirator with the nine hangman rope gangster judges, the chief clerk, in cowardly fear, in staccato speech and gesticulation he confessed to me mr deck everyone is in on this one against you even the attorney general <laughs> everybody's out to get you we're totally gonna fuck your day up deck you can't stop us the communist computer god is coming to get you try to tell people see what they say okay let me let me let me find the other one Oh, the only hope for the future. I'm pretty sure this is the one. <laughs> this has a line in it that is just the most amazing thing I've ever heard anybody say. So let's let's give this one a listen. Look at the picture. See the skull. The part of bone removed. The master race Frankenstein radio controls. The brain thoughts broadcasting radio. The eyesight television. The Frankenstein earphone radio. The threshold brainwash radio. The latest new skull reforming to contain all Frankenstein controls. Even in thin skulls of white pedigree males. Visible Frankenstein controls. The synthetic nerve radio directional antenna loop. Make copies for yourself. There is no escape from from this worst gangster police state using all of the deadly gangster Frankenstein controls. In 1965, CIA gangster police beat me bloody, dragged me in chains from Kennedy New York Airport. Since then, I hide in forced jobless poverty, isolated, alone in this low, deadly nigger town old house. The brazen, deadly gangster police and nigger puppet underlings spray me with poison nerve gas from automobile exhausts and even lawnmowers. Deadly assaults, even in my yard, with knives even bricks and stones, even deadly touch taben or electric shock flashlights, even remote electronically controlled around corners projection of deadly touch tarantula spiders, or even bloody murder accidents to shut me up forever with a sneak undetectable extermination, even with trained parroting puppet assassins in maximum security insanity prison for writing these unforgivable truths until my undetectable extermination, I, Francis E. Deck Esquire, 29 Maple Avenue, Hempstead, New York. I stand alone against your mad, deadly, worldwide, conspiratorial, gangster, computer god communism with wall-to-wall, -wall deadly gangster protection, lifelong sworn conspirators, murder incorporated, organized crime, the police and judges, the deadly sneak parroting puppet gangsters using all the gangster deadly Frankenstein controls, these hangman rope sneak deadly gangsters, the judges and the police trick 
trap, rob, wreck, butcher, and murder the people to keep them terrorized in gangster Frankenstein earphone radio slavery for the communist gangster government and con artist parroting puppet gangster playboy scum on top. The secret work of all police in order to maintain a communist closed society. The same worldwide mad deadly communist gangster computer god that controls you as a terrorized gangster Frankenstein earphone radio slave parroting puppet. You are a terrorized member of the master race worldwide four billion eyesight television camera guinea pig communist gangster computer god master race you're living, thinking, mad, deadly, worldwide, communist, gangster, computer god, secret, overall plan, worldwide, living death, Frankenstein slavery, to explore and control the entire universe with the endless stairway to the stars, namely, the man-made inside-out planets with nucleonic-powered speeds much faster than the speed of light. Look up and see the gangster computer god concocted new fake starry sky. The worldwide completely controlled deadly degenerative climate and atmosphere through the new world round translucent exotic gaseous envelope which the worldwide communist gangster computer god manipulates through countless exactly positioned satellites, the new fake phony stars in the synthetic sky for ages before Frankenstein controls apoidic niggers interbreedable with apes and no alphabet, not even numerals. I fucking love that's so there's something about this there's something about this line that just it's amazing. Niggers interbreedable with apes had no alphabet, not even numerals. <laughs> it's just so good. Not even numerals. Oh, Declan's going in hard. He's not buying your conspiracy. Mind controls apoidic niggers interbreedable with apes had no alphabet, not even numerals. Slavery conspiracy over 300 years ago. Ideally tiny brain apoidic nigger gangster government eyesight TV gangster spy cameras. Computer god new world order degeneration with gifted with all gangster Frankenstein controls nigger deadly gangster parroting puppets or nigger brain programmed robots deadly ape Frankenstein machines <laughs> degenerative disease to eternal Frankenstein. Einstein slavery overall plan through one world communism top secret code word meaning worldwide absolutely helpless and hopeless simple language mongrel mulatto apoidic niggers worldwide systematic instant plastic surgery butchery murder fake aging so all people are dead or useless by age 70 done at night to you as a Frankenstein slave parroting puppet gangster slave now even you know I am a menace to your worldwide mad deadly communist gangster computer god therefore I must go to extermination before I am exterminated by this gangster computer god concocted and controlled worst mongrel organized crime murder Incorporated gangster communist government. I hand you the secrets to save the entire human race and the entire universe. Donate money or even a manual typewriter to me for your only hope for a future. For your a manual donate money or even and the entire universe. Donate money or even a manual typewriter to me for your only hope for a future. Oh, God, that is good shit. Oh, if this dude was around when the internet was going, holy shit, would he be huge. <laughs> he would blow Alex Jones out of the fucking water. Oh, he would be, he would be so big. This guy would be so goddamn big. Oh, yes, and the... The voice actor's fantastic job on that shit, by the, excuse me, by the way. Okay. Even a manual typewriter. God, I love it. Just so insane. Something amazing about that. Uh, let me read my, my super berries here. Kaiser Split Dick. I think we need to rename Nigger Nerd to Nigger Puppet Underling. Also, we need a Franklin E. Desk, or uh, Declan Esquire emote. I don't even... I think there's one or two photos of him. I don't know how to make a really good emote for Franklin, but I wouldn't mind putting one up. Uh, Mad K. Lock, what's worse, deadly Frankenstein gangster communist or CIA glow-in-the-dark niggers? I don't know, chat. You're going to have to tell me. What do you find to be more terrifying? Press 1 for deadly Frankenstein gangster communist. 
Press 2 for CIA glow-in-the-dark niggers. HDR to you. Check out Ross's Megary from a couple of days ago. It's comedy. Um, you know what? We'll take a look at it, sure. From Millipiece86, Gangster Government, Rise Up. From Sweetie Squad, D number 1488. Caleb LL Show is a pause-filled dumpster bench that makes his earnings sucking nutty change out of gay men's assholes. From Kite Killer, since you wanted a furry religion, have a Russian cult. You know what? We'll take a look at the Russian cult after Ross's mega fuck up. Reno Mills, Jim, I hate my life in this winter hellscape and look forward at least to spreading or spending uh, morning love, joy, and mirth across the internet. A few more here. Mr. Curry, get ready to take a cert. How are you this morning, nigger nerd? I'm doing, I'm doing all right. From Nautilic, nothing like trying to dodge ragheads who slide through red lights at 20 miles an hour with the brakes mashed to the floor. Ethnostate when? Now we've got, I'll read two more here and then jump to some videos. From fucking in the coffee. Recommendation of another funny doc tickled about the fucked up world of competitive tickling? <laughs> what? What the fuck is competitive tickling? Ah, oh, that's already caught my attention. Chat, do you want to watch a trailer? If it's any good, maybe we'll watch the full movie. Why does competitive tickling sound like some degenerate shit that's an excuse to have your fetish play out without people being able to call you out for being a pervert? All right, let's let me get the trailer for competitive tickling set up, and let's see what kind of fucking weird, goofy shit this is. We're all over the map today, but why not? Uh, this is the. Are we good? Yep. This is the film trailer for Tickled from 2016. Um, I don't know if I'm familiar with this, but let's take a look. I can't say I've ever interviewed anyone that looks like you before. <laughs> really? I've made a career out of looking at the weird and bizarre side of life. Uh, yeah. oh, it's quite a kick. So when I discovered a strange video online, I knew I'd found my next story. CET, competitive endurance tickling group we got here. Competitive endurance tickling. Okay, no. This is code word for sexual kink, right? Like, I'm not alone in this. There's no reason. There's no reason a group of guys. Look at these twinks. There's no reason these guys are in a sport called competitive tickling. This is like, this is basically how to be gay without saying I'm gay. We got here. Competitive endurance tickling. <laughs> it was one of the strangest sports I've seen. So I told Jane O'Brien Media, I'd like to do an interview. Instead of getting a yes or no, I got this. Association with a homosexual journalist is not something we will embrace. Shame on you. Little gay Kiwis. <laughs> The gay tickling competition told the fucking journalist to get fucked because he's a queer? <laughs> what? Oh, I bet you didn't see that coming, did you, BuzzFeed? Oh, I'm going to do a story on the gay tickling cult. <laughs> they wrote you to tell you to jump off a rooftop. <laughs> That's amazing. Association with a homosexual journalist is not something we will embrace. Shame on you. Little gay Kiwis. Regards, Jane O'Brien Media. It was hard to take the insult seriously, considering the sport did seem slightly <laughs> gay. This tickling wormhole was getting deeper. I mean, obviously, it's just for fun. Is it just for fun? It's tickling. You know, I was young at the time, didn't think nothing of it. And I was like, $2,000, that's going to be cool. I mean, imagine being a teenager. Is this dude going to tell us? <laughs> is he going to? Is this like a sexual assault documentary? Are we going to have a bunch of dudes that got tricked in the tickling? <laughs> I feel so dirty. All these men on the internet said they'd pay me two thousand dollars to tickle me, and I had I had to take showers for a week afterwards. And all I could see were the fat men touching my feet and armpits. Boy, she would just keep sending them whatever they wanted. She offered my one buddy a Chevy Cruze and thirty thousand dollars. The money's endless. This tickling empire is way bigger than we ever imagined. They have tickle cells all over the U.S. They're everywhere. And at some point, these boys say, I'm done. The thing that she hates the most. Oh, look at that face. Oh, go back to this. Oh, that is a face that screams, I've made some mistakes. That's that's the face you make when you've committed to something and you instantly realize that it was not a good idea. <laughs> He's chained up to a mat as gay men mount and tickle him. And it's filmed for the world to see. He's thinking to himself, shit. 
was two thousand dollars was it really worth it thing that she hates the most was no it was like a bomb went off your phone number and your personal information are entirely known and subject to public oh wait 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 people are saying it's fake but hilarious if, if this is fake i don't see that okay that just killed it for me i thought it was a real journalist finding this retarded shit and it was it was some weird subculture but if it's fake it's this instantly becomes boring and uninteresting is this fake or is this real this is a mockumentary okay well we've wasted our time you got me really excited really excited for something that's complete bullshit instantly instantly becomes not fun i'm sorry chat i thought i thought it was legitimate uh, now people are saying it's real is it real or is it fake you know what i'm gonna look it up right now what is it called tickled 216 all right let's I'm going to look it up. It should have an IMDb entry or something. Let's see if, if this is a mockumentary or if this is an actual documentary. Uh, Tickled is a 2016 New Zealand documentary about competitive endurance tickling and videos featuring it and the practices of those producing the videos. Okay. The film explores the possible legal and ethical issues of certain individuals making the videos and it has itself been the subject of legal challenges. A follow-up, The Tickle... The Tickle King?! Aired on HBO in Feb. There's a sequel? There's a fucking sequel called The Tickle King. <laughs> what? Uh, this was kickstarted, intended primarily to cover the cost of uh, crew traveling to the U.S. for a week. Uh, the film was screened. Okay. Reception link, response from the documentaries. And the movie. All right, let's see. After the premiere. Uh, D'Amato attended the 18th screening and said, what did he say? You need to lawyer up. You need to get criminal con or counsel. This film is a piece of garbage full of lies. Release the audio tapes that show you're lying. And if you don't release it, it's the same as admitting you're lying. One of the subjects of the Tickle King and the Tickle Ring filed a $40 million defamation and slander lawsuit. Uh, did he win? <laughs> he died! <laughs> what? The dude that sued the film company when he said for the film was slander died before it went anywhere. The filmmakers posted a statement on their website saying they were incredibly sad to learn of it and asked that his death be treated with respect. Oh, okay, you know what? We're going to, we'll watch it. The shocking truth, uncomfortable, pursued to the fullest, and the result riveting investigative journalism. I don't see anywhere in here that says that this is a mockumentary. It, 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 I think this is, I think this is legitimate. I don't know. I, is there, uh, let me, let me try this. Oh, let me go on IMDb. Maybe that's. Yeah. I, it, okay. Interesting. So, okay. You know what? I, I don't think it's fake. I don't, I don't think it's a mockumentary. I'm not seeing it saying that anywhere. Uh, let's just finish watching the trailer, I guess. Ah, uh, there we go. Location on the internet. All hell broke loose. All of a sudden, these videos are on YouTube, Vimo, and every other site you could imagine. Send him emails to the high school that I coach at. What do you think your mother's going to think about this? <laughs> We're shooting a documentary. I understand it's, uh, what you think you're doing. If you want to stick your head in the blast first, do it. Jane O'Brien's a ghost. Okay, let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's look at... Uh, it said HBO did a follow-up. Let's see if we can find what HBO says. <laughs> what was it? The Tickle King? All right, let's see. The Tickle King is a short follow-up to our 2016 feature. Uh, Tickled, if you haven't seen it, please find it. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, no, it's just about the premiere. I don't, I don't know, Chad. I really don't know which way this is going to go. I'm going to table it for now. If somebody can prove to me it's real, we'll watch the fucking movie. But right now, I, I don't know. I honestly, God, don't know. Uh, from Sheepdog Speaks 1776, everyone who always asks, who is Jim, but never how is Jim? How are you doing, boss? Asian influenza gone. Yeah, no, I feel fit as a fiddle. From Weston, just got back from the gym feeding my spawn, and my best internet friend is streaming. Going to be a good goddamn day. And finally... This man wants a furry religion, but
But I think that's the one we just I was just talking about. If it's a comedy stand up routine, it's not it's not interesting. It's just it's him goofing around, making fun of shit. Yeah, live comedy, the great but, giraffe. Uh yeah, I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna skip that one. Uh, somebody said Ross Megary. And then we've got something about a Russian cult. So we'll check out Ross first and then we'll go look at the Russian cult. Well, okay, no, no, okay. Okay, apparently, uh, again, for anybody not in the loop, Ross was the dude that wanted to look at little kids in the bathtub, uh, the one that claimed that he worked at an elementary school. Uh, apparently, two of the people that surround him ended up having some legal issues. One guy went to jail for molesting his, I think it was nine-year-old sister. I think he got, 20, he got like 25 years to life for molesting his sister. And another dude um, recently admitted to, like, watching child porn with his father. So... Ross is uh, like the epicenter of Spurgery and CP, but apparently he flipped out. So let's take a look. So I, I've, I've, I've looked up the law, both in California and in Massachusetts, where both of them live. It is, it is a two party consent state, which means that every single party in, in the call or recording or conversation has to be uh, privy to the, um, conversation being recorded and every every single person has to consent to it okay did anybody timestamp this when does he freak out because i don't know if i want to okay let's see longer version screams for like 10 minutes and gets kicked out of the hotel he was staying in this is insanity at its finest okay i guess he flips the fuck out let's listen recorded and so i told roz you live in california it is illegal to record someone without their knowledge and such or that's why consent. i took it down you, you, no, you took, no, it, down. took it down. I took it down, took it down, took it down, took it down, took it down. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 I took you it down, I took it down, I took it down. I'll fucking kill you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I beat him. You, you took it. Oh, that's our boy Ross, all right. In fact, let me just, uh, I'll give you a quick refresher before we listen to him spurg the fuck out like a retard. Uh, this would be... This is Ross, for anybody that needs a quick primer. So, basically, I'm, uh, first of all, basically, I'm, uh, basically, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, basically, and the most, first of all, basically, I'm, uh, I have to say is that I'm, uh, I don't know, first of all, I'm, uh, how come, like, I'm, uh, I, yeah, sorry, I'm with autism, I don't know how to use words that well, so, I'm, uh. Okay, so, that's what you're dealing with, that's the level Ross is sitting at. So let's go back to listening to him spurg the fuck out. Well, you took it down because she, <laughs> she threatened you. <laughs> Holy shit, he's screaming so loud. He's blowing out the audio on his own microphone. Like, he's he's screeching so loud. He's reeing at such a level that it, it the microphone can't even handle it. <laughs> Uh, like when you, when you know he's when you know you're right. This is... Yeah, no, no, Roz, you you took it down. Oh, Cactus, shut up, Roz, you, you you took it down because she threatened legal action against you. It's not because it's illegal. It's not because it's illegal. You, oh, hold on, you, if I may redirect for a moment. You he didn't what? take it down because it was illegal. I told him it was yeah, fucking you know stupid wrong, to have you know him in the and he needed it down. No, hold, well, no, Susan. Pursuit. She threatened legal action against Ross, and I, I know, I know yeah. this for sure. No, Ross yeah. is on the run. He, he, yeah, that's she's right. that. yeah. Can you hear this? Like he's blowing the microphone out. I think whoever had him in this Discord chat had to probably put it where his he's muted or his volume is lessened, so they don't go deaf from him screaming. The boss did not take it down because he didn't take it down for long. He took it down because he knew he could face, he, he knew he could face some kind of protection. <laughs> Roz, you're on, you're unmuted. Use him. Use his ass. Roz, 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 you know you're in big trouble. <laughs> That is like some, that's nuclear level autism. That's like, 
top tier, grade A. <laughs> it's like, what is that Japanese beef that's super expensive? Ross is the autism version of that. He's that fat, uh, grain-filled cow that's been hobbled so it just gets big and marbled. That's Ross's variant of autism. Shut up, cow! I will murder you! I will marry you! It's fucking Susan! It's fucking cold blood! I will fucking shit! I will fucking take <laughs> This is what an alien from Alien vs. Predator sounds like. I... <laughs> I bro, hope bro. Think Ross is coming to kill me. I'm stoked. Bro, bro. Dude, bro, bro, and this is why he got thrown out of his place in the first place. Now, that is true. I can't speak to a lot of things involving Ross because it's so up in the air, but Grandma did throw his ass out of the house. Uh, remember, Ross is the one where his grandmother actually came into the room while he was on Discord and yelled at him because his balls smelled so bad it stunk the whole house up. And she begged him to wash his genitals because he smelled horrendous. And eventually she got so sick of his autism, she sent him to live in a group home. I, I, I figured you on that, though. We'll see. God damn. Uh, this is how he reacted when I brought up if, that he had a girlfriend on Roblox. Oh, yeah, Ross, oh, what's that about? Cool. Are you enjoying... The uh, can oh, you guys keep talking about the girlfriend on Roblox? Ross, do you have a girlfriend on Roblox? Dude, 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 dude I, I, I think his hand would have to take care of him. Like, right now as we speak. I hope so. You know what, you know what, fuck it. You know what, coat one. You know what, coat one. You know what... Yeah! <laughs> he sounds like, his screaming and screeching sounds like a porn star that's trying too hard. You know, like the girl that's on her first day on set and she doesn't know how to fake an orgasm really well? That's that's what his screeching sounds like. A really bad attempt at sounding like she's coming. You know what, coat one. You know what, coat one. You know what... Yeah! Also, I, I think this is like a compilation, because in the video description, it says the longer version is here. So I think whoever put this together picked the select moments. See. Ross. Ross, do you celebrate Mother's Day or do you celebrate Father's Day? You got me. I triggered Ross quite a bit. Dude, Steve, we like you know. Steve, thank you for being enemies with this guy. Steve, <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Ross, Ross. I'll burn your fucking orphanage and I'll kill you all. <laughs> oh, Ross is going in hard. I'm gonna murder you people. I'm gonna burn your fucking house down. I'm gonna kill your parents. <laughs> he's so violent. He gets so angry and wants to kill. This is he's been consistent in this for years. Every time he gets really angry, out come the death threats. He said my mom. Okay, good talk. Good talk, Ross. Steve, Steve, listen to me. Listen to me for a second. Uh, if, this is... if please upload that vid the video of this fucking bullshit. At least give me and King some credit credit for fucking allowing you to fucking record this shit. Please. God damn as much as I don't like you guys, you guys are welcome. <laughs> I'm just I'm just here to piss off Ross right now. Could you imagine? No wonder his parents left him. Like, could you, kids throw tantrums, right? But Ross is so autistic, and his voice never gives out. Could you imagine dragging this sped to, like, KB Toys, or Kids R Us, or whatever the fuck it is? And he throws an absolute meltdown. 
in the toy aisle because you won't buy him some fucking thing. Like he wants a Power Ranger or something. And that's the volume he goes to. Imagine the embarrassment as a parent having that thing screeching like that in public. Us. Us. Hey, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Hi, Russ. Russ. How you doing? <laughs> Russ. Russ, you're the virgin and cheated and Steve Code is the Chad. <laughs> Vir- hey, virgin hey, Russ, Russ versus Chad Steve Code. Can someone make like a green picture? I, I can't even dog dog code no Hey one. hey Roz, uh you should I'll fucking kill you! I'll kill you! Cactus, I'll fucking kill you! I hope you make cakes fucking die, die! I hope you fucking die! Fuck you! Kill you! Go fucking kill yourselves! Fuck you! He's 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 straight up. Look at that. Look at what he's got user volume set to. That's like almost mute. Ross is so loud. He almost has him muted, and he's still coming through at that volume. Oh, imagine being in Discord with his sped. And you've got your headphones on, and he just lets go with his nuclear screeching. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I can't get the I can't get the image of a fake porn star trying to do uh, a fake orgasm. He gets that really high pitched lady voice and just starts going for it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I swear to God, it sounds like for, fake orgasm noises from a porn star. Oh my God! Your dad got back to me. He said he's gonna do the interview with me. How, how do you think about that? Russ. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Your dad's, your dad's gonna expose you in the interview, Roz. <laughs> I can't even fucking talk without. Shut up! Shut up! Roz, do you have any. Shut <laughs> up! He stopped using language. Like, he's reached the level of Spurg overload, where he's just forsaken using English words. And he's now just devolved into primal screaming. Russ, you know what? Wait, can I speak to Russ? Russ, you gonna kill me. I'll log more. I fucking won't! I'll kill you all, you fucking go right fucking now! I will kill you all! I will fucking kill you! Yeah! Dude, this is what a Zerg from StarCraft sounds like. Dude, mean. Wait, somebody in chat said, is that what they said? Ross reads for 10 minutes and gets. Oh, <laughs> this, this is good. Kicked out of the hotel he was staying in. Oh, the poor bastards at Motel 6. Could you. You could hear this probably through. Eight different levels of walls. You could be across the building trying to get sleep at like 11 at night and then hear this shit. Fever. Right? Last, I thought last night was bad, but Champion. this is yeah, this is Hi, Roz. 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 Russ. Russ. Welcome to the Allah snack bar. Welcome to the jungle. What the fuck? Russ. Russ, 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 if your mother was still alive, would she be crying her eyes out? Yeah, 
Jeff, if you don't stop, I'm gonna whip out my dick and slap you with it. Ross, are you are you gonna put? Are you gonna, are you gonna be on the streets now? John. You hit me. Shit. How you doing that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> send, dude, send this to Jim. Oh, type your. <laughs> dude, bro, bro, give me a shout out. I, I I don't know if this recording has him getting thrown out of the motel. Is that in this? Will you, man? Is that someone talking to him in the background? Yeah, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, stop. It's it's the it's the hotel and it's the hotel staff. Stop. <laughs> oh, everybody, everybody mute. Everyone, guys. Oh, he dude, he left. Oh. I guess I guess that's the end of it. I I don't know how long the full version is. Let's see what the full version was. Oh, I. Oh, have I watched this? Maybe I watched some of this. Uh, let's see. Full version is 33 minutes. If you guys, I guess, want to watch it, it's up on uh, Brune's YouTube channel. It looks like this just happened four days ago. So <laughs> there's your latest Ross update. I, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know if he's currently on the streets after getting thrown out of Motel 6 for being retarded. <laughs> it's, it's a mystery, apparently. All right, let's see. What was the other video? Somebody linked to a Russian cult. Let me see if I can find that video. I just saw it too a minute ago here. All right, Russian cult. Let's 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 see if this is gonna bear fruit. Uh, copy. All right, there we go. Uh... Oh well, we're already off to a good start. Russian cult worships female cartoon character. <laughs> okay. Hey, if you're going to do a cult, do it right. Let's Danny Phantom this shit up. All right. Uh, let's let's see. Maybe maybe there are more people out there who want to be transsexual ghost girls. Find out really quick. I'm sure we can all agree Gadget Hackwrench is an adorable character. But do you like her enough to worship her like a goddess? If you've never heard of the cute gadget hack wrench, she is a Disney character from the Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers cartoon series. This female mouse was the team's pilot, mechanic and inventor. <laughs> oh, please let this be real. That's all pretty impressive, but she's hardly worthy of her very own cult, don't you think? Well, believe it or not. A group of Russian fans of Gadget Hackwrench have created a new religion, with the above-mentioned cartoon character as the idol. They pray to posters of her, gather to talk about how incredibly great she is, compose songs about her, and spread stickers of Miss Hackwrench, wherever they go. It's pretty unbelievable, but if Maradona has his own cult, why couldn't Gadget Hackwrench? Here's what some of her worshippers think of their rodent goddess. She is the divine being, the most untouched and perfect sibling of the great God on earth. Why I love her? It's a stupid question, how could I not love the goddess? She is strict, cute, optimistic and her level of technical knowledge is unachievable for a mortal being. And this is a comment I found on English Russia, to prove all of the above is absolutely true. I'm Russian and my English isn't very well. I've found one pick with gadget in web. This this feels like a way for Russians to fuck with people. Like let's let's take a couple of pictures with a stupid mouse character and get a body pillow and see if we can convince Westerners that we worship a shitty what is a rescue rangers character? A couple of days ago, on a popular entertainment site, with a little article of who she is and her story. From that moment I just fell in love with her. I've watched the cartoon when I was some about five or six years old, but even now I can't remember something from it except the tune, and I'm not interested in it now. But Gadget crashed me into pieces. Her beauty, intelligence, kindness, mixed with fix- Yeah, I'm getting like a bola chan vibes from this. I think this is just them straight up fucking with people. <laughs> this is them having a little bit of fun to see who will buy it if this is there's any validity to it. It's just a bunch of drunk Russians trying to see how stupid how stupid English-speaking uh, Westerners are and how much shit they can push onto them. Uh, Hemlock Hangover. Ross sounds like the retarded love child of Phil Anselmo and High Pitch Eric from Sargon of No Kid. 
Hey, Jim, you want something really fucked up? Con <laughs> competitive snuff stuffing. I don't even know if we want to go down that road. From Fatty Cat. Hello, Mr. Jim. I'm glad you're doing the 40K stream with Mr. Nick. If I send you an essay on my hypothesis of how the Emperor will be resurrected, could you talk about it with Mr. Nick? I'll pay you more if you would like. I don't know what you're... <laughs> you want to send me an essay on 40K, which already makes me a little nervous. If you want to send me a summary of the basic idea of what you're talking about, I'll bring it up with him, sure. From Princess Leana. Is Ross secretly the elder god of autism? If so, holy shit, we're all dead. From Wild Goose, Barbara Walters, crew for life. Reno Miles, well, I guess I live in a radio-controlled Frankenstein gangsterized nigger brain puppet state. Kaiser Split Dick, I think we need to rename nigger nerd to nigger puppet underling. Also, we need a Franklin E. Declan Esquire emote. All right, I think I am caught up. Yeah, I'm going to, I don't know, man. Some of this fake shit, it, it's really hard to tell. The tickled stuff, maybe that's real. If HBO's doing a follow-up, if there's nothing saying that it's an outright mockumentary, uh, Ross being retarded, I'm I'm fairly certain, is on the level. Uh, but the mouse cult from Russia, I'm pretty sure is them fucking with idiots. Uh, it's pretty good. <laughs> to see how many people will believe they worship a mouse? Why not? Oh, I see somebody. African Airplane Compilation. Well, you know, I've seen that one before. Where they... Have you seen the African Bicycle? Which is they, like, they take a fucking tree. They fell a tree. And <laughs> then they carve out wheels. And s stick, like, a twig between them. And make that into their bicycle. Oh. Well, I mean, we could look at... <laughs> we could look at African... I wonder if somebody's made a compilation. African Inventions. But no, they're just gonna. That's gonna. Okay, how about Africa? Oh, how about woke African? Oh, well, we've got. Maybe this is the video he was gonna link. Hoinand, good evening. No, no. Let's try woke African inventions. That probably will give us better results. Buzzfeed video. People try to live with black inventions for. Oh, without black. Never mind. I thought that actually said people try to live with black people for seventy-two hours. I was gonna say that's a little risky for Buzzfeed. Not something I'd expect them to dive into as the topic. Uh, okay, African, <laughs> I don't know what the name of it is, though. African bike, I guess? Invention. Let's see if we can find that fucking, oh, here we go. Wooden bikes take off. Oh, yeah, it's up on Al Jazeera. I'll, I'll show you this. I, I, we've all seen the airplanes and the submarines. Here's the awesome African bikes that have been invented. Uh, there we go. It takes concentration and a steady hand. To safely ride this giant wooden. <laughs> Take a look at the high, uh, the the high level. All right, the superior engineering that's going on here, as he's taken a fucking log, and attached a couple of wheels to it. And scooter down a hill. It's called a chukudu, and it's unique to the hilly areas around Goma in eastern Congo. Mutabazi or Gaston. You know the sign of good wheeled transportation. No shock absorbers, nothing, just a nice bumpy road. Nice bumpy road, just take all the shocks into you. You know, good place to, good place to sit on this uh, death trap, right on the front. Very confident that nothing bad is going to happen when this giant fucking man-sized toothpick impales his ass into a hut. He's carrying one of his friends, but mainly it's used for transporting goods for a fee. The Chikudu has helped many people here. Mock if you want. That shit's impressive. No, it's not. No, this is not actually impressive. There's there's nothing about this which is impressive. I think we've reached the point where if you whittle a bike out of a tree, it's not really that impressive. I'm sorry. I'm not really wowed by it. My father died when I was young, so we didn't have much money. But the Chikudu has given me money. They're used to carry almost anything. This man's bringing timber from the hills into town. Here, a four-piece sofa set is being delivered. It's got several useful features. This bit of rubber at the front provides some suspension. These wooden boards are for wrapping rubber straps and ropes around. They're used to tie the cargo on the back. And on the back wheel here is a brake. This is operated with your foot. So this has uh, attracted some attention. I don't think it's normal. Oh, you know, for some reason, now that I'm watching reporters out in the field doing stupid shit, I wonder, if, can we find that clip of the CNN reporter that goes and meets a cannibal tribe? 
and they talk shit to him because he's a CNN reporter and basically threaten to eat his brain because they hate him. <laughs> Does anybody know the clip I'm talking about? He goes and finds like this, I don't even know where it was. It was Africa or maybe like a, it was like a Aboriginal tribe in Australia, but <laughs> they weren't putting up with his shit. And they're like, shut, they tell him to shut the fuck up and <laughs> say they're going to eat him. People to see a foreigner trying to do this. It's quite bumpy, but it's got tires and suspension. So that takes out some of the bumps. Getting faster now. And I've found the brake. Yeah, let's bring it gently to a stop. Whoa. There we go. Oh, there we go. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. The uh, India Reza Oslin. Okay, let me, let me see if I can find that. That suddenly popped into my head. Uh, and that's a fairly funny clip. <laughs> okay, CNN, brain eating, India. What was the name of the cult? Uh, uh, Aslan. Uh, oh, okay, Aslan. Let's let's try that. Reporter almost eaten by cannibals. Okay, Reza Aslan, host of CNN, eats human brains in a documentary. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Let's let's watch this. Really great reporting, CNN. I'm gonna go hang out with the cannibals, eat some brain, and then have them threaten to kill my ass. That's one of their ways to practice Agor Kriya. I, I came here to um, ask you some questions. Um, no, um, maybe later. Maybe a little bit later. Mm -hmm. He says, the god from cremation, Lord Shiva, he gives them something to eat in form of rotten bones or some kind of human flesh. Thanks. Okay. I almost wonder, you know, we, we when you see a clip like this, you think, okay, uh, these the cannibals are primitive and insane and shit. But I wonder if, like, they're aware of CNN. Do you think they're like, we're crazy and all, but let's kick it up a notch and fuck with this white idiot. Like, let's see how uncomfortable we can make him. I'm going to get this idiot to eat some brains, and then I'm going to make him wear a jawbone necklace, because it'll be funny. And he's such a soy boy bitch, he won't say shit about it. Watch this. Let's see who can fuck with him the most. Come on. Alright. Okay. Maybe I, I'll take this off right now and then... Okay. Just thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Why are people on that side of the river so afraid of the Agori? I see. Um, why, why do you... <laughs> you better shut the fuck up, soy boy, or I'm gonna eat your ass. I love it. I will cut your fucking head off if you keep talking. I see. Um, why, why do you... I feel like this may have been a mistake. Maybe we just This may have been a mistake. I might have made an error in judgment here. Where is security? Do you know where security is? I've got an insane aboriginal who wants to cut my head off and eat me. Can 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 we go back to the hotel now? Like, this may have been a mistake. Maybe we just, like, somebody distracts him and then I just leave. Let's but see where it goes. We wow, what a brave reporter. Did you did you catch that? This little bitch. If I was on the production crew, <laughs> maybe somebody distracts him so I can run away. He wants somebody to be living bait. The CNN reporter, this giant walking pussy, tried to get some low-level fucking grip or some light guy on the production crew to be living bait so he can run away. Be polite. I can be very polite about that. I think you should say. 
अब आपसे हमें एक सवाल Now he says that skull, that's empty, that's hungry. He wants you to feed that. He wants you to make some donation to that. What, what would you like me to? Ah, a char ko thoda kacha kacha thoda. Ha, nahi to hamari kaatu lo, kaatu ke chappu. He says he wants that skull to be filled ah. with alcohol. Okay, actually, I think it's in the boat. So I'll. Would let hey, daru hai likha. Nahi nahi nahi, inko re. उन You know, speaking of drinking, let me, let me see if I can find this. Uh, I believe it should be still up. Uh, I don't even know how you spell it. <laughs> uh, for a while, I was going to do... I, I wanted to do a video about uh, PSAs from around the world. You know, like the don't shit in the street ones from India. But there were a lot of them from Australia telling aboriginals, abos, not to sniff petrol. So, you know, let's let's look at one of the PSAs telling people don't don't sniff gasoline. It's a bad idea. <laughs> They need to make fucking videos about not sniffing gas in Australia. So, let's take a look. Oh, 
Oh, here come the hot fucking lyrics from somebody that obviously has been sniffing petrol. I like how they I like how they rhymed don't be Rama Rama, you don't wanna be caught like Osama. Some fucking sick lyrics in this shit. Did Eminem write this? Hey, you know, just don't. Don't sniff that petrol, okay? Don't be Rama Rama. <laughs> petrol goes in your car. What are you doing? I think, did they have more? They might have more. Oh, oh, let me... Oh, there's another one. There are multiple Don't Be Rama Rama PSA songs. Brothers, sisters. Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. That's the same one. My, my, my mistake. They've got multiple uploads of it. Oh, should we... Is this a road safety PSA about drunk people high off petrol stumbling in front of your fucking car? It doesn't matter if you're on your community or... Oh, I need to find more Australian abo. <laughs> fucking PS... Oh, here we go. I think this might be one we should watch. You know, really putting out the important messages to the community. They, they need to understand these... Hey, don't sniff gasoline. And, you know, here's another one, too. Um, don't sleep on the road. Hey, everybody, don't sleep on the road. Hey, what are you doing? Don't sleep on the road. Oh, come on, Australia, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Don't sleep on the road. Don't sleep on the road! Beautiful. That's a great message. I think everybody, everybody can, enjoy, everybody can agree with. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I can find more. Abo PSAs. I used to have I used to have a whole list of them, uh, but I I didn't save it because I never ended up doing the video. Oh, I know there was more. There's the the uh, there was one where a dude got high off petrol and was just stumbling everywhere. Oh, I can't find it now. That's a shame. That would have been a fun one to watch. Maybe we'll do a a PSA focused uh, stream sometime. Because there's some funny ones from India, uh, from China. Oh, there's the Canadian ones I think where. They're extraordinarily graphic about people scalding themselves with shit. <laughs> people just slipping on stuff and burning their flesh off because they're idiots. Uh, those are good ones, too. Lots of amazing PSAs from around the world, to be honest with you. Oh, my God. Oh, we've got one. Uh, a donation from <laughs> from James O'Shaw Nasty. Just don't. Just don't. From Fatty Caddy. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Jim. I know you were a teacher and all, so you might want a little more, or put a little more effort uh, in than just a simple summary. <laughs> well, I don't want, I don't want to read a fucking thesis. I don't want to read like an essay on uh, how you think he's going to get resurrected. I'm trying to, like, we're going to end up talking about a lot of stuff. So just give me a nice, give me a nice summary. HDRTU. This is what happens when nigga can't steal your bike. Speedrunner getting slapped over Rayman by his mother. We watched that one already. Uh, fucking in the coffee. That was Chibi Necodemics. Or no, that was um, Ultra J-Man or Cloud. It's one of them. From Shootgunner. A 30-second robot video, trust me. All right, well, let's, let's take a look at your 30-second robot video. 
let's see what we've got here. Not as amazing as, uh, you know, the Rama Rama song, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what we got. Here. Okay, this is the uh, video somebody said, trust me, it's worth watching. Let's take a look. <laughs> I'm going to make a nightmare machine using Thomas the Tank Engine's face on a uh, fucking robot spider and give it a high-powered laser. <laughs> Imagine a little fucking army of those on the streets during Halloween. Uh, from Reno Miles, meet Zuckles, and an Aussie spur who got banned from Twitch for having his watchers raid him. I don't even know who this is. Let's take a look. I, I'm not familiar with all these Twitch people, man. That's not my, that's not my thing. Is that... Do you even... Zuckle, what is this? Zuckle's banned from Twitch. So he's banned for something people were saying. How retarded. Apparently Zuckle's had people saying naughty words in his chat, and he got his ass kicked off Twitch. I'd say like a three-minute video. We'll take a look. Is that, do you even call that functioning? Wait, we'll get one of these planes, the cheap, shitty ones. Max seats, passenger seats two. Nigga, 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 nigga. Ah! 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 Turn the sound off. Oh my god. Boys, you got him. I think you got him. That's that's welcome to video games with voice chat. <laughs> hey! Chris, scream scream in chat, scream in game chat so they can't hear this. Me. Yes, get to the side and scream in chat so no one can hear what they're saying. Oh, where are you? At the heli? Yeah, I am. I love getting my anus penetrated. <laughs> Chris, can you come? <laughs> so, what, were they following him around the game talking about gay sex, the Holocaust, and screaming nigger? Is that enough to get you thrown off at Twitch? I'm scream over here now. Talk over them. Child porn isn't good. Out your What? You can't. You've just had uh, someone unflip your vehicle, so I saw it all. So we'll get uh, the vehicle in the garage. Sorry. <laughs> They're fucking with his game. Amazing. I can't hear you. Open the racism. Has he, has he just given up? Look at him. <laughs> He's just sitting there in stunned silence. Has he lost this one? <laughs> Chris, can we go? I'm gonna buy another one. Super. Uh, yes, sir. Cuba, was it you or your mate that bought the heli so that we can restore it? No, that was my own chopper, and now it's gone. So, congrats. I can't hear. 
SHUT THE FUCK UP! Oh, I think it's getting to him. I, I think he's get, they're, they're breaking him in real time. Look at his face. Look at that. That's pure rage. Oh, I need to turn that into an emote. He looks furious. He looks fucking furious. SHUT THE FUCK UP! Oh shit, did he, did he, did he get bit? Oh, <laughs> oh, they fucked him into the dirt! All around me are familiar faces Worn out places Worn out faces Bright and early for the daily races Going nowhere Going nowhere And that's when his career died. Wow, is that easy to get yanked off Twitch? I mean, he, he wasn't even doing anything. <laughs> He's just getting fucked with. People running around talking about underage sex, the Holocaust, and screaming nigger, and he gets yanked down. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't realize it was that easy to get thrown off of Twitch. Like, wow, they, they've really gone uh, above and beyond if you're a Twitch streamer uh, and yanking your ass down immediately. But, oh, he was so fucking mad. There, where's that again? His face contorts in pure rage. SHUT THE FUCK UP! Oh. Well, that's, that's the end. That's the end, boys. They blew his chopper up and got him thrown off Twitch TV. He didn't, he's a good boy, he didn't do nothing. And they still fucked him in the game and off the game. Oh, Zuckles, that is some rough shit. I wonder, yeah, I wonder who decided to fuck with him today. Well, they took him out pretty quick. Oh, man, that's funny. I mean, it's, it's tragic. It's tragic, but it's funny. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, we need to do a stream, I think, dedicated to Twitch support. I, I feel like, I feel like Twitch is getting up to some fucking shenanigans. We need to, we need to watch some of those clips one day. Oh, somebody sent me a, is this an ABO PSA? Wear a damn condom? Uh, well, let's take a look. Robot Video Gym, he does have an army of them, or at least he's got a mini one. Uh, Cyborg Tranny is a massive fag. I, Mr. Mediker, think Cyber Demon is a massive tranny faggot who does a fucking voice. And never be a real woman who should fucking hang themselves. Dot, 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 in Metro. Harsh, harsh super chat. Oh, let's see if this is an actual... <laughs> let's see if this is an actual... Uh, where, where are we here? All right, let's take a look. What the fuck is this? This looks awful. I don't know if I even want to play... This is a PSA from fucking the UK in 95. This this is horrendous. I'm sorry, I'm not playing this. And uh, it ends, okay, I see where we're going. That's very funny, but no. No, I wanted real PSAs. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. All right. Well, this was a, a bit of a shorter stream. It's just the weather's got me. The weather's got Jim sleepy. Oh, he's so tired. So sleepy. I just want to go back and play Metro. I want to go back and play Metro and then wait for the stream me people to email me and say, why did you, why did you read that super chat? Why, why did you read that super chat from Cyber Tranny as a massive fag making fun of Cyber Demon? Now we're getting yelled at. We're getting yelled at because they're dumb enough to think you're the one that said it. <laughs> that'll, that'll lead to some entertainment. Money well spent, Cyber Tranny as a massive fag. Uh, okay, I, you know, I think I'm going to spend today, uh, this afternoon, this evening, I'm going to start finding Twitch clips. If you have Twitch clips of streamers getting banned like that, or of them fucking their computers up, because Twitch support is the best shit that's ever existed, uh, send it to my good friend Mr. Antibully on Twitter, and we will watch a compilation of that tomorrow. You know, fuck, I bet there's, 
probably not just Twitch, right? I, I bet this has happened on YouTube. I bet this has happened on other streaming services. So if you can find any videos, send them over to me. Otherwise, I'm going to spend the day finding my own. Because that was actually... <laughs> I didn't realize he got fucked that hard by people screaming, screaming the Holocaust isn't real at him. Yeah, his ass got yanked down in a three minutes flat. Three minutes flat and he was gone. All right. Let's end this. Let's end this with a happy, upbeat song. <laughs> you know, I know what I know what clip we can end this with. Uh, it's not really a song, but uh, it's good stuff. I think it's good stuff to end it on. Chat, you have a good day today. Uh, tomorrow will be our our uh, fucking with streamers stream, where we watch clips of them losing their shit, because uh, there's good there's good value in that. Well, good morning, chat. Hopefully, you're having a a wonderful day. Again, it's 8,000 below where I am right now, buried under a mountain of snow with nothing to keep me warm other than this can of petrol. I should have listened to the PSA, but <laughs> God help me, it's just so attractive sniffing gasoline. I mean, that song has a hell of a beat and a pretty great hook, but it not as good as the fumes from this gas can. I'm Rama Rama, Rama Rama ing it the fuck up right now. You can't stop me, Aboriginals. I don't listen to Australian PSAs. I get high as fuck off gas fumes. <laughs> they wonder, why does this guy keep coming to the gas station and just sticking his face right into the pump? Oh, well, you, you, know, you haven't lived until you've just inhaled the scent of diesel. You're just right right up in the unleaded section. You've got to be a connoisseur about it. What, what, are you, what grade are you going to go for? What rating? 87, 91, 93? Dare I dream 95, perhaps? Now, today I was going to do Twitch stuff. I'm still kind of collecting that, and by still kind of collecting that, I mean when I turned the stream off yesterday, I went and played Metro for like eight hours and completely forgot. So I thought we could do gang stalking because God knows there's about eight bajillion videos up about it. And maybe go take a look at our gang stalking because that exists. If you ever wanted to see what a maelstrom of paranoia looks like, our gang stalking is the fucking place for you. No, I would just I started off with something nice about a man who believes his ex-wife, now ex-wife of course, uh, was part of the conspiracy. That's why they couldn't stay together. That bitch was in on it. She was in on it and she jerry-rigged jerry his house uh, to keep track of him. But he learned the truth. Kick that bitch to the curb. Not gonna treat me, or you're not gonna trick me, lady. I know what you're up to. I know about covert home harassment of targeted individuals. At least as Michael Barden explains to us. Let me get this all set up. I hope you like the sound of fire alarms going off for no reason. Apparently that evil woman decided to rig his whole house. So fire alarms play at random intervals. I think it's to fuck with his head. We'll, we'll find out. Just get everything set up here. <laughs> okay. And we'll jump right into it. All right, move that over there. Uh, there we go. I think we should be good. I do not, oh, wait, move that so it's a little bigger. Get it as full screen as we can, get chat on there. All right, let's dive into the world of covert home harassment. God, it sounds exciting. I'm sure it's not going to bore us to tears. And then maybe we can find out the wonders of why so many red cars are on the road. What the fuck is up with all the red cars? I don't know. Hopefully he'll drop that drop that information into our laps. That'd be nice. Okay. Let's let's begin our journey into insanity. Take it take it away, buddy. Well, this is a good opportunity to talk about my house being rigged. Uh, at least that's my perception. I moved here about three years ago. To this neighborhood um, my wife at the time my ex-wife now uh, who I believe I don't know did you notice that kind of in the back let me back that up just a little bit <laughs> he's, he's already gone into the bunker phase of his insanity uh, who just starting to stockpile shit for no reason in random rooms always I believe good was a perp gang stalker I love it. My wife is a perp. My wife is a gang stalker. I had to get rid of her. Wow. 
Yeah, what's up with that woman? How does she always know where I am? How does she know so much about me? It's, it's almost like she lives with me. It's like she's inside my head. But obviously the government sent her to keep, keep dabs on me because I'm so dangerous. Uh, she picked this house. Oh, I love it. Great soundtrack. Real got it got a good beat to it. Ear piercing. I love it. Good morning, chat. Wake up. He somehow set off another one. His quest to turn off the fire alarm and he set off another one. <laughs> Is the man radioactive? How do you do that? How do you go to turn the fire alarm off and you set off another one? Oh, he figured it out. Okay. So, like I was saying, uh, when we were searching houses, I was finding a bunch of different places. She was in Oklahoma looking places up online, and uh, she found this ridiculously huge house for uh, $1,300 a month. It's almost unbelievable. Too good to be true. Big place. This is my bedroom. Anyway... I got to this place. I was I was out here looking around for houses by myself. Are these all hats? Did you know? Like, is that how he beats the government? He's got a collection of hats to disguise himself. Driving all over the place, found this house. I walked in. Uh, they gave me the key, so uh, I'd come check it out. Came check this place out. It was ridiculously huge. I never lived in a house this big. Uh, it was not much more than the house I was renting that was like a thousand square feet before that but uh after we were here a while I started noticing a lot of different stuff around here that um didn't make sense like see these walls see how the paint's all different everywhere the, go <laughs> the government comes into my house at night and they repaint my walls they think I don't notice but I do the CIA has developed a plan to fuck with my head by off-matching the color of my walls slightly, so it's all I can notice at the fucking breakfast table. It's almost like, you know, the house had been uh, damaged before, and they just covered it up with a bunch of this odd paint, but it is everywhere in this house. And this might not seem like any kind of big deal to a lot of people, but some folks that know what's going on with this stuff will recognize, you know, sometimes they'll put stuff in the walls. To make noises and uh, now this is this is just my own personal uh, perception and I've also read a lot of this stuff online that uh, you know they'll haunt houses uh, bug the house haunt the house you know like make <laughs> that's step two of the CIA's plan of fucking with you they sneak into your house at night <laughs> they sneak into your house at night and paint sections of the wall when you're not a, not aware of what they're doing and then they, they hide in the closet and put sheets over themselves to spoop you because they want to haunt your house. That's that's in the CIA training manual. They are there to haunt you. Glow-in-the-dark CIA niggers are there to haunt your ass. It seemed like there's all kinds of weird stuff going on. And uh, for quite a while, when there was a lot of uh, induced stress going on in my life, uh, about three... Around about 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, this thing started going off. We didn't have service to this. We, uh, I'm trying to even, we didn't have service to this at all. We just, uh, it was just here with the house originally. And it's got these monitors up here in the corners. There. Um, but that thing just started randomly going off in the morning. I called and asked for the code. They said they would call the owners and uh, see if they can get the code for me. Never heard back from anybody. It was always just kind of a run around. And I uh, kept having issues with this. And it was like when I had something important to do. So shouldn't he be happy? Like, if the CIA is sneaking into this dude's house in the middle of the night, then that thing is working because it's going off in the mornings. That's when they show up. Most people don't know this, but government agencies, when they come in to paint your house, usually do it between 4 in the morning and 8 in the morning. That's the typical time is listed in the CIA manual. Maybe, maybe turn the fucking thing off if it's not working right. Uh, the next day, I had a lot of work to do. I had something that uh, required a lot of attention. 
This thing would just go off. Hold on to it. That would go off. I finally took a part out of that thing so it would quit working. And then uh, right after that, each morning, these, uh, well, let's see. Smoke detectors. A smoke detector right there. This place is full of smoke detectors. A uh, different smoke detector, like each day or every other day, would just start going off three or four o'clock in the morning. Ring it up, push the button. I'd be awake, and uh, you know, it did happen for quite a while. Yeah, somebody in chat. Pity the service man that has to deal with this nutcase. Yeah, could you imagine getting a call from this guy after you sell him some fire alarms and some uh, home security equipment? And he calls you up frantic at like 3 in the morning, asking why you're trying to transmit brain waves into his head with your secret CIA technology. Can you please turn it off? I know you're doing it. I got rid of my wife, and I'm aware that you've been coming into my house to paint. That That's the kind of call I think most people look forward to in the customer service industry. And then quit happening. And then, all of a sudden... I start posting videos on YouTube about what's going on with me, talking about this stuff, getting some street theater, and, uh, you know, kind of fighting back some of these people, and uh, guess what? Smoke alarms start going off at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning again. What? I fucking called it. I am a glow-in-the-dark CIA nigger. I told you, he called that service rep at 3 in the morning. There you go. I know because I've rigged this man's house. Don't tell him. Don't tell him that Mr. Medicare is the one that is in control of all of his electronics and that I am watching him daily. Uh, this one's my son's room each time, so I go off in my son's room, 3 o'clock in the morning now, wake him up. Uh, went off this morning, exactly at 10 o'clock, uh, and then he went and got in the shower. I came out front to hang out for a second, get some fresh air, and uh, as I'm out front, he gets in the shower, the smoke alarm goes off again. So, I'm, on this, I'm in this neighborhood called Glenhurst here in Avondale, Arizona. They always do this. I never understood this. In fact, we'll look at a video later on of a woman where this backfires on her. All these people complain about gang stalking. And then they tell you their full name. And they film their license plates. And then they tell you their physical address. And they wonder why they get fucked with. Some chick who was into gang stalking did that. And some random troll from the internet started showing up at her house and asking her why she was crazy. And it made her even more convinced she's being gang stalked. A bunch of these giant houses. There's like three to, or actually 2,500 square feet to 4,000 square feet. Right about there in this neighborhood. And my house is at the very end of this neighborhood. So when you come in for an entrance, you have to drive down a street, go around a roundabout, and then drive down another street to get to the very back of the neighborhood where I live. Uh, I've ridden my bike around this neighborhood quite a bit, and I noticed that my house is the only house that has these holes. That's how they pump in the deadly Frankenstein radio-controlled CIA nerve gas? Maybe if you'd listen to our boy Franklin, he could have explained it to you? Uh, these vents up here, all the way around. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It seems to me like it would let a lot of the uh, cool air out. When you're heating the, uh, or cooling the house, cool air, hot air, whatever, it's all the way around the top floor, all the way around the second floor. None of these other houses have that, so maybe they're better insulated so they have uh, lower bills. This house is set up to have higher bills. As soon as I got to this house, the uh, gas company came out and put this smart meter on my house. And when I asked about it, uh, I got some big time street theater from the lady. She acted like I was uh, some kind of criminal coming out there interrogating her about uh... <laughs> Maybe because he went up to her and started asking her who she was working with Why are you why are you rigging up meters on my house? I know you're a part of it Everybody's in on the conspiracy The truck driving down the street the neighbor mowing his lawn the lady at the gas company. They're all in on it They get together early in the morning at 2 a.m when you're still asleep, because the nerve gas is kicked in, to plan how to fuck with you for the day. They're all in on it, bro. Everybody in that neighborhood is being paid to fuck with you. 
Nobody, nobody living there is a normal person. It's all an act. It's like the Truman Show, but malevolent. They're there just to make sure you go insane. That's some top secret information that she knew. And uh, all I was doing was trying to just ask a couple questions because I was curious about what was going on in the, uh, the house that I live in. Uh, and she actually started a fight, basically. And I told her, I can't, I can't even remember exactly what exact, uh, went down, transpired, but uh, I told her if she was going to act like that, she'd go ahead and leave and uh, call somebody else to come out. She left. I had to call the uh, gas company, have somebody else come out. And I'm sending a supervisor and made a formal complaint when I was going to make the formal complaint. Uh, they had the lady call me and apologize so I wouldn't file the complaint. Looking back now, I should have because it was street theater. She deserved a complaint. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she really deserved that complaint. She deserved to have her job fucked with because you're paranoid. That sounds about right. Let me go find the video of the woman who learned a lesson the hard way on why you should make gang stalking videos talking about being gang stalked. Because people will show up at your house to fuck with you because they find it amusing. Oh, where is this? Okay, I know I linked it on the targeted individual video. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, the video was called. Let's see if we can find it. Man Tits Makes a Visit Stalking Group. <laughs> she calls them Man Tits. So let's see if we can find this. Oh, it's still up. Here we go. This is the end result of being an idiot on the internet and making a thousand videos a day about being gang stalked <laughs> because random people show up to fuck with you. Uh, this video was put up by Want to Be Free talking about people showing up at her house entitled Man Tits Makes a Visit Gang Stalking Group Stalking. Hello? So I'm gonna leave my camera on if you don't mind too, because it's really weird. Okay. So you fa you found me. Yeah. Um, actually, it's it's a yeah, it's pretty weird. Um, so I somehow I was looking up gang in uh, Raleigh. Okay. And then your video popped up. Okay. I never heard of it before. But what you call gang stalking? Mm-hmm. This must be like a nightmare scenario for her. She makes all these videos titled Gang Stalking, and this dude finds them, figures out where she lives based on her filming around her apartment complex, and shows up. Uh, so, anyway, I just... I wanted to come talk to you in person. Look at that smile. This dude knows 100% what he's doing. He has come there to make her fucking living nightmare a reality. Okay. And I know we've, we've never met before. No, it's very weird that you came to my front door to, right. Right. especially going through what I'm going through. So that's why I kind of wanted to talk to you about it. I, don't know, I mean, I see you have a friend here, so. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure you know, you you had someone to talk to. So I have somebody to talk to. I just don't understand why you showed up at my front door, like, because um, look at him smile. He should have really gone the whole distance with it. He should have just started saying coded words for no reason and doing like doing like a, a umpire gestures and shit, winking at her. I came here because code 11, wink, wink. Just throw that in there in between every other sentence to see what she does. It's very gang stalky of you to just come knock on my front door and be like, hey, so so you're you're being stalked. No, Is no, that the uh, case? I guess I wanted to see what. Why you thought the things that you post in your videos? Hmm. And, and this isn't something you. you could just message me over YouTube, or uh, you just wanted to prove to me that you could come to my front door. That's that's very gang stockish in itself. No, I, that's that's my point. Is you're you're telling the world. No, I know exactly where you live. Okay. I love it. I love it. He actually just lays it out flat for. Her. Hey, retard. Stop filming. Stop filming your home and telling people your address and the car you drive. Otherwise, otherwise dipshits like me, <laughs> the people you name man tits, are going to show up and fuck with you. Okay. So you and, just And then you get paranoid because you think people 
are stalking you. Oh. That doesn't make sense. It doesn't? No. Okay. And what's your name? Do you have, like, driver's license or something? Uh, yeah, my name's Robbie. Robbie who? Yeah. Why did you come to my front door and knock on my door? Sorry, man, that's classified information. Under the NSA Fuck With You Act, I can't give you my last name. But if you look over at that van parked in the parking lot with the people with the cameras currently pointed at you, they can vouch for me. Wave to the van with all the camera equipment. You're tell me that to, you knew my had a YouTube channel. To figure out what your channel's about. Oh. Okay. So you're just Robbie. Yeah. Are you, do you plan on putting me on YouTube? Or? Pro probably, oh. yeah. Because you just showed up at my house, dude. Or the audio will cut out. You've got to refresh. So if you're in chat and you can still hear, just tell them to refresh. F5. And they'll be back back to watching our boy Robbie fuck with, fuck with the delusional woman. By basically making her greatest fear come real. Me to become famous for being well, fuckers not. and irritating the hell out of me. And why do you, why do you think? Why do I think that? Because I've lived through it for five years. Why? Yeah, why am I even standing here talking to you? You guys the most bizarre from thing. What I, from what I see on your videos, you're, 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 your your neighbors aren't doing anything to you. <laughs> okay. And I, hey, Robbie, if you ever come knock on my front door again, I will call the police. This is the most weird thing for you to ever do. You are going to be famous. Well, and you keep staring I'm over here like you've got a couple of friends sitting over no, here. here. So this is some kind of so bet. I'm here by myself. You walked I, here, you rode the city I, bus, I, you I, drove a I, car, I told what? I I would be coming here because I wanted to see you in person. Okay. I wanted to see how you acted in person. How yeah. would you expect someone to react to that? Well, <laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Okay. So I'm, I'm glad I get With your you. little stalker hand yeah. gesture there. It's, it's hot out here. Yeah, that's a hand gesture. He's not wiping the sweat from his face. That's part of the plan. He's signaling the people in the parking lot and all their neighbors so, so they can come fuck with her, too. But, uh, I'm not sweating as bad as you are. I'm just saying. <laughs> so you, you walked here, drove here? No, I drove here. That's, that's my car over there. Which one? The van. The white van? Yep. Yeah, I, and that's, that's what I wanted to tell you. Millions of people in the world. <laughs> oh, you're gonna and, come. And to, you're gonna to come give me therapy on my front door about people driving white vans. Yeah, because I. That's that's a work van. I work for a living. I understand. Millions of people that work. Works, I work for a living my, too. That's my vehicle. But let's go look at your vehicle, Robbie. How do you want to check out? Because you just knocked on my front door, dude. Well, I just... I want, now, and... I want you to know that... Like, to me, is to, from what you post on your videos, it sounds like you live by yourself, and you're afraid to talk to the people around you. And I'm, I just wanted to be here and say, hey, you don't have to live that way. What's the name of the YouTube channel? What do you... Th you, you found me! Tell us, what's, your, what's the name? You tell me! I forget all the time I have. <laughs> you just knocked on my front door and you don't know my YouTube channel? Right. Okay. He's so fucking with her. Hey, by the, by the way, I found you from your videos. What's your YouTube channel's name again? I don't know what it is. Don't, don't film my white van. <laughs> Hopefully the other agents can hide behind the seats before you get over here. I just, I just found you last night and I was so compelled that I wanted to come meet you. Southern Door and Trim Inc., Youngsville, North Carolina, 919-562-2988, North Carolina, TYD, 5947. You will be famous. Anything out of the ordinary there? I wonder, I wonder if SBCC can call this dude's work and ask for therapy. Like, hey, is Robbie in? I've got a gang stalking problem and I need a visit from him to help me get through this trying time. You. 
Well, I've, I've been told that before, but... I'm done talking to you. Robbie, don't come to my house again. Ever. USDOT 777717. Don't come to my house again. Are you there? <laughs> I can't, man. My can't. My shit's broken. Yeah, and I got cars. Anything weird about that? I just want you to know that I'm working. Yeah, I know you working me. Yeah, that's her. Uh, her genius plan. Want to be free. Uh, her whole channel, if I remember right, is nothing but gang stalking shit. Let's uh, let's take a look. <laughs> turn around, it's turn play. Oh, the North Carolina skies, obviously their cloud seat. Oh, gang stalking. I'm meeting someone. I really have no reason to. Did somebody else show up to her house? <laughs> Did somebody else do this? Why did she get out of her car after she parked it in the parking lot? What's her nefarious plan? Is she working with man tits? Did Robbie send her? Did Robbie send her to get me? What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I said I'm just meeting someone here. Of course you are. <laughs> What do you mean? Wouldn't it be wonderful if Robbie ran like a trolling group dedicated to fucking with this lady and he got all these different people just to go where she's going to drive her even crazier than she already is? Maybe, maybe Man Tits. <laughs> Man Tits is running a whole forum dedicated to fucking with I Want to Be Free. Mm. fools they make of themselves. Look at this woman. Not a hint of irony. Not a hint of irony in the statement she's making. The fools they make of themselves. As she makes videos daily about people driving the wrong colored car and scratching their faces and how that's all part of the plot to get her. Well, good luck to you. I'm glad you had. Uh, yes, chat. This woman is insane. Uh, they have manuals, too. They're like video manuals about all the hand signals that the gang stalkers do. <laughs> Domestic terrorist parks and no parking. Go, go Intel Pro. Gang stalking. Let's see what this CIA agent is up to. What a place to pull over, don't you think? I haven't made a video in a long time, so maybe it's time I did. Because this tends to be, like, the most famous place to just stop and park your car. There's, like, a hundred parking lots. I hope you yeah, just everything. Everything that... <laughs> I wonder if Robbie ever visited her again.
There's only room for two counter pull gang stalking. Another, another neighborhood kids flocking around me. Oh, the children are in on it. Of course they are. The local elementary schools always recruit gang stalkers. I always found it funny how the people that complain most about gang stalking and people observing them are the ones running around with cameras filming everybody for no reason. Like, that's just kids walking by, but she's got to film them because they're in on it. They're part of the conspiracy to fuck with her on a daily basis. And everybody needs to know this happened on June 7th of 2017 at 5.30 p.m. is when these children were sent to harass her. Oh, let's you know what actually we should look at what's her most popular video I bet it's man tits <laughs> no it's not okay perp Arazi number six 2015 <laughs> she's meet at the top of my stairs patterns of gang stalking white invaders color group oh this should be good yeah they've got this weird thing where it's the grouping of cars like the color of cars is a signal you're being gang stalked I just thought this was worthy of film. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> and the red car. What? <laughs> she, she's convinced any white vehicle it's a van or a truck is part of it, and any red car is. So when she sees when she sees a white truck towing three other white trucks and a red car, that just blows her fucking mind. White. If you look ahead, white, white, white. Now I'm getting gas. There's no one here. It's April 22nd. Look at the stoplight. There's no one here. I'm going to start to get gas. I bet if she's getting gas a car mysteriously pulls up behind her for unknown reasons at the gas station. Clearly part of the stalking mentality of the CIA. Maybe they're at her house right now painting the walls while she's out. Man tits. <laughs> Man tits is directing this all. He's the fucking supervillain in this. Oh, somebody revved their engine. That must be a sign. Should be a casual thing, right? It's like a ghost town around here. This never happens. I wonder who's going to pull in behind me. What color do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be a random color? Or a white car? Oh, conspiracy confirmed. A white vehicle is pulled up behind her. Definitive proof the CIA is out to get her. <laughs> Why? Who owns a white car? That black gentleman, he's in on it. They pick the biggest black guy they could find to intimidate her. I bet he's going to walk up to her and start talking in coded messages, maybe scratch his face to let man tits know he's on the scene. Just in the background, there'll be a lot of color as well. Groups of white and black. Oh, you just drive through the parking lot. <laughs> what the hell is this guy doing? That's not a driveway. You Yahoo? You see that smile on his face? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man tits is behind everything. I bet he told everybody else in, like, service, you know, people do, like, yard work and electrical and plumbing. He's like, this crazy chick who you see around town with a camera thinks people are gang-stalking her. So if you see her, smile at her. It'll really fuck with her head. Huh? I know. Good job. He's got a water bottle. He's in on it, too. I think he enjoys his job. Where'd this guy come from? 
Did you guys see where he came from? I didn't. And look how busy this place is getting all of a sudden. I am good for business. I'm not even getting gas. <laughs> and keep in mind, look in the background. It's like strategically placed cars. Strategic <laughs> strategically placed cars. You're at a gas pump. You're you're getting gas. The cars are strategically placed because that's where they have to drive up to to put fuel into their vehicles. That's not, that's not a great conspiracy. It's the fucking fundamental design of a gas station. Now, she brought her partner in crime. He's going to walk up soon. And it's all about crowding and surrounding you. Making you feel claustrophobic and you know like just a hundred percent of your time there are people crowding you never get a moment oh I want to I want to kick the craziness up a notch let's go find the ones where they start screaming at people <laughs> what was the chick's name hold on I think it's gangstock yeah here we go this is these ones are always extra fun well, they just decide to start yelling at people. Just stop stalking me. This is this is a classic. Ah, uh, here we go. Remember, the color white is obviously a sign that they're in on it. So all post office employees are a part of the conspiracy. Here's this, right? I was I, all I did was go into the office office of my apartment development, right? And they refused to give me the form. I'll talk about that in a minute. This guy walked into the office when I was there, and now here he is parked out here, right? Stop stalking me, right? Don't ever stalk me again. Are you talking to me? Yeah. About what? Don't ever stalk me again. Who's stalking you about you. what? You. <laughs> Not some more. Do it. <laughs> Sir, day you. You, yeah, guy sitting in the truck not even looking at me. Stop fucking stalking me. Are you talking to me? Yeah. About what? Don't ever stalk me again. Who's talking to you about You. <laughs> Not some more. Do it. <laughs> you're crazy. Is that right? Yes, it is. Say you to the camera that you're not stalking me. I am not stalking you. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. Is that right? That's right. You want to give your name? I do not need to. You want to give me yours? You want to give me yours? Yeah, I didn't think so. I have no idea who you are, lady. So, you know, you're dreaming. You think I'm stalking you. Good luck with that. Well, keep talking, why don't you? She had to let him know. I mean, he had to know. The mail. Oh, I, you know what? She has an account. Let's see if it actually still exists. Uh, that's a re-upload. But she does have an account where she goes around screaming at road cones. So let me see if I can <laughs> see if I can find it. Oh, there's... God, there are a bunch of mailman stalking videos. This uh, this ought to be good. Uh, let's find this one. Somebody stalking me in a store. That's oh, always good, too. I, I... I think it's the same chick. Why? <laughs> this might be the same woman. Oh, those fucking mailmen. They're all in on it. Every day, at the same time, driving the same streets. It's all part of the plan. You can see the pattern if you pay attention. I, I am so sick, so sick of being stalked by the Postal Service. Stop following me! Don't ever follow me again! Hey, don't ever follow me again. Do you understand me? About? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know who you are. Sure you do. Stop stalking me, right? Don't ever stalk me again. Are you talking to me? Yeah. About what? Don't ever stalk me again. Who's stalking you about You. What? Do it. <laughs> you're crazy. Is that right? Yes, it is. Say you to the camera that you're not stalking me. I get it. You think you can just follow me around and you think it's totally funny, right? Stop following! 
following me. I know you think it's hysterical. He is not hysterical. Just leave me alone. Stop following me. Stop gang stalking me. Leave this is fucking amazing. It's all the same woman. That's her name. Lena Lena Kochman. Oh, we're going to look more of her up. They made somebody made a compilation of her screaming at postal employees. Leave me alone. Do you understand me? I am not crazy. You're the one who's crazy. Leave me alone. When someone tells you they don't want to be filmed, don't No, it's film. public. Does your, does your manager know your Does your manager know that you're stalking me? What's that? Does your manager know you're stalking me? I'm here delivering a package there and collecting that mailbox. You just crossed the fucking street. You're a fucking head kicks. Here's this van. Stop stalking me. Yeah. What? I said stop stalking me is what I said. Stop stalking you? Yeah, don't stalk me ever again. I've never seen him before in my Whatever. Life. Whatever. And here's the UPS guy who's stalking me. <laughs> How about you stop stalking me, right? Don't stalk me. Why are you stalking me? What are you talking about, man? Man, why are you, why are you doing this? Leave me alone. Right, they're gang stalking me. You need to walk away. I'm recording you because you're stalking me. And you know it. <laughs> All these dudes, these poor fuckers just doing their job, just trying to make a paycheck because they're just going about their daily lives. And she runs at them full speed, screaming, shoving a camera in their face. Stop gang stalking! Isn't that right? Who do you think you're going to call? You are stalker. Go ahead. I am not. You are I am, stalker. I am not. See? No. It's you, you, it's, you, it's you and your friend. You are a stalker. I am not. You, you want to give your name? Would you have anything better to do? Don't you? God bless you. The FedEx guy, he, fo he followed me into this Catholic store. He followed me in here. Yeah. He followed me in here. you got to be kidding me. At least. That's what, your hat, that's what your hat says, right? Did she just call him Tit Beast? What, what the fuck was that? What did she say to him? Here. You gotta be kidding me. Tit beast. She called him Tit Beast. Here. You gotta be kidding me. Tit beast. That's what your hat. That's what your hat says, right? What's that? Aren't you done here? <laughs> you fucking dirty double stocking Tit Beast. I know what you're up to. I know what you're doing. What are you talking about? My hat says Titleist. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I pronounced it wrong. Really, I am. Take my picture. Have a nice day. God bless. Here's the guy with the vacuum, right? Well, I'm leaving. I already had to ask the manager to ask somebody else to leave to leave me alone because he was following me around with the with the windshield, like the not windshield, with, with, with the Windex, right? And here I am leaving. I swear to God, if I ever do merchandising, if I ever sell that four out of five uh, star hat. The one that's going to be sitting next to it in my little merchandising store is going to say Tit Beast. That needs to be a product that exists in this world. What? what? It makes no sense. It makes no fucking sense. Tit Beast sounds great, though. Guy with the vacuum. Stop following me. Stop Open. following me around. Really? Stop it. Open your eyes. To what? I see you abusing me and other people like you abusing me. Right? It's, it's the people who are causing this to happen to me that need to open their eyes. Stop following me! I'm being made to leave CVS. Don't you think you can touch my camera? Oh no. You harassed me. You harassed me and you know it. You harassed me. You absolutely did. You ran, you ran your hand right over your nose. Yes, you did. You did so. Oh, you're lying. You're lying. You're lying. You're a filthy liar. A filthy liar. Excuse me. Hi. So you're out with your friend, right? What What is it about your date that's so unsatisfying that you felt you had to cough at me? Uh, excuse me, I don't need this right now. Is that right? I don't need it either because I go through it all day long. All right, Have find, nice find someone else to bother. Good night, I didn't know. Is that, is that right? Is that right? Did you just cough at me? What? Did you just cough at me? No. Are you working with the tit beast guy? Are you, is man tits involved in this? I saw you cough at me. Is that a coded message to Mr. Tit Beast? Did I hear you cough? Was that you? I coughed. Yes. You did? Was it at me? No. Do you I... want to give your name? No. I coughed because yeah, I have so? a cough. Yeah, so? Is that right? You're a crazy lady. Is that right? Am I really? Yeah. You're... Maybe so, but I'm not a fucking liar, am I? You didn't just walk up here to cough at me, and you're not lying to me about it now, is what you're trying to say. Is that what you're trying to say? Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. 
You done? Are you done? Because if you walk away, then we're done. If you don't walk away, then we're not done. I, f I, okay, I, I, I have to look her up. Okay, let's see if she... Yeah, this is the chick that used to scream at road cones. Let me see if I can find her. <laughs> Let me see if I can find... Oh my god. Oh, is this her? Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Guess how many videos she has. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, she's fucking insane. Okay, alright. We're watching some of this chick today. 1,100 videos. 1,100 videos of her screaming, Are you stalking me? at fucking random people. <laughs> and they're all... They're all cell phone video. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, let's watch some more. I just want you to leave me alone. No, I don't think you are. This guy coughed at me, and then he tried to grab my camera. He did. He tried to grab my camera. He coughed at me and coughed at me. You're on camera. They saw what you did. Yeah. You want to tell? Tell it to the camera. Go on and ask the camera. Right. Tell the camera that you're not stalking me. That you're not in support of child molestation. A bunch of other things. Go on, tell the camera that. <laughs> this dude's like, what are you talking about? Where where did the child molestation come from? <laughs> he fucking coughs and she's calling him a pedophile. In support of child molestation. A bunch of other things. Go on, tell the camera that. Tell the camera you have no idea what I'm talking about. And that you weren't following me around. And that everything that I'm saying isn't true. Go on, say it. What happened? Yeah, that's right. This is all happening in front of Labor Ready. Like there were the four, there were like the four caution things this morning, and now all of a sudden, all of this showed up here. This is all happening here. I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. Nothing at all. It's just a bunch of crap. I look like a temptress, don't I? Don't I'm seriously though, don't I? I mean, I really seriously, I am. I am like the definition of, you know. I mean, when when people when like. Couple see me walking down the street. They should. They should like. The, I. I certainly. You know. The woman. The woman should inv should involuntarily clutch at her husband or her boyfriend or whatever. So I. I am seriously. I'm here to find work. That's it. I'm here to find work. I don't have to work. I can let some one of those idiots marry me. I tell them no all the time. I never stop telling them no. I haven't done anything wrong. I'm just trying to get work. <laughs> this is the fucking greatest shit. Oh. Uh, there was one, there's one other. I, this might even be her, too. I don't know. Like, it seems anything involving mailmen is her. Hey, everybody. Steve here. So, Mr. Mailman here. He's got his, he's on his cell phone, on headphones, whatever. I guess it's a boring job. But, um, he, uh, he was standing right in front of, right, right, right in front of the house here. He saw my parents and, uh, pointed his phone right at me. Spells no good in my book. All right, let's. Oh, we're gonna dig into this bitch. I, I want to find the road cone ones because I, I I really remember her screaming at shit in the street for no for no reason, screaming at road cones and saying why are you stalking me to them. Oh, uh, let's do the most popular. That's probably the best way to sort it. <laughs> oh God, I don't even know where to start. There's so many videos. There's so much crazy shit. Is it stop? <laughs> There's one where she screams, stop raping me. Should we watch the stop raping me video? Okay. Let me just get this set up. Actually, let me, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm working with uh, man tits and tit beast. So I need to make that money. Let me read the super chats really quick before we go back into her fucking insanity. All right, where the fuck is this? Uh, from Sargon of No Kid, here's another retard for you, Jimbo. I'll take a look at it. From Acercorn, uh, Photon Jim or Meadow Car? Uh, Photon Jim, probably. Mine 1001, perhaps those children are those child sex agents Terry A. Davis used to talk about. Very well could be. From James O'Shag Nasty, it must be nice to think you're important enough to be gang stalked. S. Cyber Taz. He's like William Defoe fucked Steve Buscemi for a fistful of meth. From Calstro. Warbo's number one. Free we weir. Medicare Fembot. Is this the pilot guy? He's almost as nutty as the Arab who thought Jews snuck into his house to steal one of his shoes to taunt him. 
Uh, no, it's not the pilot guy. Um, I don't know what happened to him. I genuinely felt bad for him because he's like a, a, a well-to-do pilot. Uh, he's got his whole life ahead of him. But then he falls into the gang stalking shit. And I've talked about this in videos before. Like, they feed off each other's paranoia. They notice one thing, right? Or they think they find a pattern, and then it never stops. It just, it feeds on itself. So when they find a community of people that think the same crazy shit they do, it gets worse and worse and worse. So this guy goes from a well-paid pilot with his own place to out of a job and homeless, and eventually in a psych ward. It's pretty fucking tragic. From Dark Horse 24, I've got gay cancer. I'm going to die, and so are you. Sargon of No Kid, I'm hiding in your closet wearing a fursuit, Jim. From Electric Boogaloo 2, Terry warned us of this. Caleb LL Show, user Degenerated Descendant, or I'm sorry, Degenerated, <laughs> degenerated Dissident, has been a fan of yours since your early IA days, pre-Gamergate. You didn't have money, but I decided to pass the message along. He said, 1488, and thank you for all you do for us. He's gotten a job, lost some weight, and is happy. Uh, well, good for him. From Bites the Dustu. And the Kishibi Rohan was killed by Yoshikaga Kira, who ha matured. Or, I'm guessing you're saying who has matured? I'll throw that one in. From Rogue Fragment. Hey, Jim, play the ICP movie. I think you'll like watching all of it. Oh, fuck. If there is an ICP movie, maybe we'll watch that today. From C. Thomas the Peasant. The morning streams make my morning better. Keep at it, Jim. Uh, from Medicarist. Here's how you remove those Nazi chips from your head, Jim. It's a link to a video. We'll watch some of these videos later. I want to dig into Lena uh, Kochman and her blatant insanity. Uh, HDRTU, I remember you wanted some good PSAs. Here you go. It's a classic. Uh, yeah, we will do a PSA stream, hopefully about aboriginals from Australia. Uh, fucking in the coffee. The Hannah Hayes stuff from yesterday's stream reminded me of this video. Uh, also, not Twitch, but Cam Whore trolling for when you do that stream. Thank you very much. Uh, Sneaky's O'Reilly. Uh, no note attached to that one. Burning Breakfast. All right, boss. TLC has some crazy shit on it. Apparently, enjoy. Uh, from Reloaded AK. How is Metro? I've heard something about the Epic Launcher possibly fucking with how it runs. Uh, I have not had any issues with Metro running. Uh, then again, I've got a, a semi-decent setup, so maybe that's what it's about. Uh, but I've got it installed on a normal hard drive. You know, I, I'm not running it at, like, ultra levels, but I haven't had any issues. It's run pretty smoothly for me, but it's hit or miss on PC. Some people, it, it just depends on the setup you have, the components that you have. Uh, but at least for myself, it, it's run fine. I haven't had any, any, like, technical issues, hasn't glitched out, hasn't crashed. Uh, I'm, I'm really fucking enjoying it. It's been a long time since I played a game that I actually really enjoyed, and for whatever reason, I'm really enjoying this one. Uh, take that for what you will. Everybody's got different tastes, so my taste could be shit. The game might be awful, but I just like it for whatever reason. Who knows? Okay. Let us find out who is raping poor Lena. Why, why is she being raped in the streets? That's just not right. All right. Uh, desktop, there we go. And yeah, so some people were linking to articles about her. I'll read those. And apparently she has an ed page. I would not doubt it. Yeah, so this is, this is something that was done over the past, like, year or so, the past couple of years. And this is, this is the most hateful thing. And I wonder, actually, how long it's going to be like this. I wonder if it's just, they're just planning, it's just, this is going to be like another Boston institution, and it's just, just going to be like this. I, mean, I don't even know how many more times would I have to say no to put a stop to this. How many more times would I have to say no? Or, or is, the no, is the no actually just kind of a turn-on for everyone? You know? No! Well, that was, that was a bit disappointing, Lena. I was expecting you to scream, stop raping me, but I didn't get that in there. So let's see what we've got here. We've got uh, a couple of choices to go with. For some reason, clothing discussion is her most popular video. I have no idea why, but uh, let's find out. So this is all kind of a big sartorial challenge, you know, kind of figure out what's... And again, this is the woman. Uh, just drink it in, chat. This is the woman that's convinced that all men want to rape her. Uh, and there's a gang stalking conspiracy to cough at her and initiate a sexual assault. Aware and everything, and I, I, and I've been I've been saying for a while because of course I get very tired of all this stuff. I get very very tired of this um, and dealing with all this stuff. I don't like just having just being able to wear a couple colors all the time, and I don't like I don't, uh, 
the whole thing it just drives me up the wall right so anyway I was gonna say I don't know I don't know right okay so I have this 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 like coat that I got a couple days ago like for free at one of the clothing donations it's, it, it can be kind of difficult for me to find stuff yes chat she does look like a hobat uh, this might be hobo fashionable I don't know street person chic we could we could describe it as a few different ways she looks like she looks like she works at the dock. Like I expect her to be unlo or unloading a fishing vessel with this particular outfit she's wearing. I don't know where she got it. Maybe Macy's in the women's section. I guess it's popular now. Is that what she's going with? In the clothing rooms, because um, they don't they don't people don't tend to donate like a lot of smaller sizes. So I you know every I'll go weeks without being able to find anything, and then I found this um, in one of the one of the like donate donation clothing rooms. So the color, you know, I mean, I have no idea why this would be her most popular video. I could, I could not tell you why that's the most popular video. Stop raping me. Oh, let's see. I wish I could find the ones where she screams at road cones. I wouldn't even know if I, if I had wanted to be in pornographic movies. Well, it's only six seconds long. Oh my God. What are you doing? If I wanted to be in porno movies, why would I do it for free? What the fuck was that? Oh, no wonder everybody's trying to rape this sexy woman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lots of Obama stuff. FedEx. The janitor's excitement for today. Restroom at Marshall's. God, what did she do to the poor bathroom? The first situation that I've been in where I'll go into a place and there's wet floor signs all over the place or other thing, other things that are like conglomerate code for me being dirty, and then their bathrooms look like this, right? Or some other part of the facility looks like this. I mean, you know, I'm sorry, I'm dirty, really? Or there'll be a janitor following me around from place. Fascinating. Really good insight into the uh, the cleaning practices of I, I don't even what was that Marshalls. Good to know. Good to know that I should just shit in their trash cans. I'm glad that's been explained to us. All right, let's look up this crazy lady. People said there are articles about her. Uh, let's look up what the articles have to say. Give me one second here while I, while I do a little Googling on our, our favorite uh, Leave Me Alone lady. The feminist schizophrenic whose society did fail. Oof. Sounds like hard-hitting journalism. Let's go take a look. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what uh, what our news article has to say about our, our lovely woman here. The feminist schizophrenic whose society failed uh, by our author here, who looks like he's got the world's worst haircut. Good to know. I've made a few prior blog posts that might give people the idea I don't like women. This is simply not the case. I just regard myself as immune to the kind of identity politics that obstructs people from looking at a situation clearly. Oh boy, getting some milady vibes already. There are indeed problems facing women in our call. Okay, I don't want to hear a spiel on this. Okay. Uh, for the past few hours, I've been listening to the video blogs of Lena Coachman. Initially, I discovered her after seeing a viral video of a woman claiming a postman was stalking her and was curious what the context might be. Normally, these things tend to lead to news articles of police arrests. But instead, I discovered she is essentially a homeless lady who is schizophrenic and has latched on to radical third-wave feminism, which fuels her mania. Well, let's see what he links to. Clothing and appearance. Another, another problem. Um, Fantastic audio quality, by the by way. By misogynist. I mean, I, the, the entire summer of 2011, I, I, don't, I don't think I wore um, anything other than long pants. I shaved my head in 2013. It didn't stop the slut shaming with a, a whopping total of zero comments. Clearly, she's fighting the good fight. She uses the YouTube video uh, capture function on her phone to make mini vlogs, primarily signed advertisements like billboards. She screams at billboards, of course. Okay, all right, hold on. Everybody keeps spamming it. Let's go see what we're talking about. 
let's go let's uh copy link address hold on uh, just give me one second here chat do you want to see jesse smollett get arrested for being a retard let's let's go take a look oh is it gonna play here eventually back to where they had gotten out of a cab so that was another in we had to interview and another individual where we sought video. We continued to track that cab back to the point where the cab was tracked down by our two persons of interest in a rideshare car. We then followed up on the rideshare and, and that was the lead that we needed in order to identify the two persons of interest. At that point, we had a real good timeline of where these two people went. We were able to put a name to both of these individuals, and it was at that time that we started started looking at where they were. Uh, people in chat asking, who is this? This was an actor from the TV show Empire who made a false claim that he was lynched by racist Donald Trump supporters, and it was complete bullshit. He paid two Nigerians to do it. Our investigation led us to determine that they had purchased a round-trip ticket with them returning to Chicago on the 13th, so approximately two weeks after the, the incident. So that gave us a couple of weeks to try to continue to, to follow up on uh, any investigative lead, any, any investigative lead that would help us Oh my god, this guy's going to take forever to talk about this. Let me just find a fucking news article so I can just read what the charge is and we can get back to gang stalking. All right, hold on, chat. Jesse, okay, here we go. I'll read it, fuck it, it's CNN, whatever. It's dirty, but I'll read it anyway. Here's your hot breaking news on an a, a fucking actor nobody gives a shit about. More than three weeks ago, after he alleged that he was a victim of a hate crime, actor Jesse Smollett has been arrested on suspicion of filing a false police report. The Empire Star was taken into custody at 5 a.m. this morning, ahead of a 1.30 p.m. bail hearing. Smollett faces a felony charge of disorderly conduct for allegedly filing a false report, claiming he was attacked by two men, including one who was masked, in the early morning of January 29th. Uh, well, there you go. Anything else about the charges? Nope. So apparently you can uh, claim that you got, uh, you're got you the victim of a hate crime. You were lynched in the street by two Donald Trump supporters, and you get one felony charge of disorderly conduct for a false police filing. There you go. That's your hot breaking Jesse Smollett news. Uh, where were we now with our crazy bitch? Uh, there we go. Uh, where did I leave off on this? Uh, billboards, there we go. Okay. Mostly she takes short videos of random signage she believes personally aimed at her. And okay. Ah, oh, this is a lot of writing. Is she, she has a WordPress blog? Now that might be interesting. At some point, she started believing Google was censoring her articles because she did not appear on the first page of... Why does that sound familiar? <laughs> Why does that sound so familiar? Oh, right, the crazy bitch that shot Google up. <laughs> what was her name? Oh, my God, what was the name of the chick that shot up YouTube? Oh, fuck. Okay, YouTube uh, headquarters shooting. What was her name? What was her name? Nassim Nasafish Agadamba I can't even I don't even know how to pronounce it. It just sounds like gibberish to me. Why is it always crazy women that believe, that think they're getting censored so they decide to do something about it? Are any of her videos still up? I think Google has purged them all. Oh my god, no they aren't. Are they all gone? Yeah, Google has wiped out this chick's shit. She does not have her stuff up here anymore. I think I think it's been completely erased. I'm filtered on YouTube, the YouTube shooter said in previous video. Yeah, that's why that sounded familiar. Okay. Uh, in some vlog video... Okay, this is a really long article, not really telling me fucking anything. What's most startling is some of her college essays read exactly like the kind of radical feminist manifestos that have become popular. Videos from just a few years ago show an attractive girl enough... Or an attractive enough girl for her age. Are these like really old videos of her before she went crazy? Yeah, I didn't have a sweater. I didn't even have um, one sweater. 
it's been kind of a problem for a while, actually. I mean, just, just to try to find something that wouldn't be a It has seven buttons, I think. Wait, is it one, two? Well, at least she doesn't look totally homeless. All right, this, this article is a bust. I'm, I'm getting bored just reading it. Uh, as far as Lena goes, I, I don't know if I can find the road cone videos. Uh, there are videos of her yelling at floor signage. <laughs> Maybe we can watch this one. And then we'll, we'll find some more gang-stalking victims. See if we can get to the, the heart of the matter. Find out why Tit Beast and Man Tits are so, so dedicated to fucking with innocent people. This is Marshall's um, in Boston, one of them. Um, and I am shopping here because it's, you know, discounted stuff. Um, and there's something that I need to buy. Um, and this is, this is... Oh, somebody in chat said they found it. If you found the road cone video, I'm going to be really impressed. Okay, let's try this one out. Is this the one I'm thinking of where she screams at the road cones? Oh, is this a different woman? Oh, this I think this might be it. This this might be the video of her screaming at road cones. Thank you, chat, uh, for delivering the goods on this one. All right, are we set up? Yep, here we go. Holy shit, just show the fucking video. Yeah, this is a shopping center. I mean, it's got ver various stores here, but this this first place has got, like, all these orange... Someone has put these all here. Yeah, I recognize her voice. That's her. Yeah, I think this might be the video. Someone's put, like, all of these orange... you got to be kidding. It's, it's just like this declaration. This declaration, right, of male dominance. Stop doing this stuff. Enough. Stop. You know, it's like all over the place. Look at this. They're frick, they're everywhere. They're everywhere in the parking lot. Stop! Oh my god. It's not, it's like. She's very pissed off. He's just walking around filming fucking uh, road cones. I love what it. If these were all like, like Ku, like Ku Klux Klan hats, you know, or or something that was meant to mean that, you know, would, would the president have let it just continue like this for years? Look at look at them all. Look at all of this. It's everywhere. It's all around the entire parking lot. Like the first store, I don't even know if they have them. Like if they put them like everywhere, you gotta be kidding me! Yeah, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. Oh my God! They put them around the, the entire place here. You know what? You gotta be kidding me! All right? No. <laughs> Just. Could you imagine being the dude that works at Walmart collecting the carts and shit? You walk out into the parking lot and this crazy fucking nutcase is just ripping down all this stuff, screaming about rape and the president. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? This one. Give me a break. They paid people, paid people to put them all around here. This declaration of just the destruction of women's rights, the destruction of children's rights, they're everywhere around the entire place. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this. Who ordered this? Who made this happen? There's chilies. I don't even know how many people have harassed me in front of chilies. Like, they, they, like well, it's more in the summer. I mean, because now it's colder, right? So they just would see me out the windows and then they would go outside of chilies and they would smoke and they would cough at me. I can't believe this. It's every, all around, all around the entire place. Sure, rape's not rape, right? Because sexual harassment isn't sexual harassment, and voyeurism isn't voyeurism. And she's screaming about rape to fucking sticks. <laughs> she's screaming at sticks in a parking lot. About rape. Ugh, she must be one wild fuck.
child rape isn't child rape and child porn isn't child porn. It's just fun, right? Just a bunch of fun. Oh, Lena, you are something special. All right, let's see if we can delve a little deeper. <laughs> it's a crazy gang stalking videos. Oh, where are we here? I should have. I oh, where was it? There was another uh, another guy that had an account with just thousands of videos on it. I'm trying to find it. Give me one second here. Oh, am I gonna be able to? <laughs> am I gonna be able to find this shit? Oh, I know what it was. Okay. Let's. Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, I think I included this in a previous video. This dude breaks it down for us. If you want to know all the crazy hand signs they use to secretly communicate with each other, our boy here is going to hes gonna teach you the secrets of gang stalking. Uh, this is confidential information. Need to know. So you can't share it with the general population because I love you, chat. I'm going to let you see it. All right. These are the secret hand signals that gang stalkers use when they coordinate. What a... Uh, let's talk about hand signals. All right. So I used to think that all this signaling and shit, this shit, you know, this shit, pointing their elbow, one hand in the pocket. I used to think all that was pretty random. Like they were just like being told, oh yeah, do this. No, there's a reason for it, okay? When they're signaling, they're revealing to whoever else is surveilling you or the other gang stalkers in the area, your exact location. For instance, Let's say if somebody was to walk by my car, right, and they got their left hand in their pocket. Well, that's strategically done because they're... All right, you see this guy in chat, Steel Horse? It's not random. And you just outed yourself as a CIA glow-in-the-dark. We know what's up. All right, our boy here, our boy here is an expert on gang stalking. You're not going to fucking trick us. Showing whoever's behind them, watching them my location do you see what i'm saying so they're gonna put their hand in whatever pocket is closest to me they're gonna itch their eye to where i am located do you see what i'm saying if they're brushing their hair to one side it's the side that's closest to me do you see what i'm saying i used to think this is all random but it's it's just to show where you are at any given time you see how they get nervous look at this fucking fed look at this fed in the chat boring and gay we know you're scared you're scared your secrets getting out there it's not gonna fucking stop us we're gonna uncover the truth why don't you fuck off back to the government all right the people are learning am i making sense oh also this that's totally masonic it's arch right there so if someone's doing that that's a that's like a Freemason thing. Get the fuck away from them. Period. So let's let's run down this real quick. So if someone is walking up, right, and they're walking by my vehicle, they're gonna put their hand in their left pocket, especially if they're walking on the right side, because that is where I am located. They're signaling to whoever else where I am. And uh, females. They they love the hair thing. They're gonna. <laughs> That's how you know women are in on it, when they start moving their hair. Clearly, they're they're deep cover. Let's see if James Harkin has more deep fucking insights into the world of gang stalking. Why they kill all the Freemasons? Oh, sounds interesting. Lots of Alex Jones on here too. Gang stalking is community oriented policing. Lots of how-to manuals on this fucking channel about what's up. Oh, let's see what his disclaimers. Oh, boy. It's a whole fucking world of this shit. This dude has a lot of fucking videos. Oh, you know, maybe that's a better search term. Targeted individuals. Uh, they like that one. That's like their new PC term for crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many videos of this shit. 
targeted individuals went to the gym to shed the oppression and slay the dragon. I don't, is this a Jordan Peterson fan? What the fuck is this? She's talking about slaying dragons. I don't know if it'll be any good. We'll check it out. You can see she's slaying the dragons. All right. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Yvonne. Today is February the 19th of 2019, and pardon my zit that came out on my face, but, you know, it's rain or shine, it's zit or no zit. I'm here, you know, supporting you guys out there, whoever. Always a great way to start off a video. I like, I like it when women talk about their pimples. It's very sexy. Thank you, uh, you crazy fuck, for really going deep with us on this whole gang stalking thing and your acne. Probably another government conspiracy that we need to learn about. Holy shit. <laughs> Targeted individuals, my witchcraft experience. Okay. A government's using the dark arts now to target people. This should be good. Yo, you know what? Fuck it. No, I wasn't going to speak on these things, but man, let me, let me tell y'all a couple of my witchcraft stories for the year of 2018 so far. So, boom. Something for y'all to understand, man. Um, it's important to eat out as, le as less as you can possibly eat out. Sometimes with targeted individuals, it's easier said than done because you might not have a stable home, a stable kitchen to prepare your own meals, so you don't necessarily have a choice. And in order to eat healthy, sometimes you have to... You know, go to Why is she giving... I thought this was a video about witchcraft. Why, why is she talking about eating out? I had an incident happen to me, man. Uh, here we go. Um, earlier this year, I want to say in January of this year, I went into Chick-fil-A. I bought a chicken biscuit. Um, now here is where the things start to get strange, man. This old-ass white woman, she comes out. She had my chicken biscuit all perfectly wrapped, and she, she, she handed it to me. She was like, here you go. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I just took it as being a sweet old lady not to mention it's chick-fil-a so everybody has a pretty positive attitude in chick-fil-a so boom ate the biscuit whatever months later i want to say probably in march i was asleep in the back seat of my car and i had a dream it was a bunch of pleiadians and they were dressed like um <laughs> we're going from zero to 60 Months ago, this lady gave me a piece of chicken at Chick-fil-A. Who, who'd have thunk, right? Gave me a piece of chicken. And then months later, I had a dream about, what the fuck is a Palladian? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Like, you know, the, the Germans, uh, I don't know what these women are called, but the German ladies that wear the clog shoes. And they were like river dancing in this... <laughs> what? I ate some chicken, and months later it gave me dreams about... <laughs> German women in Danish shoes <laughs> line dancing. Old ass woman was standing in front of them doing the river dance with them, like in my dreams. And this thing, like, jumped on my head and tried to attack my head and was shaking my head, and I woke up. So, what was. I've never heard of witchcraft which sends. River dancing Nazis after you. <laughs> River dancing Nazi witchcraft from Chick Fil A. It was revealed to me later on is that well, not too much later on, you know, what I'm saying maybe within the next couple of days, man. Um, you know that woman was trying to take over me. You know what I'm saying? Um, that was like her little demonic pet or whatever the case may be, but she was trying to take over me basically. Um in a sense, replace me, I guess you could say. Okay. Um, now, this one happened about three weeks ago. Um, now, I don't know if y'all remember the story I was telling y'all about the gentleman that I saw at the gas station that couldn't, couldn't control his tongue. This woman must right. lead an amazing life. But prior to me, you know, seeing that, you know, I felt like something was sitting in my car just sucking my energy off of me. And then when I look at him, you know, he's like trying to hide his face. You know, he looked at me and it hurried up and turned his face. Now, 
Um, I had an experience not too far from that gas station. I was asleep. And it was this being that was sitting on the front seat of my car. And it was like, I would, I was like uh, going in between sleep. I would wake up and go back to sleep. Wake up, go back to sleep. So this time that I ended up waking, I mean, going back to sleep. I, I think we need to do a poll on this. Uh, where are we here? <laughs> Which drugs is she using? Uh, let's, let's, uh, well, meth obviously has to be on the fucking list. Uh, crack, of course. We're having river dancing Nazis in our dreams. Something's going on. Uh, LSD, throw out a wild one. Uh, oh, of course, uh, Jankum. Can't forget that. That's a popular one. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe she's injecting marijuana. So let's, let's find out, chat. What, what is this crazy bitch on? All right, let's go back to her amazing river dancing Nazi story. This thing like turned around and stabbed me in the arm with some type of needle, you know, like some type of a demonic injection, you know what I'm saying? Um, which is crazy as hell. Um, then I want to say a few nights later, you know, um, I wake up like I already had like something going on with one of my my tooth and it was like a crack in my tooth so there was something that was like cracked my tooth in my sleep you know what I'm saying so maybe it's uh maybe you're hitting that crack pipe too hard maybe <laughs> have you considered maybe that's the issue maybe maybe when you're smoking the crack you shouldn't be biting down on it you know maybe the pipe has shattered your shitty fucking teeth or it could be the witchcraft from Chick-fil-a it's one of the two. Sometimes, man, when I'm getting attacked, like, I wake up in between and I can see these beings, like, fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Just like I told y'all about the story when them little fucking creatures tried to cut my fucking finger. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with crack on this. You no, know, a lot of this shit sounds like fairy tale. It sounds like make-believe, man, but I want y'all to think about something real quick. Do y'all remember... When it was late as fuck, and Christ was the only one up out of all his disciples after he told his disciples to stay up. Uh, she's clearly insane, but she's also very, she's like living ambient. Like, I need, I need my crazy to be a little more high energy. I mean, I want to hear about, I want to hear about witchcraft assaults. I mean, that's always good. But I need, I need a little bit of oomph to it. Maybe we're hitting, uh, we're hitting these videos when she's on her downtime in between, between smoke and rocks? I don't know. Oh, of course. Melanin separate, increase your prayer. Oh, boy. She's woke, all right. Are black men being emasculated? Uh, where? Well, let's see. The Bible. Watch your... More witchcraft. Oh, this is a short one. She's the victim again of witchcraft. Let's find out. Yo. Another thing, y'all. Have y'all noticed that they've been pr promoting this witchcraft thing, like, a lot? I give it take, man. It's a lot of people that have always known about witchcraft, man. Especially like in certain areas, like man, you go to the hood and you see these botanicas on every fucking corner. You best believe that show that neighborhood is with the shit. You know what? She's piqued my interest. Chat, should we see if we can find how do you get a witchcraft? Is that even a fucking thing that'll re give us results? Let's find out. Get a witchcraft. <laughs> the Ghetto Witches of Macbeth? I I don't even know what the fuck that is. <laughs> Alright, let's let's see here. Oh, where are we going? Alright. Let's take a look. Oh, that is fucking awful. All right, let's go to our boy, the Witch of Endor, for some ghetto gospel. These rappers know what they doing when they got you dancing and moving. They 
put these spells on you, spells on you. Wake up and put these spells on you. And you wonder why your heart's so cold and you can't pray because your mind's so frozen. Then put these spells on you, spells on you. Wake up and put these spells on you. Judgment is so near, you can feel it in the air. Tell them Jesus Christ is coming, but no one really care. War is declared. Good against evil. People wake up and put these spells on you. Like I told y'all, whenever I go to preach this word, like spiritual days just be happening. You know what I mean? Like be I popping sure off. I had no signs, no symptoms, no nothing. Had this word bubbling, and the enemy just whoop. It was almost like a sudden flu-like symptoms. That's how I know it wasn't natural. It was something in the demonic realm. Because you always get them little warning signs for a couple of days, and then it hits you. This joint just hit me late last night. It started hitting me on the way back from the birthday party, a little bit towards the end of it. I was like, what's going on here? But then I knew. And then to top it off, a brother, a uh, beloved soldier, fellow soldier and brother in the Lord from, uh, I believe, Missouri. I wonder if this is like the Christian version of black Israelites. Like, I'm used to them either being black Israelites or like Muslim. But like, this dude's going full on Christianity with hood magic. We're, we're going to get a two and a half hour fucking lecture about ghetto witchcraft. Because they're putting spells on his ass. Uh, he called me up. He was like, yeah, bless me. And I'm like, oh, we, we about to get into the word. And he was telling me how he had to leave the church that he was temporarily visiting because the pastor was doing some like hip hypnosis stuff. You know what I mean? Some weird stuff. Like trying to like bewitch the people. And I knew that was confirmation about today's word. So um, with that being said, the name of today's sermon and I know why I get every single time I go to preach his word. Remember the last two times we tried. Uh, you're right, Chet. He is very short. If that guitar is standing up, if it's like sitting on the floor, I mean, the guitar is like, what, three and a half feet? And, you know, his head's up about here. So I say this dude's like four feet, four and a half feet tall. Maybe, maybe that's why they're casting spells on him. They're trying to get him to grow a little. Hallelujah. But God is, is victorious. Amen. And the reason why the attacks come is because witchcraft is one of the biggest enemies, if not the biggest enemy in America right now. Okay, so the name of the sermon is called The Witch of Endor. The Witch of Endor. We're going to get right into it, y'all. So, there's a lot of areas, and I'm asking God for wisdom, especially when I do sermons that involve videos and stuff. I don't want he actually has an audience for this. I thought it was just a dude in his living room filming this shit by himself, but he's got people paying to sit there and listen to it. But I don't have two and a half hours for this shit. Let's skip ahead a little and see, let's see some of this witchcraft. So you want discernment so you can know people around you. You know how many people get people laying hands on them from ministries that are warlocks? Devil worshippers? Do you think it's not a coincidence? I don't believe in coincidence. Paul the Apostle said, lay hands suddenly on no man. Because he knew a lot of y'all will be moved by the soulless realm. You go to a church, you look around, it's lighted up, it's clean. Now what you think that did to everyone in the stand? The I can hear the screaming of about 40 bastards in this audience. How many single mothers brought their kids here just to avoid paying daycare bills? And listen to this crazy fucker talk about witchcraft on some Jedi planet. I looked at the husband like, you better not be cheap today. This man just gave a million. You better cut a thousand. You better, doctors, you better give 10,000. It was witchcraft. And then what happened? Tyler Perry laid hands on T.D. Jakes. And T.D. Jakes fell out just... Oh! Shaking. Why? Because Tyler Perry is filled with the Holy Ghost? Holy shit. Two and a half hours of that. I bet that dude does that every day. 
All right, come on, Jim, this is a good one. All right, let's see what this one is. Uh, hopefully it's following some kind of theme. I don't know. What is this shit? Spirit of Truth. What the fuck is this? Just give a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I had this lined up for the fucking uh, public access TV one I was going to do. I know what this is. Uh, for another day. All right, let's... let's uh, what the fuck is this? Let me just read the remaining Superberries here. Wrap up a little early. From Odio Strau, someone should make YouTube videos like they're gang stalker and point out random people while saying, that's him, see, that sign he's giving me. I can tell our targets are doing such and such. If you really wanted to have fun and fuck with these people, which I'm not advocating for, I'm just speaking hypothetically now. But if you wanted to have fun, because they're so convinced cars work in groups and the colors are signals that they're working for the government, go make go make a fucking Reddit account and call yourself like red car number eight or some random number after a colored car and then go post there. But just say nonsensical shit and drive their paranoia through the roof. Just walk into a random thread and just type out something like oxygen levels are 89% now. And don't say anything else. Don't respond to anybody else. If they got if they got hundreds of users doing that, all named after a color of an automobile, they'd probably they'd probably lose their fucking minds. Uh, bites the dust do. You will never suck your girlfriend's penis. La le lu le lo. Timothy Reaper, what does it mean when someone raises their middle finger in your direction? Uh, clearly they're calling the satellite down on you. From Calstro, Winfried went on sped dating and lost. What a faggot. From Dark Horse 24, gang stalking victims equal the highest form of egocentrism. Wields the chain. I'm glad I showed up late. These gang stalking morons give me a fucking headache. From Pongo, hey, hot potato. I'm the incarnation of Ringo Starr transitioning into Dave Lombardo. It's easy to spot me. I'm dressed as the thing you hate most. From Makuta Lakuruk, are you smoking at me? Dark Horse 24 again. She's just upset Sargon didn't see her bring the appetizers on time. From Audio Strau, uh, chat, if you find someone like this in San Diego, I will go fuck them, or go fuck with them. Signed, Odie. From Justice Moderator, you don't have to read this out loud. Oh, uh, there's, there's, you tag something uh, surprising on Twitter, okay? From Calstro, fuck you, Winfred, or Winfred, uh, for outing me as a gym viewer. Sorry, not sorry. From Calstro, War bros, strong like ox, we carry our burden to victory. War bros, like broom, we sweep away the competition. From Galacticus, uh, the female version of Tonka. I know you piqued my interest with that. I don't even know what the fuck that would be. <laughs> I, I, why do I have a feeling I'm going to open it up? It's going to be some disabled woman challenging people to fights. Uh, let's let's take a look really quick. <laughs> Okay, I, I don't even know what this is, but we'll watch it. I'll put it up after I finish this. Uh, Beige Balcony. Do these crazies get any support on their videos, or are they just go at this insanity by their lonesome selves? I, they get support from their own little fucking communities and forums. Like, they feed off each other. Some Spurg. Stop counting your shekels and get back to your video, faggot. From Sargon of No Kid, here's another one for you, Jimbo. And I think, okay, we're caught up. So let's take a look at the female version of Tonka. I have no idea what this is, but uh, maybe it maybe it's good. We'll find out. How can I be fake, Ellie King, if that's your real fucking name? All the pictures is of me. All the videos is of me and my mom, Cindy. You see that lady right there present behind me? Though that's my mom, Cindy. So see, I am not fake, you ugly looking bitch. Holy shit, it really is a female version of Donga. Yeah, you ugly monkey. Go climb on another train and jump off on the other. It's even got a female version of failure. Oh, you tell him failure. You tell him. On the other side. Next time if you harass my daughter, she will get you on harassment. One, I am pregnant with my son, Frederick Jr. Yeah. I'll be five months tomorrow, and he's kicking the shit out of me right now. Yeah. My dad died three weeks ago tomorrow at 6, 18 a.m. Yeah. My husband's real. He's in the living room watching TV. He doesn't like drama. Why think I'd delete him in the first play off my fucking count? Right. But it's literally failure telling him. Every time female Donga says something, they chime in. 
I have it on my family page. Yeah. So, you moron. And in 2000, and back in 2000, I was 12 years old, turned 13. 2005, I was 19, turned 20. I was born in 1986. I should know how old I was in all them stupid pictures of me. Since they're my fucking pictures. Yeah. This is not a wig. It's fucking real. If it was a wig, it will fucking come off right about now. Yeah. I died in <laughs> I love it. That's all she chimes in with. Yeah. You tell. You tell him. You tell him, Tonka. Yeah. Black. You like my shirt? It says Mount Vernon because that's where. I, because that's where I actually live. Hometown. I lied. Said I lied in Springfield when I didn't. Yeah. My brothers, Jackson and Daniel, they're fucking dead. Also, Daniel was my twin. In case you guys didn't know, he died at three days old. A smallpox. We both had it. He died and I survived. Who the fuck dies of smallpox in the modern era? Did I hear that right? Did she fucking say her family got wiped up by smallpox? A smallpox. We both had. This is legitimately the female Tonka. Her relatives even die from Native American. <laughs> Somebody gave him a blanket. That's how he died. He died and I survived. My brother Jackson died at the age of 27. In a car wreck. Last year, on his birthday, this year, August 2nd, he'd be 28. My sister Lucy is not fake either. She's real. And she turned 14 October 14th. Well, she'd be 15 this October. Yeah, and plus she went on a camping trip. Well, leave her alone. And then you need my family alone also. You fucking moron. <laughs> what was that? You <laughs> she's so drunk right now, she's hiccuping in the middle of her rant. You <laughs> this is fucking gold. Oh, if this is this is either the best, uh, the highest art of acting you'll see on YouTube, or it is, it's like a, it's the incarnation of every tra fucking stereotype of a trailer park. You fucking moron. You oh, and my Aunt Donna, my Grandma's Millie Staley, and my Aunt Margaret, them dead pictures of them, well, they are, they are dead also, and they're not fake. I should know, I was in their rooms when they died. Yeah, and I was too. But we don't like to kiss her ass. So wait till my son turns a year old, me and my husband will we, we'll be pregnant again. Yes, I am 24. She's 53. And she is. Is this from a live stream? Or is this person? Oh, I got it. I have to fucking see what this is. Apparently, the daughter, uh, Ashley, was trolled and told she was fake. Then she and her mother, Cindy, give a brief rundown of the family ages, dates, and other information to prove she is an actual human being. There's just so much wrong in the video. I can't. Okay. There. I, I hope there's more videos of this check. Not 80. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you don't like a KMA. By the way, she does wear fucking bras. She has one on right now. I don't have one right now. Oh, Grandma, what are you doing? Put it back down. Fuck. Look at these things. They're sagging in a bra. <laughs> They're resting on her gunt. These things would be bouncing off her fucking knees like party favors if she didn't strap that up with fucking uh, <laughs> body wraps. <laughs> Your chest is up here, lady. Your tits are down here. I wouldn't be lifting the shirt up. Right now. I don't have on right now because I don't sleep with the bra on at night. Let's see anything else. Oh, a penis is too alive. He's not dead. No, I did not run him over. Somebody needs to run over your ugly face and snatch it. So, Ellie Keen, how the hell can I edit out my voice? I don't know how to edit videos like this, you dumb, super looking bitch. Moron. So, answer my fucking question. How am I fake when all the videos and photos is of the same person that is me? And Cindy was in two of them. Yeah, you little whore. <laughs> yeah, you fucking skank. Yeah, you little whore. Fucking now go back to the go. Fucking morons! <laughs> Grandma's not taking it. Look at my tits; they sag to my knees. Oh, please tell me there's more. I have to. I'm gonna look at this account. Let me see if there are more videos of this fucking psychopath.
Ah, oh, there's only one video? Really? If anybody does anybody have more videos of this amazing woman? <laughs> Cause I need to see more videos of this just incredible fucking couple of people. Oh, let me look. Let me see if I can find some. Oh, somebody has the user account? Oh, please tell me this is actually their user account. Holy shit, it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, she looks like she has Down Syndrome. Okay. All right. We got some, we got some videos to watch. Uh... There's only, there's like nine of them, but we'll <laughs> take a look. Ashley Gay attempt intimidation expertly. I don't even know what the fuck this is. All right, let's, let's just, um, oh, I can see them both in this one. Let's take a look. Wire up. God damn it. Hold on one second. Internet's crapping out on me. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. All right. Sorry, chat. A technical issues. One moment. Just one moment. But yes, we found the account. Thank God. And there looks to be some shit on there. So we can watch this. Let me get rid of these. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Apparently, they were on Tosh.0. So there you go. Uh, here we are. Hello, you turd faces. Monkey bitches. Why is everyone always giving me a hard time? Why does people keep saying that I, that I look like a boy when I clearly have tits, a coochie, earrings, and wear girls' clothes? Yeah. And this here... It really is... It's spooky how much Tonka like this is. Just shit talking, and then he got failure chiming in. Yeah! Here is not a bow cut. Say my that haircut has to be one of my best friends hairstyle. Hair she is so fucking drunk. This old lady is so shit faced. I don't even think she's aware of where she is right now. She's, she probably is just she's gone. She's not three sheets of the wind. She's four hundred sheets of the wind. <laughs> she probably she probably uses the extra space in her bras that have been fucking stretched out from her hanging tits to hide flasks of alcohol. You know, a couple bottles in there, a few beer cans. Nobody's going to know Grandma's tits. They're, they're already sagging down there. It's going to look natural. Hair stylist. Cuts. Cuts. And you don't like it? Well, that's your problem. Now, if you don't like this, fuck off. Monkey morons. Oh, matter of fact, I seen one of your relatives the other day jumping from a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Am I a monkey morons jumping from a tree? Mmm, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking dog attacks her. <laughs> Even the animals <laughs> I thought it was a challenge for dominance. Canine! <laughs> he hate that fucking sound. So, so did he get you or did he bitch bit your shirt? My shirt? It's okay, sweetie. That dog does not tolerate retardation. <laughs> she starts, look at her. Starts going on her drunken rat. The dog rips her face off. Mm, bitchy. <laughs> he has to hold it back and wants to rip her fucking head off. Oh, okay. Let's we're watch some more of these. All right, let's Ashley gay attempts. I don't I don't know what a gay attempt is, but let's take a look. Kelly, just for the record, my cousin was here and he watched the video that you put. How you're gonna shove your deodorant up my mom's crotch? That you're going to insult her with a pin? My mama heard what you said about shoving, shoving deodorant up her cunt. Mama doesn't smell down there. We use a hose in the yard to wash mama off. Mama gets drunk on whiskey, and we just 
We wash her off like she's a car. He was actually watching the video. And he brought his laptop here. And he got your IP address. So now, in the next couple of days, he's going to be coming to your house. So get prepared to get a knock on your junkie door. They've super hacked them. We've got your IP address, champ. We know what trailer you're living in. We're going to send Mama down there. Tell him, Mama. Yeah, monkey face. Lucy is not a rapist. She's only 13 for crying out loud. And I'm not a pedophile. And who cares if she had a picture of Hannah Montana? Did you ever stop and think that Hannah Montana slash Miley Cyrus is a lot prettier than you? At least she ain't a cunt. And I bet you anything that you had on Lucy's... Yes, they are very unnatural eyes. I think I think once you smoke a certain amount of meth, your face gets permanently stuck like this. And what if you watch her shake her head? Her eyes don't move. It's like she photoshopped them on top of herself. Page and fucking every time where she could not get back on it. Are you seeing that? What the fuck kind of trailer park magic is that? The, the eye just stays there. She can shake her head and it doesn't move. You have a fucking bald haircut. You need to take off that 50 cent wig and show everybody your true baldness that you really are. Ava, what's the fucking video that you promised how you was going to upload it? Never got it. You can hear the fucking dog getting ready to go for a second go at them. Born, your video was shit. I don't have a unibrow, I don't have a mustache, and I don't have a bow haircut. So you can keep my face and my mom's face off your junky potato. By the way, that Justin Bieber song, you didn't write that. He did. A reflection on what? What is it reflecting off of? The inside of her glasses? <laughs> a reflection from what? And he can sing it 100% better than you can. By the way, you wrote on that piece of paper for your plane tickets. So don't be lying. Here in America, our plane tickets comes in the box. You're the Joe because we Americans are a lot prettier than you England people. So, bye, here's Cindy. Hi, I'm Cindy. I'm Ashley's mom. I'm going to say to Kelly, Ava, and the rest of the girls, Ashley is telling on sauce truth. She You're not going to fool me, Chad. They've bewitched you with their beauty. That's how trailer park witches do it. I understand. You're under their spell. I'll pray for you. I'll go back to that black preacher man and have him say a prayer for you. Sarah got her plane tickets, and I, I and I, all I got to say, we don't know where she's going or how long she's going to be gone. All we know, now we're going to be with her on her journey trip. And, Kelly, if you ever come towards me, you wish you was never born. Because, like Ashley said, get prepared get, to get a knock on your door by my cousin. Bye, you little whore. You ugly dog. So, like Kevin is tracking your IP address, I think I better get past him. That I'm coming to your house, and I'm going to show your mom everything that you said about me and my family. And I hope she beats the living shit right out of you. Yeah. So, <laughs> she, I love how she chimes in. Yeah. Go back in your bedroom and go fuck more, because we all know that you and her did fuck on the beach. And get prepared to be crying. So bye, you ugly whore. Oh, these people are magical. Oh, let's uh, find out more of what's going on in this ongoing drama. Yeah, this video goes to all them whores on Facebook. This is Cindy, and I'm Ashley. Cindy? Hi. Georgia? You're talking about my niece, and I don't appreciate that one bit. How would you feel if I talk about your family members like that and call them nasty names? Saying, oh, they got raped. Oh, they're, they're a whore. You know what? I, I can care less about your fucking family and anyway, bitch. Why would I want to rape my own cousins when I can get some from my husband, Fred? What a bizarre conversation to be having with somebody on Facebook. No, you don't understand. I don't need to rape anybody. I've got a husband. <laughs> like, how did this conversation even come about? How does that How does that even get broached? I'm not that way. I don't go around and I don't touch little kids. 
At least my daddy is not a fucking fake model. Yeah, hey, and you're talking about my husband. I think you don't know my family members. You don't know them. You have never seen them. So shut the fuck up. In other words, make a bridge and get over it. And my husband don't have boobs either. And my boobs are not sandbags. <laughs> my, my husband doesn't have tits and my heart sandbags. God, that fucking haircut. I bet they really did cut this bitch's hair with a bowl. Like that, that line going around her head like that, this is a bowl cut. This is an old-fashioned poor person bowl cut. And I think you can't understand her partially because she's drunk, but also because her dentures have become so loose, they're pushing out on her top lip. Look at that. I have boobs either. My boobs are not sandbags. They're not saggy. I'm not a dirty whore. I'm not innocent, and I ain't no fucking pedophile. So fuck you. Yeah, George, that goes for me too. If you don't like this, lump it. In other words, make a wrench and get over it. Fucking blown the fuck out. You don't know who you're fucking with. You make a bridge and you get over it. Mama's spoken. <coughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm bringing with my daughter all the way. 100%. 100% you can't fuck with us. Apparently they did fuck with them because the videos just stop. Hey, I'm Cindy. I'm Ashley's mom. And I don't appreciate it. Why bad are you little fucking whores? And little son of bitch? Who do you think you are by going on making a video, a video of me and my daughter? How dare you? Next time, you guys will be reported into the authorities. Because I got two cousins who are cops and they are here right now walking out the door and they got your video on the cam. The police have your YouTube videos. It's over. Guys, it's over. The cops have the evidence. They know about the YouTube videos. They got the IPs from super hackers. Super hackers that live in the trailer park. It's, it's done, boys. Cindy and her mom have won. So, you might all be. So, you might they all say. Lump it. And also, one more thing before I close off. When I make fun of my daughters, Ashley and Lucy, next time I'm going to make fun of of your fucking ugly asses, retarded bitches' asses. You slut, bastard, sharp, and another thing, don't be making fun of my brothers either. Yeah! They're just my brothers. They're not my dad. They're not my cousins. They're not my uncles. And they're not my husband. So shut up. My dad is not a fucking horse. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Why would you even need to say that? Fucking horse. Fucking horse. My dad is not a fucking horse. And gee, I didn't know horses could drive a truck and work. And I didn't know my big fat pig Luca Mama can do all that shit also. And <laughs> my dad is a horse and my mom is a pig. And I'm not llama. Let's have my check. Llamas don't have periods. So fuck you, you oversized cows. Moo hoo hoo. And by the way, I can afford lots of stuff. I get my check tomorrow. And guess we buy a plane ticket to come to your dumb asses. Me. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, somebody in chat said this is back when trolling was more pure. Uh, apparently. Hey, yo, witches. Yeah, run those bitches. You little sluts. You little whore. You little tramps. Your daddy got saggy boobies. Ha 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 ha! And next time I have my hair that you're going to square my son law, you're full of shit. Cause he coming with you. This woman's fucking blood is like 20 proof. She's so drunk you can't even make out what mumbling shit she's tried to say. <laughs> it's just perfect. What's your fucking asses? You ugly dogs? Hey Amber, your daddy has a rotten old dick that's getting ready to fall off and you better go suck it. Yeah, I think you might go to the hospital because your grandma just passed away. 
Boy, that's some funny shit hanging your grandma died. <laughs> I guess she looked at your face too long and died. Yeah. I guess your face killed herself. Yeah. Hey, Amber. How's your mom's nasty tuna pussy? Yeah, and this gonna be a mean. These insults are amazing. I guess your face killed itself. How's your mama's tuna pussy? Llamas don't get periods. I'm not an idiot. Back to years. Did you have to use a spoon? Just eat her tuna out of her pussy? Or did you have to use a skeleton to walk her ass with? <laughs> so how does the crap taste? Can I your mom's bloody period, your pussy? Why? Have you been looking at it? <laughs> She has the drunkest laugh. I really love this old crazy bitch. She's just, she just doesn't. Uh... Hey, you with the glasses. <laughs> yeah. So, how was your mama's pussy? <coughs> Less than I heard. An ugly doll came out of it. Oh, I'm sorry, that was you. Yeah, I heard and, and stinky ass dump, but like Amber came out of her mama's coochie. <laughs> so. Amber and your little four-eyed faggoty friend, make another video. I double dog dare you. Yeah, I double dog. Yeah, I double dog. I double dog triple dare you. So when you guys make. Yeah, Grandma, get it out there. I double, I double, 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 double dog dare you. Yeah, I double dog. I double dog triple dare you. So when you guys make one, we sexy bitches will make one. That's right. Including this little geeky motherfucker right back here. And also, if you don't like it, make a bridge and get over it. Oh, yeah. By the way, <clears throat> Amber, my dog has fleas. I'm sure I'll mail you some. Yeah. For for your ugly dog friends. I have a, I have banana and a cucumber. I'll send that to you, too, so you can use that on each other's pussies. Yeah. And have one egg stick in your ear. Just don't let the crabs eat it on the way up of your pussy. <laughs> That's a good one. So, fuck you. <laughs> just play off. Yeah, that's a good one. You really got her, Ashley. Need some help? Fuck you, too. <laughs> hey, Peanuts. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, Peanuts. <gasps> Come here, Peanuts. <laughs> that fucking dog hates them. Come here, Peanuts. <gasps> Come on, Peeny. This here is <laughs> Peanut, and he's the and he's the meanest little son of a bitch ever. But he loves me, so he's not mean to me. But he is mean to you. And Amber, he wants to show you and your little faggoty friend something. Okay? <laughs> Say, suck my dick. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is with these people? These are two of the ugly females, Kelly, Lauren, the other girl who fucked up my video, and and how you pronounce her name. I'm sick of you girls asking me to make you a fucking video. So I decided to make you the longest, rudest, nastiest video I can think of. So get prepared to, to have this video long. Kelly, I just called Kmart again. The only Kelly Benton they have? This girl with black hair. And I call him Melbourne Township High School. There is no Kelly Benton that works there because my aunt is a damn teacher there. I love how she's like doing the work. Like she hates this bitch so much. She's calling up Kmart's to find out if she really works there. So she can one up her in her response videos. I call Kmart, you don't work there. I call Walmart, you don't work there either, Kelly Ann. Lying bitch! Look at my dog's penis. I'm not a llama. So why don't you just quit your fucking lying and come out and tell the truth for once in your fucking life? Me and you, we didn't have sex on the beach. Cause one, I don't like you. Two, I can't stand your fucking good. Three, you're you're you are the ugliest, nastiest fucking whore I ever seen. And and what? And the last one, do you think I will fuck you? I'd rather really fuck with Rosie than you. At least you don't have crabs. Or lies. Or AIDS. Or gonorrhea coming out of her damn pussy like you do. Lauren, you need to take off your fucking wig. I mean, hell, I know... She's got a whole fucking list of people. 
and she's just going through it roasting him. You don't work at Kmart. You got gonorrhea. And Lauren, bitch, let me tell you something. Oh, you're bald on the knees, but don't be ashamed of your bald or your baldness. Where are you gonna fucking pronounce it? The girl who fucked up my video. You don't have a dick. If you didn't, you sure you sure in the hell don't know what to do with one. Cause I play with it. So, Kelly, you said that you're road in Mount Vernon Township High School? Prove it. Take a picture of your school teacher and I will know her. Take a picture of all the employees at Kmart and post them on your Facebook. I will know every one of them too. Since I used to work there on the night shift. Clean. She's, she's, I want to know where you work. I'm going to dox every employee, employee of Kmart. I'm going to find out who the fuck you are. I'm going to find out who you are, bitch. I'm going to go through the roster of employees, and I'm going to find your ass. Mm-hmm. Here's Cindy. Let Cindy say something now. Hi, it's Cindy. I'm Anthony's mom. And Kelly, Laura, and the Japanese girl, I think you better back the fuck off. Leave Anthony alone, because when my daughter did call, did call Kmart and talk to Jody and Sandra, and there is no Kelly Bennett who works there, so you know what you can do with it? Take this job and shove it, because I know you're lying. And now one more thing. If anybody's got pineria, or whatever it's called, it's you three monkeys. So back the fuck off, leave that shit alone, or you guys will be reported in again. Goodbye. I, I have to know what who fucked with these people. Was this some like was there like some dedicated uh, group on B that was fucking with them for a week or something? Or where does this originate from? Because I get the feeling they were impersonating people in their trailer park and then screwing with them for a while and getting non-stop reactions. Yeah, one more thing. If you just come work at Kmart, prove it. And I, and the Marvin Township High School also, take a picture of all the buildings, you little weasel bitch. Gotta call my cuz. <laughs> she's she's doing she's pulling a zoom before Zoom did it. She, she's calling employers live on fucking camera to find out if this bitch works at Kmart. My battery slow, it means I gotta charge it. Hey Crystal, what's Kevin doing? Oh, okay. Are you by? Kevin decided to make a Facebook account. Uh, I went off and told him everything what you girls have been saying. And you want to know something else? He's a cop. That's right. I have two cousins, two uncles, and two aunts. That's cops. Boy. Holy shit, that's another Dongaism. She's telling everybody about all her law enforcement relatives. You better not fuck with me. All right, I got cousins that are cops, and I got I got other family members. I'm sure she'll say that are in the FBI. Wouldn't Wait you for guys it. Love to be me. Yep, and get ready to feel stupid. What the hell with your fucking bullshit? Exactly. Cut me down. Cut my little sister down. Talk about my dad, bro. It's like they're dogs. They haven't done a goddamn thing to you. Lucy is only 13 years old. Leave her alone. She's not a rapist either. Hell, she's only 13 for crying out loud. Exactly. Daniel's 24. He died 24 years ago. So how the hell can he be a rapist when, he, when he's been in the ground for 20 years? <laughs> they just, they're fucking trolling him, telling him all their family members are rapists, and she's getting angry about it. How could my little cousin, she's only 12, how could she be a rapist? And this guy, my other cousin, couldn't possibly rape anybody. He's been dead for a quarter of a century. Four years. Yeah. 
Jackson died last year by a drunk driver on his way home from work. Yeah. So how the hell can he be a rapist when he has a girlfriend? And he got all the pussy he wanted. So I actually did walk in. Then they was fucking in my bed. Yeah. And I do have a picture of him and his girlfriend. That's right. And she's ten times prettier than you are, Kelly. Oh, God. This is... There's so many videos. What is this? This is the last one she did. Uh, comes clean about some discrepancies with her famous videos. Have we been all? Have we been fooled? Has this been? A, have we been on a ruse cruise? Let's find out. Well, now you guys know the truth about me. There you go, Ebony. I came clean. Truth about me and my family was nothing but a lie. What 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 was the lie? <laughs> These are oh here we go. There's a post. Oh, there's a lot of posts. Let's read from Ashley. Post number one. Hey everyone, I lied about everything. I don't have any brothers or a sister. I don't have any kids. My dad is not dead. And my mom is not a cop. Now my marriage to my husband, now that's real. I don't live in a two-story house, but I do live in a house. Oh, and I'm not pregnant. Post number two. Oh my fucking God. Yeah, I did lie. Big deal. Everyone lies. Three things wasn't a lie. I do have a husband. I do live in a house. And I do have an attic. Real important we know that one. But my attic is above my toilet. I only said that I had a son and daughter with twins because I don't think I can get pregnant. I only said that my dad was dead so everyone can stop calling me names. I only said that my mom is a cop to put a little scare into you freaks. I'm even skinny. I'm 185 pounds. <laughs> Who cares if I'm fat? I don't care and neither should you. Yeah, I'm ugly, but I don't care if I'm ugly or not. I'm happy with the way I fucking look. So if you don't like it, Feel free to delete me, because I won't care if you did or not. Block me for all I care. It won't bother me. All my names you want to call me, it won't bother me either. I'm used to being called names. All my family has called me awful names. But after years that went by, the name calling doesn't bother me no more. So help yourselves. Call me names in my book. Send me awful letters, Ebony. Jade has already posted my address all over my Facebook page. Oh, boy. Nothing you can say or do will bother me. Like I said, I'm used to it. So knock yourself out and have fun. This is why we love this woman to death. Yeah, it's basically, I do what I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell him, Cindy. I love your videos. Keep making it. Okay, if it's... I No, I don't think it's... This is... I don't know what she's... She must have told people, like, she lied about having kids. That's what she's talking about. But being a fucking retarded, drunken trailer park <laughs> slut, that's real. I live in a house. Don't you dare think I don't live in a house. My attic is above my toilet. It's always been my dream to become famous. When I was a little girl, when I was going to horseman school, we had to do a play for the whole entire school. And of course, I was shy. She looks like a dude. This looks like an awkward teenage boy with a really bad haircut. And look at the size of her skull. It's like, it's from the bottom of the hair to the very top. It's like three inches. It looks like somebody caved their fucking head in with a sledgehammer. But when it was my turn to read my lines, I forgot all about being shy. I went up there, read my lines, and when the play was over, Everyone at the school stood up and they applauded for us. It wasn't just applause. Wow, this must be. How old is this? 2013. So, this maybe this is the origin of, and everybody stood up and clapped. Maybe that's where that pasta comes from, is this story. Everybody in the auditorium stood up and clapped. Did they, Ashley? All right, we got one more video. It's a short one. Let's take a look. Make a video. Yeah, 
Say you don't like it. You didn't bring that one up, up here. Go tell Jack as I need his help. Uh, I'm making a video. How oh, you want to smash your pass? Pull, I'll give you one. <laughs> give you one. Asking the real questions. Do you want to? Do you want to fuck the female Dylan Roof? Is that is that what we're doing? All right. Okay, let's start that pull up. There you go, Chad. I'll let you. I'll let you. Uh, <laughs> let me. Let me. Well, you know what? There you go. I, you can get the basic idea of this sexy woman. Seen a lot of a lot of smashes. A lot of hard. A lot of hard smashes. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go with pass on this one personally, but don't let me influence your votes. It's uh, closer than it should be. I'll put it at that. We'll, f we'll find out where you stand on uh, Trailer Park Princess here. Ashley and Cindy. God damn. I have a feeling there were a lot more videos than those. I bet you these chicks made a bunch of videos. And we're only looking at the nine that for whatever reason remained up. That's kind of sad. Wish I wish those were saved. All right, I amazing. 135 of you would smash this. There are 135 very horny people in chat right now. That would 142. It's going up. It shouldn't be going. Why is this going up? Stop voting smash. I don't think you understand. That's a dude. That's a dude pretending to be a chick, pretending to have a husband, pretending that that husband is in fact not a horse. Well, now you're just voting to spite me. <laughs> That's what you're up to now. Okay. Wow. Oh, for anybody that wants to watch these on your own time, uh, let's see. Oh, maybe this is a re-upload. This might actually be a re-upload. But the channel name is Very Mad Ladies with a Z. So Very Mad is one word, space, ladies, uh, L-A-D-Y-Z. Uh, they've got a collection of videos up there. Maybe people mirrored more of their videos. I don't know. Uh, it's good shit, though. Good shit. Nice uh, choice from the person that sent that recommendation in. All right, I'm going to read the remaining Super Berries, and then I will play some outro, and I'm going to go play some Metro. Because fuck, that game is fun. From AIDS Baby, Ladyboy Donga. From Medicare Fembot, laugh my ass off. She So she lies about absolutely everything like Donga. Also, TLDR on the Donga stream I'm clipping. Donga is so crappy, Crouch people started freaking out and demanded he get off the stream, or they would leak all his scripts. I could believe it. From Cos Miller, have you heard of the Congolese space program called Troposphere 5? Uh, no, I have not. Guns down in hail. <clears throat> Sorry. Guns down in hail. If you hear her mom talk and you close your eyes and imagine Christian, it's him. Just try it. The Crawl Space. Hey, Jim, take a look at this video from Spurg from the Resident Evil community known as Grace Sanders on Ed. Uh, we'll take a look at it next stream. From Rogue Fragment, wish my Polsky friend luck getting Asian pussy. Uh, best of luck getting some Asian pussy. From Kaiser Split Dick, this video right here. Again, from Kaiser Split Dick. Uh, end with this, please. Now, if it's a good song, maybe. Let me take a look. What is this? <laughs> uh, I'll save that for a special ending. Medicare Fembot, self-promotion. Donga had a bit where Alex aped in the show as you. Have a view and feel the cringe. I'll take a look later on. Odio Strau, someone should make YouTube videos like they are a gang stalker. Okay, and this is, we're back to the, back to the beginning. All right, chat. Well, thank you for joining me. Uh, morning streams are usually just me watching shit that I find an interest in. I definitely found an interest in the trailer park shit. Uh, I've got a good collection of Twitch stuff. We were going to do that today, but I want to have more before I actually do it. So that'll probably be tomorrow. We'll look at Twitch streamers getting raided and fucked with. Uh, after watching that Aussie get banned off Twitch because people kept screaming the hall isn't real, <laughs> I wanted to watch more of it. So what should the outro song be?
I need to get a bigger selection, I'll be honest with you. But I, I think I've got the perfect video. Have a good day. Enjoy the weather if you're in an area of the United States that is not under 30 feet of snow. And I will see you Friday. That's right, chat. Don't be Rama-Rama. You should never, ever sniff petrol from a can. That's a terrible idea. It's going to end poorly for you. I'm glad that the aboriginals from Australia can hit us up with that hot fucking track. Remind us all what the uh, priorities in life should be. So good. Oh, it smells so good. But you don't want to do it. Don't give in. Don't give in to it. How's your week going, chat? Hopefully things are going well for you. A little bit late. A little bit late and gay, but, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'll call it morning. It's morning somewhere in the world. It's technically not in... Correct. It is Medicare in the morning. At some, at some ge geographical location, somebody's waking up right now. And they're like, fuck. Yeah, he actually correctly started the stream at the right time. Doing good? That's good. Yeah, some people complaining in chat they're having lag. It's fucking streamy. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what they're doing with the website. Hopefully they eventually address it. It's lagging like a motherfucker, kind of all over the place. Uh, the last show I did didn't get archived for some reason, even though I had it set up to do that. I know other channels were having issues with archiving as well. But I, I, I think a few people were able to clip it and record it and should be up on YouTube. But I, I don't know. I don't know all the technical shit. I couldn't tell you why this site's doing what it's doing, why the mobile app doesn't work when it should work, why it always lags when you're trying to stream, why shit doesn't get archived. I couldn't tell you. I'm not a technical guy. But maybe somebody should fix it. Maybe that would be a good priority on the list of shit to do is make the site function before rearranging the homepage. By the way, can we talk about the homepage? <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? How can we make it more difficult to find the people that are live streaming? I know. Let's have them navigate through three, men or di three different menus to get to the actual live streams. I, I get it. You want to have a nice, sleek design. You want to compete with Twitch. I get it. I really do. And that design probably would work well in the future when you've got more than 10 people streaming. But, you know, I, <sighs> Apex Legends, Fortnite, all right, there's not a lot of people streaming that. I don't know why that would be a category. I'm not even sure what the difference between <laughs> talk show news and radio is. I mean, music I get. But what, what's, explain the difference between talk show and radio then. Why is that two categories? And why does everybody just tags every category? So it makes it look like there are thousands of fucking uh, viewers in every category. And the people that are streaming, if you want to grow your platform. Otherwise, they're going to get lost in some subsection nobody's ever going to look at. That's, that's my hot take on it. I'm not thinking like an individual hurtful chat. All hail the individual. I always think like an individual. But this, this homepage is just awful. I'm sorry, Streamy, but it is fucking horrendous. At the very least, maybe could you, you know, in fact, I want to just double check this. At the very least, could you, when you're looking at the homepage, you get all the latest topics, and then it has browse popular topics, so you've got to click that. And then after you go to popular topics, you've got to click view by live stream. So you've got to go through multiple pages to get to the actual thing that shows you who the fuck is streaming right now. Like, I'm streaming right now after looking at this. Almighty Tevin streaming. Cognificent Ranbot. You know, other people are streaming. But you know, how the, if you just stumble on the site, how the fuck are you going to find that? <laughs> like, I don't, radio and news and talk shit, it's all the same thing. There's no reason to have three categories. And then you've got... You've got, I, I just, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't. Retro gaming is its own category. Music, music on its own, sure, fine. Fortnite, Battlegrounds, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why this is laid out like this. It's a, it's a bit irksome. I'm getting off on a tangent here. I mean, I've got, a, I've got a subject for today. I think you're going to enjoy it. You know, I was looking over some things related to other kins. Uh, just having a laugh. And I found some documentaries about other kin, so we're going to watch some of that. 
but have you ever heard of mental shifting? Now, I did a video on other Kens, but I, I never heard of mental shifting until recently. That's where retarded teenagers that think they're actual wolves uh, transform for you on camera. Have you ever wanted to see a fat girl drop to her knees and start barking like a dog? Have you ever wanted to see an autistic guy shove a tail up his ass and start rolling on his back and playing with yarn? That's what a mental shift is. And I found a whole fucking bunch of mental shifting. And it's it's almost too good not to pay attention to. So I thought we'd have some fun. And they, they, these aren't furries. That's, there's a difference between an otherkin and a furry. Otherkins aren't as perverse, but they're two times as insane. So it's like a trade-off. They're not out there fucking the family dog. They're trying to live a life of the family dog. <laughs> it's just, there's so many mental shifting videos. I don't understand how this is a thing. They're all young. It's all like teenagers doing it. At first, I thought maybe this is like a joke. Maybe this is a group of people that got together and wanted to have a laugh, but no. No, they're fucking serious about it. So I'll get that all queued up and go, you know, well, that's well, uh, next other kin day today. Also, just as an aside before I get to it, Nick Ricada murdered a man on stream two nights ago. If you get a chance to watch this, I'm not going to play it on stream and commentate over it. It's entertaining enough on its own. Uh, but he fucking slaughtered, he slaughtered a retard in front of a massive audience. A Wikipedia lawyer arguing with an actual lawyer about the law. Uh, really highly entertaining. Uh, the dude was literally drinking soy, which is... I, I, I don't, he's like he wanted to make the stereotype real. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but maybe check that out if you get a chance. Uh, highly entertaining shit. All right, let me get the... Uh, let me get the Therian. Oh, they love that word. They like to use new terms. Can't call ourselves otherkins. People are making fun of that too much. We're Therians now. Oh, there's, I, yeah, I've got five of them. Like, I, I, I don't want to spoil it. I will... I will God, it's a fat girl. It's a fat girl with a dog collar barking like a dog. I, there's so many things that are wrong about this. I don't know why she would do this to herself, but okay. All right, all right, Internet. You go ahead and be insane. I'm not going to tell you otherwise. All right, let's pop chat out here, get everything nice and set up. Uh, yeah, by the way, if the stream dies on you, you know, it's it's streamy. Just hit F5 to refresh. Sound quality cuts out. Again, F5 to refresh. There, there's not a lot I can do on my end. I'm streaming at a relatively uh, low-end bit rate. We're not going above, like, 720p. I've got a fairly solid internet connection. There's There's not a lot I can do about it. I'm sorry. All right. Let us get this all lined up. Get this video front and center. It's just, I don't understand what compels teenagers to do things like this. They have to know that eventually they're going to grow up and it's never going to go away. Like, this fat girl has to know that at some point in her life, she's going to be like five years into the future and people are going to be like, holy shit, whatever your name is, what the fuck were you thinking? All right, let's jump into the world of Therian, which is a... Another term for other kin. That's the special term they have for themselves. Show us what mental shifting is all about. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. I think uh, I think we're about ready here. Let's uh, let's jump into some good old retardation. Say hi to yourself, chat. Remember, don't let Kurt Eichenwald ruin this for us. You've got to teach that motherfucker a lesson. Lots of flashing gifts so he doesn't come and harass us. I don't want his wife writing tersely worded uh, tweets at us. Keep him away. All right, other can mental shift wolf. Yeah, I had to had to put the little thing. In case you get confused why this fat girl's going to bark at us, it's because she's turning into a wolf, okay? All right, let's watch this. That's me, Jasmine, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mental shift. Not, there's no wrong or right way to mental shift. It's just how I prefer to mental shift. Um, and, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> <laughs> um, and also how, no, sorry, and I don't, really deep philosophical lessons from the Therian other Ken right now, 
There's no way to. There's no wrong way to mental shift. She's right. There's no wrong way to be crazy. You can be insane in any way you choose. Crazy is crazy. She's absolutely correct about that. I don't have to do any other. She's still still practicing, so let's get to it. Okay, so just give me a sec. Might be four hours. If it takes you long, just pause the video and we'll edit it. Yep. Here comes the magic chat. Prepare yourselves. We've got a teen wolf on our hands, and she's going to transform magically before you. Ah, oh, method acting. She needs to find the place deep in her soul where the wolf lives and call him forth from his den, located between her third and fourth gunt. Heavy breathing, can you hear it? She's getting into the act. I am the where. Look at this shit! Not a scrap of self awareness. <laughs> She's fucking growling! <laughs> Humane Society, I'd like to report a loose animal. It's a very obese dog. It's wearing children's clothing. I don't know what the hell's going on. Get off the furniture. You're not allowed up there. You're a wolf. That's for people. You sit on the ground. This is really amazing acting, by the way. Can you tell I'm a wolf? I slap my paws down. <laughs> this is the sound she makes when she goes to a buffet with her family. Oh, oh fuck, I'm getting scared, guys. Now, do you think this this lovely young lady, do you think she ever wonders why nobody invites her to parties? Do you think she spends her evenings writing in her diary? Why don't other, any of the other children like me? Why won't they invite me to their birthday parties and slumber parties? Is it because I shove a tail up my ass and wear a dog collar and bark at them? No, that couldn't be it. It must be because I'm too beautiful. They're just jealous. You're a wolf, not a cat. You don't hate the water, idiot. Maybe read a book about the thing you're pretending to be. She's out of breath, Chad. Is that what you said? Yeah. Energy levels depleted. Time to transform back into a human and eat ten cupcakes. Oh, I guess the wolf, it's over. Okay, guys. Thanks. That was me mental shifting, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And well, you don't have to tell me twice. Like... Thank you very much uh, for teaching me how to mental shift. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the lesson on how to do that. And no, that's not a one-off. Uh, they're all insane. So let's go look at some more mental shifting. Oh, I don't understand why this is a thing. And it's all its all teenagers. They, it, <laughs> they all start barking. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello, people. Today... I am going to be trying to do a shift. Not sure how well this is going to... Can you hear that shit looping in the background? How much do her parents hate her? Just wolves and dogs howling. She has it on a fucking loop on her stereo. <laughs> is that Moon Man? You see, she, it looks like a, this looks like a possum that has been nailed to a rock, which is the first sign she needs to see a therapist. And I'm fucking fairly certain that's Moon Man. I don't know what is going on with her. Turn out, it's not what you're gonna expect. I'm probably going to not actually turn into a wolf. I'm just gonna act very wolf-like, most likely. We'll see what happens. And if I sound a little sick, it's because I have a flu plus an ear infection. So, yeah, not fun. I would, I swear to God, if I were her father, I would kick that fucking door open. 
and I would throw the stereo out the window. Do you, I bet she sits in there for hours on hours on hours listening to animals howl. She's clearly very deeply into it, given all the plushies and the disturbing art of possums fucking nailed to rocks on her wall. As you can hear, I also have wolf howling in the background. Why is this here? Sorry. Oh, we have another tail. Okay, let me back that up a little bit, just in case you missed it. Of course, it's another poor innocent child that stapled a tail onto her ass to really live the life of a wolf. I mean, social media is a thing, right? I thought teenage girls were the most self-conscious about their image. <laughs> Can you imagine her classmate stumbling on this? She wouldn't survive a day in junior high if they found a video of her snarling like a fucking dog with a tail stapled on her ass. <laughs> I love how all their transformations, too, are the same thing. They get down on all fours and kind of just slap at the ground and wiggle back and forth. And then they a woo really, a woo really loudly, like four or five times, snarl a couple times, and then energy levels depleted. Time to turn back into a human. Okay, real talk chat. Imagine you're a parent, and you don't know anything about your crazy daughter being insane. And you walk into her room at this exact moment, as she's squatting on the floor, looking like she's shitting a tail out, with dogs howling in the background, and fucking possums nailed to rocks on the wall. And she's snarling, and circling about like she's going to urinate and mark her territory. How quickly do you call the police? How quickly do you call men in white coats to come take her away? Oh, holy shit! Our little wolf is athletic! What, did she fucking hop? What was that? I want to see one of these videos where the parents walk into the room. That has to be the completion of it. There's no way to sensibly explain what she's doing. I need to hear her mother's reaction. <laughs> she's playing with the stuffed animals like they're dog toys. She's fucking insane! <laughs> oh. oh, this one's far more committed. She's far more committed to her method acting than the fat one was. She's going the full nine yards at this. She's hopping around like a, a fucking handicapped wolf frolicking in the woods, jumping on furniture, I guess, uh, <laughs> chewing up stuffed animals because that's what wolves do. That was me shifting. I do not know what happened. I do. Here's what happened. 
you were raised by a single parent and you don't have very many friends so you act out in crazy ways so somebody anybody at all on the planet earth will pay attention to you that's what happened here today you this is a cry for help you videotaped a cry for help and put it on the internet and we see it we see your cry for help and we feel badly for you now stop sticking tails up your I bet you are. That was a very active uh, play routine. You're chewing on all the stuffed animals. I bet you're out of breath. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a very busy day for you. Okay, where's... Oh, let's see. Let's find another glorious... Oh, there's so many of these. It's fucking ridiculous. I, I never saw this shit before, and now it's everywhere. I don't I don't understand what the fuck is going on. Okay, here we go. Let's uh I really want to learn the ins and outs of this. I'm sure you do too, chat. I mean, if I could become a wolf by mental shifting, why wouldn't I do it? Never have to go out and buy groceries. I could just hunt squirrels for sustenance. Uh never have to worry about security. Who needs a gun when I can bear my fangs at attackers? It comes in useful in a lot of ways. Who needs toilets? I can just piss on trees. The life of a wolf sounds great, so I need to know how to mental shift into one so I can live that life effectively. Being a Therian can get weird at times. Because sometimes you're just really, really sorry when you are like, we really, really want to shift. Or we shift randomly, but... Okay, they shift randomly. So, not only are they crazy little fuckers, they do this publicly for attention. Imagine sitting next to this. And again, this is... I Ten to one, they've got a tail. Uh, this is another dog collar wearer. Looks like Pat from an SNL sketch. Uh, just imagine sitting next to them, and they suddenly start barking at you. <laughs> I Sorry, I couldn't... couldn't could handle myself. It was a Therian mental shift. Today I could control it, and then I decided to let it all out right now. I'm gonna try not to bump my head on the ceiling though, because as you can see, the ceiling is like that. I have. My beautiful tail on. No, Chad, I don't think you can kill a Therian. I don't think you can kill them with a silver bullet. Uh, you need a lithium bullet. Or maybe a Thorazine bullet. That's the kind of bullet you need to be loading up to deal with this. Don't, don't shake your fucking ass tail at me. You bizarre, genderless thing. Oh, they're doing the chew toy thing too. I'm pretty sure wild wolves don't play with chew toys. I think you're thinking of domesticated dogs, idiot. <sighs> now, will it a woo for us? Are we going to get a little bit of roughing? Come on, bark for me, crazy. I know you want to do it. This is the laziest fucking mental shift I've ever seen. Oh, there we go. A woo! Come on, do it. You know, a woo! There you go. Do it. Get it out of you. <laughs> Look at this. It's laying on its back. Literally 
insane. This person is mentally handicapped, and I love it. I love this mental shifting shit. What a fucking clusterfuck. And that was cringy as fuck, yeah. <laughs> they have a little bit of... The little self-awareness kicked in at the end there. I think they realized, wait a minute. What, what am I doing? What in the fuck am I doing on the internet? Now, they have... Uh, <laughs> they have some other videos. This particular uh, badge. Uh, oh, there's a fidget spinner video. I'm not making... You know what? I'm just going to show it to you because you're probably not going to believe that this is actually real. <laughs> One person could... Let's take a look. Uh, this is their YouTube channel. Uh, there's the transgender problem video. A uh, fursuit dance. <laughs> My new fursuit badge, fursuit for sale, Jasper the Jackal, the reference sheet, of course, we need that, fidget spinners, it's just every, <laughs> oh, selling fursuit parts, you gotta chop it up, maybe make a little bit of money, extra money on the aftermarket, I think, uh, <laughs> what is this, this looks, is that a dog head? I, what, oh, we have to watch some of these, I'm sorry, I haven't prepared to watch all of these, but... <laughs> Since you guys say no. I hate young furs. Oh, that is nightmare fuel. That is not an attractive fursuit head. That looks like the sort of shit you would see staring out of your closet at midnight after you drank too much whiskey and you piss yourself in fear and try to dial 911 before the heart attack takes you. <laughs> it looks like a demon. <laughs> it looks like a demon dog. I want to make a video and tell you that I don't, I just don't agree with it. All right. Hey, pro tip for videos in case this insane person ever watches this stream. Maybe if you're trying to make a really deep point to whatever crazy community you're a part of, don't wear a mascot head. <laughs> That's maybe a starting place. Let's not put on mascot heads and have a deep conversation about the community. Because you look insane right now. And this looks awful. It looks like she shaved a cat's ass and glued it to foam. <laughs> I, this looks like real hair. I don't know how... Is that? It looks like a wig. This part here, I don't know if uh, my, you can see my mouse, but the, the nose looks like an actual wig she stapled onto it. And dead cat hair has been used around the top of it. <laughs> how many animals died for this? Okay. I'm going to tell you why I don't agree with it. First of all, I see a lot of kids stealing art and stealing characters. Not good. Don't do that. Yeah, OC, OC original content. Donut steal. Don't take it. All right. <laughs> don't you take my original characters. I know you all saw Jackal, my fursona. Don't you fucking take it. That's mine. I own a copyright trademark. I made another video about that. Go check it out. Um, okay. There's one big thing I'm going to come out and say is kids cause a lot of drama in the fandom. Yeah, that's right. It's the kids' problems. Not the transgendered other kin that mental shifts and barks at the audience who made a fucking fursona fursuit mascot head by stapling a wig and dead cat parts together. Not that person. It's the kids that are the issue. <laughs> it's fucking children. Let's go take a look at their original character that they don't want stolen. Oh, what an abomination. Is this what an animal looks like after you drop too much acid? One too many trips on DMT and this is what a jackal starts to look like? Is that, is that how this works? Well, you know, those are great schematics. I'm sure the tailor will be able to figure out what insanity you want made into reality. Uh, let's go watch. L I don't. What is LPS? I don't even know what that is. Transgender problems. Hey, everyone. Before we start this video, we just want to let you know that we're not making fun of any LBGTQ people. It's just a joke. Because Spencer, my cameraman, is actually transgender so um we're pretty much making fun of 
This person has a cameraman. <laughs> we can clearly see you're filming this yourself. You're holding the camera. Playing with... I don't, I don't even know what that is. You're playing with your toys on the floor. Holding it. What do you mean your cameraman? Are you Spencer? Is that a headmate? Him. Roasting him. So, um, yeah. So, please don't get offended if you are transgender or... And so am I. Holy fuck, this is reaching game dude levels. I haven't I haven't seen somebody play with toys and voice act dramas like this since the game dude. <laughs> They're actually doing it. They're putting on a puppet show of furry drama for us with their toy figurines. When I'm older, I'm only 12 right now. But when I'm older, I am going to be turning myself into a girl instead of this horrible boy body. Hey, man. I'd rather be a guy. Honestly. Shut up, Spencer! You shut the fuck up, Richard Spencer, with your ethno-stage shit! Can't you see that us furries just want to be girls? God, Spencer, what's your problem? Always oh, talking about the white race. Alright, I just want to stick a tail up my ass and mental shift into a werewolf. Stop getting on my case, buddy. Whatever. Ha. I'm Georgie. And... And, 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 and Clips the Wolf makes fun of me. I don't like Clips the Wolf. Clips the Wolf is my friend. You hear that, you fur fag? Cliffs the Wolf is Richard Spencer's friend. It's much more entertaining imagining that this is Richard Spencer that this crazy person is arguing with. <laughs> Why can't I get into the ethnostate, Richard? Is it because I decapitated a moose and wear its head? It's a, why why you got to discriminate, bro? They're, they're not they don't She makes fun of me. Clips is just a little choker, that's all. Okay. You know, I think we might have stumbled into something really special. Really? This might be, we might have found something extra special here. Let's, let's look through and see. I, I probably should have looked at more of the videos. My public fursuiting experience. Okay, that's probably going to be a fat lady kills herself? <laughs> Is this a glimpse into the future? I'm too fat. I have too much hard time losing weight. I'm so depressed. I'm going to kill myself now. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> okay, that little drama, right? This person is speaking through toys. All right, I, I give her, him, whatever. I, I give them a year before uh, they do a front flip off a bridge. Like, <laughs> there's some warning signs going up. I'm getting some, I'm getting some flags coming up here. In fact, oh god, I might have been more right than I thought. All the videos stopped one year ago. <laughs> all the videos stopped a year ago. There's no more videos. It's just it all it's all going up and then nothing. Just radio silence. Holy shit, they killed themselves. This was a cry for help nobody listened to and now they're dead. And we're watching we're watching the only thing that will ever F and chat F and chat for our, our Ethereum bro. Oh, Richard Spencer, this is your fault. I blame Richard Spencer for this beautiful individual's death. They clearly did a backflip. Because of you, Rich. What are you doing? Adam's kin type. Oh, I need to know about Adam's kin type. Hey, everybody. Um, I was just gonna make a video that I... Oh. Oh, we're off to a good start. Really, really good start. Nice, uh, I thought, where's your cameraman? 
thought you had a transgender cameraman. I don't understand. I'm sorry. My phone fell. Um, anyways, um, I've been meaning to make this video. Adam, I wanted him to do it because it's about him, but he is camera shy, so... Alright, I'm going to throw this out right now. We're only just digging into this. Adam doesn't exist. This person is Adam. There is no cameraman. This is Adam. We're, we're watching Adam right now. That toy of the fat lady killing herself, that was a puppet play cry for help. <laughs> oh, God, this is going to get dark. Um, he didn't want to do it. So I'm going to just tell you. Okay, so he was telling me a few weeks ago. Actually, I think it was last month sometime that he had a dream shift and he's not just the Therian. He's a other kin too. Like Okay, so your imaginary headmate, Adam, had a dream shift and they're not just a Therian anymore. Now they're an other kin. I guess there's a difference I didn't know about. Let's get educated. Like me. Um he only has one theotype, theotype, and that's Chase. And we are the alphas of our pack, the Indigo Moon Pack. They have a fucking pack. The Indigo <laughs> Moon Pack. This is an alpha. All right, hey, chat, pay attention. Uh, this this uh, stud super chat here, our werewolf, okay, uh, little puppet player here, alpha. All right, bow down, you beta bitches. This is the leader of the pack. What she says goes. All right, uh, Adam. <laughs> Adam's on notice too. Don't fuck with the alpha. We currently have me and Adam, and Sylvia, Miera, and Sean Eaglehawk in our pack. How much you want to bet Sean Eaglehawk isn't a Native American? They just thought it sounded super rad. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm Jim Lizard Skin, and my girlfriend's name is Jade uh, Panther Fur. <laughs> this is our buddy Mr. Eaglehawk. Really great naming scheme. Very very deep. Really really deep naming scheme. Let's 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 dig in. Oh, alpha male howls. Oh my god, does Adam really exist? Holy shit, we're gonna get to watch Adam show us how to howl. Oh, Adam, come on. You gotta give me more than that. You think he did that when she threw herself off the bridge? You think he looked over the edge and he wanted to remember her properly, so he did this? Rippin' pepperoni, fat ass. I'll always a woo for you. I wooed for you, fatty. <laughs> My, oh god, there's more. My wolf noises. Hello, everybody, again. Um, I'm going to adjust my position here. And... So, I have a sore throat right now, so this might not work out. But... Wow, god, spoiler alerts. Barking like a dog makes your throat sore. Who who saw that coming? Maybe stop a wooing all day and night. Also, I'm sure your mom and dad really appreciate you doing this in the front yard in front of the neighborhood. I'm sure the neighbors love it, and dad doesn't feel slightly embarrassed about it at all. My dad just went in the house, so I was thinking of doing this, and no one seems to be around, so I can do this. So I'm doing my... Therian noises. Mostly wolf noises. Can't do my fox noises. Probably can't do my cat noises. So I'm going to do my wolf noises. I can't do my horse noise right now either. <laughs> they have a horse noise? No! What the, what the fuck is a horse noise? Can you picture this motherfucker making horse noises at you? Oh, I bet your parents fucking hate you. So, 
just my wolf noise. So, if you don't know how to howl, you go like this with your thumbs out and cock your hand like this, and then you howl. Adam's really good at it. I'm getting there. <laughs> Look at them looking over their shoulder and shit like they don't want to be embarrassed. It's far too late for that. All right, we've watched your other videos. The neighborhood knows you're insane. You may as well just own it. You may as well just fucking completely own it and dress up like a wolf and run around the front yard because fuck it. What are they going to do about it? I'm kind of nervous because I just heard laughter in anyone's gonna hear me okay yeah now I'm totally embarrassed because I swear I heard someone <laughs> they're hearing people people are watching out of their windows across the street and laughing at them like they're aware of that like the neighborhood is laughing at you and you're still filming this. I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> then barking? I can't whine right now because of my throat, but. Yeah, someone was outside and I just heard their car leave. Oh, this is amazing. Have we found like the. This might be, I, I, it's, how do I put this? They might be like the golden example. A fursuiter, other kin, transgendered, crazy person that now believes they're being gang stalked by their neighbors. Is that, is that possible? Have we found a unicorn? Have we found a fucking unicorn today? Is that possible? Embarrassing. Pretty, probably people think I'm a freak now. I'm proud of being a freak. Leave me alone. I'm proud of being a freak. Look at look how half-hearted and low energy this shit is. You're going out in the front yard, bark like a dog. If you're gonna do it, fuck your neighbors. Stand up, stand up. Look your neighbor in the eye and you growl at them. You let them know you're the fucking alpha of the Indigo Blue Pack. They better watch their ass or you're going to eat their cat. I can't bark with a sore throat. It sounds like a dying dog. Okay. Well, that's my wolf noises. Um. <laughs> yes, chat. That's perfect. I love that term. I'm stealing it. We have found a lunicorn. A <laughs> we found our very own lunicorn. That's what I'm calling it. It's it's a convergence of all insanity into one single individual. My dad just came back out, so I am done this video. <laughs> My dad just came out of the house, and he's holding a baseball bat. And he's just looking at me with a look of hatred. And I think it might be, I think this might be my last video, guys. Yeah, he's walking over here shaking his head saying, I told you, if you bark one more fucking time, one more fucking time if you bark in the front yard. All right, guys, don't forget to favorite, like, and subscribe. <laughs> oh, we need to find more. <laughs> I need to. I think we're going to just take a journey down the lunicorns. Oh, oh, my God. Holy fucking shit. They have real baby dolls. What the fuck is going on? Who is this person? <laughs> what is going on? Who the fuck is this person? <clears throat> Sorry, I got a cold. This is Isabella. And she's my doll that I am using for practice, I guess. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, Lunicorn, what practice are you doing with a little real life baby doll? <laughs> is this gonna, I don't know where this is going. For when I have real kids. I don't think that's something you should be concerning yourself with. Uh, I, I have a feeling you're not going to be having children. 
uh, maybe just skip this part of learning motherhood because you're not ever going to be a mother. But yeah, um, I mean, I really like Reborn Dolls, and I want to get one. She's not... Oh, that's the name of it. That's a creepy-ass Chucky doll shit. The Reborn Dolls. They look like... They're, they're the human-like babies that crazy women have. You know, like cat ladies and spinsters. They can't get a man, and they're like 50. And they just they completely have a breakdown, and they want a baby, but their ovaries are dried husks, and they can never have a child. They buy reborn baby dolls and make their cuck husbands pretend it's a living thing. That's what I was trying to think of. A reborn doll, but, um, yeah. She was real enough looking to convince my grandmother. Like, my grandmother thought she was real and she saw the picture. Uh. Oh, I bet this crazy fucker is, like, going on Facebook. Hey, Grandma, look at my baby. This is my baby. It's real baby, Grandma. I have a real baby now. Oh, my new hairstyle. Maybe go with the old one. <laughs> my gender identity. This is a gold mine. All right, let's... <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I'm not dead. Let's hear this update. Everybody, apparently I found out that everyone thought I killed myself. <laughs> you don't say, champ! Is it is it maybe because you look like Frankenstein? I don't know. I don't understand what what kind of biological look this is. You've got a Neanderthal's brow ridge, because I don't think it actually sticks out of your head. If we were to paint it metallic, you would look like a, some Japanese robot. You'd look like a mecha with that brow ridge. And I, I don't know what this is! This is clearly the sign of interbreeding, or inbreeding, or at least fetal alcohol. There's so many syndromes going on right now with this face. I don't know what the fuck is up. Nice haircut, by the way. Uh, it was probably a very nice bowl you used. We can see it's clearly defined line that you stuck on your head and cut yourself. But I'm alive. Or am I? Any any time you have to put up a video saying I didn't kill myself, it's probably a clear sign that you are eventually going to kill yourself. <laughs> what? We have to dig farther back to find what spurred this one on. <laughs> okay. Well, I am kind of peed because the fact that every a bunch of people thought I was dead. They started to spread a rumor about someone that didn't... I don't even remember. I'm pretty... Come on, use your words. Mental shift back into a person and string them together. Come up with coherent sentences. And give us a narrative so we understand why your neighborhood thought you killed yourself. Pretty sure they didn't... They weren't... They didn't take part in the bullying. And they were spreading the rumor that they were the one that was bullying me and they were the reason why I killed myself. I don't know if you guys caught that, but the kids at her school shit on her so much that they try to brag to each other that they're the ones responsible for getting her to kill herself. I want you to imagine a high school cafeteria full of children trying to claim credit for getting Igor to kill itself. But I'm not dead. I'm alive. See, I'm alive. I just took a break for a while because it was getting to me to the point that I felt like killing myself, but, um, what I... This sounds like 14D underwater chess by the bullies. They, they their plan was to spread rumors that they made her kill herself, to get her to kill herself, so they could claim credit later. There's a Deadpool at this kid's school where all the bullies get together to see who's going to win the fucking jackpot. <laughs> Let me, if you're a parent and you have a weird fucking kid that's into weird, dumb shit like this particular person is, don't let them have a YouTube account. It's asking for trouble. 
this person is putting up the wrong type of shit on the internet and just asking for fucking trouble. I wasn't stupid enough to do that because I... I have people that would miss me, and I know that they would. So, um... I did do something stupid, though. I cut my wrist. Holy shit. And it's a cutter, too. And uh, it bled a little bit, but it didn't hurt that much. I guess it would have hurt more if I didn't have so much pain inside. My heart hurts so much, it makes me want to... Oh, woo! But, um... I'm not letting the drama get to me anymore. I'm just laughing at it, or ignoring it, or t killing them with kindness, or just... No, no more fueling the fire, because... They fueled the fire, and then I fueled the fire, and then it just was a big explosion. And I'm not dead, and please leave Silky Moth alone, because they had no part in it at all. So, it was a bunch of Therians that... I was actually trying to stick up for other Therians that were being mocked. Okay, wait a minute. It, so it wasn't kids at your school that have a death pool to drive you to suicide. It's actually other crazy other kids. You're so insane that the other Therians, the other mental cases that be believe they're werewolves and shit, are trying to drive you to kill yourself. <laughs> what is going on in the Indigo Blue Pack? My little kids. And not just little kids, other people mock too, like adults mock. So, um, I was sticking up for them, and they took it the wrong way, and they, um, started to say horrible things about me. And I just read a comment now that someone told me to drink bleach, and I- <laughs> Did you? Did you read a comment where somebody told you to drink bleach? That's shocking. I didn't see that coming. I, I'm like, wow, harsh. And then I just laughed it off. Because I'm like, I ain't going to drink bleach. That's disgusting. I'll only drink pine salt, you fucking plebs. Drink bleach, that's beneath me. Therians only drink the finest of cleaning products. Okay, uh, bleach is for poor people. That's a bad way to go. Maybe... Maybe you should drink some bleach and see how it tastes. Oh, blown the fuck out. You try to banter with the alpha chad? Look what happens, little dog. You came to fuck with the wolf. You got bit. Oh, tell me to drink bleach? Why don't you do it? Nuh-uh. You, bro. You. Blown the fuck out. Step back. Step back from the wolf pack. Yeah. Okay. Um... Anyways, I'm alive, and apparently there was a bunch of videos. People were having tributes for my death. <laughs> we have to find these. People were making fucking internet videos for their death. There are memorial pages for this retard. We need to find them. I need to explore who the fuck this is. Oh, there's so many videos. Let's, let's just, uh, let's dig a little deeper. There's so much shit to look through. Why I haven't posted off Five Nights at Freddy's. I, 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 I think I need to start a list. All right, they have, they have reborn dolls, transgender, fursuiter, other kin, uh, attention whoring fake suicider, and now we've got Five Nights at Freddy's. It just, it keeps growing. The list keeps growing. Our lunicorn becomes more majestic. Every moment we scroll through their shit. Wait, no, okay, let's, let's 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 go a little deeper here. Okay, this is Rubby fursuit unboxing. Oh, well, I want to watch them unbox their fursuit. My fursuit had arrived, and now I'm gonna open it. 
Yeah. If I can. God, they even laugh like they're mentally handicapped. That <laughs> laugh that they do. <laughs> Where's mom and dad for this? Mom and dad have to know that this is happening. Why haven't they stepped in and said, stop? Just, just stop. For God's sake, we'll buy you a car or something. Just stop. And there's a drawing on the side. And her, uh, um, company. Company, yeah. Nova Fur is right there. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, I see what you're saying, chat. Yes, uh, JF is happily in a relationship right now, but if that ever goes south, we might have found him a perfect match. We, we might have found we find we might have found a winner here. Just like Christmas. <laughs> I know. Oh my God! Moment of truth. I gotta take my glasses off. There's her uh, business card. Not so much. Unless you'd like to see snow falling into the water. We've been talking about this all week, watching this system is going to fall back in towards the coastline. It's so big! Cold north wind, but we have that cold north wind now. We have a little bit of rain falling in Port Hawkesbury. It's so big! Oh my god! I like how they sent it in a trash bag, because that's where it fucking belongs. It's like the creator of this abomination was trying to trying to subtly hint at where it should go in the garbage. It's so cute. My baby's here. Bye. I gotta put it on. It's just, wow. Wow. Oh, I don't even... Oh, and they wear it out in public. Oh, I, I God, I want to see what the reaction is to this shit. <laughs> Could you imagine bringing your children to the arcade for a fun-filled afternoon and a retarded lady in a fucking wombat hat walks up to your kid? <laughs> Hello! Do you want to be my baby? Oh, <laughs> what size tail is this? What fucking size tail is that? That's a big black tail you got up your ass there, champ. sort of person that should not be allowed in public what the fuck mom what are you doing you're a parent you need to step in and stop this Is anyone else noticing there are no other people in the arcade right now? They they quite they, they've scared off every other patron. When all the parents saw this freak show walking into the arcade, they grabbed their five year olds and ran for the fire exit.
I, I, I'm, I'm just really stunned. I am really stunned at what we're looking at here. Fursuit. My dad in my fursuit head? Oh, dude. Dad, what the fuck? What are you... Oh, did it freeze up on me? It might have froze up on me. Even YouTube is so disgusted with this, it doesn't want to continue. Oh, technical issues. Hold on. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> my dad has my fursuit head on. And he's being a goof. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm calling it now. Uh, the parents are responsible. If this retard killed itself, it's mom and dad's fault. You knew at every step of the way your insane daughter was doing weird shit. Uh, okay, you bought them the fursuits. You bought them the real dolls. You let them post shit on YouTube. You knew... They were in the yard barking at the neighbors. You fucking knew what was going on. And you didn't stop it. You thought it was all cute. It was all fun and games until it becomes society's problem. Some poor bastard making eight bucks an hour has got a scraper off the sidewalk under the bridge. Because you couldn't put your fucking foot down. It's a trap. It's a trap. Don't go into daddy's bedroom. Or he's took your first suit. You, okay, stop. Okay. Holy shit. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> we'll dig into this one later on. I'm going to bookmark that. This is going to get saved under the need to investigate what the fuck is the matter with this person tab. <laughs> Okay, let me let me see if I can find it. Where is it? Okay, that was the mental shifting. I've got that all. You know, let's take a look at... Tonight, um, truth. Let's take truth. a look. Uh, there we go. Wolfie Blackheart. Talking about Therians and other kin. I, I just want to... I want to tell you a heartwarming story about a other kin that decapitated a dog. Because, you know, it's a normal thing to do. It's, it's what their kind does after they woo and mourn the dead. So let's take a look at uh, Wolfie Blackheart. Stranger than fiction, the investigation into a beheaded dog leads police to a self-proclaimed wolf girl. James Munoz has been following this story since last week. He's live at police headquarters tonight with the latest. James? Sarah Rodriguez goes by the name Wolfie. She claims she's a werewolf. She's into taxidermy, but this time she may have gone too far. Wolf is wolf, so full werewolf, and half human, half wolf. Sarah she may have gone too far. Our little girl, Wolfie Blackheart, is into into funny, interesting things. But she may have gone too far when she ripped the head off a dog. News at 11. Rodriguez prefers to be called Wolfie. She wears a tail, a collar, and a harness. I am agnostic. I believe anything is possible. And uh, I'm not really, have a, I don't have a set religion. A group of people mostly online have accused her of beheading a dog. I didn't kill any animal. I wouldn't. Like, like I said, I'd be more likely to hurt a human than a dog any day. And even then, very, very, like, not really possible. I'm pretty friendly. The dog's name was Rigsby. He went missing on January 2nd. A photo of someone holding his head is on the Internet. Now 18-year-old Wolfie is under investigation. I didn't get him as Rigsby. My friend brought him as her dog who got hit by a car named Shadow. And was he alive at the time? Dead. Dead. He was kind of stiff. Wolfie claims she's done nothing illegal. She says... I've done nothing. Then I ripped its head off and posed for pictures on Instagram. There's a group of people harassing her. They've even hacked into her personal accounts online. They put child porn on my profile. A lot of bad, nasty stuff. I've been getting death threats, phone calls, a whole bunch of stuff. A few years ago, Wolfie was arrested at an area high school for carrying a large knife on campus. She wasn't enrolled as a student at the time. Oh, I didn't take the knife to school knowingly. I had it in my bag for my dad. She was also once arrested on a burglary charge. I was proved not guilty because I didn't do it. I was in the woods nearby, which I'm always in the woods. Okay. And uh, they caught me and my friend in the woods. Look at that fucking haircut. It's like a cross between emo and screamo. I don't even know what to call it, really. Hiding in the woods. 
that was the knife she brought to school she didn't know she had. That thing is like three feet long. How do you not know you have that on you? It's not like you accidentally put it in your pocket and forgot about it. We didn't do the break-in. I don't carry them around. Okay, just keep going. Animal cruelty investigators have been to Wolfie's home before. Right now there's an open investigation surrounding complaints. She has too many animals living in unsanitary conditions and those dogs often fight. And in 2007, another complaint regarding animal mutilation. Well, just lovely. And yes, chat, uh, there are updates on what happened to Wolfie. I just wanted to throw it in there when we're talking about the, the other Ken community, the Therians. Uh, let's see, where should we go next? Now, I've got a couple documentaries on these crazy fucks that are lined up, uh, which are good, which are good. Uh, and then uh, I, about another guy that wants to change his name into a dog. He wants to be legally recognized as a pupper. Uh, best of luck with that, pal, I guess, which are good. Uh, and then uh, I, I'm no, another no, no, guy no, no, no. What are you doing here? Okay, sorry. A little feedback loop there. Whoops, he his name into a dog. What the fuck? Okay. There we are. I'm being a boomer. I'm fucking shit up, chat. All right, let's. Uh, I got some super berries. Let me read these really quick. And then we will move on to the documentary. Oh, boy. Find out more about our, our boys', uh, our boys uh, dog fantasies. From uh, Comet Man, decapitate dogs. They really do the job Americans don't want to do. From Z Mark, Jim, look up Train Boy 54's custom Thomas characters. Uh, maybe another, maybe on another episode. Uh, Massad Agent, hi Daddy Jim. Can Chad get a poll on the Spud Girl, Stone or Bone? I don't. <laughs> you know, I, I, that might make me lose faith in humanity if we do a poll on that, and then the poll is actually in the category of wanting to bone it I think might be the point where I just check out check out of life just give give up from TJ Dia one I bet you this dude was a massive pedo bait as a child from swords mage take my super chat virginity daddy I finally caught you live just remember when you get the or when you get when you gas the furries don't forget me please gas me first from Weston my fucking god the Omega bitch is being pissed on by other beta cuck furries Jesus Christ, man. Go forward with the original plan. Game over. From Gopnik. <clears throat> uh, Adam had the right idea. Stay off camera. Uh, no shit he had the right idea. Mr. Wicked Wah. Multiple personalities equals a pack now. A woo. From Tog Woke Motherfucker. The, uh, that one was right. Kids causing lots of problems in the furry community. They keep getting raped against their will and traded around by freaks of nature. If only those kids would stop getting raped. They have zero respect. From Black Potato, the first girl was obviously a hog. and off-topic, but female dongalore. Oh, somebody has more about Ashley. Uh, we'll, we'll check that out later on. From TJD01, Yif and Hell. From Artsy, Artsy. Never too late for Black History Month gift. Nature Boy, he's running a cult of 10 to 15 people in Mexico and has a following plus crazy stalkers. It's a gold mine. Here's a clip. I'll take a look at it later. Uh, from CoinFlip458. Back in high school, there was a girl who wore a tail to school. People called her Raccoon Girl. My friends and I bullied her, and we still laugh about it to this day. From Comet Man. Uh, we was Masta and shit. Pastor Bates. Jim, you're wrong about mental shifting. One time my uncle mental shifted me into a squealing little piggy when I was five. From George the Nord. I want to shit a few lines of coke on your face, Mr. Hal. From Mike Forrester. Kids don't want to grow up anymore. Hell, millennials don't want to grow up. That's why there's so many man babies and, well, these creatures. From Sargon of No Kid. You're two days late for Sunday Fun Day, you potato nigger. Uh, no, no Sunday Fun Day. I've just been doing the morning streams, enjoying myself doing that. Uh, maybe I'll have a Sunday Fun Day when, there's <laughs> when things have played out, let's say. Uh, but right now, just morning stream. Song of Sickness. Hey, Jim. Need some ideas of a programming-based college grant? Help a brother out, I'll cut you in. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what to tell you as an idea for that. Maybe chat can help you. From Kenny Jones 91 do you know what happened to the pedophile guy from that Chicken Hawk documentary you showed a few weeks ago? I'm fairly certain he's dead. I'm pretty sure that dude is dead. Dead for a long time. From Ocean Redux, favorite Street Fighter character across all games, and also favorite Melty Blood character. Just describe them if you don't remember names. Always wondered, lol. Uh, favorite Street Fighter character. 
Uh, I like Jury, I guess, from the recent ones. If you wanted uh, maybe Ibuki as well. Melty Blood, I'd have to think about. You have to give me a little time on that. From Fucking the Coffee, DHQ did an AMA on 8chan. Reset Era has lost their shit from it. Uh, I could imagine they would. Reset Era is uh, uh, very easy to anger. Uh, two more here, and we'll jump back to the videos. Kaiser Split Dick. Finally, I'll get my autism cringe fix. God bless you, Jim. And finally, wield the chains. Glad you didn't forget your babies after all. Also, if you want something to laugh at, how does a guy admitting to his dad over the phone that he is a brony sound to you? It sounds like something I've already watched. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen the video you're talking about, and I'm pretty sure uh, dad was not was not fucking thrilled that his his son called him from like a convention, if I remember right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the one I'm thinking of. All right, let's get back to this. Oh, where the fuck are we here? I think is this, this is, a way? Yeah, there we go. This is the guy that wants to live his life as a dog. And, of course, good old-fashioned Dr. Phil coming with the hard-hitting stories. Uh, let's let's jump over. Here we go. Way of avoiding life for you in, in other ways. You're 48. You're a virgin, right? Yes. You've never been on a date. You don't have a job. You just put on a paper dog suit and walk around town, which doesn't seem to me to be a highly productive course in life. Well, I feel it makes me more of social because it's something that I engage in with people, wearing the costume outwardly, going around the city, and I kind of... <laughs> the dude's a living fucking fire hazard. I like the outfit, made together with used pom-poms from cheerleaders that ran away in fear. But, you know, one misplaced match and this motherfucker's going to the burn ward. You can get friends that way, too. You know, people who interact with me as a dog. And owners, mostly dog owners, really like the situation, you know, of me being a dog on the, you know, outside and yeah. stuff. How many of them have asked you to come home for dinner? <laughs> people do say, they have a thing, can I take you home? They actually... I, I don't think they're saying they want you to come to their house. I think they said they want to find you a home, you know, like a mental facility, somewhere for special care to be given for your insanity, maybe, is what they're trying to tell you. They say that to me many times for fun. I think they're just yeah, having don't fun. don't go. I know. Don't, <laughs> I don't go. If somebody's wanting to take you home, don't go. I don't know. Yeah, I've, I'm safe. I know the yeah. safety rules, yes, so I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do for money? Well, my... Oh, I suck dick on the sidewalk. You know, basic normal things. Put on my pom-pom uniform, pretend to be a dog, let hobos, uh, you know, uh, ejaculate my asshole. Is that safe to say on TV? I let homeless people shoot their loads up my ass. That's how I sustain myself. That's how I make money, Dr. Phil. Uh, I give hand jobs to poor people on the streets. I suck a lot of cum out of a lot of cocks. Let's just be, let's be real here. I am dedicated to pleasing dicks, Dr. Phil. My parents, my mom established a trust fund for me. I own my own home. I kind of have just, you know, it doesn't cost too much for me to live. Yeah. And I kind of live simply. I feel like the dog philosophy is just a simple life a little bit. Yeah. So it's, you know, and dog food doesn't cost that much. Yeah. So I'm not. They eat out of a fucking dog bowl. Of course you do. <laughs> yeah, living the life fully dedicated. Not doing too bad. Now, you don't really think that you're part dog. I, in some way, I have to believe that I am. Okay. Because so you... of circumstances over the years that have shown me that I, there must be something there because it's that strong of a thing yeah. for me. So you think you could be a dog trapped in a human body? Yeah, in some way. I don't know how it is. I don't know how it happened. But I do really believe that it's a possibility that maybe I was intended to be a dog somehow. I don't know. I'm going to guess that this is some kind of childhood trauma. Maybe your dad beat you with a belt. Maybe an uncle molested you. Maybe you fucking just fell somewhere and hit your head on the curb. That would be my explanation for why you eat kibbles and bits. Yeah. Is it possible that you like went to a movie with your dad early on a about a dog and you have warm feelings and memories of that and 
and you saw other dog things and they're all kind of always happy endings with a soundtrack behind them and so you just kind of get caught up in I don't know if you caught that but I think Phil's on to our boy here and yeah that is a dude uh, happy endings wink wink he knows what's up he knows how this guy's supporting himself how are you getting all those dog treats I know what's up happy endings in that fantasy People have said, uh, you know, that it might be a fantasy that yeah. I have in the past. Well, it's fantasy. But... And listen, again, I, <laughs> I know. It, listen, it, it's people do this for a hobby. It's, that, that's okay. But you're missing an awful lot of life. All right. I think there's a clip, too, of this dude. Uh, he lost his court case. He went into court to be declared a dog or some shit. Uh, and he lost that one. Uh, Boomer the dog, American furry. Oh, oh, wait, this is a whole documentary. Take the name Boomer. Start. All right, we got. Okay, let me let me try it like this, chat. We got two choices. We've got a Boomer the dog documentary. <laughs> what was the other one? There was another fucking. Oh wait, actually, we can start with this. Hold on. Time once again for your morning. All right, we'll we'll do a quick update on Boomer, and then we got our we got two documentaries on other kid lifestyle. I think you're gonna like. But uh, let's let's find out how his court case went. To be legally declared a fucking mutt. Morning, Brew, and joining me this morning, as always, is Larry Hanley. And this morning, we're talking about the canine crowd. Two very different stories, believe me. <laughs> a Pittsburgh man, we're going to start with him. He believes his spirit is more dog than human. Take a look at this guy, but a judge won't let him change his name. He wanted to change his name, get this, to Boomer the Dog. Legally, he wanted his name to be Boomer the Dog. Who wouldn't? This is a look at Gary Matthews. That's his real name, but for the uh, most part of his 44 years, <laughs> he hasn't acted or even dressed like a human being. Instead, he's taken on the persona of... How depressing is this, by the way, Chad, that this crazy fuck who wears the world's worst dog costume and eats fucking kibbles and bits, he has a house. This motherfucker owns a home. I don't know how he does it. Maybe mom and dad bought it for him. Maybe he's just a rich kid. I, I don't know. I haven't looked into him. But he's coming from a house. You're all out there busting your ass to survive. Maybe you're in college. Maybe you just got a job. You know, you're, you're working your way up in the world. And this psychotic fuck that wants to live the life of a dog has the luxury of a home. Of a dog. This, this story gets better and better. His uh, house is actually filled with dog movies, books, and toys. Gary says he just feels more comfortable dressing in his boomer costume than being, well, a human being like the rest of us. He's also been uh, spotted at furry conventions for years wearing the <laughs> costume. You're right. I, I do zone out when crazy people talk occasionally. Uh, he said, uh, chat saying, trust fund. I, I don't know. It's just kind of when you run into a lunicorn, it's, it's a magical experience. It's like a double rainbow kind of thing. Well, you just get lost in it. You become transfixed on what you're looking at, and everything kind of fades to darkness around you. It's a really weird phenomena. I don't know how to describe it better than that. Uh, this is another lunicorn. I mean, look at it. Look what it's doing with its hair to make fake dog ears. Just up there. It's very bizarre. It's transfixing. I can't look away. The unemployed computer tech, more on that. I, w yeah. I was going to ask what he did for a living. The unemployed computer tech even walks through his neighborhood as Boomer the dog, as we saw in the video, and that's why in a very bold move that he uh, petitioned the court to have his name legally changed to Boomer the dog. A judge, however, felt the name change was just too confusing. How much do you want to bet these dudes wished that television would let them say what they really wanted to say? You see those smiles on their face? I bet you these guys bullied people like him in school. And I bet they just want to look into the camera and go, this dude is a fucking faggot. But they can't. So they've got to try to say it in a subtle, nice way. It would have been better if he worked in a pet shop somehow. It would, unemployed, though. Perhaps not unemployed. surprising. Can you imagine that resume <laughs> coming across your desk? Name, Boomer the Dog. Yeah, that's a little odd. Maybe a good call on that judge's part, by the way. That story's a Yeah, I used to shove fuckers like him into lockers. Taught him a lesson early and often back in the day. But apparently Boomer just didn't learn it hard enough. I better go get the hose and pay him a visit. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go with this one, I think. Uh, this is a documentary. A fucking documentary. They call it, I swear to God, Species Dysphoria Disorder. That's a fancy name for lunatic. 
Species Dysphoria Documentary. I think I'm an animal. Of course. Can't just call crazy crazy. Got to give it a fancy name and act like it's not insane. So let's, let's take a look at this. What would you do if you felt you had been born into the wrong species? When I started feeling that I was non-human, I was around 10 or 11. And in- oh, I have a feeling. Okay. Does it look to anybody else like he actually has a hole in his pants that the tail goes into? I think this might be a legitimate ass plug tail that this dude is wearing to the fucking bowling alley. Increasing number of people believe they are more animal than human. I would definitely say that I have species dysmorphia. I have these hands and this body, but internally... Uh, it's all the same. It's like the... You know, uh, what? what is it? Uh, South Park kind of called attention to it with the emo kid skit. Where it's like they all want to be individuals and fight and rebel against the system, but they're all cookie cutter in how they do it because they all shop at fucking Hot Topic together and wear black mascara and shit. There's a uniform for this brand of crazy, and they all fucking wear it. It's all got the dog collar, fake tail. It's like, it's just, they all shop at the same place for the same shit and act crazy in the same way. It's really bizarre. I am a leopard. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. <laughs> this is the guy! Fantastic. Let's back that up. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. Oh, woo! Internally, I am a leopard. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. Joined by a belief system and a growing internet presence, these people are meeting and forming relationships. We are raccoon and leopard. It's not too relevant to whether or not we love each other. Primal instincts take over, and before you know it, you're clawing and biting your other half to, to pieces and wondering why the both of you are enjoying it so yeah. much. For the first time, we are welcomed into the world of human animals. I began to get concerned because it sounded like almost like mental illness to me. Oh, did it? Did it almost sound like mental illness to you? Not quite at the threshold, though. What, what would push it over for you, honey? What, it almost sounded like mental illness. Almost. Not quite there yet. Dressing up like a dog, barking at the neighbors, pissing on trees to mark territory, shoving tails up their assholes. Not quite mental illness, though. <laughs> With your nice white woman wearing Native American shit, crazy-ass hippie lady, what, what would you define as mentally ill, then? My child telling me that he's half animal. Neither paperwork for my name change to my wolf name, which is Shira Wolf. What's he, what's he dressing up like? In our changing world, a new subculture of humanity is evolving. These people don't believe that they are human at all. Identifying with a particular species, they are collectively known as other kin and Therians. Some choose to dress up as the species they think they are. Other kin and Therians live all over the world and share one common belief. <laughs> oh, I just, I love to picture just normal families just out doing normal things. And in comes a parade of freaks dressed like lunatics to some fucking family event. Here they come to the arcade. Here they come to the bowling alley. How am I going to explain to my child what this pervert sexual kink really is about? <laughs> like, I just, I want to protect my child, let them have a nice childhood, and this motherfucker in the fursuit's got to ruin that for me. They think they are animals. Oh, you know what, chat? Uh, I'm going to need a drink for this. I'm going to need a drink for this. Why don't we call a piss break before we jump full, fully deep into our documentary here? Put on a little background music. Take a minute. Go go take a piss. Grab a drink yourself if you need to. Put on a little a little music. We missed the, uh, the morning song, so I'll put that on. Uh, I'll be back in like a minute or two, so I'll uh, be right back. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Little little breaks over. Hope you enjoyed the musical interlude. 
let's jump back into the crazy world of insanity I don't know, of other kittens, of Therians, with the species dysphoria disorder documentary, I Think I'm an Animal. So let's, uh, let's get back into it. People have asked me, well, you know, do you ever get sick of it? Do you ever get sick of thinking about it? Do I ever get sick of thinking about my elbow? You know, I don't really have to think about it. It's just there. It's just a part of who you are. All right, this is the 21st century, all right? And you need to stop judging me and just let me live my life. I'm not sushi to be eaten. I am an octopi. And you don't think about your fucking kneecaps, do you? Caleb Carges lives on the outskirts of Buffalo, New York. He is not your usual teenager. My species is, well, definitely a wolf. Lately, I've been leaning more towards red wolf specifically, not only because of the entire uh, the type of environments I like, but also because of the way I act. If I could look in the mirror and choose what I saw, I would see an anthropomorphized version of myself that was um, half wolf, half human. Caleb is part of the growing phenomenon of. I fucking love these pictures. It just is so perfect. There's nothing that just it it, it sums everything up. Having a picture like this on a social media account or on the wall in your room basically just tells everybody what they need to know. Hello, I am fucking insane. When I look into the mirror, I think I'm a giant seven foot tall werewolf or a dragon or, you know, I, I guess maybe there aren't a lot of octopus out there, octopi, whatever. Not a lot of them. But this sums it up. This pretty much a picture's worth a thousand words, and this sums that up perfectly. People who believe in some way that they are an animal. We believe that mentally, or at least uh, cognitively, we are more connected with the animal side of ourselves than we are the human side of ourselves. And whether that be just the way we try to act in our life, or the way we try to communicate with our, the people we love or our friends, it's something that's very noticeable. It's, it's something that needs to be constantly purged in your head because you constantly have to realize, oh, that, that's right, that's right, I, I, I think differently. Therians identify psychologically and spiritually with an animal. And since the age of six, Caleb has believed he is a wolf. I have um, a couple tails. This is um, the one that I've been wearing mo for the most part. It's a little bit less realistic. This one's a bit more cartoony, but I like it it's less realistic. God, what makes it less realistic, uh, champ? What makes that tail not as realistic as it could be? Could it be the fact that you are a human being and not a red wolf? And you look insane when you staple it to your ass cheeks? I also like how they're all like, I identify as a wolf. It's who I really am on the inside, as he sits at his fucking desk using a computer. Last time I checked, most animals don't know how to use technology. If you really want to live the life of a wolf... Why don't you get butt naked and live in the forest for a few weeks and then come back and tell me how much you like that Animal Kingdom shit? Because it's easier to manage. I used to have uh, actually what was a decommissioned fursuit tail and it bothered the hell out of me because it was just like, it was just inconvenient in every way. And this one's like a lot more cute and a lot more playful. So to go out in public with it, I think it just, it fits a lot more. But it fits me and it fits my size and it has my colors. That's actually where I sleep. Right now there's a cat where I sleep, but Normally that's where I sleep, and um, tons of, it's mostly computers in here actually. Uh, I like it quite a lot because it gets quite warm in here, and as a red wolf I like warm temperatures. <laughs> Caleb lives at home with Dad Jim, brother Chris, and his mom, Mary Ellen. I'm disappointed in you, Jim. How could you let your wife wear earrings that disgusting? And why aren't you beating your son? All right, you need to step it up. You need to step it up a little bit with the uh, patriarchal role in that household. Well, when you first told me about being Ethereum and you said you felt you were part animal, and you said to me, Mom, what you look at when you see me, this is not who I am. I'm actually somebody very different. Um, I questioned if you were schizophrenic. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. She knows in her soul her son is crazy, and she just doesn't want to admit it. I guarantee you mom and pops are having conversations at that little dinner table when crazy Caleb ain't around, talking about what facility they're going to house him in 
when he hits 18. <laughs> um, or mentally ill. And then when you told me that, when I asked how long you had felt this way, and you told me it went all the way back to when you were around six years old, that you had been carrying this with you, that you really felt that part of you was this wolf. Um, I've come to really accept it and support it. Um, I, I get a little bit sad sometimes that Caleb is so involved in his own world that he seldom <clears throat> comes into our world. Uh, I don't know. Somebody in chat, is that other kid adopted? <laughs> Let's take a look. Oh, we get a, a view of him. Oh, and then when you told me that... Is, is this little boy adopted? And if he is, how unlucky is he? <laughs> Could you imagine you're at the orphanage? And they're like, hey, hey, it finally happened. Like, I know you're like 12 and all, and you usually don't get adopted once you get up there in age, but we found a family that wants you. You're going to have a Christmas. You're going to have people buy you presents. It's great. And you're all excited and shit, and they, they drive you off in the van or whatever. And you show up at this person's house, and the first thing you the first thing that greets you is Caleb in the front yard prancing around with a chew toy in his mouth as his mother sits there clapping at how proud she is. Her trans species son is expressing himself. Oh, that's our Caleb. That's We're so proud of Caleb. He's such a... Oh, my God, he's so magical. I'm so proud of my Caleb. Uh, I bet I bet you just want to get back in that orphanage van and go right the fuck back. When I asked how long you had felt this way, and you told me it was... ...believe she can communicate with the spirit world. I find that shamanism is not a religion, but it is a way of connecting with something deeper than yourself. It is a way of feeling that sense of the divine in this universe, and I honor everybody's path. And I feel the same way about what Caleb is doing. I, I think that that's a pain. Oh, dude. Okay. Mom's responsible. We, know, we now know why Caleb is so fucked up. Mom's responsible. She kept telling him all this shaman shit this white chick has no idea about. She's telling him, oh, we have animal spirits. And he took it to be literal. She was talking. She's trying to talk about shamanism. Oh, animal spirits and nature and shit. And Caleb being a stupid kid, listening to his mom talk about dumb shit thought she was being legitimate with him and now believes that he's a wolf it's her fault completely yeah that they'll take it i think it'll evolve for them be really interesting to see what happens to him 10 years from now the oh i, I bet it will this house is very warm and it's very open uh, which is probably why a lot of my friends like coming over here and we like hanging out and doing things <laughs> Caleb is not unique in his beliefs. He is part of a small Therian community of people in Buffalo. They include Stephen, a leopard, and Timothy, a raccoon. Timothy, a raccoon. And then there's there's Christopher, the squirrel, and and Billy, the goat. <laughs> Look at God, this kid's got money. Look at all this shit. He's living a pampered lifestyle, doesn't have to think about supporting himself when the reality of the working world comes crushing in on him. <laughs> oh, God. Together, they run an amateur radio show from his bedroom. It broadcasts to hundreds of people like them all around the world. Hey, guys, welcome back. This is episode 102. I am your host of this evening, Paradox the Wolf. I am your Blue Fox host, Pharaoh. I am your co host in training, Shroud the Leopard. I'm your guest, Menok the Raccoon. All right, next email that I got here. Uh, hey guys, my name is Kobe, and I am an orange, blue, and white male German Shepherd. Uh, I am also bisexual, and I am 19 years old, and I'm having some huge issues with my parents in relation to being Therian. Is there any help explaining this to them? How did how did you do it? <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh. I, I barely touched on it because my parents just didn't care. They just my mom just wanted me to be safe. My dad said that I could have whatever beliefs I wanted as long as I wasn't, uh, I wasn't hurting anyone. Oh, you had it easy, too. Yeah, yeah, it was easy. Let me translate that for you. Uh, mom, is, mom is probably on uppers or drinks herself to death every day. Uh, you know, one of those suburbanite women. And dad, when he says, it's just as long as you're not hurting others, what he really said specifically, word for word verbatim, was, I don't care what queer shit you're into. Just don't fuck the family cat. That's what dad said. That's what dad's concern was, the safety of the cat in the house. When my mother found out, she asked me, 
if she had done anything wrong as a parent. <laughs> and, and I was like, no. My parents always the, uh, the, uh, the live and let live type. It's not the as long as you're happy kind of people. Right. So well, as far as how I had to do it, it's not like I could offer advice from my personal experience. Yeah. Because I, I had it easy. Caleb and his friends are fortunate that they are content feeling like animals. No, Caleb and his friends are fortunate that they live in a first world country. Because if Caleb and his friends tried this shit in Iran or somewhere else like that, they would be thrown from fucking rooftops. Caleb and his friends are lucky they don't live in Africa, where they would put tires around their waist and light them on fire and beat them with stones. That's what Caleb and his friends are lucky about. For others, though, this is not the case. These are some of my wolf sharks. I've got probably over 50. This is my absolute favorite of them all, and it's got, it's one of my newer ones. It's got like the wolf and the moon, and it's the full body wolf, and it's purple. This, I just love it, it's beautiful. 18 year old Matthew Schimmel lives in Brunswick, Georgia. That's my diploma from when I graduated high school, and they had actually put Wolfie on the side of it. This is really cool. This, when I turn it on, it will, it'll sound like a waterfall light up and the wolf will howl. <laughs> hey son, what time is it? Oh dad, it's a woo o'clock. <laughs> he got a fucking clock that a woos at him. It's amazing. It's getting there. So yeah, I've always loved this one. I've got a whole bunch of wolf stuff. I've got two wolf posters. That's a picture of the wolf that I adopted. Um, these are wolves as well. And yeah, that's pretty much it in my room. It is not just wolf memorabilia that sets Matthew apart from other teenagers. It's his crippling autism. And the bad smell. In a personal, integral, and non-physical level, I am a wolf. Um, it's, it's very spiritual for me. I believe I have the spirit of a wolf. Um, it's also very psychological. I behave like a wolf. I feel, when I refer to myself, I am a wolf. Basically, other than the fact that I have a human body and human flesh, I am a wolf. I can't really give you a number of how many Ethereans are out there. I mean, there's hundreds of thousands in communities that I know about and that I'm a member of. Obviously there's wolves. I'm a wolf. I know. We got that. You've told us you're a wolf about 80 times. Here's my question for you as I'm doing this documentary. Are, were you adopted? Are you Barbara Walters' real son? Because you sure believe a Wawa things. So I just want to see, are you related to her? Is that a bit of a speech impediment? Did, uh, did you get that when you let a wolf fuck you? You know, cats, foxes, domestic cats, tigers, lions, flies. I've met, believe it or not, several insects. To myself, I see a black wolf on all fours walking. And that's how I want to be pictured a lot of times. I, all I can hear now is his using W's. It's in everything. It's this wah, 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 wah. He sounds like a Peanuts parent at this point. It's just, he, he's got an issue with his W's. It's because that's what I am, you know. You see me as this person, and I see myself as a wolf. Growing up and believing something that no one else could see meant that Matthew had a tough time at school. Day-to-day -day life at school was a living hell in every sense of the word. <laughs> they used to beat me for their amusement. All the kids would put me in lockers and kick it. The jocks would gather around me in the locker room and just spit in my face and call me a nigger nerd. It was terrifying. The only reason I survived was because of my very few close friends who I am still fiercely loyal to to this day. The same loyalty a wolf would have to his pack. I'm always at home, at home most of the time and my mom's at home most of the time. So. One of those loyal friends from school is Jade. The first thing I noticed was the tail. It was the first thing I noticed about him. And then he, of course, he had a wolf shirt on. Really? That was the first thing you noticed? It wasn't the smell 
I bet you could smell this dude at least a few blocks away. It's the tail, though. That's what caught your eye. <laughs> Jeez, God, I'd love to date a boy. Who should I ask? Who should I let ask me out on a date? Should I let the captain of the football team? No, no. Uh, how about the 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 student uh, uh, that has a 4.0 GPA? No, no, probably not going to work out. Oh, I know. How about the dude that has flies circling him like a living pile of shit? And a, a tail stapled onto his ass. That seems like love at first sight. Jade is also a wolf and instantly bonded with Matthew due to their similar beliefs. He was the one who actually brought up Therians. And at that time, I was still kind of new to the whole concept. Like, I knew that about, you know, me being... Women are women regardless of the situation. She was new to it. Anytime a woman enters into a new group or relationship, they will become interested in whatever the guy is interested in. She just wanted attention. And she happens to be de dating a crazy asshole that thinks he's a wolf. So now, of course, she too is a wolf. She totally is a wolf, guys. A wolf, but I didn't know the, the technical term for it. We just hang out here, really. Yeah. It's a nice place to go. It's quiet. It's quiet. Well, you can quieter. meditate here. No distractions from random people, you know. <laughs> Chat, can I get an a woo from you? Can we can we answer Jade and uh, Retard Boys a woo? Can we out a woo the crazy people? I just give me an a woo. Let's let's a woo with them. It's it's a magical quiet. thing. It's quiet. You well, can quieter. meditate here. No distractions from random people. You know? random people. Come on, a woo. There you go. It Welcome to the feel pack. I'm connected being here because this is where I'd kind of be, you know, in my natural environment. Where there's more spiders over there. It means a lot to me that, you know, he has included me in his pack and kind of taken me in. Because, it, it, like, for the longest time, it seemed like nobody was there. Awesome. Yeah. It's like I, don't, I don't normally get to do that. The only dude in America who, when you tell him his chick is a dog, He's like, yeah, totally. He takes it as a compliment. It's a huge release because yeah. you kind of have to bottle so much up inside when you're certain places and you can just let it all out. Not only limited to America, people who identify with animals live all over the world. Ben and Kimberly live on a farm in West Sussex, in the remote countryside of England. They are one of the handful of other kin couples who are married. Our relationship with our dog is definitely a, a, a pack relationship, mm. much like... I've already got really bad feelings about where this is going to go. I don't really trust furries and other kins with pets, I'm going to be straight up with you. And when he's talking about the special relationship they have with their dog, and how they're all a member of the same pack. Oh, fucking flags are flying up in the air right now. Like it is with any other dog, really. But I think in our case, it helps helps a lot more that we're kind of a little bit uh, attuned to maybe the way he's thinking. He's yeah, maybe a little bit attuned to the way we're thinking. It's kind of like having a little version of us. Ben and Kimberly feel that they share their bodies with the spirit of a wolf. This is um, the drawing of um, Ben and myself that... Uh, that um, my friend Lana did, which, as you can tell, is just absolutely beautiful. It's so nice to have a proper representation, like that I can say to people, okay, this is what we look like. Ben on the bottom there with the blue eyes. I'm the sort of ambery eyed wolf with the horns. For my 21st birthday, I got a tattoo, which is sort of like a weird sort of silhouette of my wolf side. I love it. It's just very me and I'll never regret it because it's my soul basically inked on my leg. Ben and Kimberly have been together for eight years and married for two. The second I saw him, I was just completely attracted to him more than I had had been ever attracted to anyone. It was pretty much instantaneous, you know, I just felt really drawn to him and I made it my kind of mission to find out who this guy was and who his friends were and I kind of maybe even stalked him a tiny bit.
a fat chick that was desperate for any attention and that she would put up with your crazy shit? Was that what was what you found special about her? And when we were together, we just, we just clicked. Oh, I need your help. All other Canantharians have one thing that bonds them together. It's the very moment they realize they are an animal. This is a process called awakening. Well, it came upon me around the age of 15, and as you can imagine, puberty being a difficult time for any teenager, and then you're having almost a whole nother puberty happen at the same time, and it's a frightening experience, you know, lots of new sensations and feelings that you're having to deal with. Kimberly discovered this as a teenager. However, for Ben, the catalyst for his awakening was meeting her. She shared her experiences with me. She listened to me more than anything, which was amazing to have someone to talk to that didn't look at you like you were a complete weirdo. And she was just, just there for me, really. I've been very fortunate to have someone. People will do the craziest shit for sex. Like, it's just, it's amazing to me. You can meet somebody who is batshit insane, but because you want a little bit of sex, because you want to ride that dick or slam that pussy, you're willing to put up and even believe in the craziest shit. Ben and Kimberly's wolf sides rarely appear. However, they often come out in the bedroom. As teenagers are, you know, we started dating and we're very, like, eager, enthusiastic, enthusiastic and... Like the first couple of times we walked away with a couple of battle wounds just sort of covered in bite and claw, so like very, really... Very intense. Very intense, and A little yeah. bit scary yeah. at, at times. I think it's because neither one of us had ever been with another wolf and I think it just, the, it brought it out in each yeah, other. Primal instincts take over and before you know it you're clawing and biting your other half to, to pieces and wondering why the both of you are enjoying it so yeah. much. It's only afterwards when you step back and you think, Whoa, Ooh, yeah. What have we done? Yeah. Yeah, what have, what have you done? Ugh. How much do you want to bet he's the one that takes the knot? I bet he is. Uh, that look of shame on his face? I bet he is. She nuzzles his face as he takes the knot. Yeah. You know, it all, it all makes sense now. Mm. For both of them, they see their wolf side as a separate creature. Their wolves have their own names, personalities, and feelings. Kimberly has named her wolf side Luna. Unlike others, she has the ability to change change into her animal side and let Luna talk for herself. I normally don't let her speak, but she has a bit of a mind around. Holy shit, this crazy bitch is going to channel the thoughts of her dog. Of course. This must be the, this must be the beginning of mental shifting before it became like a real solid thing for lunatics. This is what they were doing. They were mind reading puppers. All right, hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah, I don't get lit out very often. Definitely lived quite a few lives together, and we've lived... So, she thinks she's fucking Dr. Doolittle up in here. Mind reading her dog. I bet that's how she justifies raping it. Right? I bet that's what she tells her other Therian friends. No, no, you don't understand. When we fuck our dog, I can read his thoughts, and he's okay with it. Can you telepathically speak with dogs? I can. And he gave me consent, affirmative consent at every step. Lived lives on the other place as well as here. I don't know what, at what point our souls became one, but I feel that it has always been that way, and it's probably that way for a reason. So perhaps there's something we need to achieve or we need to accomplish. <laughs> Ben and Kimberly live on the farm with Ben's mom, Sue. Oh, fuck. You can't let these people on a farm. <laughs> of course they live on a farm. Well, oh, I bet those poor horses. Jesus. Even horses have standards. They shouldn't be forced to fuck that fat ass. 
That's just sad. She has only recently been told about the couple's wolf sides. I don't think she was worried that she was going to get a bad reaction from me. Of course she fucks the cows. They think she's one of them. Have you seen the size of this bitch? Have you seen Dr. Doolittle's girth? They probably, they're probably wondering why the fat cow is wearing a dress as it grazes in the field with them. But she's worried that, as Ben is, I think, that I'm going to think they're a little odd, you know. And, they, you know, especially Kim, I mean, she's into all sorts of things. So it didn't really surprise me. But with Ben, it did a little. Um, but Ben is a very deep guy. So a lot of the time, I don't know what's going on in his head, really. So Sue has seen firsthand the impact that Kimberly has had on Ben. I thought... It was very similar to the impact that Kimberly has on the ground when she walks over it. There's a deep depression where her hoofs make contact with the soil. <laughs> She's crushed him like she has the gravel road leading up to the farm. <laughs> Half the shit this woman is shoveling in that barn is from Kimberly. She lives out there. Really? And then I think you have sort of mixed emotions because you think, oh, where is it coming from? Is that something to do with me as a mum, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I got good feelings about this. I'm sure your mom does, too. Hey, here's my fat-ass daughter and her insane boyfriend. We live on a farm. She telepathically talks with dogs and thinks she's a wolf. I'm pretty sure she's fucking cows. And she's got a collection of baby dolls that are covered in blood. Totally normal. Nothing to be afraid of. But if you see her start snarling at you and she runs at you, dial 911 immediately. The couple are preparing for their annual Halloween party. From my Halloween party, I'm making it look like kind of a abandoned asylum kind of thing. They are not only fortunate to have each other, they also have a group of accepting friends. Yeah. You think that dog knows what's going to go down tonight? <laughs> yeah, Halloween party. By the way, this documentary was filmed in April. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, Halloween party, quote unquote. Josh was there when I went. Yeah. yeah. Josh is one of the few people I had to talk to about it. It sounds really ridiculous, but it just came up in conversation. With certain circles, this stuff just comes up. It just, you don't even expect it to come up. It'll just come up in conversation and you're just like, yeah, sure, why not? On the internet, everyone is quite happy to talk about it. I guess it's a lot easier to talk about something when you don't have to stare someone in the eyes. Ben is preparing to let his wolf side out as he dresses up as his favorite character, Wolverine. I've chosen to. What? <laughs> what? I believe I'm a wolf. That's why I dress up as an X-Man. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I'm a cow. Call me Magneto. You know, all cows wear a helmet and a purple cape and are capable of uh, affecting magnetics. Uh, yeah, I'm Magneto the cow, and this is my wolf friend, Wolverine. Go as Wolverine. One, because I, I like the character. I think he's fantastic. I've been a big fan of the X-Men and also I think probably on a kind of subliminal level to myself because he somewhat matches my other kin side. I like his um, his independence. Yes, Chad. Moognito. There you go. Moognito. <laughs> that's, that's my other kin persona. His, um, his devil may care attitude. The fact that he's, you know, alone a lot of the time. He's a big, strong, powerful character. Slot in between knuckles. Three on each fist. Cheap, low budget. Some of their friends also feel like they have an animal side. I think my species, if I was to put it very basically, would be a wolf. But the thing is, it's not just a wolf. I'm a bit of a mix. Mm. Of I'm not just a wolf. I'm a cybernetic wolf from the future. Half of me, half of me is a red wolf. The other half is titanium. And Wolverine rides around on me on Halloween and we fight Moognito to see who gets to fuck the horses at night. It's a battle for the ages. Everything. You kind of look like some type of weird hybrid chimera creature, I guess. Like a wolf stag winged creature of some description, yeah. Yeah, I don't know that it's got really a name. It just is. <laughs> just a kind of, yeah, hybrid, I guess, is probably one way of putting it. Which isn't that uncommon. You do get hybrid, Ken. That does happen. I've met quite a lot. Yeah.
The Halloween party allows the couple to dress up and express their animal sides. It provides a rare opportunity to celebrate this with their friends. Yeah, it feels good to be Wolverine, you know, just kind of letting myself go, beginning to get into character a little bit. You look less like fucking Logan, and more like a cowboy. I expect to see you in, what was that fucking movie, Rhinestone Cowboys sucking cock on a street corner, as Dustin Hoffman pimps you out. Okay, you do not look like Wolverine, my friend. Yeah, it's good. I was gonna say, so. Eighteen-year-old Matthew Schimmel believes that he is more wolf than human. While most teenagers his age enjoy hanging out at the mall, Matthew enjoys shopping at the local pet store. I used to have one kind of like this one, but it had it was bigger and it had reflective paw prints going on it. It doesn't look like they have the reflective kind. I'm really sad because they don't let me shop at PetSmart no more because uh, I fucked the portals. And now nah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta buy my dog car was here. Okay, buddy. I used to love those. And these ones I really like just because they're so much bigger. It doesn't really feel strange buying them. A lot of times people don't even notice. They just think, oh, he probably has a dog. I'm looking for a um, collar or one of those bracelets with the paw prints on it. Oh, the... I don't know if we've got any of those left. Do you have the collars though? No. The only collars I have are the gen general collars, but I know which one you're talking about. We carried those for a while. The only animal I want to see this retard pretend to be is Yeller. That's who I want to see. You be old Yeller. And uh, I'll help you I'll help you other kin cosplay that one, buddy. You can you can LARP as old Yeller and um, we'll see how that plays out. We've got, we've got other, and then I've got some collegiate collars out front. Um, but yeah, all these, and I have the nautical and the reflectives, but none with the paw print. I know exactly what you're talking about. Well, one of these will fit me. Yeah. Okay. Then oh, yeah. They're good. Okay. Is that all for you? Yes, ma'am. All right. $14.79. Do you accept Monopoly money? Mama, mama, mama only give me Monopoly money because I'm not allowed out of the house no more. Matthew is the youngest of four children and lives at home with parents Joe and Terry. I know for me, I remember as a kid wanting to be a lion or wanting to be the biggest, strongest animal I just saw at the zoo. So I thought maybe some of that type of childhood fantasy stuff was going on in the early beginning but it wasn't too long after that he started getting into the spirit of a wolf and, and uh, you know going in a little deeper part of me said okay this is the nonsense for the week uh, the other part of me said did they let people put their children up for adoption when they're over the age of 15 that part of me got on the phone and started calling around town sadly that part of me was disappointed, so I'm stuck with him. You know, next week he's, he's, he'll be into something else. I don't know how serious I took it when he first said it, so it was not a huge shock to the system. As it kept continuing, you get used to the idea, and okay, so my son thinks he's uh, got the spirit of a wolf at first, and now uh, it's a little more than that. I feel so bad for Dad. I can imagine all his fucking friends coming over for a football game and they're all drinking beer and they all know this guy's son is a fucking retard. And I bet they love to make him try to explain it every time they get drunk. So uh, tell me about your son again and the uh, spirit of the wolf shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, tell, me, tell me a little bit more about that, uh, pal. How are you raising your kids over here? I heard, uh, I heard he hunts rabbits in the fields or something. You, you want to explain that to us? As the years go by, you kind of learn to accept, okay, this is who he is, this is how he deals with it. It's not up to me to like it or not anymore. Well, we knew from the time he was a baby, there was something different about him. In all <laughs> we knew since he was born that it was a mistake. <laughs> 
when when he popped out of my vagina, the doctor just looked at me and shook his head. And that's when we knew we were in trouble. Uh, Walker, as a little tiny thing, he would go to the doors because his first obsession was doors. And I mean, it was not like your normal child spank their hand, say no, and it would be an all day job to try to keep them out of the cabinet doors. At the age of six, Matthew was diagnosed with Asperger's. Oh boy, wow, I didn't see that coming. An autistic person wants to be a furry? What? <laughs> what? Oh, if you have an autistic child or a child on the spectrum, I guess they call it the spectrum now because it's not separated between Asperger's and autism. Just do your kid a favor and raise them normally. Just put your foot down when they want to do super retarded shit and they'll, they'll turn out okay. They will, I swear to you, they will. Just buy them video games or put them into a sport or something. But if, if, you're, if your autistic son comes to you and says, I believe I'm a wolf, maybe hit them with a belt? <laughs> I don't know. Just at the very least say no. No, you are not a wolf. This discussion is over. He sat and watched me redo a hard drive once. A couple of hours later, my wife walked and reloaded all the, the uh, data and whatever, and he redid the hard drive himself. That was the first time reality really hit me that, okay, we're not just older and don't remember how the other kids were. That was the first time I said, okay, he's going to be different. Buffalo lives a small community of Therians who run an amateur radio show. Stephen is one of the hosts. We're going to my workplace. It's a little computer repair shop about 15 minutes away. All I do is I get in, fix computers, and interact with customers. Stephen is an IT technician and keeps his work and private life separate. I don't really feel like I can be myself at work. I have to put on a very professional attitude and look. And... Is that how you feel, or is that what your boss told you when you showed up dressed like a mascot? <laughs> when you showed up into the Geek Squad at Best Buy dressed as a fucking neon green puma, and your boss said, no, what the fuck are you doing? We fix computers here. Stop it. And... If I do anything that involves theory, and it really breaks the professional side of things. It's very difficult for someone to be themselves and also continue that life. All of normal life is a very strange and abstract feeling. Everything is structured very differently compared to the wilderness. Stephen believes he is an African leopard and likes to go by his leopard name, which is Shroud. He has strong feline traits and likes to run and hunt. <laughs> this motherfucker's in the park hunting ducks. <laughs> could, you, could you imagine you drop your laptop off to get it fixed? It's like running slow and shit. And this dude, this dude takes it from you. And an hour later, before you go to pick your laptop up, he's chasing ducks in the fucking park. <laughs> Climbing and running and stuff is, it's very natural, it's very instinctual, so when I'm climbing up a tree or something and I lay down on the branch, it's pretty close to what I remember. His leopard side is based on a series of intense memories. When I was little I had a lot of smaller memories, usually of laying on a tree branch or sitting on a rock and looking out across the savanna. And this was before I even knew what the savanna was, before I'd even seen a photograph or a video. Externally, I am a human being. I have these hands and this body, but internally, I am a leopard. I have the mannerisms and the behaviors, the thoughts and the memories of it. I don't know many leopards that speak English so fluently dress themselves and wear prescription eyeglasses. I, I didn't know you had all those mannerisms down. <laughs> this is remarkable. Leopards like to give TV interviews, do they? I'm learning so much, this is much better than National Geographic.
Who needs who needs those TV shows about uh, wildlife when we've got Mr. Leopard here to teach us his culture? An African leopard. I don't consider myself human at all, other than my body. I see my body as more of a, a vessel that doesn't match what I really have inside. Stephen lives in Buffalo, where a small community of Therians have gathered. It is one of the reasons he moved here. Through the internet, he has met hundreds Oh, hey, Bing Bing Wahoo bros. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying there's a correlation going on here, but autistic people that think they're werewolves and shit <laughs> and Nintendo consoles seem to maybe go hand in hand. I mean, he ain't holding the fucking PlayStation controller. This dude ain't playing the 360. Just putting that out there. Hundreds of people who believe that they are also animals. He now lives with one himself, Timothy, a raccoon. That's my plushie net, stuffed animals, plushies. Various stuffed animals I've collected over the years. Some I've had since childhood, some I bought in the pe past few years. Timothy is not just a raccoon. He is also Stephen's partner. We've been together for four years. Almost. Oh God, I'm being hugged. <laughs> <laughs> I've known you for four years. It hasn't yeah. been four years since we've been together yet. <laughs> oh, it was one before twice. Yeah, we all know leopards and raccoons get along so fucking well. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Pretty close, like in about February. Three months away. There's no raccoons in, <laughs> in Africa. Africa. <laughs> I'd imagine that in the in the wild, a raccoon might be prey. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're backing that up for a second. They tried to subtly put that in and then act like it was nothing. No, 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 no. Back that up. Three Where is it? Away. There's no raccoons in, <laughs> in Africa. Africa. There we go. Do you notice? Do you notice they had to blur it out? Because the raccoon has a massive erection. The raccoon has a giant fucking boner. It's, what the fuck? Nice. Very subtle documentary. Very subtle. This is normal. This is totally normal. This is what the suburbs in a normal American town are like. Nothing awkward about... Is that the Star of David? <laughs> Just... I can't, it's... Oh, no, it's a cross. I'm sorry. I, that would have that would have put me into overdrive on uh, some jokes, but no. Let's see: Nintendo consoles, furries, and furry porn art and portraits hung on the fucking wall. So when mom and dad come by for Thanksgiving, and they look over at the wall, they see a fucking raccoon with a ten-inch cock, fully hard and throbbing, as his gay leopard boyfriend embraces him. <laughs> And I'd imagine that in the in the wild, a raccoon might be prey. Yeah, we we get along just fine. There's no uh, there's no there's no real like predator prey relationship or anything. We're just normal people when it comes to that. Because while we do feel the pull of our Therian sides, and we are raccoon and leopard, ultimately we are, we are still human. As much as we don't want to admit that <laughs> at yeah. the time, we are still human. So we still whatever species we. I don't know. That's a very good question. You know what? That's worth a poll. That is worth a poll. <laughs> All right, chat. You you need to answer this uh, as asked by somebody watching the stream. Who is the top? Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't remember what their names are. I don't remember. Uh, giant gay cat. Is he the top? Or is it <laughs> is it squinty eyed? I misspelled. Who cares? Squinty-eyed. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell raccoon. There we go. Or is it squ big gay cat or squinty-eyed raccoon? Let's find out who the top is in this relationship. Just take a minute to, to drink it in. It really could go either way. He's got the lisp and the glasses. Uh, but this screams, I'm more comfortable wearing a dress. So I'm not sure which one, which one's pitching and which one's catching. You take your guess, and we'll check in on the results in a few minutes. We feel the we are identified with is not too relevant to whether or not we love each other. Their dream is to one day create a commune for like-minded people, a safe haven where Therians can live and be together. The normal ways of living are kind of constraining, and one of the influencing factors of leaving home is so I could be with people who share the same beliefs and culture as me. A lot of people who grow up in highly religious... How much do you want to bet that this dude 
and the purple, our, our squinty-eyed raccoon, has masturbated at least a few thousand times to Guardians of the Galaxy. When that movie came out, that was like his, that's like his super special porn. I, I want you to just picture this dude furiously beating off as he loops Guardians of the Galaxy on his fucking television. Areas are shunned or persecuted or um, just generally downright uh, looked down upon because of their very inside. And a lot of them end up fleeing toward better areas with good friends and that's where they spend their lives. I did feel alone before I found the alien communities. I, I never had very many friends growing up. I was always viewed as strange for various reasons, mannerisms, my, the way I talk even people found to be weird. But finding a group of people who in some way society found strange, they're, they're incredibly accepting people. And I felt immediately at home. Oh, they, they should not be allowed near the zoo. All right, let's take a look at our our poll. Um, who do I, I can't, you know, the giant gay cat is a little too feminine. Somebody said I should have had their both bottoms as a fucking uh, option on the poll, which is probably true. I'm going to go with squinty-eyed raccoon. I bet he's got some rage issues. He's, he's a little too soft-spoken. I bet he's violent when he's sexual. So I'm going to go with squinty-eyed raccoon. Let's see what the vote is. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, the winner, Giant Gay Cat. Congratulations, Giant Gay Cat. You are the top in the relationship. And the raccoon is the bottom. To further connect with his leopard side, Stephen likes spending time in the African section of the local zoo. Beautiful animal, though. You know, that I remember. <laughs> That's very recognizable. It's because when they're on the savannah, oh, they actually he hide. spotted us. <laughs> I've been spotted. Hi, kitty. <laughs> you know, I'm actually really curious now. We've read enough stories about uh, zoophiliacs, uh, all the weirdos that are into bestiality, other kins, furries, all that shit. Has there been, has there ever been one of these guys that was brave enough to let a lion fuck him? Like, does that exist? Is there like a news article somewhere of a dude dying because he tried to get fucked by a lion? That has to have happened at least once. One of these idiots horny and drunk, had to wander into a zoo, pull their pants off and jump into a lion cage, and try to, t try to tempt it into mounting him, only to be eaten. I, I need to look that up and see if that's happened, because I, I have a feeling at some point it has. It's almost like knowing someone in a distant extended family. These gems, Bach, here, they were exactly as I remembered them in my memory. The memory of hunting and attacking one of them. It's very weird. It's like killing someone, then meeting their family. It's, it's almost awkward. I know it was a, a separate life or some separate... What is that story? Man suffocated to death after having sex with an anaconda. <laughs> well, that's it's a good runner-up, but I want to hear about the guy that got eaten trying to fuck a lion. ...entity or separate connection or something, but it's still very awkward. The past life memories are very real. All right, this this actually might be it. Let me let me just uh, pause this for a second. Let's see if this is actually a story about a furry getting murdered trying to fuck a lion. Man mauled to death by lions in front of busloads of zoo visitors. Victim ignored. Uh, keepers and scale twelve foot perimeter wall jumped inside the lion enclosure. Let's just see if they've got a reason for why he did this. <laughs> Give me a minute. Okay, man entered, immediately spotted. They're very curious, of course. Okay, uh, but there's nothing saying why he did it. We need we need it to be blatant. It has to be very blatant about why he's jumping into the lion enclosure instead of just being an insane asshole. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll look I'll look into the rest of that later. We're 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 nearing the end of our documentary, so we'll finish this up. Uh, there we go. Me, they're as real as all the the other memories I have. It's almost unsettling to be here and look at them, but at the same time, it... it's yet another another link, another connection to the inside, and another way to bring the memory back a bit. The group 
Poop and Buffalo don't just identify with being animals. They also dress up as... You know, I'm not even gonna... This story right here... Dress up as... You know, I'm not even gonna... This story right here, I'm just gonna say outright, um, I don't think it's bestiality. That's just Australian shit. <laughs> I can picture an Aussie dude getting high off his mind on methamphetamines and deciding he's going to fuck a crocodile. I don't even think he's into bestiality. I think it was just one-upping his friends on a dare. You know, Ozzy, 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 oi, oi, oi. He's like, dude, I'm so fucking high on meth right now. I'm going to fuck that crocodile. That's, that's how I see that conversation going. A lot of similarities between furry and therian. It's all about anthropomorphics, which is anything between human and animal. I usually just wear my collar and my tail and sometimes my ears. I just let myself go, let myself be free, and I fit in with the community perfect. Outside of the community, not everyone is as understanding. Yeah, we get a lot of strange looks. We're just kind of bizarre and eccentric. Some people want us to stay away because we're different. Some people love our antics, find us hilarious and really cute. The negative reception is that they just leave us alone and walk away. The positive reception is that they want to know more about it. There's really nobody who directly says anything negative. There's just people who can't. You can tell that they just don't like it. They can't handle it, so they move. God, it would have been so amazing if some dad, like four, eye, or four lanes down away from him, just started throwing bowling pins at his head. <laughs> just get the fuck out of here. Get away from my kids. Move away. In Brunswick, Georgia, Matthew has been waiting for his 18th birthday to fulfill one major wish. It is something that would make him feel truly like an animal. I haven't liked my name since I was in elementary school, and the reason being, I've just never liked the way it sounded. It really, it wasn't even an identity thing back then, it was just I didn't like how it sounded to my ears. And I've always wanted to change it, I've always been called some sort of nickname throughout school. Now that Matthew is 18, he has the right to change his name to his wolf name. This is my signature, well the one I use whenever I can, when I change my name I'm going to use it everywhere. That's my paw print, and that says Shiro Ulf right under it. Okay, Prince. Real fancy. Oh, what, what does that say? That's my paw print name. It's not pronounced as anything. It's just a special symbol that I'm going to make you try to pronounce to annoy you. Gotcha. Actually, a mix between Japanese and Norwegian, and it means white wolf. Despite Matthew's determination, his parents are less enthusiastic. They are concerned it could hold him back. <laughs> His fucking ringtone is in a woo. This guy has a clock that a woos and his phone a woos. Everything in his house is set to fucking screech like a wolf. <laughs> oh, I bet the parents drink a lot. I bet they drink so much. Well, he may have a scholarship to Georgia Tech. I'm hoping that changing his name doesn't affect that at all. And I've explained this to him, but, you know, he's an adult. He can do this without our permission. So it's a battle I can't fight anymore. You sure you want to do that? Yeah. Better be thinking ahead because you're going to need... Okay, this is passive parenting. Neither of them think it's a good idea, but they're too scared to put their foot down. This is why your son is doing stupid shit. Don't ask him if it's a bad idea. When you think it's a bad idea, tell him it's a bad idea. It will have negative consequences for the rest of his life. They're like, oh, maybe they're hem and hawing. They can't just be, you know, outright with it. Like, hey, we're your parents. We love you. But you are acting like a massive retard right now. And this is a very bad decision you're embarking upon. But no, it's a maybe kind of, huh? Hmm, I, you know, oh, maybe. I love my baby boy. Does my baby boy want to use a paw point? You know, grow a spine. Fuck. You need to have a birth certificate. If that name is going on your college application, you're going to have to have the birth certificate match it. You're going to have to send off for one. I honestly hate that he wants to change his name. He's been talking about this for years. 
Yeah, I filled in my forums mm -hmm. for my name change. Same. So do you have a middle name? Yes. What? Samian. <laughs> she she nearly choked on her fucking food. She look at dad looks right at her. What's your name? It's Shiro Thamian. Oh woo! That's my name, Mom. Oh, she wants to stab him with her fork. Look at that look. She she choked on her broccoli. Thamian. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, believe it or not, it doesn't mean anything. It's literally a name that came to me, like in my head. The name sounds so strange. You know, White Fang was a better name to me because at least it was something I heard of, which was a wolf story when I was a kid. And it's really straightforward, unless you're, it even says on all the legal sites, unless you're changing your name to a number or something obscene, they never get rejected. He asked, you know, would I be okay with him changing his name? And I said, you know, I can't stop you. I guess I can live with it, but no, I don't like it. That's what I'm talking about. Weak-willed parenting. You need to be the authority. You're not their fucking friend. You're their parent. Act like a parent. You can love your kids and be nice to them, but Jesus, grow a fucking spine. Kids coming to you for guidance and you're going to let them do this retarded shit? Are you out of your mind? Today is a defining moment for Matthew. I'm feeling excited, you know. I'm finally doing this, we're here. You know, it's, it's very exciting. It means I'm a wolf, officially. Despite his parents' worries, he is adamant that this is the right thing for him. Yes, I finally got it done. I have my forms right here that I need to bring to the newspaper, and everything else is done. In order to make the process legal, Matthew must finally submit a request to the local paper. You remember, like, um, well, maybe this is before a lot of your time, but back when they used to do TV serials that people actually watched, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, there was like a common theme that would always pop up when it came to kids wanting to do stupid shit, which was you'd let them do it, but you'd push it so far they'd never want to do it again. One of the classic examples you catch your kids smoking, you sit their ass down and you make them smoke like five packs in a row till they get so sick they can't they don't ever want to smoke again because it's a bad experience. Maybe maybe the approach to something like this is your kid comes to you and says, I think I'm a wolf. I have a wolf spirit in me. You say, Okay, I think you're a wolf too. Then you drive them out into the woods, take all their possessions, and say, I'll come back for you in three weeks. You live with your wolf brothers. You don't need us. You're a wolf now. You hunt and scavenge and do wolf things. I believe in you, son. And when you come back three years or three weeks later, they're sobbing under a tree, cold and hungry, and they've realized they are in fact not a wolf. Hi, how are you? I'm submitting the form to change my name from Matthew Schimmel to Shira Wolf. I truly believe that names have a lot of effect on things. Even though you try not to be, you get preconceived ideas. Well, yeah, you could, if the kid doesn't pick up on it right away, you can leave him out there for three years. He'll survive. He's a wolf after all. You know, you hear some names and you think, oh, must be kind of nerdy. <laughs> but then you hear Shiro and you think, what is that? I mean, you know, you can't even put like a nationality or anything with that to me. Shiro is S H I R O. Yes. And I told him I'd be okay with it, but yeah, yeah it really bothers me. But um, the ultimate goal is his happiness. He fucking barked. He barked after the name change. It really bothers me. But um, the ultimate goal is his happiness. In Buffalo, New York, live a small community of people who believe that in some way they are an animal. 
They live together, hang out together, and have formed close relationships with each other. Caleb, Stephen, and Timothy have fully immersed themselves within this community, and their relationship together is not conventional. When I first met these guys, me and Shroud really hit it off, and we had a connection, and we were never limited in that connection because you were so graceful and just everybody being together. And then we kind of ended up realizing that all three of us is what really made the environment. And when it was just me and him, it wasn't really you know, as fun to be around each other. They are in an open, polyamorous relationship. Oh, we found the top. That's why it didn't make sense. They were both bottoms. Holy shit, Chet, you were actually 100% correct. They're in an open, polyamorous relationship. <laughs> the wolf is literally the alpha fucking the two bottoms. Meaning that they can have multiple partners whilst also being together. I've never really been the monogamous type. I've been in monogamous relationships before, but each and every one of them was destroyed by jealousy. Stupid, petty jealousy. And I, then I got into a relationship that was more open on my then boyfriend's side. He was very open, very, very polyamorous, and he pried it out of me. And I was, and the more and more he showed me it, the more and more I realized, like, oh, I don't have to be jealous because there's nothing here to be jealous about. It's something that works for us. It's not something that works for everybody. There's no way it ever will. Look at that smile on his face. I suppose in the land of the retards, he is king. All right, this, <laughs> this is the alpha wolf fucking the gayest raccoon and the gayest leopard he could find. Look at him standing, standing legs spread apart, hucking stones, showing his dominance. <laughs> He's banging them both. Exactly. It's just something that solved the problem for us, and it's we've worked with it and for years. As far as how it developed between us, it's just obviously we shared similar viewpoints, similar, similar um, spirituality, similar philosophies on life, and we just kind of meshed. And since we were limiting ourselves, since I wasn't saying Shroud's mine, you can't have him, it just kind of developed, <laughs> just like any other relationship. If anything, they think it's just a pile of people having sex. No, there's yeah. love, damn it. If, if sex happens, it happens, but there's love. You're correct, Chad. He has a harem, or in this circumstance, a hairy harem. Because they're, they're all filthy animals. He's got, a, he's got a whole group of them. Drives them around in the fuck bus. <laughs> it's the alpha wolf driving the fuck bus full of retards. All dressed up like different animals. What flavor of the week is it going to be today? The raccoon? The sea lion? I don't know. I'm going to fuck them all. Love. We can be with other people, we have other relationships, we have other partners, it can get complex, it can be simple, it can be whatever. But I, I guess what the idea behind our relationship especially is, is no matter what culture will say a relationship is or isn't, or how it should or shouldn't be, what's acceptable or what's not, we don't care. As long as we are happy with each other, that's all that matters. We just, we just do our own thing. I see in the furry community they boast about, you know, having the polyamorous, but it's, it really ends up being a lot more complicated than they think, and there's been a lot of hurt. I've seen Caleb in relationships and out of relationships, and I see them struggle with it, and there's a lot of drama to it because they're young people, but I don't say anything because they believe that this is okay. Yep, again, have you noticed the common factor with all the parents? I don't say anything. I think this is bad. I think this is mental illness. I think this is a mistake. But I don't say anything. That's why these people are on a documentary today. Because the parents didn't fucking say anything when they had the chance. She knows her son is insane. But she's not going to say it because it's uncomfortable. They want them to be happy. They don't want them to survive or be successful, or be independent, they want their happiness first. Which, in their minds, means I don't say anything when my child does degenerate, stupid shit. Okay. But I think they're going to find out on their own that things can become very, very complicated. Wolf couple Ben and Kimberly live on a farm in West Sussex in England. They live with Ben's mom, Sue, who is only now discovering about the couple's animal side. I mean, obviously, this is all very new to me. Mm. But, um, I mean, so when, you know, when did you start having these feelings? Um, 
as early as Kim or later or, um, or uh, earlier? Thinking about it probably a little bit um, early before Kim, but not really realising it what it was at the time. I just mm. kind of pushed it all back and so forgot about it. What did you think it was? I mean, what? I had absolutely no idea. And I'd, your brain, oh, well, you know, that must have been something. Yeah. And then those feelings start cropping up again. Not and then you. kind of becomes very evident that there's a reason for it as opposed to, you know, you're just going crazy. If I had those feelings, you see, it wouldn't say to me that I, somebody else was driving me. What makes you think it is this inner spirit within you? I can hear it, I can feel it, and I just, I just know it's there. It's like, it's, Do you see it? It's faith. Do you see it? If, well, as, yeah, you take I mean, it, you take talk it like about that. faith. I mean, I have faith, but I don't. Are we going to finally see a parent try to put their foot down a little bit? I get the feeling this particular mother maybe didn't know how crazy they were, right? Uh, and started finding out when the documentary film crew showed up and told them what the documentary was about. And now she's trying to gauge if her son is actually insane. Do you see the wolf spirit, son? Does it talk to you in your mind? Does it tell you to hurt yourself? Don't ever feel. Does it tell you to hurt yourself? Don't ever feel that I have somebody speaking to me. But you are convinced that it is a spirit, and a spirit within you, as opposed to um, just you having these feelings. Well, it's, 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 it's exactly the same, yeah. just I don't voice it as much as everyone else does. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to understand it, sweet, that's all. Yeah. It's, it's a very difficult thing to try and explain. It's, You've just got to take it on good faith, really. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying you're a lie. I'm just trying to understand it, really, mm. you know. Mm. Or, you know, it's not an easy thing to understand, no. obviously. Oh. Look at her. She's, you, you can tell from the body language. She found out her son thinks he's a wolf and his girlfriend's a wolf. And now she's trying to very subtly pull the cat away from them. Look at her guarding it with her body. She knows what's up. It's starting to, you know, the numbers are starting to compute in her head. Two plus two equals four. Your son is fucking the cat. It's weird, though, because it's so normal for us now. Well, yeah. Obviously, a lot of people would not think you were normal. Oh, yeah, but... I'm not saying all of my friends, but a lot of my cattle friends would think that completely bizarre. I and mean, they wouldn't even look any further than, you know, that a pair of them would need help. For many Therians and other kin, believing something that nobody else can see creates its own unique problems. It's very annoying that other people can't see how I feel, not just on a Therian level, in general. I'm just, I think and feel so differently from most people and they don't really understand it. Finding the community, I think, was the first time I ever had friends who were like me, people who wanted to do the same things as me, people who wanted to communicate the same way as me, people who were just interested in the same facets of life. It's not something that we choose, it's something that you're born with, essentially. You discover... Um... I, I get the feeling... Uh, this is what I've noticed with a lot of these weird groups, is I think it's... There are a lot of crazy people, don't get me wrong, but... I think it's a lot of really lonely fucking people that have a connection to nobody, right? No real life friends, no internet friends. They have no outlet, no other human being that will give them the time of day. And so they latch on to crazy shit like this just to feel a part of it. And I think deep down in their soul, deep, deep down inside, they know it's insane. They know it's bullshit but they can't not believe in it because it's the only thing that lets them interact with other human beings. I think it's like this for furries and other kin. I think you see that a lot with like the transgender shit that's uh, really popular right now. Like I've just, I've noticed that behavior with a lot of them. As you get older, it's, uh, it's something that you discover that it's a part of yourself. I feel very different. I feel extremely different. I feel like I just don't belong with the crowd. I don't know how to explain how I feel. I know I'm different, and I'm, I'm making no attempt to change it. I mean, a lot of people are different, but, you know, I just like who I am, you know. 
Uh, yes, I'd say yes, it is like a cult. I can be proud of my identity rather than ashamed of it. Well, there you go. I, I hope you've enjoyed our journey into insanity with, with the Therians, the Otherkins, and their amazing transformations into all the animals they think they really truly are deep, deep down inside, which they aren't, by the way. Uh, none of the there's no there's no animals out there that use computers and wear eyeglasses and eat with a fork and a knife uh, you know speak English fully uh, I think maybe yeah maybe we need shock therapy for this maybe we need to just drive them out to the woods and let them see what it's like to be the animal they think they are so they can realize they aren't actually that animal maybe that's what's needed to fix this it's <laughs> it's like those camps for kids that misbehave and they drive them into the desert and leave them out there for like a month that kind of shit. Maybe that's the solution. Who, who knows? Oh. And yeah, I, I gotta look into that chick, too. Uh, whatever the fuck that was. Because there, there was some crazy shit going on with that. Alright, let me let me read the last of the super berries here so I don't miss them. Gotta, gotta make them berries. From some fucking guy. Uh, fuck you, nigger Jim. Streaming while I have to go leg day and squat. Genuinely confused why these fags are even attracted to the human form, though. Like, shouldn't they be repelled? Uh, it's a very good point, actually. <laughs> you know, if they, I suppose that is a really good point. Why are they in polyamorous relationships with other humans if they want to fuck dogs? Mittens319, uh, furries should be de-liced. I read somewhere that Zyklon B is perfect for that. Uh, Nat Lynn Husky. This hurts to watch. No amount of Kharkov could wash away the pain these people's existence uh, away. These shits are part of the reason why furries have a bad name. <laughs> I, I, uh, part of the reason. There are a whole bunch of other reasons, too. Kaiser Split Dick. Imagine my shock when they are either all gay, bi, heretics, pagans, mentally challenged, or a mix. Really makes you think. From Mittens uh, 319, Bing Bing, a woo! Uh, from Mittens again. Uh, Pethmot is mean to me because I tried to eat a bunny. I believe that's probably something he would say if we ever had a chance to sit down and talk with him. From Comet Man, I feel Moognito <laughs> is appropriate because cows get milked too much like the Holocaust. From Pastor Bates, here's a clip from the Horsefucker documentary. Whole thing is on YouTube. I don't know if we should jump into a horse fucking documentary. <laughs> Uh, from Aaron in Detroit, Jim, have you heard the song White Girls Fuck Dogs by YouTuber Rusty Cage yet? It would complement a lot of these fursona videos that you do. Well, I've heard I've heard Common Filth Radio quite frequently tell people that white girls do in, fu do in fact fuck dogs. From Medicarist, God, British girls are always so ugly. Also, Jim, there is a mouse out there that actually howls at the moon. It's hilarious. From The Vile Delinquent, Noticing a lack of birdkin thus far, I wonder if they were or went extinct trying to fucking fly. <laughs> uh, that might put an end to their LARPing. Uh, again, from uh, Vile. Uh, Jim, you have to find the radio show and call in. From Rogue Fragment. A bit unrelated, but did you see the documentary called Abducted in Plain Sight? Basically, a kidnapper made the dad gay, cucked him, and kidnapped his daughter twice. It's about what happens if you become a turbo cuck, basically. From Acerworn. It's always wolves, isn't it? By the way, you hyped for Pokemon tomorrow. How do you think they'll fuck it up this time? I don't know. I, I you know, I, I think um, it'll probably be a disaster. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. From the Vile Delinquent, huh, they're always a cool animal too, aren't they? Always a cat or a wolf or a tiger. Never a cockroach or an amoeba or some shit. What a coincidence. From rig number 438642. Finally, I catch one of your streams, you monk. Did you talk about the Discord cache? Also, you never told me your main on King of Fighter. The name that wasn't reflective of what the picture was, I think. Um, I, I know a lot of programs cache images. That's not unusual had an update where they had something similar happen where they weren't telling people they were saving every picture that anyone posted 
on a specific part of your hard drive without telling you. Uh, but Microsoft fixed that in like three or four days after it got brought up. I don't know why Discord's doing it. If that's what you're talking about, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, where are we here? Uh, Mittens319, why do retarded lunicorns always meet up at bowling alleys? F for the employees. From Hans Handsome, do you prefer chinka food or Japs crap food? I, I, I guess a mix of the both. Uh, you know, I, 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 I have a weird taste when it comes to food, uh, I suppose. Um, I'm trying to think of like, I really like lettuce wraps. Uh, those are fucking great. Um, big fan of like salmon teriyaki. Uh, like over rice with some pineapple and stuff is really, really good. Uh, but I, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of sushi, I guess, would limit it. From Jolly Jumping Jigaboo. I want to fuck Midna so bad, I want to slurp up her legs like big noodles. I want to eat every meal of my life off of her fat ass. I want to dump my cum in her pl in her rump every single night. I want to fuck, 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 fuck Midna so bad. The one free man. This shit makes me mental shift into depression. From Ocean Redux, what's your goddamn favorite Street Fighter character? I, I already said I'm a big fan of Jury, and I like, uh, I guess, Ibuki. Uh, from Senator Hitler, emo chick running a pupper concentration camp. This is a future you chose. From Comet Man, <laughs> decapitate douche. Uh, they were, okay, uh, we're back to the, okay, I think I've got them all now. I think we're caught up. Uh, thank you for these super berries. Uh, you know, let me, let me take a look. I know people in chat were like, yes, I want to see a clip from the horse fucking documentary. Let's take a look. If it's funny, well, you know what? Fuck it. I was going to end the stream, but if it's good, we'll watch it. How's that? Uh, let's see what we got here. He did eventually meet Ken. Is this about Mr. Hands? Oh, you can tell this is old. It's got a fucking E-bombs world watermark on it. All right. Well, you know what? Fuck it. We'll watch this clip. And see how it goes. Uh, one second here. Let me get everything set up. All right. Uh, I believe this is Mr. Hands. I'm not 100% certain, but it is called Horse Humper Bestiality Documentary from 2007 with a motherfucking enormous ebombsworld.com watermark on it. The good old days. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a look. He did eventually meet Ken, who shares her sexual preference. Grab a couple handfuls of that smaller stuff. Okay. I was technically a virgin until I was 29 years old. I was a zoophile up until then, and I just basically didn't have much interest in uh, other members of my own species as far as a, a life bond or anything. But when I met Ellie here, I just we. Why is it always fat chicks? I don't think I've seen one skinny woman into this. I haven't seen one super hot skinny chick that's into this weird other can furry shit. It's always a ham planet. And the dude's always rail thin, looking like a spooky, scary skeleton. It was the one person that uh, I felt within a week, probably, after I met her. We were meant to be together. Ken and Ellie met through a zoo friend on the internet. After a few weeks, they arranged their first date. Well, the, the first night that he came, to, came up to visit me, um, I took him down to the barn to introduce him to some of my horses and some of the other horses that I enjoyed at the barn. At the barn? Oh, don't you know, I took him up there, ya. Yeah. Took him up to the barn. And uh, he fucked the horse real good. And then the horse fucked me. And I took him in and introduced him to my miniature stallion. And kind of, I don't know if it was subconscious Kind of, I was very nervous and kind of wanted to do the uh, uh, shock factor, as it were. Um, my miniature stallion was dropped and, ma and masturbating uh, when his penis is dropped and he slaps it on his belly. Holy fuck, this is a straight up horse fucking documentary. <laughs> the super berry wasn't a lie, it's some fat chick that fucks horses. Maybe we should watch this. They call that masturbation for stallions. And so I just, I, one thing led to another and I couldn't resist. So I bent down and started sucking on him. And then he tried climbing on top of me. So the next thing I know, my pants are down and I'm bending over for him. And I'm like, excuse me, I can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I can't resist. The animal doesn't know what you are. It has no conception of what you are as a thing. You're sucking horse dick. It's probably confused. It wants to eat fucking oats and grains and shit. And you won't stop touching its dick, you fucking perverse weirdo. And I guess part, part of me said, okay, either he's for real and he won't mind this, or he's not for real and he's going to be totally freaked out by it and, and run. Um, obviously, he didn't run. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I was very tempted at the point to uh, have... Sli oh, I can't... Okay, this guy looks like someone. Somebody out there has to know 80s rock better than I do. I, I can't pin the name down, but he looks like somebody from like a hair band from the 80s. He looks like a dead ringer for it, and it's it's really bothering me right now. If you, if you know the name of the person this looks like, it's some fucking glam rock, hair rock band from the 80s. But he's like a dead ringer. Poppy seconds. It, it turned me on. It, it was it was so erotic to, to watch this and just the, the whole thing. And uh, it... uh, no, not Wayne's World. It's not it's not a fat Garth, though. That is a very good guess. Didn't shock me at all. In fact, I was like, this is pretty cool. <laughs> I think I found somebody here that, that might be on, on my plane here. Is it? It might be Meatloaf. He's a little Meatloaf-ish looking. I'll give you that. And it went from there. and we Here we are, married. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have vaginal sex with my miniature stallion. Uh, he's not a whole lot larger than most humans. Um, he is a bit bigger, but not uncomfortably so. Um, I, li I like to, to suck on him orally. Uh God, they have no fucking shame. You're sitting in a field with a stranger talking about sucking horse cock. At least, at least look down. <laughs> act, act like you feel a little guilty about what you're talking about. Uh, and he exp especially enjoys that. I have anal sex with with the, with the miniature stallion. He penetrates me, and it's <laughs> what? Oh, Garth! What the fuck are you talking about? I let the horse fuck my ass. Oh, why are you telling a stranger this in a field? I have anal sex with with the, with the miniature stallion. He penetrates me, and it's it's pleasurable, but it's not real intense. It's like I said, the the the. It, how much of a fucking insane cock whore do you have to be to say, you know, when the horse fucks my ass, it's just not intense enough for me. When I get when I get nailed by horse cock, I keep thinking to myself, could be bigger, could be rougher. This man is going to die. Pleasure that I get from it is more from knowing how much he enjoys having sex with me. He, he tends to tell me about it. He talks a lot. He grunts and, and wickers and, and blows in my ear, etc. And that is very erotic to me, more so than the physical sex. When he's courting me, as it were, trying to entice me to, uh, to bend down or kneel down, um, he, he does a lot of, uh, um, I call it a hubba hubba. <laughs> he just kind of goes and makes this little hubba hubba noise. I think that's horse speak for please put me down. I think I think when he goes, ooh, he's he's trying to tell you to just grab the shotgun and end it, because he doesn't want to spend the rest of his days fucking a cover band lookalike in his ass and a fat girl every time they slink into the barn, high off PCP. To me, um, and then and then once he's in, I mean, for e for every stroke that he does, he makes this big grunt grunting noise. And then when he orgasms, he makes an even bigger grunting noise. <laughs> and he tends to like to hold on with his teeth, and I actually have some scars on my back from where he... Yeah, you have scars on your back, you fucking retard, because the horse is trying to get you off of him. It does, the horse doesn't want to fuck you. It's biting you to get you to go away. If you ever walk around behind it, he's going to kill you by kicking you in the skull. He's bitten onto me, just hanging on. Uh, they do the same thing with mares when they have sex. And only his, mares have fur to hang on to. He tends to get a big <laughs> chunk of skin with me. And that can be quite painful. This dude is talking about a horse ripping his skin off while it fucks him in the ass. Like it's, uh, like it's nothing different than talking about his favorite TV show. But usually I don't even notice until after the fact because I'm so caught up in the moment. And then I get up to the house and Ellie says, 
Oh, I see you've been down fooling around. You've got a big bite mark on your back again. <laughs> I don't. Somebody said the whole documentary is up on YouTube. I, I don't know. I am feeling a little nauseous. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't know if we want to go down this. Oh, what is this? There's a related clip called Mergasm. Hello. Oh, okay. No, it's not from the same. It's not from the same thing. But of course, oh, what is this going to do to my fucking, to my recommended list? I, oh, God, what is this going to do? I'm going to get all sorts of suggestions I don't want. Uh, let me see if that guy listed what the full name of this shit show was. Oh, uh, where is it here? I, I don't know if he just linked the clip or if he had the whole thing. Uh, one second here, chat. Here's a clip from the Horse Fucker documentary. Whole thing is on YouTube. Uh, Pastor Bates was a person that uh, threw that up there. Uh, if you can find the link to the whole horse fucking documentary, maybe we'll watch it. I just, uh, I want to see one of them die from getting kicked in the head. I'll be honest with you. I'll give it a second for it to catch up. Maybe Pastor Bates will throw up the full link for us. I, I don't think it's actually called Horse Fucker the documentary. Maybe. Maybe that's what it's called. Uh, we got a few more here. I'll read them in the meantime. Kaiser Split Dick, Leviticus 18.23. Nor shall you mate with any animal to defile yourself with it. Nor shall any woman stand before an animal to mate with it. It is perversion. From a uh, welded visor. Jim, you've probably already seen this, but I thought this was one they had linked originally. As seen on TLC, go figure. Up, oh, is this the full link? I don't know. Let's see. Hold on one sec. Uh. Let's see what this is. No. Oh, very nice. Nicely done. You got me. Got me. Nailed me. Am I going to get uh, a thousand Rick rolls in a roll here? Uh, maybe. Living, living the life. Good old days. No, I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Uh, so let's see. Oh, maybe we'll call it. We'll call it a day here. I guess. Uh, one last one from some fucking guy. Oh no, I already read that one. So okay, we're all caught up. We're good. If somebody can find the full horse fucking documentary, link it to my friend Mister Anti Bully on Twitter, and we will watch it tomorrow. For all the horse fucking excitement from Cover Rock. All right, hold on. Let me just look through it. Oh my god, somebody did find it. Wow, alright. Uh, thank you, Alex and Draw. Oof, I don't know. Are we watching the, the horse fucking documentary chat? I, I don't know if we're going to do. It's, it's the real horse fucking documentary. Uh, okay. Uh, you're asking a lot from me here. You're asking a lot from me to... watch this horse fucking documentary but it's piqued my interest because these degenerate fucks have no shame all right i'll tell you what we'll watch it if it's if it's shit we'll just uh, i'm gonna call the stream if it's good we'll watch the whole thing but i okay chad we're back we will watch uh this abomination of a uh, documentary about the descent into madness that Western civilization has embarked upon. <laughs> I don't know how it is, but um, it is 49 minutes long. It is called Animal Passions, and it sounds like it was made by British people. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, also, as a side note, um, I noticed a lot of dancing gifts. I, I realized you could use a little unicorn sparkles or whatever the fuck they are to get more emotes. Uh, so I have uh, another open slot. I'm going to try to get a few more. If you've got uh, a dancing gif or an emote that you want, uh, send it over to my good friend, Mr. Antibully on Twitter, and I'll pick a good one, and we'll use that. So just as a, a, little, a little aside, 
Let me get this set up and we will jump into this abomination of a fucking... <laughs> I, I don't... I don't know. They're so proud of their degeneracy, it's really bizarre. It's like shame as a modern concept doesn't exist anymore. Okay. This is Animal Passions, the full documentary. Let's, uh, let's do it. Hope you all have a strong stomach, because we're going to be hearing about fat chicks getting fucked by horses. I'm, I'm suffering for you, chat. This is going to fuck up all my recommended videos. YouTube is going to gonna think I'm a really sick motherfucker because of this. I hope you appreciate it. Let's let's start the journey. Only speaks to people who've broken one of society's ultimate taboos, the illegal practice of sexual contact with animals, a subject some people may find disturbing. In most of the Western world, I like how they have to put that up in case, you know, hey, disclaimer, guys. If you didn't know fucking horses is bad, uh, but let us just remind you, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be taking horse cock up your ass. It might be illegal. Oh my gosh! Fire! <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll answer that one. Somebody in chat said, "What does Jade say about this sort of stuff?" Um, I can't I can't let her on stream to give you her opinion because I'll probably get banned. Uh, I'm 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 the PC one in the relationship, if you can imagine that. <laughs> Jade would have <laughs> the way she would phrase it would be quite different. Don't <laughs> shake it, you'll spew it everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was never a day in my life when I was growing up and I said, Okay, I think I'm gonna go have sex with animals today. It started out when I was very small. I just had a, a deep connection with animals, all the pets that we had growing up and all. I just felt deep feelings for them. And as I grew older and these feelings matured, it eventually moved on to sex. There was no decision made. I, I see animals as, as spiritual beings first. And because I see them as my spiritual equals, I don't have any issue with seeing that they pro that look at Paul Bunyan here trying to act like fucking animals ain't a big deal. We're spiritual beings on an equal playing field. Except, you know, humans are the ones that came up with language and uh, have a concept of self and built civilizations and clearly know what they're doing. But no, no, we're on an equal playing uh, field here together. So when I fuck my horse, there ain't nothing wrong with it they have the same needs that I have, which is to eat, to enjoy their bodies, and to love and to be loved. I've been with animals. I've been with humans. I love to be with both. Christopher Spencer. Why does Spencer keep getting brought up when we're looking at all this animal fucking shit? First, we had that furry bitch talking to Richard about wanting to get into the white ethno state. And now we've got a long lost relative, Christopher Spencer, filming documentaries about horse fucking. Five years ago, I made a film about people who choose to have sex with animals. After it was shown, a number of of horses without taking a real close look at them. Look at these fucking sex offenders. Look at them. They're stalking victims. Three horny dudes letting their erections lead them to a fucking fenced in area. Guessing they're all there salvating, licking their fucking degenerate lips, thinking about what horse they're gonna molest. These people aren't into the majesty of nature. They don't they don't think horses are, you know, cool animals that they can ride and help out on the farm. They are thinking of sex and sex of spiritual being and love my ass. You're horny, filthy degenerates. Let's not kid ourselves. And wondering. Mm -hmm. Great many thoughts. Yeah. There's a black Very one easy. there with a big blaze and several and a couple white socks. That... Of course, of course the fucking perverts want the big black horse. Oh, the horse cock isn't big enough. We need the big black horse cock. We gotta take this to an absurd level. Just, she's nice. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, bud. 
Hello, pretty boy. Sweetie. Easy, easy. Cool. <laughs> Please do come visit. Hey, baby. Oh, this is creepy as fuck. Imagine if they were pet pedophiles and they acted like this is actually how pedophiles act with children. Hey there, pretty boy. Come on, come on, you want some candy? Oh, you want to come in my candy van? Come here, horsey. Oh, you want to, you want some hay? Oh, it's just fucking weird. Hello, pretty one. Hello. Wow. Now this is a rush. <laughs> ah, yes. A piece of ecstasy. This is the most incredible turn on when I'll approach like this. This is the most incredible turn on. This is a pretty girl here. She's an Arabian. This is so fucking creepy. That's a pretty girl. She's an Arabian. I'm getting so turned on by these fucking horses. <laughs> I just want to get naked and start fucking them. This is the first time that they've spoken openly about their secret desires. If they found a field full of horses, it may be a while. Oh, I know Ken. He, God, he scratches the ponies for hours on end. <laughs> they wanted to show me a strange and often shocking sexual subculture. I was surprised to find these passions are not limited to lone individuals. I wish I was as sexy as, as Amara is sometimes. They included... I wish I looked like a horse so my husband would fuck me. That is the most depressing thing I've ever heard a woman say. I wish I looked like a horse so my husband would have a sexual interest in me as a person. Get a divorce. Women, couples, and even animal relationships within families. Um, that good? You can get it kind of juicy. It'll kind soak juicy? it up if we put it back okay. in the fridge. Okay. Yeah, and then the questions are, well, you know, is it the same as with a man? Is it as good as with a man? <laughs> no better. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends. Yeah, it you depends know, on the dog, depends on the man. You know, a lot of human men just uh, aren't as... They don't like foreplay. Mm -hmm. well, Dogs love foreplay. Yeah. They love to have... Oh, she's fucking the dog, too. I bet this fat bitch has a fucking cupboard full of peanut butter. Oh, the stench in the house must be horrific. Smells like warm peanut butter and tuna. Horse cum everywhere. Oh, God. Holy shit, that's wretched. Have a good time. They love to have sex. I just thought, should I add some mushrooms to the salad, too? Oh, uh, yeah, you could probably I'm do add some, some in the, the sauce. And that's some what I was going to do. For most people, the idea of sex with animals is revolting. So I wanted to find out why people become zoophiles and why this form of sexuality, above all others, remains taboo. I started with the question, what exactly is zoophilia? Zoophilia is one of the 40-odd paraphilias. And para means... Holy shit, is this John Money? Uh, the, the actual John Money? Is this the guy that mutilated a little boy? when he was pushing transgenderism? There's no way. Is this really him? Of course he would be in the horse fucking documentary. Oh, what a small world, Mr. Money. Beyond the usual. And philia means love. These conditions used to be called the perversions. And on the street, they're called kinky sex. So philia is, according to the dictionary, is really love for animals but usually people yes that is that's not me magic that's just reality that dude's a bastard he mutilated a little boy convincing him he was a little girl and drove him to fucking suicide trying to push transgender yeah fuck john money when they talk about zoophilia they talk about people who are in love or have an emotional connection with their animals and they also have sex with their animals He died in 2006. How old is this? This was... When did this come out? The The clip we saw was from 2007. So it probably means... This might have been filmed right near his death. I, I don't know if that's... It'd be too weird for it not to be him. 
John Money, uh, hold on. I have to look into this. This is a little too weird. Let me let me check something. Let me just check because that's going to bother me now. When was Animal Passions from 2004? If John Money died in two, th- let me check here. That I I'm almost certain that's fucking him. Holy shit! It is him. That is him. That is John Money. That is actually him. He fucking. He was in a horse. He was in a horse fucking documentary before he died. That's him. That is absolutely him. Okay. All right. Mystery solved, chat. <laughs> Dude, small world. Okay. Let's get back to this degenerate shit. Fucking hell, man. All right. Here we go. My first introduction to zoophilia came when I met Mark. Uh, friends riding with me used to drive them nutty. It's going along, and all of a sudden I'd back off the gas. I might even put on the brakes. Wow, look at her. And they snapped their heads around. What? Where? 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 Then they realized, oh, damn, it's a horse. Shouldn't say that unless it's some girl in a bikini. He's had sexual relationships with animals so for, for 40 years. For the horse. There's a horse up there on the right. Ah. You tell if it's male or female. A recent illness has left him partially blind. How much do you want to bet he got fucked so hard by a horse that <laughs> it blinded him? That's why they want they don't want to go into specifics about what that illness was. A recent illness, an infirmity, oh, an injury has left him partially blind. Did the horse cock punch his eye out? Is that what happened? He lives in a trailer home in the backwoods of Missouri. At the time I met Mark, sex with animals was not illegal in this state. And this allowed him to become the first zoophile to go public about his sexual preference. Mark shares his home with... Oh, come on! Come, the guy that fucks horses lives in a, a fucking home with dogs and donkeys. Oh, of course he does. Horses, dogs, donkeys, and Pixel. My territory, I get first shot at all the goodies. Pixel, look at you here. Yeah. Mark married Pixel in an unofficial ceremony seven years ago. I wonder why the marriage ceremony between uh, the blind guy who got fucked so hard by a horse he lost an eye and his magical pony Pixel. I wonder why it was an unofficial ceremony. Do you mean the local judge wouldn't wouldn't officially do it for you? Really? I love Pixel. She's gorgeous. My God, that is a beautiful little pony. She's sweet. She's loving. I'm very proud of her. And I like to be able to tell people how wonderful she is. He was so proud of his relationship with Pixel that he made the extraordinary and potentially dangerous decision to go public about their marriage. He agreed to appear on one of America's most notorious talk shows, Jerry Springer. Of course. I'm, oh uh, God, please let, <laughs> please, please, Springer, I, I know you host shit shows, and I love them, but please tell me that you, you shit on the guy that married a donkey. about all the f- well today we have a love story a springer show exclusive mark is what you might call an animal lover in his crusade to be accepted mark agreed to appear on the jerry springer show is this like is this like his homemade porn he blindfolds himself that's how he got the injury oh, i bet that's how it happened he blindfolded himself and thought he was going to get fucked in the ass but he was facing the wrong way and never saw it coming when the 14 inch donkey cock punched through his skull meet the man who married his horse you are having intimate relations with a beast i wouldn't take an a for an answer i married a horse as soon as the audience saw what was coming up you know welcome his wife and here comes a pony well <laughs> it was in the fan then they just went crazy i loved it
Jerry, well, at one, at one point he says, I think I'm going to vomit. If I'd been faster on my feet, I would have replied, hey, it's your show. How does that feel, bro? <laughs> you, made, you made the Jewish talk show host who deals with the most degenerate dregs of society want to vomit. You made Jerry Springer physically ill with your disgusting behavior. Go ahead. <laughs> this is pretty sick, isn't it? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, hey, 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 hey. America never got to see Mark. The show was pulled, judged too controversial even for Springer. In Mark's hometown, rumors and jokes soon spread. In West Virginia, this is a true law, I'm not making this up, down south in West Virginia, it's legal, legal to have sex with an animal if it doesn't exceed 40 pounds. I used to see dogs just going, give me some more, give me some more, more people in the Sandy, you know, this is Pixel's territory. I've paid a price for this lifestyle. I've had to face up to some friends that just couldn't handle it and say, okay, well, you know, I hate to lose you as a friend, but I understand. I'm sure that uh, I would see my children much more often than I do. Um, they, they claim they're okay with it, and I think they are, but they don't really want to talk about it. Don't like to be reminded of it too much. Yeah, I'd imagine most kids don't want to be hanging out with their pals and be like, hey, so I visited my dad. The Mark continues to promote a positive image of zoophilia. Oh, red dog's coming up this way. Oh, yeah? He spends hours each day on the internet, talking to other zoophiles from around the world. Is that the truck that stopped here a couple months ago? Here they can communicate without fear of their identity being given away. The internet, I think, has been a major importance in the, in the forming of, of anything that could be described as a zoo community. Before that, contact with other zoos was, was uh, extremely difficult. Your best friend could be boffing the beef on the side and you'd never know he was a zoo unless he told you. Boffing the beef on the side. What a what a cute little euphemism for defiling defiling the natural order. For spitting in God's eye. Boffing the beef. I was surprised to find that no one has a clear idea of how many zoophiles there are. The only published data was by sexologist Alfred Kinsey. His survey in the 1950s only looked at bestiality, one-off sexual acts with animals. He reported that perhaps as many as one in three boys in rural areas had experimented with animals. But his research has since been discredited. Yeah, that's a real nice statistic. I don't believe that for a second. You're trying to tell me one in three boys have had sex with animals? No, I'm not believing. I believe that about as much as the one in four women have been raped on college campuses. Nice bullshit number you pulled out of your ass. Why don't we bring John Money back on? He can tell us how this is totally natural to fuck horses and how we should chop our cocks off because that's a good idea. To get a more accurate picture, the Institute for the Advanced Study of Human Sexuality in San Francisco conducted a survey of over a hundred zoophiles. The people in my study, some of them, not all of them, but some of them see their relationships with animals as very unique. They really love their animals. Some of them treat the animals as a spouse, as a significant other. When I asked them to list down what is their marital status, I had two or three people... Do you, do you think these people are banned from rodeos? Like, people in the area have to know what they're up to. I can't imagine they're allowed near other people's farms. Some psychologists believe 
that events in early childhood determine our sexual development. Everybody has a love map, and it's very easy for them to go wrong. What makes one boy or one girl's love map develop so as to end up being zoophilic instead of just ordinary? Oh, take a look at the face of evil. Yeah, tell us about little boys' love maps, you disgusting piece of shit. Nobody knows. However, if I try to reconstruct it in the case of a zoophile, that uh, in early infancy this person was extremely deprived of tactile stimulation, which babies really need. And I've heard that story particularly from a, a woman paraphile who was kept locked away a lot of the time in the basement and she was sexually molested by her uncle. She had been born of incest herself, and that was kept strictly under cover. And the only consolation she had in life was this little dog, and she would put it between her legs. And when she got fully grown, she liked it much better than her husband's form of sex. So you have a poignant story of how somebody could easily... Poignant. That's how he describes that story. Poignant. I have a story about a girl that was born from incest and molested by her uncle and went on to fuck a dog. Poignant is how Mr. Money describes that. Easily be switched along the path of, of, um, of zoophilia. And incidentally, nobody would ever live next door to that lady and guess that she otherwise passed as a normal mother and housewife. But not all zoophiles have been abused as children. For Mark, his interest began with simple adolescent curiosity. The first time I even had an inkling of uh, sexual attraction or, or the idea of an animal as a sex object, uh, 16 years old, uh, a good friend of mine and I had been riding a little pony cart around his, near his grandparents' farm. And at the end of the ride, you take proper care of the equipment and the pony. He handed me a, a brush and a comb and told me to wipe the horse down, comb her, brush her. And I got around toward the back end of that little pony and she had her tail up in the air. And something just went ka-ching in my mind. It's, hmm, girl pussy, pony pussy, pussy. <laughs> I think I need that as a sound clip. Girl pussy, pony pussy, pussy in the air and something just went ka-ching in my mind it's hmm. girl pussy pony pussy pussy and uh, I looked around real quick and touched it Well, here I was. I'd been trying to do all the right stuff, ask girls out to the right movies, and of course, well, they were busy. Maybe try to get them to go out and eat a burger and shake or something like that. Well, they're busy, but you know, ask me again sometime. So, is he trying to is he trying to really convince us that because Cindy Lou turned him down for a date, that's why he started fucking horses? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, if only the girls in high school would have dated me, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be married to a donkey today. And some time never came. So when I actually went out and had intercourse with that pony mare, I didn't feel that I was being being weird. I felt that I was being superior. Yeah, it sounds horrible. It's a personality flaw and so forth. But yeah, I, I thought I was being superior. Yeah, I outsmarted the system. By God, I got even with all the girls who needs them this worked great health incels rise up you don't need those girls re you could just fuck horses that's that's his that's his suggestion who needs women i got horse pussy this this was so good that it that... isaiah said woe to those who call evil good and good evil and so we are living in a day when people want to call evil good and good evil. 
when man has turned a deaf ear from hearing what God says in His Word. Now, I'm amazed that they don't combust when they walk through the threshold of a church. I'm amazed God hasn't thrown a lightning bolt at their head for daring to enter a fucking church running a horse fucking factory. Morning that you would just create a new heart in us today, Lord. Mark grew up in the Bible Belt. His father was a preacher, and his upbringing came strictly from the Old Testament. Father, I thank you for the blood of Jesus today, hallelujah, that cleanses us and that washes us clean and whole so that we might be presentable and ready to appear before the glorious God. Amen. Leviticus 20, 15, and 16. If a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death. Oh, he fucking knows. Oh, he knows. I'm looking at you, Mark. Read Leviticus. God said I should stone your fucking heathen ass right here in this church. It's right here in the good book. Mark. Everybody look at Mark. He fucks horses. We're going to tar and feather this motherfucker right after Sunday service. And you shall slay the beast. And if a woman approach any beast and lie down there too, thou shall kill the woman and the beast. Bestiality is a sin that goes back way in the Bible. It goes back to the Old Testament passages of Deuteronomy and Leviticus and some like that. And uh, whether that was going on at that time, we're not sure. But at least in the foreknowledge of God and the wisdom of God, knowing what man could do and what he could be capable of, uh, God really condemns bestiality in the scripture and the word of God. In fact, the penalty for that was death. Pre-Christian pagan cultures were openly fascinated with sexuality in all its... I love, I love how they're setting this up as a really... I like this. Heathen pagans, fucking horses. We gotta purify them. We need to go a little 40k on these motherfuckers, is what I think the documentary is trying to tell us. ...forms, and often worshipped the image of animals. They saw less distinction between human and animal. They believed in hybrid creatures, the offspring of interspecies sex. Here, half man, half goat. All this changed with the arrival of Christianity. The new religion taught that to be human was not to be animal. Man must conquer his base animal instincts. Of course, that's... Anybody that knows the, the gospel knows that. It's in Luke. It says, hey, pagans, uh, Jesus said, please stop fucking horses. Why are you doing this? Stop. Just don't. To rise closer to his God. Satan was often shown as a beast. At first, offenders were not punished. But during the Middle Ages, bestiality was considered as evil as homosexuality and sex with demons. By the 1500s, the offense so challenged the accepted order of man and animal, both were punished by death. Early Christians were not fucking around. <laughs> if they caught a dude banging a dog, they didn't just kill the guy, they killed the dog. We're going to make sure we end this right here. Get that horse, we're going to chop its fucking heathen head off. Maybe this explains why we still demand severe penalties, with up to a two-year prison sentence in the UK. But this does not deter individuals, or even couples, with families. Michael has brought the family dog to visit Laurie, his wife. Ah, uh, I just, just the thought of what they're doing to that poor thing. Fucking hell. Laurie and Michael are now separated, but for 25 years they shared their lives with two children and various animals. It's been three months since Laurie has seen her lover, 
baby golden. Kisses and hugs. You are such a When they broke boy. up, they decided the dog should stay with Michael. To watch our 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 golden retriever and her interact is just awesome because I mean he just adores her and she loves him and it's really cool. It's just really neat. Oh. oh. White boys blown the fuck out. How can you even compete with the pupper? Huh? Look at your wife. Oh, she knows who the real man is. Look at him, sulking over there. Can't compete with that golden retriever, can ya? Can ya, white boy? I just love you. I miss my baby. Oh. Laurie and Michael were both sexually active with animals when they married. With the arrival of children, they agreed to give up their animal passions. But after a few years, Michael found this too difficult. What is with this fucking pan flute music shit? I feel, I feel like I'm taking drugs or something. It's like this really creepy fucking music. It fits. I mean, it's a great musical choice. I feel like I'm watching a horror movie. Difficult. When you wake up in the middle of the night and your husband's not there, uh, the barn is rather close to the house. Um, you know, for no reason, okay, why is he out there? And uh, a wife usually knows. I wasn't aware that my wife was aware that I had reestablished my intimate relationship with, with my mare. Um, it, it, it was just a, I was trying at that time to be true to myself and the loved ones in my life. And so you know what? I can tell you how your wife knew what was up. I know how she knew. In fact, there's a song that pretty much explains exactly how your wife figured out you were having sex with your horse. Well, let me see if I can find this amazing song. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, this would be the song. I think this is how your wife put two and two together about you fucking your horse in the barn. DJ Quest. Nigga, this is the fifteenth motherfucking time that I called and left your ass messages. I done texted your bitch ass and you ain't responded to nothing. What the fuck is you doing? Who the fuck is you out there with? You think I'm stupid? My girls already done put me up on your ass tonight, nigga. When you get home, I got some news for your bitch ass. Bitch. Why are you coming home? Five in the morning. Something's going on. I, th I think that's how she pieced it together when he came in from the barn so late at night. That would be my guess. All right, let's go back to the degenerates screwing animals and not feeling guilty about it at all. Sometimes juggling those things is no small task. It was a very difficult situation. It's like, fine, you want to be with her, then be with her. So I would get resentful and remove myself out of the, you know, the triangle. Because of the sexual tension and the secrecy, I wanted him to tell me. And so he started to pour all this out of the pain that he had gone through. And, you know, it became very honest. He told me about all the relationships. He really yeah, that's right, Chad. Deepest lore. Uh, the reason she made that song. And <laughs> that's J Jordan Peterson. All right. He doesn't believe anything he's telling, uh, you know, any, any of the shit that he espouses. He's just telling you to wash your balls, bucko, because he knows those bitches be smelling your dick. He's trying to do you a solid, all right? Peterson understands you want a little bit of tail on the side, so he wants you to wash those balls so your girl doesn't know when she smells your dick. Really, for the first time, expressed how deeply he felt and how much his love... 
was for horses. Michael and Laurie agreed to bring back Michael's mares into their relationship. And I went, oh. And I discovered, I've discovered that uh, in that respect, with the proper people, I'm not ashamed of that also. I was a bit intimidated because knowing how emotional my wife can be about some things, I thought, oh gosh, if she loses it during this, this, is going, this can get ugly. Okay, I, th I think I might have hit my limit on the amount of degenerate shit I can watch in one sitting. And these people, they don't, they don't even care. They just, just don't even fucking care. They're, they're just, they, they're unrepentant. And the shit that they're doing. Man, we'll, we'll watch the other half of this. We gotta, it's about halfway done. It's 50% of the way done. We'll watch the other half of the horse fuckers uh, tomorrow. I need a break from this. This is the fact that John Money is in this is just uh, priceless, I guess. Uh, I'm, why should I be surprised? Of course he's in it. Of course John Money would be front and center in this abomination. We will, uh, uh, we will watch the rest of it tomorrow. I need a palate cleanser. I need to go play some Metro and kill things. <laughs> I think it's the only way I'm going to get through it. Uh, there were there were a few more Superberries. I'll read those, and then I'm going to play some outro music. And we'll finish up the rest of uh, this just abomination hellscape world shit tomorrow. Uh, from rig number 438642, you said my name wrong. It's 438642. We ever perform a big op or something similar to BG, uh, BG Kumbai with Fox. What video do, or do you recommend to get something to get someone into your channel? I recommend nothing. If, if they're interested, they're going to watch. If, if they're not, they're not. From Flesh Gordon, you ever get those photon tapes? Uh, no, I'm waiting to hear back from the guy that said he had them. It's, it's pretty much still up in the air. From Senator Hitler, don't these people know this is how AIDS started? Jesus Christ, get ready for horse AIDS to wipe out middle America. Just like uh, macaque-originated AIDS wiped out Africa. And don't think it's only homos this time. From Motorola 762, I hate with a burning passion that the monster is held up as a gender genius. From Hamster Knot, Jim, you seem to... Uh, Jim, you see the pony play guys. They dress up in horse harnesses and pull fat chicks around in buggies. Uh, we'll watch that tomorrow. Weld Advisor, how would you like to be the documentary maker, being around all these degenerates and knowing they're all leaking with horse jizz? I pity them. From Kleptoast, Ezekiel 2320, there she lusted after her lovers, whose genitals were like those of donkeys, and whose emissions was like that of horses. Aaron in Detroit, they used to warehouse all these types and institutions to keep them out of society, but somehow it got decided that mental asylums were inhumane, and it's better, <clears throat> and it's better off for everyone somehow that these clearly insane people walk among us. Well, the advisor again, this is it again. The creepy dude who looks like Sargoon's cousin. You already have the link? Mergasm. Uh, yeah, I believe that's actually a part of the documentary, so we should see it when it comes up. Uh, the link I sent to you is the Mergasm one, not Rickroll. Uh, from Mittens319. Daddy Jim, may I have permission to give you a blowjob? Uh, give a blowjob to a revolver and not live in the same world as these people? Uh, yeah, I could imagine not wanting to be on the same planet as this uh, fucked up shit. And then I think we're back at the beginning. Le yeah, Leviticus 1823. All right, uh, thanks everyone uh, <laughs> for coming out to watch uh, Degenerates talk about fucking horses. What a way to spend an afternoon. Oh, it's always a fun time. Always a fun time. I don't even. I don't even know what. I don't know. I don't know what song to play as an outro to this. I'll be honest with you. I. I. I we need some pure autism. We need some wholesome autism to just make this go away. Need something down to earth, just family friendly autism. So I think I got the perfect thing. Uh, we'll watch the rest tomorrow. Have a good night. And uh, don't let these people near your animals. <laughs> and if you have a farm, put up barbed wire fences to keep them the fuck away. Well, good afternoon, chat. Hopefully things are going well for you, at least if you're in part of the world that's not completely cucked by the government. Oh, what a day. What a day to collect the salt. I just want to lick European tears. Oh, it's going to be good. Can I get an S? Can I get an S in chat to spit on euros? Oh, I you know, I did a video six months ago talking about this. Had a lot of Europeans show up. Oh, very prim and proper. 
drinking their fucking tea with their little top hats and monocles, telling me they, they knew the future. Oh, Jim, you don't understand. Article 11 and 13 are never going to pass. Uh, a porn license? Never heard of. That's not going to happen either. You stupid fucking Americans. You 56 percenters. You Ameriburgers. Lard-ass, rascal, scooter-riding, shotgun-loving Americans. You don't know what you're talking about. Never going to happen. Until it totally fucking did happen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What happened, Europe? It's a dark day for you, isn't it? Oh, we've got so much to talk about. So much to talk about. I don't... I, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> where, do you, where do you begin with this? Should I be gleeful about it? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, how do we even start this? There's, there's a lot to get to. Uh, let me start off with something simple. What happened to Streamy? I see a lot of people in chat were talking about this leading up to the stream. Some people have super chatted. Some people have asked about it. Uh, there are about four stories going on with Streamy. Uh, people unfamiliar with it. It was a competitor that was set up to go against Twitch and YouTube as a streaming website. Pretty good. I liked it. Had a lot of features you want there. Had monetization and just a lot of other things. Put your custom emotes in there. Do whatever you wanted, really, as long as it wasn't hardcore pornography or illegal. They were fairly lax about letting you do whatever the fuck you felt like doing. They had a weekly contest to lure people over. Did you know on StreamMe, if you had the top fucking stream over there, they would pay you $600. They had 30 places. You could have a stream with 10 people watching and get paid by this fucking website hundreds of dollars a week just for just for going over there and streaming. A lot of people familiar with Cosmo from Speedrunning. Narcissa Wright. Beautiful lady. Now that's where they, they went and hid from the internet. That's where they were streaming. All those fucked up videos of Narcissa. And you're wondering, why is this ghoul out in the daylight? Why do they have a camera upon them? I thought monsters were supposed to stay hidden. You can't let the muggles find out about them. Well, Narcissa went over there, streamed and made a fuck ton of money. And then a bunch of other people showed up and they were making a fuck ton of money. People were happy. People were coming to the site, using it, streaming quite a bit. And then everything went tits up and they just shut the fucking thing down. Now there are four stories about what happened to stream me. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you the best lore on it. There are a couple of competing theories on what's going on. Competing theory number one, the stream me staff got doxxed to fucking back. They had their family's information posted. People were fucking with their wives and their children. And it became too much of a hassle for the investors. And they said, fuck it, we're walking away. Now that sounds like a great story, but I don't know if I believe it. It's a little too convenient. It's a little too convenient for a couple of different facts. Now, I'd say about three or four weeks back, Ice Poseidon, because of course he would be related to this, well, he hasn't been doing very well with his own audience. Now, they started up their own subreddit. They like to shit on him now. Things are not good in the House of Ice. Well, Ice Poseidon decided he was going to make his own website, or he was going to go into some kind of weird venture capital thing, get people to invest, make a streaming website, compete with the big boys. Everybody was psyched about it. Turns out, Streamy might have been involved. They might have given seed money up to $3 million or their technology to help facilitate this. I think it was scuffed.com. I can't remember the exact name. Well, Ice Poseidon, because he's a fucking genius, of course, decides to go on stream and basically tell people it's a Ponzi scheme. Or at least appear to. Oh, it's a, it's a total pyramid, bro. You don't get it. When we get more money from new investors, we pay the old investors, but we're not fucking scamming you. So... <laughs> Ice Poseidon uh, brings a shit ton of bad press on. Streamy, I guess, might be involved. And, uh, you know, things start going badly. I, I don't know if you've kept up with it, but Ice Poseidon had a little visit from the feds. The men in black showed up at his door. A knock, knock, knocking to see what the fuck is going on. Maybe it's because he hacked into the fucking mayor of Tampa's Twitter account. Maybe it's because they did some other fucked up shit. Who knows? Who knows why the feds were there? But StreamMe shuts down, and mysteriously, a week later, Ice Poseidon's getting visited by the fucking FBI. I don't know, it's a bit coincidental. Might, might not be anything to it, who knows? Other competing theory is that StreamMe stole the technology they used, was using it without the proper rights and permissions, and got sued. And they're getting sued, and are going to get fucked real good in court. 
So streaming is gone. It's dead. Uh, it kind of sucks. I was streaming over there quite a bit. I did like 50 or 60 fucking streams over there. I was starting to make it into a morning thing, having a lot of fun. Because you could do really whatever you wanted. No uh, <laughs> no censorship in the chat. Uh, but it is, it's gone and dead. So, I, you know, I've looked at alternatives. I've looked at different websites on what you could use to stream. And I'm fucking stuck on YouTube. Twitch, there's no way. I would get, I've been banned off Twitch before I even streamed on Twitch. I made a fucking account, and they banned me immediately. I can't go to Hitbox or whatever reincarnated amalgamation fucking Frankenstein horror show it turned into. Because I got banned for there, too. Because I, I uh, streamed the E3 conference of Nintendo, and apparently that's a big no-no. A lot of people have suggested using Russian websites or Japanese websites. I don't think that'll work very well, either. I've seen some people attempt to do it, and... Got yanked down for harassment. And if you can't harass and have a little bit of good fun, what's the fucking point? So it's back to YouTube. So that's what happened to Streamy. Take your pick. You've got three different competing theories. I couldn't tell you which one's accurate. If I had to put money on it, I'm going to go with number two. I think they were financially invested in something that I, I just wasn't on the up and up and got entangled with it and it fell apart. Who, know, who knows how that's going to turn out, but uh, Rip and Pepperoni Stream Me. And give them an F if you like to. Uh, they're never coming back. They're gone for good. But that's not uh, that's not what the stream's about today. I just wanted to get that out of the way because people were asking. The stream today, we're talking about Europeans. We're talking about Article 11 and 13 and all the things that are going on over in Europe. Which coincidentally coincide with a lot of things that are happening in Oceania. Is that what they call it? I can't ever fucking pronounce it right. But all the shit that's around Australia. <laughs> Why don't we just call it Sub-Australia? But uh, yeah, a lot of things happening in Kiwi Land and Aussie Land, oi, oi, oi. So, you know, let's, let's jump into it. Now, back in June of last year, I made a video talking about Article 11 and 13, saying how fucking terrible it was going to be when it got implemented, also making some jokes about other things that were going on. And what do you know? Every, every single thing I talked about happened, is currently happening. I know people don't like it when you tell them the truth. They get very upset, call it a black pill. Oh, my God, if you talk about reality, that's a black pill. Well, of course it's depressing. Our reality is shit. We veered off into the wrong dimension. We're surrounded by bears that aren't our Berenstein bears. Some kind of fucked up hellscape that we're living in. And everything is going to shit really quickly. Which also coincides with the video I put up about two years ago. Saying everything's going to go to shit really quickly. Uh, so, I, you know, let's start with the porn. Because I saw a lot of fucking Brits. And, uh, you know, this stream is going to cost me. I'll tell you that right now. Every time I shit on Europeans, I lose so many subs. I think the last European stream I did, I lost like a thousand subs. Already up to sub 200 as we're speaking. They cannot handle banter. Europeans are a sensitive fucking people. I've dealt with fucking furries that have more of a <laughs> ability to handle banter than Europeans. I don't know what the fuck the issue is, but... Apparently, that's the reality. So let's talk about the UK, specifically, because they love to try to differentiate. You ever try to pin down a fucking Brit talking about all the gay shit that's happening in the European Union, and they always sidestep it? Oh, my Brexit. Ooh, my Brexit. Even though that looks like it's going to implode in their face, who knows what the fuck's going to happen? <laughs> you know, it aligns pretty well uh, with uh, the new reality. Call it a joke if you like, but want to know how to fuck uh, a Briton? Uh, get elected to Parliament, apparently. Because their politicians are deep dicking those motherfuckers. Bare back in it. They're going raw dog. Raw dog on Nigel. Ain't no stopping it. Gift given all day long. But they like to sidestep and say Brexit. So let's talk specifically about the UK. Let's talk about how they're not allowed legally to jack off anymore. What an absurd fucking idea. If you live and the United Kingdom. Oh, the last bastion of freedom. Oh, we stood up against the Nazis. We don't want that authoritarian government control over us. We're the Brits. Look at us all prim and proper drinking our tea. Oh, that Hitler fellow wants to control us. We're not going to let that happen. <laughs> and now you can't jack off. Starting April 1st, of course, because what better day to celebrate them losing their ability to masturbate than April fucking Fool's Day? British people need a license to touch themselves. 
If you're in bong land, you need to go down to the newsstand and get permission to ejaculate. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This is their reality now. If you're in merry old bong land, starting April 1st, this upcoming month, it's, what, a week away, you're going to need to go to the newsstand and get special permission slips so you can watch some chick take a dick up her ass. Oh, you want to watch a little Deep Throat? A cum compilation, my fellow Brit? Oh, <laughs> well, you're going to need to get a special permission slip. Because Imam Merkel has decreed it. Don't think the EU's tendrils still aren't around you and upon you. Because now you need permission to do what you've naturally done for years and years and years. Now you'll hear them say things like, it's unenforceable. It can't possibly be enforced. How would you enforce that? Well, how the fuck do you enforce a television license? You can't even turn on the fucking boob tube. Well, <laughs> that's going to be literal now, because tits are forbidden. You can't even turn on a television without having some fucking cop knock on your door. They put up billboards. They have special vans and shit that hunt you down. So I want you to imagine yourself in the future. Let's say two months from now. Hidden in your closet. I've got a doily over your head or whatever gay shit you use over there to, to put your tea upon. And you're hidden. You're, you're in a deep, dark place. It's a bunker. It's your little refuge from the reality that's now surrounding you. Touching yourself. You've stolen a laptop, so it can't be traced to your identity. You're on your neighbor's Wi-Fi. You're doing everything you can to circumvent the law. And suddenly there's a knock on your door. Oh, God, who is that? It's the police. Open up. You quickly button your pants up and come to the door. And there's Officer Bongston with a fucking UV light. He, may, he scans your hands for signs of semen to see if you've been sexually pleasuring yourself. And then they bring in fucking bloodhounds to search the house for your ejaculate. Lovely. What a great reality that's going to be. <laughs> if you don't have the proper fucking paperwork, your license to masturbate, I don't know what they'll do to you. Maybe they'll throw you in prison. It's going to be funny to find out, though, isn't it? And that's the reality of being British now. Can't even jack off. You know what happens to people when you take away their ability to masturbate? They go fucking crazy. You take sex away from people, and they lose their mind. <laughs> you think America's got spree killers? You motherfuckers are going to be slaughtering each other with sporks. Or whatever utensils are still legally available to purchase over there. Oh, a dark day indeed. April 1st. Ugh. I wonder if they're going to make them special individualized licenses, maybe? Like, if you want to watch the BBC, and I'm not talking about British broadcasting, I'm talking about a different BBC. If you want to see that dark, throbbing meat penetrating those little white girls, you're going to need to go down publicly in front of all your neighbors and say, Radio, I'd like one ticket to watch black cocks ripping open white girls. If you, if you want to watch anal, you're going to have to put a paper bag over your fucking head. So the local <laughs> the local school teachers and priests don't know who the fuck you are. And what degenerate shit you're up to in Mary Poppins land. Oh, oh, what's that, sir? You want one special ticket to watch adult cartoons? Now, what kind of adult cartoon would you like to watch? Do you want to watch the, the tentacles that penetrate those schoolgirls? That'll be $5. Now, if you want to go for a twofer, we've got the tentacle rape as well as, well as I don't know, uh, pick something else. Pick some other maybe Japanese girls puking in each other's mouths. I don't know what your kink is, but you're going to have to get a license for it. And if it couldn't get worse, if it couldn't be worse with, with a porn ban in the UK, the fucking European Union, of course, in all its infinite wisdom, goes forward and okays Article 11 and Article 13. So what is the reality that now faces Europeans? Well, there's the link tax, and then there's the copyright mechanism that's going to be put in place. Now, the link tax, from my understanding, is to protect news organizations. That's how they spun it. That's the bullshit they're selling. So if you, as a YouTuber, 
we're going to use YouTubers as examples because I think you can all relate to that the most. If you're a YouTuber that makes videos talking about news articles and you're reading more than just a line or the title of the news article, you now have to pay a fee to do so. <laughs> it's a fucking link tax. You want to tweet about it? You want to post about it? You want to comment about it? Make a video about it? It's time to pay that link tax, Brits. It's time to pay that link tax, Frenchie. Oh, all of you. All of you are going to get fucked by a link tax, and it's not going to be pleasant. But that's the lesser of two evils, really. Because it's, I believe, Article 13 is the one that's a real bitch. Now, Article 13, and maybe I'm mixing these two up, they're both awful. They're fucking horrendous. But that's the copyright article. That's the new addendum, the new law that's going to be put in place that's going to savagely fuck Europe in ways we can't even imagine just yet. And you don't need to take my word for it. I want you to think about the reaction of big technology when it comes to this. Take Google, which is owned by Alphabet, which owns YouTube. Now, if you look at Susan Wozniak, <laughs> she, she married to Mr. Apple, Wojak, I don't, <laughs> the Polish chick that runs fucking YouTube. If you look at her and the statements that she's made regarding Article 13, you're going to see some deep shits coming over the fucking horizon for Europeans. Now, Google, which is known for being censorous and having a political bias and agenda, you would think would be thrilled by the idea of basically blocking off an entire segment of the internet not having to deal with them. But that's not the reality. They're freaking the fuck out. She's gone on record as stating that they're thinking of basically quarantining the entire continent because they can't deal with the new mechanism for copyrighted material. Even if it's something that would have been fair use before under the DMCA, now they're thinking, hey, you know, fuck it. We're just going to ban all of you. And not just ban you, and I'm not kidding you, there's an article where she talks about this. I believe it's a, a Google blog. I'll pull it up later on. Not just ban you from creating content, which might have implications of dealing with copyright laws in the first place, but ban you from using the website, period. She's talking about something like Europe contributing, what is it, 36 billion views a month or some shit like that, and talking about how Google is going to lose all of that because they're going to completely cut it the fuck off. Now, she put in some special caveats. She talked about a few specific examples of very large channels being able to work out special deals. So PewDiePie, go subscribe to PewDiePie. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about him. The really big motherfuckers with millions and millions of subs, not going to have to worry about them. But I don't know what the cutoff is because they haven't really addressed it. But I can I almost guarantee you, if you don't have at least 100,000 subs and they put into place the plan they've been talking about and speculating about, and this shit really goes through over the next two years, a lot of people are gone. They are gone for good and they are never coming back. I mean, it, it, on the one hand, it is funny because they've done it to themselves. They allowed oligarchs to take control. Unelected bureaucrats who get to make decisions from on high that aren't even a part of their actual government. Meeting together somewhere and deciding, fuck you, we're going to do it. What are you going to do about it? I, it's just, it's baffling to me. You're going to lose an entire sphere of the internet. I mean, people make a lot of jokes. They say things like, well, you're, you're, you're not going to be able to make YouTube videos. You're not going to be able to shit up 4chan. Poll will finally be free of the Brits, finally be free of the French, finally be free of the Europeans. But you're going to lose that access. I mean, fuck, starting April 1st, at the very least, when you know, regards to the United Kingdom and regards to the Brits, if they need a porn license to look at pornographic material, you now have an ultimate win button in any conversation or argument you ever get into. On any social media platform, if you encounter a British person, simply post a pair of tits. By law, they need to flee. <laughs> tits are their kryptonite. If you post some boobs, <laughs> the UK government will knock on their door and make sure they have a license to look at those tits. What kind of fucked up clown world reality is this? They're going to completely lose their ability to interact with the rest of the world. And might I remind you, it is the rest of the world. Africa, for as backwards as it is, doesn't have this shit in place. If you live in Africa, you can masturbate all you want and post all the memes you want, and nobody's going to do a thing about it. 
But if you live in Europe, <laughs> home of so many first world civilized nations, you now need fucking permission slips to basically do anything over there. What a fucking nightmare scenario that is. Canada. Oh, Canadians, all that shit you've taken about Justin Trudeau, about your fucking flamboyant PM who's an internal fuck-up. Congratulations, you're no longer at the bottom of the shit heap. Europeans are. Take your pick. Pick a country, throw a fucking dart at the board, and start shitting on them. You never have to listen to another word of their crap ever again. Just remarkable. <laughs> Here's an idea for all the Americans and Oh, well, North Americans, South Americans, Africans, Asians, Australians, all you people out there, you want to make some fucking money? Here's my idea. Europeans are fucked. They're off the internet. Go right now and find all the really popular European YouTube videos before the purge happens. Download them and redub them with your new audio. Congratulations, you're going to be rich. All those creative Europeans that spent all that time and money creating videos now illegally can't put those fucking videos up, but you can. You can just redub them and monetize them. And the Europeans aren't even going to be able to watch the videos to see that you're fucking them and taking their content. That's how fucked they are. Welcome. <laughs> that's, that's a Jimco business idea. What are they going to do about it? File a copyright complaint? I don't think so. They probably need a license to do that, too. Oh, yes, chat. Brilliant. Fuck yes. No, I, I'm seeing you. I'm glad that we're we're on the same wavelength here about how fucked Europe is. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought you guys were going to protest. I thought you were going to put your fucking foot down and say no more. Uh, you know, I saw, I think it was Edward Snowden, of course, uh, tweeting out. Uh, saying that they were doing protests in Germany. They'd done some protests in France and a few other places. Uh, nothing, nobody cared. There was even an article that came out today talking about how Swedish uh, Swedish members of the EU accident... Uh, you know what, let me pull this up. I want you to remember something. When you're, when you're thinking about how horrible, how horrible your reality is, I want you to know that Sweden fucked you. This is from Boing Boing. <laughs> Prepare to fucking have your mind blown. This is why Europe is burning. It's because of Sweden. Article 13 will wreck the internet because Swedish MEPs accidentally pushed the wrong voting button. I, like, the, <laughs> okay. Fucking Swedish cucks fucked the entire continent of Europe because they pushed the wrong button when it came time to vote on the Orwellian authoritarian censorship plan. Let me just read a little bit about this. In the EU, if a member of the parliament presses the wrong button on a vote, they can have the record amended to show what their true intention was, but the vote is still binding. Today, the European Parliament voted to pass directives 11 and 13 by a margin of five votes. But actually... A group of left-leaning Swedish MEPs have revealed that they pressed the wrong button and have asked to have the record corrected. They have issued a statement saying they intended to open a debate on the amendments, but accidentally hit the wrong thing. We lost on a technicality, and there is no recourse, they are quoted as saying. This is the most significant piece of internet regulation ever undertaken by a democratic government. And it's fucked because someone pushed the wrong button. It's the Edward Tuffy apocalypse. It would be funny if it didn't make me want to smash my laptop. Sweden fucked all of you. You know all those jokes we made about how cucked that fucking country is? A nation that pixelates criminals and then literally whitewashes them because they don't want you to know that immigrants are causing all the crime. A country that's run by feminists who think penises are the ultimate evil. A country where I'm pretty sure they inject soy <laughs> alongside, <laughs> alongside vaccines into your babies to make sure that you are <laughs> just little, little eunuchs. And they, they just force feed you estrogen all throughout your school career. That's Sweden. 
That Sweden fucked all of you. Europe is on fire because a bunch of Swedish cucks did an oopsie. That's according to Boing Boing. A five-vote margin, which apparently they had enough members. <laughs> they had enough members to swing the vote. And you are super fucked now because they they had an accident. I think that's... I think that's fitting. I, you know, it's, it's almost fucking beautiful, really. It's like God's up there, and he has the world's greatest sense of humor. And he's like, you know, those poor Europeans, they can't even masturbate without permission anymore. But what would be extra funny when it comes to fucking with them? Oh, I know. I'll take the most cucked nation that exists and have them completely fuck everyone over. Fantastic. Can we get a round of applause? Thank you, Sweden. Thank you. The Caliphate thanks you. Imam Merkel thanks you, chat, please. Please give me some clapping emojis. We need to celebrate Sweden's contribution to ending everyone's happiness. We need to thank those cucks for finally, finally just segregating an entire continent from the internet. Thank you, Sweden. Thank you so much. Oh, we couldn't have done it without you. You, you have helped facilitate the rise of fucking clown world. That's right. Everybody clap for Sweden. <laughs> All those pissed off Europeans that are currently unsubscribing because I'm laughing at you. Be sure to swing on by Sweden's governmental Twitter accounts. And uh, just congratulate them. They say thank you. Thank you for bending me over for the politicians. I love getting fucked in my ass because your, your delegates are quite literally retarded. Swedish men in government are literal retards that have fucked us all over because they hit the wrong button. Thank you, Sweden. We thank you for your service. Oh, yeah, a lot, a lot of clapping going on. Oh, beautiful. It's beautiful. Thank you, chat. All, the, all these clown world emojis. All these clapping. Uh, how, do you, how do you do that? How do you, how do you fuck up that... Why would they admit it? I would never admit this. If I fucked up on this level, I would go into hiding. <laughs> I would never show my face again. Because everyone would want to fucking kill me. But apparently, they're like, no, nah, fuck it. Let's, uh, let's go give Boing Boing an interview. And tell them, oops, oopsie, might have fucked up a little bit on that one. Beautiful. All right. Got some uh, super chats here. Let me hit some of these. I will read all of them at the end, but I'll go through now and read a select few. And get get a poll for the <laughs> get a poll for the chat. Hold on. Ah, oh, where is this fucking thing? Okay. Uh, from the Bone Zone, Foyk Negers. Uh, I'm sure that's a a cleverly worded uh, puzzle. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you're you're getting at, uh, <laughs> but I'm sure we can. Figure it out if we put our collective brain power together. From Lucifer Love Monkey. Thanks, Jim. I was afraid you died with streaming. Nope, still around and kicking. 1776 May. Let freedom reign, motherfuckers. Retards rise up. From Mario Carter 13. The darkness grows in Europe. Are you jealous? Oh, I'm so jealous. I would love to have my, my only source of enjoyment. My ability to speak with the entire free world stripped from me. Because a bunch of Swedish cucks did an oopsie. Autism forums, press A to spit on Europe. How about you press S to shit on it instead? From Mega Killer X, forgive us, Jim, we have sinned. You were forgiven. From Veggie Bad, I know a UK exchange student who constantly talks shit about the US and Donald Trump. Every time I bring up Article 11 and 13, he says it won't happen. I can't wait to duck on, or dunk on his soy freak show. Feel free to dunk on the motherfucker. From Sean Turner, how you doing, Jim? Can we get a quick update on what happened with on what happened to the Ralph retort. And do you think they fell from grace? What can I watch now for entertainment? Uh, well, an update on the Ralph retort. When Streamy went under, they came back over to YouTube. Uh, they're currently streaming over on Memology's channel. I, I do think there's a bit of a fall from grace. I will be honest with you. Uh, Ralph seems to be kind of fighting with his audience, which is never a smart idea. Uh, but he still does his show. As for what you can watch now for entertainment, I, fuck if I know. I've been playing video games. I've just gone back to playing video games and browsing 4chan. 
I have I've redirected my efforts and attention. So there, there you go. I, I don't have really a great recommendation for what you can go and watch. From Sean Turner, did you figure out the who done it mystery? No, nope, still a mystery. From Trues, should bring Kraut on for commentary. It's his mom's fault after all. Well, no, no, it's not. I, what was she, uh, German, Austrian? Not her fault at all. It's a fucking Swedes that did it. From One Stone, I asked this before, but don't think you ever saw it. Did you ever use mplayer.com back in 99, 2000? It was bought by GameSpy. I I do not remember any service named that. Uh, maybe maybe I ran across it, but it's not it's not uh, getting the noggin jogging, so I couldn't tell you. From Gear 3009, Sargon smugly chuckles as his country goes in flames. Well, I've got great news for you. I think you're going to like this. Uh, Sargon is going to be running for political office. According to UKIP, uh, his men's warehouse suit is going to propel him into a position within the government. So I'm sure, I'm sure our favorite Applebee's waiter is going to totally save Europe. We just need to get Donald Trump to tweet about Gamergate, and shit's going to fix itself. I, I'm looking forward to this. Honest to God, it's like fucking Christmas. Uh, I can't wait to see his political campaign, and it's just going to be so good. So it's going to be so fucking good. Well, wait, will we be able to watch it? See, that's a, well, he's got like 800,000 subs. He's close to a million. So if this YouTube fucking program goes into place, he still might be around. I don't know. But I, I will find some way. Maybe carry your pigeon it out of Europe so we can get updates on his uh, political ambitions. From Ballstar Bruno. It's a beautiful day to watch Europe implode. Rise up, guys. Press S to spit on Europe. From Kenzie Krensoa. It's my, I butchered your name. It's my birthday today, Jim. Can I get a shout out? A happy birthday, Kenzie. From Ballstar Bruno. Guys, maybe if we behave like good pay piggies, then Jim or Daddy Jim won't leave us again. I didn't really, I didn't really leave. I was kind of enjoying Streamy, but again, it just, it went completely tits up. What are you going to do? It's like any good service that starts ends up imploding and falling to shit. And it's like a curse of that domain, too. God, fuck, if you're going to make a website, don't don't get the uh, suffix .me. It happened to Vidme, too. Vidme was positioning itself as an alternative to, to YouTube, and it went under as well. Uh, of course, that was because they didn't have the capital to continue hosting all the videos. But I, I don't know what happened with Streamy. Any website that ends in .me fucking falls to pieces. Johnny Depressed. Me give Jim Superberries to ask if he saw Donga's Redemption wrestling video. Also, Captain Marvel sucked Negro cock. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Uh, you know, I, I'll be honest with you. I like shitting on Donga. It's pretty fun. Uh, I like shitting on Monday Matt, too. But I have not been paying attention to those motherfuckers for like a month. Uh, I don't know what Donga's been up to. If he's still living in the trailer park wrestling hobos or whatever the fuck he's up to. Uh, but... I, I couldn't tell you if it's a redemption arc or not with whatever he's doing. Chip Tracy, you make my job bear, er, bearable. N Nibba nerds, rise up. Yeah, rise up, Nibba nerds. Now, see, you could have typed that out how you wanted to type it out if we were still on stream me. But now you got to censor it because YouTube doesn't play that game. Little leaders. Little leaders? I'm, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Jim, I think it would be fitting if we opened this evening with the greatest song on earth, the Star Spangled Banner. I will close it out with that. From Fatty Caddy, hello, Mr. Jim. Does my insistence on you talking about 40K have the opposite effect? I will be talking about 40K tomorrow night on Nick Rikita's stream, in which he is doing a 40K stream and has invited me on. So if you want to hear us talk about 40K, the lore and uh, the back history and our thoughts on all of that shit, uh, tune in tomorrow night. Uh, well, I'll, I'll be guest, uh, guesting on next stream. Uh, Ink Penification. Hey, Spoonie, when are you uploading videos, you basketball American? Actually, I have two videos I've been working off and on on. Uh, one on Yang Gang and the other uh, about monkey torture. I know that's a bit of a, a cock tease. Why, why would I be making a video on monkey torture? Uh, there's a really fucked up... I don't, even, I don't want to get too into it. I don't want to spoil it. But let's just say that there is a dedicated cult of monkey torture that openly operates on YouTube. And I've got a video coming out about that. 
Uh, it'll be an X-Files video, and that probably will be up by this Friday. From Gigi Uwu, at least we have a better healthcare system, LOL. I don't think you have a healthcare system. The last I checked, if you broke your arm, you had to wait a week. Just call me Mr. Glacier. Play the boys on wheels, at least I'm not gay. Pinky Culture, USA, USA, USA. I'll read a few more and we'll get back to the stream here. James Bionic, you got a license for that, Muzak. Await America. Hope of Man, Freedom Intensifies, the Caparelica. Where have you been, Potato Nigger? Also, St. Tarrant did nothing wrong. And Zesso, going on the dick show again soon. I haven't uh, I haven't really talked to Masterson. He's got the same problem Lotex does. I don't know if you've ever followed Lotex on Twitter, but any social media account he has, uh, he ends up getting thrown off. So, uh, you know, it's the same kind of with Masterson. Every time he gets an account up and running where you can talk to him, he gets fucking banned. I don't know what it is. I don't know why these particular people can never keep an account, but they always get fucked with. Now, Lotex got shit kicked because he told Baked Alaska he wanted him to wear cement shoes and jump into the ocean. Apparently, that's a death threat, not a joke. And Masterson's got, like, some dedicated A-log that fucks with him. And I don't know why. Uh, there's some backstory to it. I think he's a Maddox fanboy, but he just can't last. He always gets fucking thrown off. It's pretty it's pretty shitty. Uh, okay, and uh, I'll read one more here, and we'll get back to this. From Cameron Bottoms. Oi, mate, you got a license to make these videos. Just kidding, America. Anglo olfactory glands are officially immune to the smell of freedom. I will get back to reading the rest later on. Uh, let's continue in the vein that we're doing. Again, anytime you talk about a subject like this, I, you know, people don't like it and they consider it a black people or a black, black people, a black pill. They look at it, they view it as you being negative, as you being defeatist when you talk about the crazy shit that's happening. But Europe is dealing with all of this shit coming right down on top of their heads. Link taxes, uh, Article 13 about copyright, licenses to be able to masturbate. Uh, you know, even just the UK on its own, all this crazy shit related to laws on what you can and can't do, on what you can own and can't own, on what you can say and can't say. They will just be up your ass about everything. But it's not confined just to them. You know, with the Kiwi killer, right, our, our, our shit-posting Aussie who shit-posted so hard he basically fucked the internet, uh, with his accelerationist plan to basically make people fight each other and bring about even more censorship to, I, I guess, open people's eyes to it. I'm not sure 100%. I haven't read the entire manifesto. But you're in a situation with that where it's affecting a lot of places. You know, at first it was, if you share the video, uh, we're going to talk to you. And this, this morphed, I'd say, in the, the span of 24 hours. I'll give a little backstory for the people unfamiliar. A man live streams himself on Facebook going into a mosque and killing about, I think, 50 people uh, with a boatload of weapons. At the very end of the video, he walks out, shoots a chick in the back of the head, shoots her a few more times, gets in his car and runs her over, and drives to another mosque and shoots them. Uh, so he live streams this on Facebook. Immediately afterwards, uh, Facebook, well, not immediately, they took a fucking hour to take that stream down. An hour after he did it, they removed the stream. And within the span of 24 hours after this event occurred, a lot of weird shit happened really fucking quickly. And it ties into the shit that's going on in Europe. I mean, there's a censorship push happening, and I'd like to talk about it a little bit, uh, because it's going to affect all of us. So within the span of 24 hours, three major things happened in relation to the shooting. One, if you were a website that reposts that video, you will be sent uh, notifications and requests from governments, both foreign and potentially your own, that are working with foreign governments, to remove the content. If you refuse to remove the content, you will be blocked at an ISP level from all the people that are using that service. So if you're in New Zealand, if you're in Australia, and let's say website A it has the video and will let you watch the video, you now can't access the website. Reddit was told by their administrators, all these different subreddits like watch people die and shit like that. They are not allowed to show the video, to post the video, to even really talk about the video. Then things got even crazier. People that watched the video 
were told by the New Zealand government that they potentially had committed a crime, and if they watched it or shared it, they could go to jail for up to 10 years, and that they were going to be working towards identifying who these people were. I want you to think about that for a minute. Imagine somebody says, holy shit, this guy just went on a spree killing. He fucking live streamed it. Look at this video. And you go and watch that video or share the link with somebody after you've watched it. You could get a fucking prison sentence of 10 years for doing so. That's insane. Now, Josh, the owner of Kiwi Farms, had the video up and available for people to watch on his website, as well as links to other sources to watch it, because I think he couldn't afford the bandwidth. There were too many people were coming to watch it. Uh, the government contacts him, New Zealand contacts him, says, hey, can you, can you take the fucking video down? Uh, he tells them to go fuck themselves. And within, I'd say, three days, uh, three or four articles were put up, had his full picture, you know, a nice, nice mugshot of Josh, had his full name, and uh, one of the articles basically said he's a pedophile, he's a neo-Nazi, he's a criminal, and just, just went after him as hard as you can go after somebody. And this was parroted by a bunch of other publications. So either you do what we tell you to do, uh, we're going to have the government interfere with you. If we can't get the government to interfere, interfere with you, we're going to go after the people associated with you, whether they're using your website or your service. And if we can't go after those people, the media is going to write a story basically saying you're a kid fucker and we're going to tell everybody you're a neo-Nazi and try to get you fucking shot or something. I don't know. It's the kind of overreaction that's legitimately insane. And if you've noticed on YouTube, if you go, maybe they fixed it by now. I'm not 100% certain. But for the last, you know, well, since the shooting occurred, if you go and enter a subject and try to search by date, so if you wanted to watch uh, some particular anime and you enter the name of it and then you try to search by last 24 hours, last week, last month, none of that works. The search function on YouTube has been intentionally destroyed by Google, who've put out a public statement saying they did it on purpose because they're worried people are going to post stuff related to the shooting. And to prevent people from being able to search for it or to upload it before they can act and take it down, they've completely fucked up the entire search function of the fucking website itself. That's how fucked up they are about this. So you've got all this crazy shit going on. Europe dealing with Articles 11 and 13, the Brits dealing with a masturbation license, Aussies and uh, Kiwis dealing with ISPs blocking their access to different content and potentially turning over their information to law enforcement to get them arrested. And YouTube and other companies and sites uh, gimping you know, their own websites, breaking their own websites to prevent you from talking or look, you know, looking into this. And I think all of this plays into kind of a big theme. And I think it's been building up for a while, and this is kind of my overarching point, I guess. 2016 embarrassed a lot of fucking people. When Donald Trump ran for office, everybody thought it was a fucking joke. And the people that really thought it was funny were the heads of big tech companies and probably foreign diplomats and foreign politicians. You saw Twitter and YouTube and Facebook and all these different platforms. They didn't really care about Alex Jones. They didn't really care about conservative opinions. They didn't care about the people that were talking about Donald Trump because he was such a fucking joke to them. And then they saw this groundswell of support of people that were basically shitposting and using memes to help to try to push a guy to the forefront. Now, whether that's actually accurate or not doesn't even matter. It's the perception they have of the events that played out. They see this group of people that talk about this kind of shit, that support this kind of shit, or it can get a message spread very quickly. And they see their failure to act at the time as being their own guilt for getting this guy elected who they hate. They hate him. So immediately following the 2016 election, we started to see a lot of fucking changes take place. Google got very, very firm about how they handled content on their platform. Facebook did the same. Twitter did the same. How many times have you seen somebody that uh, uploads or talks about something that's right-leaning get completely fucking disappeared from the internet? They do it quite a bit now, and they're pretty unrepentant about it. 
So these kind of censorship things that we're seeing play out, whether it's a link tax, Article 13 about copyright, uh, whether it's the New Zealand stuff where they're working with ISPs to block your access from things, whether it's a tech company like Google breaking their own search function, it all relates to the power uh, that they have to do these things, you know, whether it's uh, corporations or governments, and the reasoning behind doing it. It's a never again scenario with them. They don't want to risk what happened in 2016 ever again. And they will fuck us all to prevent it from happening. And not just American politics, foreign politics too. It doesn't really matter what country you're from. They have a clear idea of what they want to allow and what they don't want to allow. And they are purging the internet right now in preparation for the next big election cycle. And I'm, you know, I'm looking around at all this shit happening. And yeah, it is. It's a black pill. It's fucking bleak. It's a very sad reality. But it is absolutely 100% happening. You know, when you look at this implementation of these policies or these different uh, laws that they're trying to enact, people say, well, how are they ever going to enforce them? How are you going to enforce a copyright system like that? Google, YouTube, they can't even handle uh, dealing with their own copyright system. They're overwhelmed by it. So how are they going to deal with it? How are you ever going to enforce a, a porn ban? How are you how are you going to deal with that? That's too much. There's not something in place to be able to work with that. They're going to develop the mechanism to do it. It's one hand washing the other. A company, a corporation comes out with some new censorship plan, or they're, they're told they have to by a government, and then they say, oh, hands in the air, how do we do this? Well, this is where the ISPs and other people are probably going to come into play. My guess on what's going to happen next, all these companies are going to say, you're right, governments of the world. We need to be more strict on what we allow to be put onto the Internet. We need to be more strict on copyrighted content, on extremist content, on wrong think content. And we're willing to put into place censorship programs. But we need your help because we can't keep a track of it all. So wouldn't it be great... <clears throat> If the government implemented, I don't know, a real ID system, or if there was some kind of law enforcement mechanism that's now in place to work with us so we can easily identify who you are, uh, anonymous shit poster. It's going to get dark, man. It's going to get really shitty. When I did my tech video talking about this six months, or not six months, that was the other video, uh, two years ago, I called it the fucking Alamo because that's really what it is. It's a lost cause. You'll put up a valiant fight, but we are fucked. They, <laughs> there's, how are you going to fight back against it? I mean, here's the reality. You say, uh, if they push censorship more, we'll fight back and we won't let them. Wh who are you going to tell? You can't go through mainstream sources. CNN, MSNBC, fucking newspapers. They don't give a shit what you have to say. They fucking hate you. Remember all those fake news jokes? They don't like you at all. So you got to use the internet. Well, what portion of the internet are you going to use? Are you going to use YouTube? You're banned. Facebook? You're banned. Twitter? You're banned. Are you going to go on Gab? Well, we're going to get their servers shut down. Are you going to go on some alternative site? We're going to pull their funding. Oh, you want to monetize yourself? Oh, nope. Your PayPal's gone. Uh, your, your Patreon's gone. Visa and MasterCard have stepped in. Your bank won't do business with you anymore. That's a real thing that happened uh, to one of the leaders of the Proud Boys. His bank refused to do business with him based on news reports they're, they're cutting your they're cutting your financial access off it's it's insane so where are you going to go oh you're going to go to your quarantined websites you're going to go post about it on 4chan okay it's never going to leave 4chan you can't get a groundswell of support to fight against censorship when you are so censored nobody can hear you screaming about censorship all these websites are cutting you off You'll never reach the mass majority of people because they are being insulated from you as we speak. Ah, damn, is that depressing. I know, this should mostly be laughing at Europeans. Don't get me wrong. I want to laugh at some Europeans. But the reality of what's coming down the pipeline should scare the shit out of you. Because it's happening everywhere. I, what, what's, the, what's the alternative? Are we going to look to China? Yeah, I did a video talking about that, saying, oh, you better speak Mandarin. That was mostly tongue-in-cheek. It's a joke. Uh, but the reality is you've got companies like Tencent that are investing heavily in all these different online services. A look at the Epic Store. Look at a lot of game development. And the Chinese love to censorship. 
uh, they, they love to step in and prevent you from saying things and doing things and seeing things they don't like. So when all these foreign nations start working with China and Chinese companies, you're going to get fucked anyway. What's the alternative? Are we going to go underground? <laughs> Are we going to go on tour like it's fucking AOL dial-up and wait 20 minutes after we post something talking about how shitty the reality we live in is? They, they've been working very hard at this for a while. And I, I just, I, I don't know what the solution is, but I can see the problem clearly. And I can see where it's going. And it's going to be a dark day for us all. And I just want you all to remember, as we're living in that apocalyptic, dystopian future, that it really truly began because a Swedish cuck pushed the wrong button. I can't stress that enough. When you're ready to tie that noose around your neck, because you just can't live with how horrible things are, remember, it's Sweden's fault 100%. (laughs) <laughs> They're the ones responsible for fucking us all. Thank you, Sweden. Beautiful. Whew. Happy times. You enjoying yourself, chat? <laughs> Is that good? If I cheered you up on your 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 uh, Tuesday, it's a nice Tuesday, isn't it? Everything is shit and everything is terrible. <laughs> what a great week. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, I can see some people in chat saying, hey, Sweden's going to try to duck the responsibility on this. Don't let them. You see a Swedish flag on 4chan, shit on them. You run into a Swede on social media, press S to spit. Don't let them forget they're fucking responsible, especially if you're a European. You've got, I think it's two years before they have to implement this and make it go through all the different individual governments. Maybe not everybody tries to adopt it. Maybe some people pull away because of it. But I guarantee you some countries are going to take it right up the ass. A majority, in fact, will probably take it right up the ass. So thank you, Sweden. Once again, Captain Cuck has come to save the day. I see some people saying, oh, it's it's World War III coming. Civil War. Oh, they're going to confiscate your guns. The The only place it's going to be safe is... Here in Burgerland. Oh, they love shitting on us. Oh, 56 percenters. Amerimuts. Burgers. Lard ass obese motherfuckers. We're never giving our guns up. Well, we're never giving them up. Everybody else is, though. Right now, there's going to be, I think, legislation getting pushed through in Kiwi Land. Already happened in Australia in a different unrelated incident, like in the 90s, I believe. They're just coming to take guns. <laughs> what kind of war are you going to fight with sporks? Look at the Brits. They can't even own fucking butter knives. I mean, it's it's reaching ridiculous levels. Have you ever seen those community confiscation things they do? <laughs> Where the British police will post on Twitter about all the dangerous weapons they've taken off the street. And what, what do they end up pulling out? Fucking sticks? Butter knives? Wheels? Chains? You, you, if you buy a pair of scissors or a fucking screwdriver... And the neighbor gets suspicious about it. Uh, you can have the cops come and talk to you. I, it's crazy. <laughs> what how are you going to fight? Europe especially is fucked. Uh, I mean, I you know, I can't speak entirely to Australia or New Zealand, but I can say Europe is fucked. You've imported so many immigrants. You've imported so many immigrants. And you've taken away your ability to fight and defend yourselves. And you've allowed oligarchs to implement laws that are going to make you mute. There was an article two years ago talking about how German police were dealing with what they deemed online extremism. And it actually in the article is quoted as saying that the police visited and arrested people who held illegal opinions. That's your reality. Illegal opinions. How the fuck is an opinion illegal? I know it's a sensitive subject over in in Europe if you dare to question the Holocaust. But that isn't even what they were questioning. These were other opinions they had. (laughs) There are more things that you can think that can get you arrested for thinking illegally. A lot of people, you know, oh, is that a typo? No, it really isn't. Social media posts people put up and somebody didn't like them. God, 
What what happened to our reality? So something happened to our timeline, to our dimension, that absolutely shit or shattered it. I don't know if somebody built a time machine and we're dealing with the repercussions of their fucking exploration, but something has gone insane. Maybe somebody spiked the world's water supply with LSD. I, I, I don't know what exactly is happening, but people become so compliant and complacent and allowing to have their rights stripped away from them. And it's always very gradual. I mean, that's, you know, when, when you're talking about negative things like this and people refer to it as a black pill, it's because they're taking it in all at once. That's the problem. But it doesn't happen in one single pop. All this terrible shit, all this censorship, all these rights getting stripped, uh, your ability to protest or fight back being taken from you, is taken from you piecemeal, little bit by little bit by little bit, to make it tolerable. They sell it to the mainstream by, you know, keep uh, continually upping it uh, as new forms of hate speech. Oh, well, we don't want you to say this word or that word. And they get a consensus and people agree. And then they, they expand on that until you find yourself getting arrested for not using a proper pronoun. It's, it's that kind of thing. It's very gradual. It's a death by a thousand cuts. Little by little, they bleed you. Little by little, they strip away what makes you whole. Until one day, you're listening to a stream on a Tuesday like today, and you've got some fucking Minnesotan telling you this, and you're like, God damn, that's negative. What a black-pilled asshole. Well, no, it's not, <laughs> no I'm not black-pilled. It's just I'm kind of telling you the, the, the overall picture of what's happening. And it sucks. God, I miss what the internet used to be. You know, you could do things on the internet you just can't do anymore. And even the restricted things we're still allowed to do right now won't be available for your children. I mean, the reality is, they're probably going to grow up on a platform where they have to use a real ID, where they can't call somebody a faggot, where they can't make fun of furries, where they can't say, I think transgenderism is weird, where they can't disagree with a political thought or a social movement or an ideology. And that's not going to be weird to them. And that is weird, or it should be to us. They'll see that as the norm. That's the way things are, and they've always been that way. They won't be able to do the shit we did. I, just even the fun stuff, the shit that's not even politically motivated, that's a left and right divide. Griefing in video games. You can't do that anymore. Look at companies like fucking Blizzard. You go try and do in Blizzard what people used to do in Gary's Mod, or in Counter-Strike, and you're going to get banned. Fuck, if you make a video of fucking with somebody in Overwatch, and you don't even get reported by the people you're fucking with, and a Blizzard employee finds a video or a post of you doing that, they ban your account. That's the new norm. But you look back five, ten years ago, and <laughs> you could grief the fuck out of people, use hacks, exploits, cheats, teabag them, play sound clips, put obnoxious pornographic images in TF2 matches. It didn't fucking matter. People thought it was cute and funny. Not anymore, though. I don't know what's going to happen to our sense of humor, I'll be honest with you. It's going to be so fucking sanitized, what's the point? You know, I refer to Facebook as Soccer Mom Central, and it's not really true. It's not that the majority of people on Facebook are soccer moms, you know, far from it. But they have to act like soccer moms. I want you to think of how many times you personally have held back from saying what you actually wanted to say because you knew the repercussion was immediately you were going to get banned. Where he wanted to tell some asshole on social media he's a fucking moron. Or you wanted to make a response video. Or you wanted to post on a forum. Or you wanted to do something to express the fact that what you're encountering is fucking stupid or retarded. Or it's high faggotry. And you just don't. You have to grin and bear it. That is an awful fucking situation to find yourself in. It's bad enough when a corporation's the one doing it to you. It's even worse when it's implemented by the government. So I, I pity children. I'm not talking about millennials. They're seeing the tail end of what was the glory days. I'm talking about the little fuckers that come next. I don't know what their generation's going to be referred to. Probably generation disappointment. Because everything is going to be ruined for them by everyone else. Their millennial parents going along with it. Gen Xers being too lazy to get off our asses and actually stop it. Boomers being so disconnected, they still think you can get a $60,000 job right out of high school. 
<laughs> and they're going to be sitting there shrugging, wondering what the fuck happened to the internet, why everybody talked about how great it was when YouTube turns into basically a second version of television and social media is everybody talking about how nice it is to own cats. And, oh, we don't go to that 4chan or 8chan place. That's forbidden. My ISP blocked it. And I don't go to Kiwi Farms because Joshua is a pedophile according, or according to British media. And Encyclopedia doesn't, or Dramatica doesn't exist anymore because they can't get server hosting. And Gab was a thing uh, for about a day before it was purged from the internet by the fucking financial institutions that won't allow it to fucking function as a company that competes with other companies. You know, half the reason I like to laugh at the situation Europeans are in right now is because if I don't laugh at them, I get angry for myself and for other people. Because what's happening to them is really happening to all of us. It's just in different degrees. So you tell me, chat. I mean, I'm not, I'm not fucking Nostradamus. I'm not prescient. If I was, I'd be winning the lottery every day. I wouldn't be on YouTube. I'd be in the Bahamas sipping on a fucking uh, margarita uh, and weighing 500 pounds and a Hawaiian shirt, not giving a shit about anything. Uh, so I don't, I don't have that amazing foresight. You tell me, what's the solution? How do we fix the internet? More importantly, how do we unfuck the world from what it's become? Because I don't think anybody's looking forward to living in it anymore. Uh, hold on, let me, let me pull chat up here. Uh, remember, by the way, a little pro tip, in case you're new to it. Uh, right above the chat window, you'll see top chat with a little down arrow. If you click live chat, that's where all the naughty people get placed. If you have an opinion they don't like, they put you in live chat. They won't show you in top chat. Top chat is sanitized by the website. Uh, so let's see. A lot of people saying uh, war, uh, death, uh, lots of war. Lots of accelerationism, lots of violence, nukes, a lot of 1776s. <laughs> How would you organize that war, chat? Bomb Sweden, good suggestion from a super chat. Might not win anything or fix anything, but probably get you a little bit of revenge when you can't jack off to things or post funny memes. Forgive me, chat. I know I've gone a little bit quiet on you. My uh, throat's a tiny bit sore. So what better solution than smoking a cigarette? Ah, that's delicious. Good old-fashioned filtered cancer. You know, I, of course, smoking is terrible for you. But I do enjoy the fact that I'm probably one of the last generations that'll get to enjoy it. I don't think smoking's going to be around very long. A lot of 1776s. That's what I'm seeing continually coming up. I wish you the best of luck. Again, a lot of the countries that are facing this don't have guns or easy access to guns. I mean, fuck. Uh, again, going to a UK example, I, this story always stuck with me. It was a guy that had his house robbed. A fucking burglar breaks into your house. I want you... This is so fucked up. A guy breaks into your house. You don't know who he is. Is he there to rape your wife? Is he going to fucking shoot you? Is he going to burn it to the ground? Breaks into your house, hurts himself on the glass breaking in, and ends up suing you and winning. Or another case of a guy breaking onto somebody's property. There's a barbed wire fence, gets hurt, sues, and wins. Because you put an obstacle in place that could lead to injury. Even though the person that got injured was somebody who meant to do you harm. What kind of clown world shit is that? <laughs> what are they going to do in the UK? You know, you had rape gangs. You had fucking groups of men, foreigners, immigrants, that came to your country to fuck your children. And your local city governments, whatever the fuck they're called over there, but your local governments turned a blind eye to it. Police didn't act on it. Politicians didn't talk about it. The newspapers wouldn't print it. Everybody didn't want to get labeled a racist or intolerant. How do you fight back against public policy like that? that puts you and your children at risk. You know, there's a video going around, I believe it's from France, of a Muslim man 
I, I, I don't know exactly what country he's from, but he's speaking in a foreign dialect. Uh, going up to a little girl, like a little four or five year old Chinese girl, seeing how he's going to fuck her. He, he corners this little girl on a playground and says he's going to rape her by Allah's will. He's going to take her and rape her on a playground. And these two fucks film this, put it up on the internet, everybody laughs about it. What were the repercussions for them, do you wonder? Who fought back against that, I wonder? Fucking Christ. When you start looking at these things, it's very depressing. Uh, yeah, Jesse Smollett. Yeah, I, I saw the news about that. Got let go. No charges. Uh, free to go. Uh, deemed innocent. Apparently the prosecutor, uh, who I, I believe was like an Obama aide or intern, decided it was a better idea just to let him go. It's not just Europe or Australia or you know all these other nations and continents that are dealing with shit. You got stuff like that. Guy fakes a hate crime, no fucking punishment. How many times have you seen that? How many times have you seen somebody... Uh, fake a hate crime. A woman on a college campus saying she was raped did it for attention. Oh my god, the synagogue's got a swastika on it. Did it for attention. Black church gets burned to the ground. Did it for attention. Jesse Smollett wants to get beaten up by two Nigerian guys he knows and pays to do it. Innocent, free to go. <laughs> god help you if you're a straight white male. You're totally fucked. You know, you can almost trace that back to Robert Morton Downey Jr., that was a guy that had a talk show in the 80s. And he was he was really rude, very off the cuff, very edgy. Would have fit in very well with today's internet culture, or what's left of it. Uh, but he decided he wanted more attention. So what did he do? <laughs> he fakes an attack on himself. And the beauty of it, how did he get caught? The reason that he actually was held accountable, one, was he wasn't in the current environment we're in now, where people were afraid to call you on your bullshit. But he drew the swastika in a mirror. He, he tried to say that he got roughed up by people. He was held on the ground and beaten by Nazis in the bathroom. The only problem is the fucking swastika was backwards because he drew it on his own forehead in the bathroom mirror like a retard. Beautiful. But somebody does that today, they don't get called out on it. Hey, a little slap on the wrist. Maybe, maybe the local news talks about it for five minutes before moving on to something more interesting. Oh, what a bleak reality. Shit. All right. Let's, uh, I got some super chats to get through. Let's, let's read through some of these. Let's stop the good times. All the happy, fun, warm times talking about how great everything is. Let's read some super chats. Uh, just give me a moment here to get caught up. Uh, Nick Riketa sent you a message to join his 40K stream on Wednesday. Yep, uh, I will be there, and I did get the message. Trump Nation, welcome back, sir. You will be asked uh, to comment on certain individuals by idiots that think you work for them. Bird in motion. What the hell, Jim? You start the stream right when my shift at work starts. Well, anyways, back to wage cucking and pleasing my corporate bosses. Boxman2248, we missed you, Papa Jimbo. Jonathan Dewey, Daddy, I missed you. Can't wait for you to pause my neg hole. Fox Cat Gaming, Europe shit posted so hard it got vanned from everywhere. No more Aussie shit posting either. Good stuff. James Pesto, hey Jim, I uploaded the conversation we had back in 2017. If you want to listen, check your Facebook messages. I'm not sure what convo that would be. I, I went on a lot of different streams and shows uh, in 2016, 17, and even 18. But I'll, I'll check it out. Claudia Laura or Juarez, Mr. Medicare, you're back. Dante, the lifting capitalist, that's what those cucks deserve. I'm going to go lift now. From Logan M, Daddy, why did you leave us? Well, I actually went to Greener Pastures at Stream Me. A little bit more freedom to do what you like. You know, I will say this. This is baffling. I don't know if a lot of people are aware of what's going on right now with YouTube. I can't tell you why. But YouTube did something that I would describe as good. Uh, before the system that was in place was, you had three strikes and you were out. That was the policy everybody was familiar with. If you got a strike on a video on your channel, you were banned from live streaming for 90 days. If you got two strikes, you are banned from live streaming for 90 days. And on top of that, I think you couldn't upload videos themselves for like two or three weeks. And if you got a third strike, you were out. And it fucked with a lot of people. YouTube, for whatever reason, has changed this policy now. They have a four-step a four system in place. 
the first time you fuck up, if you get some kind of complaint related to your account, you get a warning. So there's no strike issued. It's just a warning. It doesn't affect anything. It's a heads up that something fucked up happened and you need to be more diligent. But where it gets really interesting is the first two strikes. If you get a strike now, you're banned from uploading or live streaming for just one week. That's it. If you get two strikes, I think it's two weeks and that's it. And if you get three strikes, you're, you're gone like you were before. I have no idea why YouTube changed this. Uh, they did it at the end of February. They didn't really announce it very well. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it. But from what I understand, that's how the new system is in place, and that's how it functions. So one strike, you can do what you normally did after a week. Two strikes after two weeks. Uh, three strikes, you're fucked. But whatever your first fuck up is, generally, from what I understand, you're given a warning now. Okay, where are we here? Uh, Kill all pedos. Thanks for entertaining content. You're the man. Mobile Crusader, no collusion, no obstruction, no rama-rama. Maggie Ellis, care to share a cigarette? Well, of course. Her Excellency, in a world of late and gay, only Jim is a hetero and early. Reluctant realist, shout out to Auto Admit, the most autistic law forum in the world. TKV, there's a furry that died from eating too much shit. Messy tales on Twitter? I'm going to have to interrupt Super Chats for that. Is that, is that their account? Please tell me their parents talked about this. <laughs> Where's the story on this? How do you die from eating shit? How much shit do you have to physically eat to die from it? These are... We have to... <laughs> How did you do this? Uh, one second, chat. I... I there's got... Please... Where... You can't... You're, you're, you're blue balling me here. <laughs> How did... Is there more info in that? A furry died from eating too much shit. Messy tails. Okay. Yeah, let me see if I can find this. No way. Th this has to be a joke. Okay. Uh, so Messy Tails Twitter account says, Things have been rough lately. I'm going to be okay, but it might take a while. I hope you're all doing well and staying messy. Can you can you all guess what messy tales relates to? Should I describe the Twitter account in question that goes by the name Brown Nose Pup? A big fat messy G S G Shep? I don't know what that is. It's a furry that likes eating shit and living in shitty diapers. But on March 17th, they get a reply from a account called Classic that says, unfortunately. Brown nosed pup, otherwise known as Eric, has died due to overconsumption of feces and lack of nutrients due to the consumption of feces and died of shock from eating feces. <laughs> Someone says, is this legitimate or a joke? They respond, we were friends in high school. He had an interest in eating shit even back then when we were freshmen. <laughs> I don't know if this is bullshit or not, but... I'd like to believe it's real. I, I'm trying to find out more information. Give me a second here. Uh, everybody, if you want to swing by, it's at Messy Tales, M-E-S-S-Y-T-A-I-L-S. -S -S and just uh, give, give our brown nose pupper a rip and pepperoni. <laughs> he ate too much poop and had to go back to his home planet. Oh, poor Messy Tails. Our little poop eater. Uh, from Jay Isel, for the love of God, Jim, please make a new video. Uh, as I said, videos are upcoming. From Mastima the Dank, oi mate, you got a license to beat your meat. You're nicked, sunshine. Terry J won't, won't be happy until Justin or Jesse Smollett is a wind chime. From Lord Odin, let Article 13 and 11 please be a reason for continent-wide series of civil wars. The fire rises. Hey, Jim. Did you know the movie The Dark Knight Rises is commonly known as the Batman movie? Singer Meatball, but Jim, I thought Sargon was going to save the West with his 20-year liberalist plan. Apparently, apparently it's been expanded to 30 years now. Overseer USA, we fought two world wars and endured a cold war for Europe's freedom. Just so they can throw it away. What the fuck? Christian Werdy, wait till you see a European spring. This is nothing. Morning, afternoon, headshot. This Rama Rama song was perfect introduction in teaching my daughter the truth 
about race and evolution. Thanks. From Haphazard, please, Jim. Poop-eating furry, messy tails, Twitter. <laughs> You're going to have to give me more. Is there a forum where they talk about this? Or is it just one dude claiming this guy ate shit so much he died? Uh, Windows 95, obligatory. We did Brexit. Watch my game videos, guys. From James Beanick. Press G to gas Europe. They are no stranger to it. Ellie Perez. Can you slap my ass and call me Obama? Mojave Booth, come check out Bitwave.tv, the hot new website built from the ground up to replace Stream.me. Sean Fallon, a smug Jim is the best Jim. Mira Lancaster, take this from a Euro. Europe's going to shit. Digger John, coffee is better than tea. Zemeckis Lebowski, mommy, YouTube is illegal. I'm going to report you. Oh, let's see. Somebody's got a status update? Let's see what this is. <laughs> what? I didn't... Okay, are there two messy tails? Okay, uh, we've got another update from from messy tails that simply says on the 18th of March, good news guys, no, I wasn't dead. I was in a mental institution. <laughs> so our shit eater, who was confirmed to be dead by a high school friend from eating too much poop, is not in fact dead and said he was put in an insane asylum because his parents more than likely saw him digging out lunch from the toilet and thought that they had created an abomination. Oh, praise the Lord. Brown nosed pup isn't dead. He's just insane. Who saw that coming? Good to know. Good to know. Thank you for the update. Uh, B-Roll, will you be posting videos more frequently? Uh, yep. Evil Bunny, we get to say I told you so about Article 11 and 13. We warned and warned them. And they just laughed and poked fun at us. Who's laughing now? Euro weenies. Onion wizard, I miss stream.me. I do too. Gamer Pro. Hey Jim, you closet furry. Dog is still doing streams blaming Andy a few days ago on YouTube. Channel Tonka Radio. You couldn't fucking pay me to listen to Tonka. Ninja Work 111. Are the photon streams dead? Uh, you know, I was doing them over at Streamy. I was going to be interviewing the actor who played Mandar, David Stay. Uh, and then it kind of just fucking blew up. And I wasn't really sure where I was going to stream. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I will try to get a hold of David again and see if he'd be willing to, to do the interview. Uh, but, you know, it's been so long, I don't know if he'd still be willing to do it. But I'll see what happens. Iron Wolf Spear, I missed you. The king has returned. I'm not even in the country. I'm on vacation and had to upgrade my plan to see this. I went to the Amazon yesterday. Nihilus Capitalist, Octoon Octoon. Her open internet fear, Jim is back and I couldn't be happier. Jim, you're the really only reason I come back here. And finally, from Saturn, uh, Saturn 9 Romantic, the EU are like the Tau, Cyclone, Torpedoes, anyone. And I will read more a little bit later on here. Uh, let's get back to talking about how happy fucking sunshine the world is today. Ah, oh, god damn. Yeah, it's 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 depressing. And you know, I I think the media especially just all things considered as to why they've been maybe extra vicious or more on point with fucking with people especially after the new uh, New Zealand shooting, all of that mainstream media itself. You know, if you look at what happened with uh, Mueller's report Comes out, no collusion. No charges against Trump. Uh, they all look like asshats, and I'm sure they're pretty pissed about it. And they want to get those fucking frog-loving Twitter users. They want to go after those shit posters, Those anonymous bad boys. Looking for a little fucking blood. So they're more than happy to oblige writing articles about things that are ta tangentially related. Oh, I bet they jumped at the fucking bit when they heard that uh, the guy that did the shooting posted on 8chan's pull board before he did it. Oh, I bet they're like, oh, we can finally fuck with some people. Get a little bit of revenge. They say such mean things about us. They make all those fake news jokes about us. Let's just hammer the little fuckers until they scream. Uh, this hurts, all right? That's what's happening to me now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's getting purged. Everybody's getting kicked. It's amazing to me that a majority... It's amazing to me certain individuals still are around. 
I, I wouldn't be surprised if the 2020 election comes up and the only motherfucker that can talk about it, stream about it, or make videos about it is Sticks Hex and Hammer. <laughs> I think he's going to be the only one left. I think everybody's going to get shit kicked. And the only political coverage anybody's going to get, uh, at least uh, from center to right, is going to be Sticks. Everybody else is going to just be gone. Maybe he's got that Wiccan magic he always talks about. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> some music, I guess, in a way. Uh, no, I, I, I'm reading chat right now. I don't know where's Sand. I or, Where's Sand? Jesus. My brain's malfunctioning. They're getting to me. I need to put my tinfoil hat on. They're using that brain scrambling ray. I don't know where safe is anymore. I don't know what websites you can... Re You've got image boards. You've really got image boards and that's about it. And when they're gone, we're all fucked. Uh, you can't... What are you going to go to? Reddit? Face punch? Like, you fucking know your meme? I, I don't know where you're going to go to express yourself or say whatever the fuck you want to say. It's once the image boards go under, it's really bad. A lot of spoon clanks. Yep, I see it, Chad. I see you. Oh, I've depressed myself. I, I started this stream up to shit on Europe. They have a, a little bit of a laugh at uh, the Brits and the French and everybody else. And I'm just, I've depressed myself now. It's just, it's the depressing thing to talk about. Especially when the realization that there aren't a lot of viable, or viable solutions out there really kind of hits you. When you really think through it about what you can do uh, to circumvent it or to counteract it, uh, when it becomes apparent there's not a lot, uh, it's a very depressing thing to deal with. Is that what we need to do, chat? Gamers rise up? That's it. We need Gamergate 3. Gamer Gamergate 3, The Reckoning. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the whores out of video games. Once we get these women off our video game consoles... Once these bimbos aren't playing Overwatch anymore, the internet's safe, guys. That's our plan. Gamers rise up. Bottom text that shit. You know what I'm saying? We're all a little bit Joker here. And the fucking Stacys and the Veronicas, you know what I'm talking about. Get off my video games. Go home, gamer girl. Gamergate 3 The Reckoning is here. Yes, Kenny, or Kemi, uh, we do live in a society. That is correct. We live in a society, gamer girls. The reckoning is upon you. The retards have risen up. Take your hands off my Tetris, whore. <laughs> it's not meant for you. There's a testosterone limit you must reach before you touch my precious video games. <laughs> I'm, I've, I've, I, I'm sorry, Chad. <sighs> meant to be a fun stream. Meant to laugh at Europe. Things have gotten a bit depressing. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read through the super chats. We'll, we'll jump around from subject to subject. Talk about some fun stuff. You know, again, this is why I miss stream me. We went through the IGN dating show. They have a fucking dating show IGN used to do where virgins would show up at conventions and they would make them talk to each other and then they would take the biggest rejects and losers and make them stand against a wall of shame. And it was the saddest fucking thing you can imagine. We watched a bunch of that. Watched a horse fucking documentary. Couldn't do that on YouTube. Watched Photon, the best 80s television you've never heard of. So I've got to readjust to YouTube. It's been a while. I don't think I've streamed over here for half a year, six months, seven months, maybe. So we'll we'll jump around. Uh, Jason Scott, hey, Medicar, how's your night going? My American going all right. Jack Paul, you're still awful in Mortal Kombat, Nibba. I'm the victor at Mortal Kombat. I bodied Ralph's ass seven to zero. Oh. Powell Lizick, what do you think about Jesse Smollett walking almost free? Think it's bullshit. Fatty Caddy feels fucking good. Mr. Jim watching the world burn as Atlantis sinks under my feet. 
Kenshi, 891, glad to have my favorite potato nagger back. Mandar stream when? Bad not. Hey, Medicare, I'm British. I woke up today and found I had a cunt for a face. I don't need money anymore, so have it. Now I'm going to punch myself to death. Uh, best of luck, bad nut. Dave Martell, we're going to build a bog and the sodomites are going to pay for it. Press 9 to hail Woden. True's prosecutors dropping charges on Samolette. Yep, a lot of people talking about it. I'm actually surprised it happened, given the amount of coverage and how bad it looked. But what are you going to do when the prosecutor is basically in Smollett's camp? Doing Boeing 1000. Riku is the best husband do. And he loves Jane Ann very much. Shabbat Shalom. Arcade Outpost, I got killed and had to move. Please shill out care, or Arcade Outpost on YouTube and DLive. Rip stream.me and me.me. Mako Horror Show, hey Jim. I sent you a super chat about streaming with me and you told me to talk to a friend on Twitter. He hasn't responded. Do you still want to? Uh, yeah, I, I kind of moved over to Streamy and was dealing with that, but uh, hit my friend up again at Mr. Antibully on Twitter, and we'll see if we can get that set up. Luric L., what about the Johnsons? I hear something strange. Yeah, God, I wish we could have watched that. Uh, there's something strange about the Johnsons is a video that's up on YouTube. You can find it if you go looking for it. It's about a half an hour long. <laughs> it's about a son that rapes his father. A pre He's like 11? It's about an 11-year-old boy that rapes his dad continually for years. And it, <laughs> why don't, should I spoil the ending? The father kills himself by, I believe he runs into traffic. Dad can't take getting butt-fucked by his kid, so he throws himself in front of a car. Uh, you're not, that's, that's uh, very unique entertainment. Uh, Copa, or Copa Crew, I thought Sargon was going to stop this. Uh, didn't we all? Space Sanctum, N-Word, KTTK, we return to the Gunt Retort streams. Uh, no, I'm just kind of working on videos and doing my own thing. Tiberian Fiend, try Africa. It's run by gooks who don't know any better. Did you know gaming? I've got some that don't have messages. Uh, thank you for the donations. Alex F, again, another one without a message. Maybe, I don't know if YouTube is removing them. Hurry up and wait. Are you a psyker or something? You were right about furries. You were right about Donga and now 11 and 13. Damn, you're from this future or some shit. Uh, well, the easiest way to predict the future is to tell a joke. Because more than likely, in this fucking clown world in which we inhabit, whatever your punchline is will be tomorrow's reality. From Dave Martell, we're going to build a bog and the sodomites are going to pay for it. Or pay for it. Again, press 9 to hail Woden. Scam likely, Jim Jim is the opiate of the autist. The future is trans. Traps will replace women. Artif artificial wombs coming. Where is your god now? George Orwell was right. And we didn't listen. Page fault. I bet Jews... Uh, I bet Jews did not see Article 13 coming. Oh, I bet Jew did not see Article 13 coming. From Trev, Jesse Smollett indicted for ties with a rope. Elden the Blue. Hey, Medicare, just wanted to hear your opinion on Deep State. The last week was shown they ride the short bus. They spurg out over one guy and they believe their own lies. They can't even keep a secret. Who is the guy? I did a video, uh, double or Agent Double O Dipshit, talking about a former CIA agent who would go on tirades on like social media. Uh, this was right around the time that F, you know FBI agents, CIA agents are getting getting a lot of shit for sending text message to or text messages to each other, talking about how they're going to misuse their power to go after political, uh, I guess, adversaries. And this guy was bragging about it as a former deep state member. Uh, so no, it would not surprise me that they are dumb as pig shit uh, because the ones that seem to publicly talk about being in deep state and having done deep state things are handicapped mentally. In fact, I would almost guess people in the FBI and CIA that aren't pig shit retarded hate motherfuckers like that because they're, they're their version of autistic shit posters who can't stay quiet. Hurry up and wait, man at newsstand. I'd like a license for black midget female fart porn, please. Uh, Ron Sun, the Europeans are out of luck, but at least we Americans have potato blumpf to give money to Israel. Well, maybe not for long. Yang Gang 2020, let's get that bag, boys. I am of the personal opinion that Yang Gang is a... <laughs> is a... Uh, fucking astroturfing campaign. And uh, I, I have my supporting evidence being 
their fucking discords, which have messages from the political campaign talking about official meme use and authorized memeing. <laughs> so I'll save that for the, the Yang Gang video. Hey, Jay Wimbledon, Soygon will fix this when he becomes PM in GG 3.0. Splassen, did you hear about the Uzbit Ut Tarir here in Denmark, Jimbo? Probably not if I can't pronounce it. Considering making a Chris or Christchurch 2.0. From Tara Goombi, fuck muzzies, love you, Jim. Hurry up and wait. Sargon did 4119. Soy melts internet freedom. The Onion Central let Europe burn. That's how they like it. From Larry Banks, how long do you think Sargon will last from him wanting to go into Parliament and how the articles will affect his channel? And how will he react to it? I, I don't know. Like I said earlier, I, I think certain channels that are of a certain size will be fine. Uh, I think if you're a small guy, you're fucked. Which is sad, because a lot of good content comes from people that don't have big channels. A lot of funny shit comes from people that put up shit posting videos. Or just do their own thing, but don't have like a, a large reach. And to think that they're going to be segregated from everybody else, or maybe entirely removed, uh, is kind of bullshit. And it sucks that the people that already have a leg up, as far as viewership goes, will consolidate that. I mean, if you're a European and you've got millions of subs, you're going to be even bigger now because you're not competing against any other Europeans. You're the one left on the platform. Uh, Mojave Booth, if you like SPCC, there's a fan site with lots of useless features. <laughs> useful features for waiting out the dormancy at spcc.live archives transcription of archives clips and more Joshua Moon any thoughts on how New Zealand government was trying to police the internet and how it blew up in their faces or how journals lied that Tarrant was a Kiwi farmer I actually touched on that earlier uh, where are we here Hustata, it's bullshit, sort of funny, but it pisses me off. This was allowed to happen any, to anyone, anywhere. I suspect this isn't the end. I feel like I'm reading a lot of Super Chats here, so let's take a small break. Give me a moment to try to find our shit-eating furry and see if I can find more about that. I mean, <laughs> he's put in an insane asylum, so... I, why? Oh... I just, I'd like to picture him in his fursuit with his face in the toilet. Just imagine some fucking 400-pound, 20-year-old neat in a hot, sweaty, dirty, unwashed fursuit with his face literally in the toilet bowl, just eating shit like a fat chick at a buffet. And his parents walk in on that. That's how I imagine it went down. I can't confirm that, but that's my, susp my suspicion. All right. We're going to take a small break. I'm going to go grab a drink and we will talk about more funny internet shit while we still legally can before we're all censored and butt fucked by uh, the authorities. I'll put on a little music here. A little a little bit of music they liked over at Stream Me. I don't know. It's the. I got. I can't even do pulls over here. That was another feature I liked. They built pull functionality into chat so I could pull you and ask you. Uh, I, okay. You tell me, chat. What should the break music be? Do you want the fuck anime song? Press 1 if you want the fuck anime song. Press 2 if you want the pro anime song. Do do we hate anime? 1 if you do. Do you like it? 2 if you do. And that will be our song selection while I go get a fucking drink and rest my smokers of vocal cords. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of numbers. You know, it's it's fairly close, but I think fuck anime might win this one. Got a lot of ones. All right, chat demanded it. Here's a little bit of fuck anime while I go get myself a drink. Jack through the race, anime is gay, ripping any, I don't care, gay. If you're way too anime, then you're probably a gay. If you are a gay, step back, stay away. 
Anime is gay, it's in Japanese anime. People on the internet are turned on by some anime. Anime is weird because hentai is a sin. And if you talk in anime, I'll shoot you in the shin. Anime is gay, anime is gay, I'd be repeating words like it's hacking Groundhog Day. Sonic says, anime is a sin, it has to go in the bin. Anime is gay, anime is gay, anime, can you please go away? Anime is the super triple mega gate. Anime should really go away. Anime is made by the Japanese. I could get a neurological disease. Anime is gay. Anime is gay. Hop out of the jag, do the race. Anime is gay. Whipping nanny, I don't care, gay. If you like Japanese cartoons, then you're probably not a gay. Anime, just stay away. I hope you die in a cave. If anime was a real person, he would be dead. They're gonna shot anime in the freaking head. Japanese people should stop making anime. Anime is a problem in the USA. Okay, chat. I hope you enjoyed your musical selection. All right. A little opening song called Fuck Anime. Always a nice little ditty. I, you know, I, I've, I've been looking for a minute or so here. I'm not seeing any more about our, our boy Messy Tales. Uh, if I'd known ahead of time, I've done a little background research to find our shit-eating insane asylum patient. Our fursuiter gone furious. <laughs> <laughs> our little uh, tail-wagging Mad Hatter himself, but uh, it's going to have to be a mystery for now. Maybe, maybe I'll find out more. We can do a little update and explore the wonderful world of a shit-eating furry that got put in a nut house. Uh, but for, for now, it'll have to remain a mystery. What can I say? All right. Uh, let's see. Where did I leave off here? Uh, Hustata, it's bullshit. Sort of funny, but it pisses me off that this was allowed to happen to anyone anywhere. Oh, I've read that one. Magos Exlap or Extrapolator Arc Durkus. Oi, do you have a license to look at those tits, mate? CJ Man 2112, I will understand if you don't want to talk about it, but what's your opinion on Ralph and Friends? I kind of already gave it. I haven't really watched the kill stream, I'd say, in like the last month or so. I've been kind of preoccupied with my own shit. Uh, I, I know there's a lot of crazy shit going on. A lot, of, a lot of fighting back and forth. Uh, I think it's probably a bad idea to turn on your audience. It doesn't work out for anybody. It didn't work out for Baked. Uh, and I would not recommend doing that. A again, the formula is pretty straightforward. Put on a show, read the Superberries, and call it a night. <laughs> it's kind of step one, step two. Uh, the Vile Delinquent. How will this affect Americans in Europe for whatever reason? I don't think it'll affect you, to be honest. The exceptional detective, Sargon will be purged. Oh no. Exploit er, exploding printy at work. The Brits are going to recolonize Africa for porn. Vizix. Jim, how long do you think until the Orwellian push starts to affect the U.S.? Also, thanks for the quality entertainment. I'd say probably in the next two or three years. It's going to be really heavy to the push up to the 2020 election cycle and during that election cycle. And yeah, I, we're, we're on the last legs. What you've known and enjoyed about the internet and how you functioned on the internet is going to change uh, pretty drastically. Uh, I, I think we're past the tipping point or the point of no return. You know, I always suspected that you had different interests working towards what is essentially a common goal, a kind of a um, serendipitous conspiracy, where they didn't all set out at once to achieve the same thing, but kind of while they were working towards their own end, saw that each were aligned towards a similar goal and decided to, to support each other. Uh, forces like governments, uh, corporations, and of course, useful idiots who, who want weird totalitarian, authoritarian, uh, Orwellian shit put in place. Uh, and if it serves whatever their particular political bias is, they'll throw their weight behind it. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd say we've got two to three years before it gets really shitty. Uh, Talon Silverbane, I'm from England. Can I claim refugee from the EU? I, I don't believe you can. They are doing these to get rid of independent reports to, and to a lesser extent, YouTubers that criticize them. This is deliberate of them to do this. That's Larry Banks. Uh, from that Gomba, 
we are the Sweetie Squad, and we didn't do nothing. Sorsa Pelosi, Vidun Sved Pellet. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. Guns Down in Hail, you still going to do that 40K stream with Nick? Uh, yep, like I said, it, I believe he told me it's tomorrow. So tomorrow evening, I will be with Nick Ricada to talk about 40 or Warhammer 40K, uh, the universe, the lore, uh, all that shit. So that should be fun. I, I can't remember what the start time he said. I believe it's late evening. Uh, and he said he was going to throw me a link. So when he does it, uh, you know what? Let me just check now. I, I know he told me the start time of it. I'll just check now. Uh, yep, uh, doing a 40K stream on Wednesday night, uh, 11 p.m. Central. So tomorrow evening at 11 p.m. Central, uh, there will be a Warhammer 40K stream on Nick uh, Riqueda's YouTube channel. So there you go. Uh, Cody Rush just tweeted, or just tweeted, super chatted. I've been watching your videos for three months trying to catch you live, and I happen to catch you while you're making the Ross Pedo videos. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, you're awesome, man. Thank you very much. I, I hate how this fucking... This is another thing I miss about Streamy. It's just their system was a lot better. I, I don't know. Made uh, made it easier to do a lot of this shit. Okay. A bird in motion update. They sent me home early so I can watch. Uh, congratulations. Crimson Mile, they killing my comments. Jim, we must take over the boomer rot GOP. No one is coming to save us. Uh, we are on our own. That is very much true. Mariner, 1712. Jim, remember a black pill vid from the... Uh, from the W era called They Want Your Soul. I used to think that that was ending was a doomer shitpost, but it's probably more altruistic than what's actually going to happen. Uh, very true. Larry Banks, go for number two. Damon Darwin, love your vids. First time being able to donate. From Chris S., glad to see you're live. Let the darkness grow. Boxman2248, any plans to do more deviance? Yeah, you know, I'd like to return to that. Uh, deviance and uh, internet insanity. Uh, the next video coming up, like I said, is an X-Files talking about the monkey torture cult. Uh, and then probably a video on the Yang Gang shit. And then, more than likely, I'll return to doing Internet Insanity and Deviance. Anthony Wildman, here's your neat bucks. Max Smith, Clown World 2020, gamers, rise up, get that bag. Rainbow Train Station, hey Jim, I sent a five buck chat, did it include text? I'll have to look down if you did, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. From Yeagerbaum, I think we are entering George Orwell's 1984. Story was supposed to be a warning, not a guide. From Mike Thomas, Firefox and Android sucks, but it's better than paying YouTube app just for background listening. Medicare Fembot, guts rise up. He's too busy to watch right now. Ivan Faza, YouTube giving away two or two dollar super berries for free to YouTube premium members. I didn't even know they were. I don't understand the point. Can somebody explain this to me with this YouTube red shit, YouTube premium? I don't get it. So, it does what Adblock does, right? But you pay for it, which is weird. I mean, if Adblock exists to block ads, but you can use YouTube Red or Premium or whatever the fuck it's called to block ads, why would you choose, uh, of those two choices, why would you go with the one you have to pay for when Adblock is completely free? I mean, yeah, I get it. You get uh, exclusive YouTube-made shows with YouTube Red or Premium or whatever the fuck they call it now. But Adblock costs nothing. Maybe that's why they're giving away free money? I, I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, where are we here? Uh, Carrera Sky, Sir Oswald, er, Sir Oswald Mosley tried to save us bongs, now get fucked. Thomas Gay, two world wars, and now we destroy the internet. I'm sorry, any chance I can make this good? I demonstrated two times for fuck's sakes. They simply ignore. Ryan Mazer, can we build mesh networks or something? You know, Ars Technica had an article about mesh networking like four years ago. You want to talk about, uh, I don't know who wrote the article, but you want to talk about being like prescient, you know, having your, your finger on the pulse of shit that's to come. Whoever wrote that article was talking about kind of the situation we're finding ourselves in and talked about how they thought the viable solution, the workaround, was going to be kind of a grassroots mesh network. I, I wish I could remember the name of the specific article or when exactly it was written, but I, I know ours covered it and talked about it uh, at pretty good length. I think it's when uh, Applebaum was talking about all the weird shit the NSA was doing and a lot of like the tech reporters were getting freaked out, you know, kind of when he initially came on the scene to talk about it. 
so maybe like three, four years ago. Elron Humperdink, Jesse Embarrassed Fed, no backlash. That's a first. Uncle Tom's Cabin Boy, we ever play Soul Calibur 6, it's very good. I'm currently playing Shadows Die twice and dying a fuck ton more than just simply twice. I, I'm i spastic when I play that game. Uh, like Bloodborne and all the Souls games, you could kind of rough your way through it. But with this game, it feels like... Um, if you, if you don't really comprehend the system of fighting, you're fucked. And my old retarded ass, it's like watching somebody try to do a QTE uh, without actually seeing the button prompts. You know, that rock, paper, scissors, jump, dodge, deflect. I just, I can't, my brain can't function and work it out. I got cock blocked at uh, basically between a mini boss uh, progress check and an actual boss, or what I assume is an actual boss. Uh, the guy that spits poison, you know, the drunk guy uh, who just wrecked my shit and treated me like a, a $5 whore. And then the ogre, who I, I eventually, I did beat him. I mean, you just got to be patient. Uh, but then immediately I run into like some samurai general who just fucks me while I get shot in the back with muskets. So that's what I'm currently playing, not uh, Soul Calibur. Uh, where are we here? Ms. Tizzle. Hey, Daddy Jim. Thought uh, Thoughts on the SPLC implosion? I haven't seen that. I will take a look. Tiny little man. Adam is a cuck. Ryan M. Thanks for the black pills. I was getting a little too peppy lately. Lily Liver. I watched The Red Violin yesterday. It was good. Can you, rec or can you recommend some more good movies real quick, Jim? Also, quick thoughts on Google Stadia. What a fucking disaster Google Stadia is. <laughs> yeah. I can talk about Google Stadia. Sure. Let's talk about Google's entry into the fucking video game console market. So they do this presser, right? Where they're going to unveil the next the next evolution of gaming. Oh, we've gone beyond what's uh, you know available now. We're not even talking about digital distribution. We're going to stream that shit. It's going to make multiplayer so much more of an experience. You're going to have so many more people participating in matches instead of having your, you know, uh, your client side send off the information to a, a central server. And then that gets sent out to all the players. Everything is streamed. All the information is streamed to each individual person, making it so much easier to handle. But the lag on the thing is shit. The internet requirement is going to keep a lot of people out of being able to use it. You know, uh, what was it? Digital Foundry, a couple other people did tests on it. There are videos up on Twitter of people trying it in-house to see what the streaming is like. And there's crazy fucking delay of you hit a button and you wait two seconds. I, I What the fuck? I hate this push towards getting rid of ownership of the stuff that you want to purchase. You know, I, I know that's ironic from a guy that owns a Steam account and doesn't technically own the shit, but just owns licenses to use it. But it feels like the home console market was kind of like the last bastion of ownership in video games. And this push now into it to not even make a digital distribution where you're downloading a game from the arcade or the fucking Xbox store or PSN or whatever, but you're, you're streaming it. So if Google pulls the plug, you're completely fucked. You get nothing. You're in it. It goes down. You get nothing. You have a connection and it's laggy as fuck. And they're not even the first ones to do it. Uh, who the, on live, I believe tried it out back two or three years ago with equally bad results, but the presser event was a joke. They didn't show anything. I mean, they talked about the concept. They showed the controller. They announced that Jade from Jade's game is going to make another game. And we all love those games because Jade made them. Uh, but you know, aside from that, what did they show? They didn't show anything. It was a lot of talk without any l real delivery. So I don't fucking know. You know, they're comparing uh, fucking kazigawatts and teraflops and all these fancy fucking terms and shit that I'll be honest, I don't fucking understand. But they're comparing the numbers like they used to do back in the day with bits. And oh my God, you know, it, uh, the GPU is much more powerful than Xbox One X. Well, not much more, but it's above Xbox One X, but not by a huge margin. And if Xbox One X, you know, Xbox and PlayStation have a new console coming out, it's just going to leapfrog over Stadia. I mean, fuck, even Nintendo Switch has a new iteration, two new iterations coming out of their handheld. So, I, I don't know. I don't think it's a good 
strategy for the market. And I hope people don't go for it because it's just, it's weird. You should be able to own the shit you buy. I mean, I get their idea. We want a Netflix of gaming. I understand that. But nothing about it appeals to me in really any way where I'd be like, yeah, I want that. Yeah, that that's something I'm interested in. It'll be fun to watch it explode in their face, though. I mean, it didn't work out for OnLive. I can't imagine it's going to work out for Google. Uh, Gamer for Christ 07, have you played Devil May Cry 5 yet? Yes, I have. Uh, fun game. Captain Weep 56, what's up, Jim? It's good to see you, mate. Chase L. Gamers rise up. Re from the GGG HHT. At the very end, or at the very least, Poland isn't 100% completely cucked. Larry Banks, do you think we'll get a Subscribestar account? Or do you think you'll get a Subscribestar account? And what do you think of the site? Is it really all that good? Well, any competition is good. I know Subscribestar exists as an alternative to Patreon. I know Dick Masterson has created uh, his own alternative to Patreon. So it's nice to have them out there, I suppose. Um, I, I don't know how they are. I haven't used any of them. I'm not really planning on using any of them. Uh, you know, I've got a Patreon account, and I don't really see the need to have more than that. I mean, I, I have lost a fairly large amount of uh, patrons. One, just because I'm, I'm lazy, of course. But uh, two, a lot of the messages were they were very upset with Patreon uh, for the Sargon thing. Uh, or they were followers of, like, Peterson or Ruben. And when they left, uh, they went with them. Uh, but, you know, I guess at the end of the day, any fucking viable alternative is good. It's why I like Streamy. It's why I like Vidme. Uh, it's why I think Gab has a purpose. Uh, so if you want to do that on the financial side of it, I good luck. I, I don't know how. It's pretty tenuous. If those payment processors or the banks or whoever doesn't like you, you're, you're fucked. I, there's, I don't know what to tell you. I just know that there's a lot of backroom financial stuff going on with a lot of platforms right now uh, where it's not even necessarily the platform that's pushing things, but the financial institutions that work with the platforms that are basically saying do this or else. Uh, it happened with BitChute. Uh, it happened with, um, uh, what the fuck was it? Uh, there, there are like two other examples. I can't think of them off the top of my head where a, a credit card company or a bank stepped in and said no. And so Patreon had to bend the knee or PayPal had to bend the knee. It's really weird shit. Uh, let's see where are we are. From B Tim, we need Mandar to lead Gamergate 3. Nick Pillars, something about the Johnsons soon. But, you know, we could watch that. I might do a stream sometime where we watch something about the Johnsons. I still have to fix the audio because the version I watched was terrible. From Cy Brav, you are the air I breathe. From Willa, a.k.a. Bloody Legend, Yang Yang 2020. Have some super berries. Gay Gnome. Anime has started the Weave Wars. Jump on the bandwagon. You know, I... <laughs> the Weave Wars. I, I made some post, I'd say, like seven months ago, where I said, uh, your anime is like your last bastion. Everything else has fallen to pieces. And I got so much shit for that. And now all this VA stuff is happening. And it's just... Uh, I just want a hobby. Just give me a, a fucking hobby that I can do where I'm left to myself. Why do they always have to push their way into the hobbies? Uh, Mega Killer X, can you import some pew pews over to Europe? Might consider starting a black market. Best of luck. Memorial Squad, frick you to heck, Mr. Mediocracy. From Tactical Boomerism, Redditor finds out he's been sleeping with his half sister for two years. Google R. Tifu dating my half sister 23 and me. <laughs> what made them decide to get a genetics test? And why would they use 23 and me? I already think it's weird enough that companies like Google want to have my fucking social security number, phone number, address, date of birth, full name. But then you find out the person that runs 23 and me is related to Susan Wojak or whatever her name is, the person that runs YouTube. Because <laughs> I don't, it's like this one family wants to gather all the information, my biographical data and my medical data, not interested in using 23 and me. Mike's content, no one goes to Bitwave. It's run by notorious Dockingsburg Fapspatch. It is probably a doxing site itself. It is also horrible. Xander Z, Rant Z versus Dick DBFZ when? 
And have you played DMZ5 and, of course, Shadows Die Twice? Yep, I played both of them. And, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. I might talk to Nick about on the 40k stream. Tag218, daily reminder that everything wrong with the world today is Woodrow Wilson's fault. <laughs> well, maybe Woodrow Wilson should have kept his fucking mouth shut like Kelvin Coolidge did. If he talked less, we wouldn't be in so much trouble. But no, he's got to be Mr. One World Order. We all can get along. Diversity is our strength. Let's hold hands and make the world a better place. Good going, Woodrow. Should have shut the fuck up. Son of Tiamat, glad you're back, you child-grooming monster, still waiting patiently for you to do a series on the skeptics and make them spurg even more. From James Beatnik, a hamster chooses, a black man obeys, and the EU support Hampshire. Hart, take the furries behind the shed, not the institution. One-eared rabbit productions, are you ever going to continue your series making fun of mass shooters like Cold Steel Crews? Uh, potentially. I don't know, things are tenuous as fuck. Monkey Jones got... Uh, catapulted off the site for doing uh, shooter vids. Uh, and his were humor. He wasn't supporting them. He was making fun of them, basically. But uh, he got fucking shit kicked hard. From Charles Sammons, that poop-eating furry story made me think of Dylan Redwine, whose dad often caused him... Wait. Whose dad offed him because he caught him eating shit and lipstick and a diaper? Uh, please tell me this is something we can look up. <laughs> no! There's a news story about it? Okay. I think we need to read this. Oh, one second, chat. I'm pulling this up. Mark Redwine er, pleads not guilty in son's death. This is from the end of 2017, December 14th. A father accused of killing his own son appeared in court Friday where he pleaded not guilty. Back in December, attorneys representing, or representing him asked for more time to examine thousands of documents tied to the case. Mark Redwine is charged with killing his 13-year-old son, Dylan, after he disappeared in southwestern Colorado in November 2012. He denied any involvement in his son's death. Last April, he had a motions hearing in court where he had an arraignment set for Friday. Redwine, 55, was originally fighting extradition when he was arrested in Washington. Yeah, but where does it tell us why? Okay, his, his remains were found in a forest. From the start, he maintained his innocence. How could you do that to your own son? Okay, why? It's got to say it in here somewhere. No, they're not talking. There's Okay, we're, we're going to have to. I, I need to hear this. Okay. Prosecutors believe they have a motive. Let's find out what the motive is. Prosecutors believe they have a motive in the murder case against Mark Redwine, who is accused of killing his 13-year-old son, Dylan, in November of 2012. According to court documents, the prosecution team, uh, attorney Christian Champagne, a lovely name, said tension existed between father and son, which was the ultimate motive for the murder. Uh, more specifically, prosecutors said Dylan planned to confront his father about compromising photographs of Mark. Prosecutors have mentioned the compromising photographs in the past without ever describing the contents, but they have never publicly linked the photos directly to the motive for the homicide. One motion seeks to introduce statements Dylan made to family and friends prior to his death. For example, Dylan's older brother, Corey, can testify that Dylan requested his brother send him the compromising photos so he could confront his father with them during a visit. Wait, did I misread the super chat? Was it the poop-eating furry story made me think of Dylan Redwine, whose dad offed him because he got eating or caught eating poop and lipstick in a diapers. Are we sure dad wasn't the one in lipstick and a diapers eating shit? Because it's... it's. Uh, I'm not I'm not seeing it. Maybe the, maybe the press doesn't want to talk about a child eating shit and lipstick and having his father shoot him. Another mystery that we can put right alongside messy tales. Farrah Owen, gym streams are fun. Thanks, Big Boss. Zenith, speaking of furries, you hear about them blowing up Square Enix because of their gender-locked new races coming out. Uh, no, no, I actually haven't. Alu Catbar, Catala is great. Chase L, rip messy tales, you died doing what you loved. Eating shit. Angela, or Angel, Angel Rivera, Jim check messy tales media, crap picks literally. 
as this man is we need to clean the streets of India. Shiva darling, EU goes to shit, furries eat it. Nonyo Biss, hey Jim, do you know what happened? SBCC, I'm missing those calls. Uh, yeah, for those unaware, SBCC, Southern Poverty Call Center, was a prank uh, prank call stream that was up on Streamy. Uh, pretty fantastic stuff. Really funny. He'd like to f- he'd fuck with different businesses and people, and it was good stuff. Uh, after that went down, he I think he had somebody start him a website to do the streams, but I, I haven't really kept up with it. Again, another show that was good that got uh, shit kicked when the site folded. Uh, Nonyo Biss. Oh, no, that's the one I were at. Bitcoin assassin. No, the feeder did it. He got off, or he gets off on kink and a furry dies eating excrement. Medicare Fembot, it's nice to see you back to streaming. Jimmy Dog, Europe should <laughs> should collectively off themselves. Harsh words. Larry Banks, why does this happen? Mad Clock, Jim wants on check X hamster. Jimmy Dolan, greetings from Sweden, Stan. This is a down or a down payment on that nuke. We need it bad. Yeah, Jimmy Dolan. It is your fault the internet is fucked in Europe. Your people did this. And I don't think any other European should ever let you get away with it. They should always remind you of what you have done. From Roger Smith, did all those white soldiers fight the German brothers and die so granddaughters can get blacked and sons turn to women? Well, this is the future they bought. I miss Unser Salgar Aldoff. <laughs> okay. Valtor Alucard, shout out to my best buddy, Darkseid Phil. James Pesto, see my last donation? My net dropped. Check Facebook DMs. What? At this point, I'll take a Chinese takeover over this Orwellian garbage. Maybe they'll have a reformist president or some shit. In the meantime, at least I can laugh at the Europeans. Feels good, man. I, yeah. I I don't know what to tell you. Everything has gone tits up. It is depressing. I wish I could find more about Messy Tales. I'd like to end on a high note. I'd like to talk about a man that died from eating shit. But apparently that's not going to happen. Is that what the appeal is? Somebody saying YouTube Premium allows background play and temporary download of videos? Blocks ads, but content creators still get money. Well, you can... There are websites that let you download directly from YouTube. There are also plugins that do that. Uh, ad block blocks ads. As far as background streaming, I, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm guessing you're a mobile user, and maybe that's a big thing, but I usually watch YouTube videos on, like, uh, the PC or a television. You know, like, stream it from a game console and watch whatever the fuck I'm going to watch. So, background play is not, like, a big feature for me. I, I don't know. I, I still don't get it. You could do it for free, is what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe it's a, maybe that background play is really instrumental. I, I don't know. Uh, Healy Pilot 47. Only good thing to come from Article 1113 is that K will finally be free from Eurofags. Ninja Breadman, the EU wants Google and YouTube gone so they can fund the establishment state-sponsored media. They can control the data and keep desirables, or I'm sorry, undesirables, out as desired. Yeah, it's about control and getting you to uh, consume what they want you to consume and push you away from the content that might shake your opinion or make you look at a different thing. Um, it's depressing. Lunatic Thinker, is your stream EU compliant? Do I have to have a license? I actually don't know what's going to happen. Again, over the course of the next two years, this is going to be implemented. I'm not 100% certain how many are going to comply with it or to what extent, but I guarantee you some will fully comply and go all the way with it. And... I think a lot of companies are going to want to avoid the headache and they'll probably take YouTube's lead, which seems to be segregation. I, I don't know if that means you'll have like a variant of YouTube just for you or if you're banned completely. Uh, but it is not going to be pleasant, I would imagine. Tyler Knox, yo, Jim, one good thing uh, happening is Vic is getting back invited to the cons. Ironically enough, the accusers are bitching out now. Uh, who saw that coming? Dan Simpson, Americans, please send porn care packages. Backsfire, have you read the protocols of the learned elders of Zion? Aren't you supposed to tell me to read Siege? <laughs> Doc Window Licker, the answer is the pendulum always swings back dystopian times ahead, Fwend, but hell, I'm ready for the live enactment of 1984. Your Elvian, we shall form a brotherhood, download the entire internet, and share it via hard drives. Gap Gekadel, 
We need to make them regret all the damage they're doing. Dewey666, what about those uh, who have always been ghosts online? I don't know. A lot of people like to post anonymously. I, I do. Uh, whether that's you're doing it on an image board or you're on social media but you're under a fake handle. I really think the next big push will be Real ID. And I think the governments that implement it or the online service providers that demand it. Um, I, I, probably in the next five years. I, I legitimately could see five to ten years Real ID being a thing. Where whatever account you make is always tied back to your actual identity. And that identity can be looked up by any site that you go to. And that identity is provided by your ISP. Uh, so, so there's not like an extra layer of protection. There's no court needed. There's no warrant needed. Like that's going to strip it away from people that even consider themselves ghosts. Uh, you know, oh, well, Tor, VPNs, and all this shit. I don't know. They'll find some way to fuck you on that, too. Don't they always? Uh, Vizix. The people calling for war are the minority. A majority of uninformed, ignorant are complacent, accepting of any change because they're content or content now. My killers are my zombie killers. Gen Z is screwed. Both uh, are screwed. Born into literally 1984. From Nick Thibodeau in Canada, a guy had his property broken into, and he shot and killed two of the guys breaking in, wounded the third. He's been charged with second degree murder. What a clusterfuck, Captain. Queems, today is a good day to not be European. Scratch that. Every day is a good day not to be European. Uh, we know that's factually correct. D Diego Spinola, hey, at least we'll have a great time together in room 101. From Brett, if people want an alternative to things like the kill stream, check out Owen Benjamin. He's been banned from Alex Jones for calling out the Jews. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Let me know. Let me let me see if I've got this right. Isn't Owen Benjamin the dude that went on to the Red Elephants because he calls out the Jews? Didn't he go on to the Red Elephants on a stream with them and talk about his Jewish grandma? <laughs> what about I, you, you know, there's this one clip of Millennial Woes. I can't remember who the girl was, but like they're having a conversation. He really likes her. And then she says something like, I'm a fourth generation Holocaust survivor. And he gets this look on his face where he's like, did I, did I hear what they just said? <laughs> it's the same thing with Owen Benjamin. He's out there talking about it. He's like, yeah, my Jewish grandma. And they, they all get this look on their face. It's fucking priceless. Uh, I, I wish I, I wish I knew what episode that was. Uh, somebody was like, oh, you should check him out. He's on, you know, he's on this podcast. And I, I went and watched it and I, <laughs> I had a good chuckle. Ah, oh, Lord of Smore, class the world and start over Fallout 4 style. Minute bomb or minute world bomb Israel. Roadside pl or picnic. I can only hope my children will see a world that isn't completely ruined. And don't we all? The memes of destruction tell the truth. Larry Banks, do you think YouTubers are going to be more left to be or more to the left to be able to stay on the platform that they even don't fully agree with? But it has to be so they don't get deplatformed. Yeah, you're going to be have to eating. Sh you're going to have to eat shit and smile, essentially. Yep. Sword and scale. I say what I want online. That's probably why I don't have a job. You know, I, I like the mentality. You know, again, two to three years, five tops, five to ten years for the real ID. I I don't know. I I don't look forward to. It. I, let's say by 2030. By 2030, the internet's going to be just unrecognizable compared to what it is now and what it has been. From Anders Pack, uh, fuck the world, as what happens there doesn't affect me. The internet will still be the same in the U.S. It's only horrible elsewhere. All right. I think that brings me up for the past ones. Let me hit the more recent ones, and we'll uh, we'll end, end our stream. Uh, as I said, I do have a video coming up. Uh, it should be up Friday or Saturday. I don't know if I'm going to do streams. I like streaming because it let me do what I wanted to do. I can't really do that over on YouTube. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll do fun day or Sunday fun days. I, I don't know. I'm not really a, uh, if I don't have a lot of control and I, we can't watch what I want to, like you could never watch a horse fucking documentary on YouTube. 
I mean, they're not actually fucking the horses, but it's about the horse fucking lifestyle. Uh, and a lot of the jokes you want to tell wouldn't fly over here. So, you know, that's one of the downsides to having YouTube, but <laughs> maybe we can find a workaround. I don't know. Okay, from Son of T or Timit, their face when you're speaking to an oven dodger. Domio Grin, listening to this stream while playing Sekiro is the best. P.S. You don't even, or you can't even beat Jews of the Drunkard. Get good, you shit. See you next Tuesday. From Mike Thomas, Firefox and Android allows free background play. If you're up on PC and can't figure it out, kill yourself now. From Neg G Quantum, Donga wants on check your smoke signals. <laughs> Ninstar Rune, Jim, if anyone ever told you, you sound like the Postal Dude. Not a bad person to sound like. Postal's a great game. Match Burn, Europe, Proof America nuked the wrong continent. From Zykai, as a trucker, YouTube Premium is a godsend. Drive 10 hours a day, can't listen to podcasts and music all day from my phone. Or I can, okay, I see. Yeah, I figured it was mobile users. Uh, Roger Smith, based reincarnated Fall Schmager. Report again, reminding you that all the noble 14 Wolf 88 would not have tolerated shit-eating, animal-abusing furries. Turbo, I think you missed my previous super chat. I, I'm sorry if I did. Bring Yeet, I used Red for background play with no ads at work. The Stampede 89 bought an, uh, about one hour behind. If the Brits all become furries, is it still porn? Just rampant bestiality. <laughs> I'm not sure what you'd classify it as. Random asshole. I think the only person actually coming out on top from the whole Article 13 is DSP. He can finally take down all the detractors. I couldn't... I don't know what... God, you know, I miss DSP. He's kind of like a constant on the internet. Right? He's a he's a total fuck-up. And he does really dumb shit. But DSP will always be DSP. He's just... He's very reliable in that. Like, hearing new DSP-related news will be the same as hearing any news related to DSP for the past 10 years. I need to pay more attention to DSP. I've fallen out of doing that, and I think it would probably give me a little bit of happiness to watch that bumbling dipshit just do dumb stuff on the daily. Roadkill Phil, look up Dylan Redwine Lipstick for the story. All right, you know, let's do that. Let's see if we can find about the kid that got shot by his dad because he was eating shit while wearing <laughs> while wearing lipstick okay here we go channel 7 in Denver uh, good old Denver ABC News is going to give us the details about a boy that eats shit thank you thank you ABC all right here we go Dylan Redwine's brother details disgusting photos they saw of father Profiler help detectives. All right, let's see what we got here. A former FBI profiler who reviewed the Dylan Redwine murder investigation helped lead police to the arrest of the 13-year-old's father, and the boy's brothers say they saw lewd photos of their father involved in bizarre acts before Dylan went missing. Mark Redwine was arrested Saturday in Washington State on felony charges of second-degree murder and child abuse relating, uh, resulting in death. He will be held for a million dollars bail. All right, let's see if we can find out what the pictures are. We're talking about a guy that's probably a registered psychopathic narcissist. He thinks he's smarter than everyone else. I simply wanted to look at everything I could look at and try to figure out who did this. And it was an uh, inescapable conclusion that it was Mark, the father. All right, Corey Redwine saw disgusting photos of dad in lewd situations. Right, what were the photos? Come on. Oh, I've seen the photos, Corey said. It shows him wearing women's clothing and makeup and a diaper and then eating his shit from the diaper. It was disgusting. You wouldn't believe it. Okay. So the older brother comes across photos of their dad dressed as a woman in makeup, eating shit from a diaper. And the younger brother says, can you get me copies of the picture? I want to use them to fuck with dad. And when dad finds out that the sons have pictures of him eating shit from diapers while dressed like a woman, he shoots his son in the head. I want to show you a picture of this kid. He's got, this kid has the best smirk in the world. I want you, I want you to imagine this kid 
walking up to his father and saying, I know what you do, Dad. I know you eat shit. That's the kid. Look at that smile. That's the kid. He probably had that smile on his face when he went up to his father and said, Hey, hey, what do you think of these photos? I bet she looks awfully familiar. Ha, huh, Dad? Remember when I wanted that bike and he told me we couldn't afford it? Be a real shame if Mom saw these. You know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm such a good student, Dad, that maybe you should buy me a fucking Xbox One. What do you think? Huh, champ? Wouldn't want Mom to see those pictures of you eating shit, would you? <laughs> that might that might result in some marital stress, Dad. And then his dad pulls out a shotgun and shoots him in the head. I'm going to give him an A for effort. He really went for the gold on that one. <laughs> but he probably should have realized if his dad was insane enough to eat shit from a fucking diaper while dressed up like a woman in makeup, he's probably crazy enough to kill you for exposing that. But yes, that's a very Chad grin, Chad. Uh, Kyle G, hey, did you know Terry A. Davis died? Here's money. Uh, yep, we... God, we talked about Terry dying, I'd say, five months back? I uh, got hit by a train. Uh, it sucks. But he's in heaven now. He's in heaven and God has given him the thumbs up and said, You did Temple OS perfectly. Exactly to my specifications. Andrew M. Shepard, son of Tmet, how unsurprising you degenerate neat. Son of Tmet again. I'm also a vorophile. Andrew M. Shepard, daily reminder, son of Tmet is a furry. Dark Chaos Renamon, thank you for the years of content, Jim. You are still fantastic. Recommend me an oldie but a goodie game I should pick up and play. I, I don't know what systems you have access to. Uh, go pick up Brigandine. It's a bit spendy. I, I, I guess it's probably around 100 bucks. Uh, but it's pretty fucking fun. Central Happenings Network, take my shekels. How do small channels like mine survive the grasp of Susan Wojak? Stuck at 7.2 thousand. YouTube shenanigans rip St. Nism or Nassim. I, I don't know. A, a lot of the little guys are going to get fucked, which, again, really sucks. Uh, Lily Liver, Jim, you forgot the quick movie recommendations. I have not seen any good movies in a long fucking time. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of something that would be entertaining to watch, and I, I legitimately can't think of anything. I've stuck mostly to watching fucking anime and YouTube videos. I've, like, fallen out of the habit of watching television shows and movies, to be honest with you. A lot of the stuff that comes out of Hollywood is just pure shit. And even the people that I have hope for, uh, that I think can do, like, good stuff, uh, end up disappointing. Uh, what was it? Peel came out with the movie Us. I was actually really looking forward to that. Like, the, the, the aesthetic, uh, the environment, like, the feeling of the movie looked good. It looked like it'd be a good horror movie. And then you find out the, the twist at the end. And you're like, dude, come the fuck on. Really? And it's just, yeah, I just, I got nothing for you. I'm sorry. Uh, DK, or CK2000, you ever played a Shin Megami Tensei game? There are JRPGs, I think, either the series. Yeah, I played them before. Uh, yep. Punish Creepworks, Jim, you need to go, you need to back up all your games on cassette. Power Cage KOP has been unbanned from Kiwi Farms. So you finally get to get those outlines from Josh? From the crapola, there's no democratic solution. It's a sham. S -X or S X S. Will Medicare in the morning ever return? Um, no, probably not. I I can't do over here what I could do over there. I may potentially stream on the weekends, maybe, maybe well, maybe like once or twice a month. I I don't know. I I really don't. Eric Navali, rip Dami Peso's Twitter account. You will be missed. He got banned on Twitter. Uh, let me see here. Uh, are you sure it's a... Oh, holy shit, he did get suspended. Did Matt finally get him? What happened to him? Uh, Foxman2248, do you ever plan on doing something big like that guy with the glasses series? Uh, no. No, currently I don't have anything like that in the plans. Dirty D disagrees. Jim, I posted a limerick about merchants earlier, but I didn't hear you read it. Was it deleted? I have a lot of... There are a lot of Super Chats that have gone through that don't have any message attached. I don't know if that's because people aren't attaching messages or if YouTube is censoring them or something. I know that 
there like at certain times YouTube is taking shit off in the normal chat. Uh, people, if you go to live chat or top chat, sometimes a Google moderator will come in and remove your messages. And I know after the New Zealand shootings, they've fucked with the search engine and the algorithm for sorting by date. So I, I don't know if they're doing something. Like if you're making limericks or if you're talking about stuff related to shooting, maybe that's what they're pulling. Uh, the Violent Delinquent. Is Vidme still a thing? What other channels on other platforms do you have that you're not told us about? Oh, uh, patio Furniture. I uh, know Vidme is gone. Uh, they couldn't afford. They couldn't afford to keep going. Like it was gaining momentum, but they just didn't have the money to keep it going. Twelve fifteen ninety seven. Luke on live was my only way to play modern video in middle school. On live got bought up by Sony for the PSN now architecture. Graph von Tyrell subscribe star is fine. They found a way to get around the banking meddling. Noble Richards, hey Jim, gonna try Division Two. It's pretty good. Uh, no, I'm not really into Division. So, War Game Three Four One. If you can get an old school RPG uh, HD release, which one would you choose? Legends of Dragoon or Xenogears? Oh, Xenogears, hand down or hands down, Xenogears. Captain Weeb Fifty Six, Dick Masterson for President. Alu Catbar, Cat Allah is great. Death to the Infidels. Mariner Seventeen Twelve. I haven't watched Western media since 2015. I'm happy with forty year old. Japanese men in spandex and rubber with questionable prosthetics. Thank you very much. My dog is going ape shit. Uh, Chase L, you don't need to fight the drunk guy yet. You can save him for later. The whole area is optional. You get the first uh, real boss soon after the... <laughs> Ava, will you shut the fuck up? Uh, real soon. Okay. Chunk is the god. Take my shekels. Big Country Jim, what about BitChute for streaming? It claims to be decentralized platform with no censorship. Maybe worth a look. Or BitTube, I'm sorry, not Shoot. I've not tried it before, not heard of it. Uh, I'll take a look, I guess. Bebek Nam, I want to be Gerald of Rivia, running around a Polish woods, killing Neckers. Ivan Chesnobriki, daily reminder, death to Belikis. This message was paid for by the Ocean Federation. The Raging Majority, I swear to God, Ava. Fucking dog. The Raging Major Majority, Jim, do you think Japan will be the last uncut country in the world? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. Yes, chat. Yes, chat. Uh, <laughs> Jade is making dinner. That's why the dog is barking. You got me. Nailed it. We know what's up. Uh, True Seeking Missile, you've reached Rob. Please leave a message after the beep. Mr. Merep. How do you feel about Ghost True Capitalist Radio? I wish people got what the bit was, because it feels like so many people that watch Ghost or True Capitalist Radio are so fucking new to it, they don't understand exactly what they're dealing with. It's really weird, to be honest. I, I think if you've been around for more than a few years, you would have you would know who that is and what the whole thing about it is. But it feels like a lot of people don't get it. It's really, it's weird. And I don't want to ruin it by talking about it. So that's why you don't hear me talk about it. Uh, Kaltan Bach, remember when everyone spouted that Europe was forward thinking about sex? Now Muslims are censoring gays and jack off permits are required. Ha! Huh. Sean Korshall, Bonds, you for removing my messages. I love paying $10 for no reason. AR76, Jim, read my previous super chats, you Niger. You missed them. Has something uh, to end the stream on a fun note? Search Red Pill Rundown on BitChute. Turn not safe for work off and show chat Kiwi Stranger. I have a feeling that's you're trying to trick me. Uh, Kermit Kujo, no pupper for supper, Jim. All right. History Buff 97, after Sargon loses his battle for political office, maybe he can still serve British politicians at state functions in his Applebee suit. VAWBC carry, take my shekels and my soul. Any update on the underwater hamster guy? Oh, uh, yeah. He's still making his videos. If you go look at his YouTube channel, he's got a lot of updates about what he's going to do. Uh, his Patreon's going well. Uh, his project's going well. Linked up different habitats, talking about the materials he's purchasing. I think he got his car repaired. Just a whole bunch of stuff going on. A America. Plebs need to install new pipe app. It's YouTube Red. Son of TMET. Dog fried rice. Delicious. Mariner 1712. Note on mesh networking. Q and I realized that they paused Linux in order to prevent this. No open source equals backdoor software and hardware up your ass. 
Char Lika Chuck, somehow after all this, DSP will still survive. Yes, he will. Jonathan English, Jim, you also missed my earlier super chat, you blind boomer potato nagger. Um, <laughs> Los Glitter Freeze, look up how to cook Krabby Patties era Mika. The Orange Cow Sekiru is the shit. Keep at it. Learning to deflect is key. I know that's the key to beating the game and doing well at it, but I still run around like a spastic retard, unaware of what the fuck my timing should be. Mojave Booth, stay tuned for more uh, Bitwave.tv when it's ready. It's currently being built feature by feature by a streamy expat. Any content you think is uh, of is allowed. New Zealand police already sent a takedown. From AR76, God damn it, Jim, it's a song. It's fine to play. Mother Superior, I remember you when you were the internet historian. Pray that someone in the U realizes there's a PC pull up their butt that needs to be removed. Keep up the awesome content. Yes, I was the internet historian. You've got me. That Goomba, ever heard of the YouTuber named Internet Aristocrat? I think you two would get along great. By the way, I got Metro because of you and I love it. Never heard of him. And it is a great game. Some fool take my money, you fool, and thanks for the content. Bro Thulu, background and play no ads. Good for listening to YouTube at work. Captain Mercury, you missed my super chat. I do not know why I'm missing these. For some, uh, let's see here. Jack Powell, wasn't Ghost Radio part of BWC Blog Talk Raids? And Kermit Cujo, I can't wait for the EU citizens to start sending carrier pigeons to deliver their furry OCs and unwanted boomer political opinions. Can't we all? Yeah, one of the nice uh, setups about stream.me is the way they organize this shit. It was much easier to sort through. I, I don't know. Man, YouTube is a mess when it comes to the back end. Josh Sketch Show, were you into G1 Bionicles at all? Or were you too? I was too old for that. No, I was not into G, <laughs> G1 Bionicles. B Row YouTube Premium is the only way to listen to YouTube videos and the app minimized. Yes, I'm the person that pays $9 a month, so YouTube will unbreak app. Booty Bad at Take My Super Chat Cherry Daddy. Zimzam, not sure if this is your kind of thing, but you should check out Christian Hanna Reviews. He's a sped and is my girlfriend's brother. AR76, check my previous Super Chat Jimbo. It'll cheer you up. Funny song from Pole about Kiwis and Aussies. Press S to spit on Europores. From Rusky Disco, I'm Jim and I eat Boomer Booty. Jim, because I'm R word. Larry Banks, speaking of furries, what do you think of Rags as looking as while looking on Kiwi Farms, there's a ton of furry porn that he's into. And from the dumb stuff he does. I don't actually watch Rags or really know much about him, to be honest with you. Sir Boyne Voyage, Jimbo Battle Me and Smash, or you're a Nignog. And Edward Barney's Clown World Now. My voice is going to die on me. I need to find a super chat solution. So I'm not I'm not a you know, a balance somehow. I had a nice system worked out at Streamy. If I do streams over here, I'm going to have to rework that to make it work. This, again, was mostly a spur-of-the-moment thing to have a little bit of fun laughing at Europe. Turbo missed two of my Super Chats. Read some, and it's censored. I don't know if you're joking and you've done that or if uh, if YouTube has done that. Larry Banks, you missed, you missed by $10 Super Chat. I do not... I don't know if you guys are fucking with me or if the system is fucking with me. Birds in motion update. They sent me home early so I can watch. Okay, no, that, that caught me up. I really do not... I'm not sure where the fuck they are. Uh, let me scroll down here. Try not to miss these. You guys are sending them. I'll try to read them. The Vile Delinquent. We should uh, we should pull all our money by Pitcairn Island and start our own country called Sweetie Land. Here's what you should do. There's a country out there called Tonga, and its military is like 30 guys. I'm not making this up. It's got like 30 dudes that's its entire military, and maybe like 90,000 people that live there. You could take it by force. I don't think Tonga could oppose you if you showed up with at least 40 guys. Controller stop. We won't have to worry about online lag anymore once the internet bans itself in the future. And Roy Gordon, Europe, no good. Right, let me see if I can find these here. I'm I'm not seeing them. Oh, can I get a CX in the chat, boys? Scammed. Oh, Jimbo is scamming people up in here. What the fuck? It's all true. Sc scuff Steve Jobs. Scuff Steve Jobs is writing my scripts now. Oh, you didn't see it happening, but it's happening.
Uh, Plexstorm, I didn't. Okay. So people are asking what happened to Plexstorm. Um, the thing with Plexstorm was they want photo ID and they want a bunch of other like identity verification shit that you have to send them copies of. And I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not going to Plexstorm and sending them a fucking driver's license and birth certificate and all this other weird shit. I get it. They have to have that because you've got a bunch of chicks streaming their tits there and they don't want to have some fucking 16 year old try to sneak in and do it. And then they get accused of child porn. Uh, let's see, Sean Hurikai missed my chat as well. Oh, CX in the CX in the house, boy, scamming everybody tonight. Roy Gordon, oy vey, I didn't see the super chats, goy. Oh, never trust an Irishman. How do you think we got that pot of gold to stick under the rainbow? Luric L, you missed like three of mine, you greasy grabbler. Terrible. Terrible. What am I doing? Okay, uh, I'm seeing that. Moving through here. All right. I think, you know what I think it is, guys? I think you need to donate double the amount to make it show up. I know it's crazy. I think if you if <laughs> if you donate double the amount, it'll come through. Let's test that theory out. Uh, controller Stop YouTube is the new st <laughs> Steve Shives and deletes all the Super Chats during live streams. Okay, did I read this one? Radoski? Off topic, but I really catch you live. Found the website called tetherproducts.com. It's got an archive of this dude talking about how he likes to dominate his dick. A lot of not safe for work content, but the crazy is worth it. I've never heard of that before. Uh, let's see. Please, okay, you want me to say this? Okay. Happy birthday, Welshy. There you go. That's right. It's like Bernie Bros. You need to match me. Damon Darwin, any updates on Kiro? And Trolita, pee pee poo poo. Michael, T <laughs> that wasn't a serious recommendation, guys. Michael Tone, did you hear Davis Arini joined a cult? He's gone crazy and streams on Twitch now. I have no idea that he joined a fucking cult. Rusky Disco, hello from Russia. Please stop your global homo agenda. We recently caught emails of American officials trying to push that here. I was unaware that there was a global homo agenda being pushed on Russia. Kermit Cujo, this message was deleted by a Google moderator. I told you. I told you. It's not that I'm a blind drunk. It's all Google's fault. From Turbo. Okay, now bring up... <laughs> what are you trying to say? Sword and Skills, what will Naked Martin do now? Have you heard of him? Look up the Twitter, Twitter for masturbation purposes? Who the fuck is Naked Martin? Oh, they're actually... Okay, well, let's see what this is. What the fuck is this? I got to make sure my, I'm not screen sharing. All right. Oh, it's, is this this? Why have you sent me to a fucking Twitter account of an old dude jacking off? Why is all his content him with his dick out? And you're right. He's totally fucked. I, I, I don't know what he's going to do. Well, actually, I don't know if you can copyright content somebody's dick. He might be safe. He might be the only person from the UK that can still fucking do stuff on the internet. Because it's literally him rocking out with his cock out. A repost, Sekiro is amazing, even though I suck ass at it. Stuck on 8 Boss. Also, I wish Streamy had background play. I, w I wish Streamy still existed. It's fucking dead and gone. Steph Dev, Jim, Les Karkoff and Sigs, and more reading them super chats, you greasy grabbler. Oy vey, potato nagger. Shout out the punished kitty via Twitter, lol. Larry Banks. What do you think of Rags? I was looking on Kiwi Farms on him and saw all the furry porn he was into. Like how he commissioned dog porn of his avatar? And has a fur affinity account and an E21 account of more porn. Yeah, I'm, Rags is probably the least... The, the I, I know he's like a skeptic, but he's the one I paid the least attention to. But no, I'm not shocked that there'd be a fur affinity and E21 account. Jab S, would you eat a trash burger? Fuck no, I wouldn't. Uh, Akalos, replay Xenogears, but whenever Solaris or the Gazelle Ministry comes up, realize that they are Jews and the Japanese tried to warn us. I'm getting some flashbacks here. I'm getting some flashbacks to a particular anime about uh, heroes of a galactic sense and an entire planet which played the role of Jewish people and their space war opera. <laughs> 
the Japanese can be very direct sometimes. From Abyss Warrior, I sent two and they went through chat. All I wanted to do was crap on my country, Sweden. And the fandom I'm in, the furries. Press G, boys. So a fur, a, a Swedish furry. A, are you? Were you part of the group that accidentally voted yes? Captain Mercury, best fighting game. Uh, what the fuck? I, I would probably go with something, a Guilty Gear. A Guilty Gear title or King of Fighters. As far as series, I don't know if you like specific ones. I'm not 100%. Nerdbane, the EU would have been saved if only Jim did a video on JF. Need to milk those titties. John, is this enough to pay for your Crohn's disease medical bills, you disappearing tater? Uh, I, no, I think you need to double it, John. I think $40 is what's going to save my life. Anthony Wildman, this message was deleted by a Google Mongoloid. I don't think they're going to like that very much. Stars over Stalingrad, would you rather smash Alexandra Oskeska Cortez or Tussl Tulsi Gabbard? I don't know who Tulsi is. Uh, it's not ringing any bells. And Alexandria looks like a fucking horse. Right? That's the one with, like, the gums that are, like, five inches of gums and teeth that look like they were made out of wood. It's like she went to a fucking historical museum and stole a pair of fucking George Washington's uh, dentures and decided to wear them. Happy McFloofer, get off stream, Jimbo. You're missing the Defunct Land live stream. Oh, hey, it's somebody else who watches that. Defunct Land is good shit, man. I watch, uh, you know, there was another one, too. There were two accounts. Oh, let me see if I can find this here. Uh, where are we going? Up, oh, uh, and my, uh, did it just freeze up on me? Might have froze up on me. Ah, uh, there was another guy that did a lot of shit like Defunct Land does, and I was going to say his name, but now I can't find it. No, no, where is it? No, shit. It was good stuff. It was kind of in a similar vein, but I like those videos. Uh, Jim, do a video about Mike Bodet. He's a cunt. I will take a look at it. Merlo Williams, it's pronounced. Bree Gundine, Jim. And have you heard of uh, Adonis Paul's stream? Check it out. If not, also, what's the status of failures probation? Failures on probation? <laughs> I didn't know. What did he do? Uh, Neo Geo, Daddy Jim, please, I need your dick. <laughs> okay, see, now I'm just making them dirty. Daddy Jim, please, I need your hard stick right now. Please fill me up with your maple syrup. The butt is begging for your American peen to colonize it. All right, and then finally, hello. Uh, hey, Jimbo, did you see the video of Spoonie talk, or talking to the police officer after crashing his car? Yes, I did. Actually, I saw the video where they had, like, a head-on at the intersection. And then Spoonie's trying to be all slick about it and shit. It's like, no, no, man, everything's... Officer, everything is fine. Nothing's going on here. Now, why don't you just look away from the car accident I caused, and let me tell you about how shitty Bayou Billy is. Have you ever played an NES, officer? All right, there's this fucking game called Bayou Billy that I need to go over. Uh, John, fine, fine. Here's for the next round of chemo. Also, Brigandine rules. Uh, Sean Turner, King of Fighter 2002 is the best King of Fighter for me. I also thought Ash Crimson was a 32-year-old MILF and found her cute till I, fu till I found out it was a 14-year-old boy. Uh, why? Oh, you got tricked. You were rused. Why, uh, who would you rather bang, Darkside Phil with a box or Cat with a 13-inch dong? Give me Phil. Shekelmeister, please, Jim, stop drinking. Er, please say, stop drinking, Ralph, you fucker. Also, is it true you are gay, Jim? Yes, Jade is my beard. You found me out. GF wants on, check your chromosomes. <laughs> Did he confuse me being Irish and a potato for me being retarded and a potato? Narfire, here's some shekels, mate. Love your streams. Finally, moderator Marcy. Hey, Daddy Jim, so much drama, so little time. IBS Apocalypse 2, a boogaloo. No, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, the last one was fucking awful. It was six and a half hours. Somebody else can do it. Somebody else can take the reins on that one. And sit there while people scream at each other for six and a half fucking hours. Uh, Daddy Tipples. Yo, Jim, did I miss out the poo-poo eating furry? Also, who do you think is packing bigger meat, DSP or Monday Matt? Uh, I am going to go with DSP. All right. This has been a fun stream of me rating Super Chats for three and a half hours. I hope you all enjoyed that. Oh, and the ten minutes we talked about Europe. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, at least I can use the Super Chat money to buy a nice big sign and floated across the ocean that just says, get fucked, Eurocucks. 
Sincerely, America, I'll make sure it's really big. Like, rent the, the Goodyear blimp and send it on a really long fucking maiden voyage across the ocean. Just so they know we're still thinking of them. Because they're not going to be able to talk to us on their internet. They're not allowed to. A King of Fighters and Guilty Gear are top tier. Hype for Sam Show. All right. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, again, if I do more streams, it'll probably be a weekend thing. It'll be more planned out than this. I just wanted to talk a little bit about Article 11 and 13 and just a lot of the shit going on. Again, did not mean for it to be a black pill, depressing stream. Sadly, it was. Because when you look at it all in context, it just sucks. But them's, them's the breaks. That's reality. And what the fuck are you going to do? You just gotta, you gotta take the hits and keep on going. And hope you pull through it, I guess. I just hate the idea that people won't be able to experience the internet we did. I think it was something that was unique. And, you know, it's just not, go it's unfortunate. Uh, the kids growing up 5 years, 10 years, 20 years from now won't get to experience it. If you haven't been called a faggot on the internet, you haven't really lived, have you? Oh, and finally, the last super chat. Dirty D disagrees. I tweeted the limerick at you. Fuck YouTube. Okay, I will take a look at the limerick on Twitter when I get a chance. Uh, have a good one, chat. Uh, hopefully the next stream, a little more content, a little less super chats. But hey, I'm not complaining. Money's money. Uh, remember, if you're not European, you are superior. You're allowed to post tits and memes and they can't stop you. There's nothing they can do to stop you from enjoying some nice tits and a shitty image macro. What were you thinking, Europe? What the fuck did you do, Sweden? Absolutely unforgivable. Pathetic. Terrible. What the fuck? Everyone, have a good Tuesday. Hope your week tr or treats you well. The video should be up Friday or Saturday. And I will see you all later.